Shintian Continent Star Spirit Sect. Open one's eyes. This place is. Arg. Wasn't I. Bring it on, watch me retreat and counterattack. Wasn't I playing games at my home? It's a boy. You're peeping at me again. Mother, I want to become an immortal cultivator. We don't have money. These memories. Have, I transmigrated. This place is Shintian Continent, a world where martial artists are respected above everything. Countless people try their hardest to get into one of the sects situated here. Even if it's a newly established sect, just to become exceptional than the rest and break away from the original poverty-stricken life, everyone tries to become a disciple at the sect. Star Spirit Sect is one of such sects which was newly established half a month ago, and the true strength of the sect leader is unknown. Today is the first ever assessment exam the Star Spirit Sect has arranged to recruit new disciples. But when I transmigrated here, I didn't get anything like items or powers. So, what's the fun in that? First, I need to find a temporary place to stay and wait for two years before my cheat skill appears. Look over there. Someone is coming. I am Luo Chinchue, the sect leader of the Star Spirit sect. Today, we won't look at your aptitude, your age, nor your cultivation in order to recruit new disciples. Doesn't that mean I have a chance then? Pick me. Pick me. The sect leader indeed possesses exceptional beauty as expected from a fantasy world. Only my honey loves me. Unlike the actresses that appeared on television, this girl's appearance is more appealing to me. As they say, a fake beauty can never win against a natural one. However, there is only one requirement for you in order to join the sect. In an hour's time, if you can provide us with 10,000 spirit stones, one can join this sect. Did I hear that right? Providing you with 10,000 spirit stones? Are you fucking kidding me? Even a single low-grade spirit stone is enough to feed my family for a month. If I had a spirit stone, why would I come here to try my luck? Your star spirit sect are simply just a bunch of scammers. What's the point of having a gorgeous sect leader if you are swindlers like this? There are blood-sucking businessmen even in the fantasy world. Humph. Let's leave. Based on my previous life system, isn't this the same as pay 10,000 yuan first before joining a company and earn money then? I guess only a fool would try to join your sect. Ding. The invincible big spender system has been activated. Eh? This, this is. System. I thought of waiting two years temporarily. But never expected I would actually get a cheat skill like this. But what the hell is this invincible big spender system? System, are you there? Start your show. Ding. Dear user, as the name suggests, it's a system that makes you strong as long as you keep spending money. You simply have to become a big spender. As for the rest of the problems, the system will solve it for you. Full name, Yi Fong, age, 18 years old, realm, mortal, physique, normal, Martial arts, none, ability, none, items, none, big spender points, zero. Today's big spender product, first rate ninth rank heavenly thunder talisman, 10,000 in stock. Ding. The system will provide unlimited spirit stones of any grade. Spirit crystal, immortal spirit crystal is the current currency in this world. Dear user, please understand what big spending means. Wasting too little money is not considered a big spending. Even wasting too much money is also considered a foolish act. Only after spending the right amount of spirit stones, crystals, etc., you can be rewarded with big spender points. If not, we'll be deducting points from you instead. Ding! You can also obtain points after completing random missions given to you by the system. Big spender points, plus 10,086. Ding. Spending money daily on expensive products will also get you points. If there is big spending done, we'll be deducting the corresponding points from you. Big spender points, minus 100,000. Ding. 
Big spender points can be used to upgrade the user's realm, increase the proficiency in martial arts, extract abilities, and even obtain special items, etc. Looks like it's not just any casual spending. I'm wealthy, but not foolish. Ding. Assigned mission is here. Join the Star Spirit sect. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with 100 big spender points. Upon failure, 100 points will be deducted from your balance. You can reject this mission. You actually gave me a choice in the mission. My lady, all of them are kids from a poor family background. You did this stunt on purpose in order to not recruit disciples, right? I am aware. This is just their unwillingness to not become a member of our sect. It's not my fault at all. Even if my father knew, he couldn't do anything about it. My lady, but... My father must have been crazy when he told me to open a sect here. Saying something about sharpening my mind while I'm here. This is clearly just delaying my cultivation progress. The sect leader of Starpole sect, Luo Woming, however, my father doesn't know that I was originally a sanctus of the Everlasting Shrine who fell prey to a conspiracy and was reborn here. Ascending is all that matters to me. I must cultivate Nantop. Cosmo Sword Sect, Peng Lai, Island of Immortals, Sky Marshal Sect, after I pass through the tribulation and ascend to the upper realm, the first thing I will do is to inform my master about my assassination. If I don't eliminate these people with my own hands, then my name is not Luo Chinchue. Elder Bai, let's go. There's no way anyone would come forward to give us 10,000 spirit stones. Even if they had that much amount, why would they waste on a newly established sect like us? Sect leader, since the sect is newly established, you must be low on funds. This disciple will gladly provide you with 100,000 low-grade spirit stones. How is this possible? Are you saying you're willing to give us 100,000 spirit stones? I guess only a fool would try to join your sect. Yes. Then, so be it. Let me be a fool to join you. It's... It's actually 100,000 spirit stones. Ah. How the heck did we get a crazy person like him to join our sect? Cough. Cough. My sect doesn't even have a place for you to live in. Are you sure you want to join our sect? Sect leader, don't worry. This disciple can hire people to build one in our sect. We're extremely poor and have a shortage of students. We absolutely don't have enough resources to give you. You're greatly mistaken about us. Rest assured, sect leader. If you're low on resources for cultivation, I can buy it for you. No, I'll buy all of them for you. Why do I feel like this fairy-like sect leader doesn't want me to join her sect at all costs? Where did this lunatic come from? You want me to use you to buy cultivation resources? I just lost my cool when you tried to join my sect. Lady Luo's inner thoughts, shut up already. Can't you tell I don't want you to join our sect, huh? Let me tell you something beforehand. Even if you became a member of my sect, I won't look after your cultivation training. So, you won't learn much from here. You have to rely on yourself for everything. What? Hesitating, he's hesitating. He he he. As expected of me. Since I've already said this much, anyone should get scared and step back from here. Sect leader, don't worry. I don't want anything from you. I can complete the missions freely. And there's no one to restrict me for anything. Where can you find such a good sect like this? My lady. Sect leader, please relax. Sect leader? Sect leader. He fucking spent 100,000 spirit stones just to enter the sect. How can he be happy like this? Such an annoying man he is. I'm sure the heavens sent him to torture me. Sect leader, stop making things difficult for us. He's the only disciple who met our demands for joining the sect. You can't reject him now. All right then. From this day on, you are the disciple of our star spirit sect. Ding. Congratulations, dear user. 
You've completed the mission. You have received 100 big spender points as a reward. Ding. Congratulations to the user on big spending 100,000 low-grade spirit stones. During this event, it was a reasonable amount to be spent. You've received 100 big spender points as an additional reward. It came. It came. My big spender points came rushing in at an aggressive speed. Although I don't know much about the specific uses the points have, it's still better than nothing. Hey system, are there any other missions for me? What should I do if I don't have any big spending missions? Ding. Dear user, please search for big spending activities yourself. Ding. A quick reminder, there is no link between the amount of resources consumed and the big spender points. As long as there's a big spending activity, you can obtain guaranteed points. Sect leader, I am the only disciple in this sect, right? Then, that means I'm your direct disciple. It doesn't count. This sect doesn't accept direct disciples. Although I said that I won't look after the disciples of the sect, I promised my father that I would be responsible for their cultivation training in the future. But it looks like you actually want to be my direct disciple. It's not going to happen. Sect leader, just name the price. I'm rich and won't bargain. Huh. You even want to buy the seat for the direct disciple. Interesting. It is possible. Give me 100,000 high-grade spirit stones. As long as you can take out this much amount of spirit stones, our sect will make an exception and take you as our direct disciple. What? Wind blowing. What, did you say? Humph. Humph. Where has your confidence gone now, huh? He he he. We're talking about 100,000 high-grade spirit stones here. Even a third-rate sect can't afford that much. How could a mortal like you obtain it? Only that much? Eh? Sect leader, here are your 500,000 high-grade spirit stones. The remaining 400,000 spirit stones are a gift to teacher for accepting me as your disciple. I am a prodigy at wasting money. I cannot miss this opportunity to get the title of direct disciple. Ding. Congratulations, dear user. You've spent the right amount yet again. You've been rewarded with 200 big spender points. 500,000. 500,000. These are 500,000 high-grade spirit stones for fuck's sake. If you go to any third-rate sect with this number of spirit stones, the sect leader himself will call you his ancestor. A promise is a promise. From now on, you are a direct disciple of our sect. Take this deep black sword. It's a first meeting gift from your master. If news of this incident gets out, my reputation will go down the drain. If news of this incident gets out, my reputation will go down the drain. Good Lord. She actually accepted a direct disciple. She is a saintess of the everlasting shrine for goodness sake. To think she would accept a bribe from the disciple. Disgusting. Ding. The user is an invincible big spender. How can he take away others' belongings? Ding. 20 big spender points will be deducted from the balance. If you return or refund the item, the balance will be restored back to normal. System, you care too much about small details. Thud. What's the meaning of this? Master, I don't deserve such an item. This deep black sword, I don't want it. If you insist on giving it to me, then name the price. Just because you are wealthy doesn't mean you can buy everything with money. If you can't even accept your teacher's kind intentions, then let it be. This disciple is too lacking in insight. This deep black sword is a treasure and a seventh rank spiritual weapon belonging to the seventh order. You dare to return this item. Humph. Elder Bai, isn't the sect leader too dumb? Why isn't she trying to make a profit when I'm offering money? Ha ha ha. It'd be better for you to not say a word. The sect leader might still hear you. However, how come a mere mortal possesses such an astronomical amount of finance? Never mind. 
Our young lady's mood is like a pool of stagnant water. If she doesn't experience changes in her life, her cultivation won't progress and will stop at the bottleneck. The appearance of a broken rock like him is good news. Let's go. This old man will take you to the sect. Okay. Kay. 30. 31. 30 second bird, 33rd bird, so boring. Let's ask the system what the points can do. System, does this fantasy world have spiritual roots, innate skill, divine bodies, etc.? What use do these big spender points have? Full name, Yi Fong, age, 18 years old, realm, mortal, physique, normal, martial arts, none, ability, none, items, none, big spender points, 400 points, today's big spender product. First rate ninth rank heavenly thunder talisman, 10,000 in stock. In the Xintian continent, cultivation can be divided into nine realms. Spiritual Sea Realm, Qi Gathering Realm, Spirit Fusion Realm, Foundation Establishment Realm, Soul Formation Realm, Amethyst Palace Realm, Primordial Soul Realm, Void Realm, and Transcending Tribulation Realm. Every realm is further divided into nine layers. For the Spiritual Sea Realm, one needs to consume ten big spender points in order to upgrade each layer. For the Qi Gathering Realm, one needs to consume 100 big spender points to level up. And as for the Spirit Fusion Realm, one needs to consume 1,000 big spender points to level up. System, the amount of big spender points required in order to upgrade each realm's layer is a little too excessive. Just for the Spirit Fusion Realm, I need 1,000 points to upgrade each layer. Big Spender Department Store, a drop. Toot Toot. 777 big spender, a jar of spirit herbs 100, a jar of spirit ores 100, a jar of techniques 100, a jar of martial arts 100, a jar of array techniques 100, a jar of runes 100, a jar of medicinal pills 100, there is 90% probability of getting first grade medicinal pills and 80% probability of getting second grade medicinal pills when opening a jar. The probability will not change after improvement in the user's cultivation. Mumbling to himself in a low voice, a jar of spirit herbs sells for 100 big spender points. There's a 90% chance of me getting first grade spirit herbs, and there's an 80% chance of getting second grade spirit herbs. Blah blah, the probability will not change upon improvement in cultivation of the user. These products are a bit expensive, but if there's a chance to get a ninth grade spirit herb, spending 100 big spender points is worth it. There's a 10% chance for me to get a ninth grade spirit herb. Chirp! 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 Wait a sec, I want those first grade spirit herbs, but what are the uses of spirit ores? System, ding! Big spending on the various categories of jars containing special items is considered a big spending activity. The higher the level is, the more big spender points you get. Ding! This level of big spending activity requires special circumstances. For example, if the user buys a ninth grade medicinal pill of the highest quality by big spending and steps on it in front of a ninth grade pill alchemist, it can be considered a big spending activity. Drop! Step on. Step on. Smash. Ha. That would result in too much hatred for me to handle. I'm just an ordinary man. If I show off in front of other immortals, I'll step on you and make you meat paste. Pow. 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 Using some big spender points would be better. System, use 90 points to upgrade my cultivation to the ninth layer of spiritual sea realm. H.M. What the? This brat is trying to open up his spiritual sea? Halt! Surging! Ho oh, how could this be possible? Isn't he just opening up a spiritual sea? Where is this enormous spiritual energy coming from? This much energy is enough to open several spiritual seas. The size of the spiritual sea opened by this person is equivalent to the size of 20 men's combined. I have never come across such a genius in my life. World of Consciousness 
Awake. What's going on? Does it take this long to open up a spiritual sea? How much longer will it take? The spiritual energy became stronger. Ho how is this possible? Is he trying to break through to the second layer of the spiritual sea? Opening up the spiritual sea is the same as building one's own foundation. Therefore, the process is an extremely important matter for any cultivator. It not only requires a quiet environment, but also needs external assistance like consumption of medicinal pills to boost the chances of opening up the spiritual sea to its maximum level. Also, after successfully opening up a spiritual sea, one needs some time to stabilize it. But I can't sense any dosage of medicinal pills from this boy's body. Furthermore, while sitting on this flying sword, no matter how stable it is, it'd be difficult for people to even meditate, let alone open up a spiritual sea while breaking through layers of this realm. Burst, how is this possible? Not moving, even a bit. Spiritual sea realm, third layer. Spiritual sea realm, fourth layer. Spiritual sea realm, fifth layer. Sixth, seventh, eighth. Spiritual Sea Realm, Ninth Layer Peak Awake Ten minutes Unexpectedly, it took me a full ten minutes for this. I thought it would be completed in an instant though. Elder by opening up the Spiritual Sea and then breaking through to the Ninth Layer Peak level of the Spiritual Sea Realm took me ten minutes. If my master gets to know about it, would she regard me as a trash student? Trash? Are you saying you're trash? If you're trash, then what am I? When I had sufficient resources for my cultivation training back then, after working hard for eight months, I was able to reach the peak level, the ninth layer of the spiritual sea realm. But that's also under the premise of having a strong technique and the guidance of a powerful cultivator. No wonder you didn't want any techniques from the sect. It turns out you already have a powerful cultivation technique in your possession. What technique? I don't have any techniques, nor do I have any spiritual roots. That's impossible. It's true. You really don't have spiritual roots. Elder Bai, why would I lie to you? So, did he actually open up a spiritual sea or not? Was it just some special type of spiritual sea containing a vast ocean? Let's go. We'll have your master personally take a look at your condition then. He's not my disciple anyway. I'll let the young lady worry about this weird problem instead. Chirp. Chirp. Elder Bai, how come you took so long to come here? Phew. Young lady, your beloved disciple actually made a breakthrough. He opened up his spiritual sea 20 times larger than yours and also broke through to reach the peak level, the ninth layer of spiritual sea realm. One more thing, he doesn't have any spiritual roots within him at all. Let me take a look. Yi Fong, you don't even have a spiritual root. How did you open up your spiritual sea and make a breakthrough? Master, I. Kakik, the full moon sect has come for a formal visit. We asked the Star Spirit sect to come out and greet us. Why is your Star Spirit sect so shameless? You can't always be a sect without a single disciple, can you? I hate this. This weird disciple is already bothersome enough. Now another problem has appeared. When will I be able to cultivate peacefully? What brings you all here? Are you Luo Chinchue, sect leader of the Star Spirit sect? I heard from the people that if one wants to join your sect, they need to pay 10,000 low-grade spirit stones. I was shocked. So I came here with my disciples to test out the disciple who recently joined your sect through that method. If I had no disciples, I would have directly rejected his demand. Why are there so many troubles coming my way? Wait a second. If Yi Fong gets beat up by the opponent and gets defeated, he might be traumatized and leave our sect for good. The opponents have come from far away. Refusing the fight would damage our sex reputation. There are three cultivators who are at ninth layer of spiritual sea realm. Are you confident you can defeat them? 
Looks like the heavenly thunder talisman will come in handy in these types of situations. Master, can I use talismans in this battle? You can. Kakik. Sect leader, you should not favor your disciple too much. Let the disciples learn from each other by themselves. I agree. Take out. He he. He he he, mountain of heavenly thunder talismans, whoa. So many heavenly thunder talismans. A single heavenly thunder talisman can emit the highest rank ninth grade aura wave. Each talisman has the power of a ninth layer spiritual realm user's strike. No matter how many of my disciples fight him, he can't be defeated. Heavenly thunder talismans. Explode. Motherfucker. How is this a fight? Junior brother, go and restrain him. Senior brother, do you want me to get killed? Kakik. This is so much fun. That's a ninth rank heavenly thunder talisman for goodness sake. Even a single one of them costs 1,000 low-grade spirit stones in the market. For an opponent in the same realm, he should have kept that talisman as a hidden card. Why is he playing around with it? Boom. Boom, boom. Master, let's leave. This brat is too much for us to handle. I can't tolerate this. We can't take on any more of these explosions from the Heavenly Thunder Talismans. Star Spirit Sect is a wealthy and powerful clan. They even let their disciple use such valuable ninth rank Heavenly Thunder Talismans as playthings. We shouldn't have provoked them. These bunch of people aren't cut out for the job. They're being completely used by my tyrannical disciple. H.M.? He's looking over here. Wait a second. Don't tell me this disciple thinks that I am terrified of him, so I sent him to face the three enemy disciples without caring for what happens to him. No way. I must show him what his master is capable of and that I deserve some respect. A few hours later, boom. 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 Fuck. This is so much fun. Let's go again. I haven't had enough fun yet. Sing loud endlessly until death. Fight the war endlessly without exhaustion. I can still fight. Let me test out these talismans, alright? Take on my attacks. T slash C, sing loudly, endlessly until death. Exhausting power. These lines come from the game called Three Kingdoms War and most players hate these old-fashioned lines coming from an NPC general in the storyline. MC is trying to mock his opponents with these lines and try to prolong the fight so he can enjoy it more. Master, please save us. The background of this Star Spirit sect is indeed grand and powerful. No wonder the criteria for recruiting disciples was raised so high. Looks like I dug my own grave by coming here. Sect Leader Luo, it seems we have been hasty and brought you troubles. As an apology, I will give you something generous some other day. When we meet again, that is. By then. Turns around. Humph. Do you think our Star Spirit Sect is some place that you can come and go as you please? Primordial Spirit Realm. You are a powerful primordial spirit realm user. Our sect leader is just an expert at the peak of soul formation realm. With her strength, she can single-handedly wipe out the full moon sect. I'll let you go after you pay an arm each. Okay. Crack. 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 Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Get lost now. Yes, we'll leave. H.M. Master is really a ruthless person. All right. Put away the heavenly thunder talismans now. Damn it. I couldn't chase him away this time. Um, Master, can you help me with something, please? With what? I still have more than 9,000 talismans left and I can't just throw them away like this. You, you. Calm down, Luo Chinchue. You have an image of a saintist to maintain, but my disciple is thinking too lightly of these powerful talismans. 
then why should I care about these things? I can't curse him out. I can't curse him out. Hand it over. Looks like you still have many things in your possession. Boom. Intense. Yo. Then, these two started an immersive game of wasting talismans. Boom. Boom. 3122-3123. You guys should go by yourselves. I don't have time for these things. Don't be so boring, senior sister. Too much cultivation is not good for you. Once in a while, one should take some time to relax. Otherwise, at the time of your death, you will regret not enjoying your life. Wouldn't that be more painful for you? You're right. We only live once. Boom. 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 B-O-M. Enemy, enemy attack. Was wrong, it's just the heavenly thunder talismans. What, what in the world are you doing here? Ah, uh, Elder Bai, come sit with us. Um, we're just destroying the heavenly thunder talismans. Elder Bai, come on. Let's burn these talismans together and have fun. We are too tired. So silly. You're seriously doing silly things. One piece of this talisman is worth thousands of low-grade spirit stones. Even if the star spirit sect is rich and powerful, we can't waste money like you. My lady, you too, how could you do stupid things like him? These are worth a lot of spirit stones money. H.M.? Elder Bai, you've grown too old. It's too noisy for you to sleep in the evening, isn't it? You can take these 100,000 high-grade spirit stones to buy a tonic for yourself. Are you looking down on this old man? Although I'm old now, I'm still full of vigor. When will youngsters like you finish throwing it all away? Give the rest of the talismans to this old man. H.M.? This method works too? Next time, I will spend some spirit stones and ask for Elder Bai's help again. I have lived too long. I can't believe there'd come a day when I'd be physically mentally exhausted just from burning some talismans. Yi Fong, from now on, look for me if you have any physical work to do, okay? I'm not old yet. I still have plenty of strength left in me. Um, fine. Although there are only three of us in this sect, why do I feel like something is going to happen in the future? Elder Bai, you are one of the eight elders of Starpole sect. You sold yourself for a mere 100,000 high-grade spirit stones. This is not a matter of spirit stones at all. This is about preserving this old man's dignity. Congratulations, user. You've successfully wasted money on today's Big Spender product. You'll be rewarded with 1,000 Big Spender points. It actually rewarded me with 1,000 points. I should be able to raise my cultivation level to Chi Gathering Realm. I have around 1410 Big Spender points now. If I use it to break through the nine layers of Chi Gathering Realm, I'll still be left with 510 points. With the remaining points, I can buy five jars of any kind from the store. That's right. Currently, our sect only has three people. If I only rely on Elder Bai to earn more points, I'll be earning extremely slowly. If I had a junior brother to take care of, then I could obtain points several times faster than my current speed. Junior Brother X999 In order to help my master make the sect a hundred times better than before, I must take care of all the expenses the sect deals with. This way, I won't have any problems with earning big spender points. Knock. Knock. Excuse me, is your sect still looking for disciples? The floor is obliterated. An old man with a lanky build who looks like he'll die any minute now. A woman who seems too scary to mess with. And a young man who doesn't seem intelligent. Wow. 
My first ever junior brother has come. Is this sect all right? Should I run away before it's too late? You're correct. Our sect is still recruiting disciples. Now, if you can hand over the 10,000 low-grade spirit stone fee, you can easily join our sect. You can also become the sect leader's direct disciple if you have an additional 100,000 high-grade spirit stones on you. As for me, I am Yi Fong, the first ever disciple of this sect and also the direct disciple of sect leader. Now, hurry and say that you don't have any money on you. I'll pay for all your expenses. Ding. Quick reminder, this kind of action doesn't align with the big spending activities unless the user gives a reasonable explanation for doing this. The moment I saw him, I realized that he was my long-lost half-brother who has come here to become my junior brother. I don't have any problem spending some money on my junior brother. Ding. The user's explanation seems valid. Please spend the right amount of spirit stones on him. It worked. Before I climbed the mountain to reach here, I heard people say the condition to join this sect was a bit strange. They won't look at your age, aptitude, or cultivation, but only the money you have. HM? Slip away. I had my doubts, but it's actually true. With 100,000 high-grade spirit stones, you can even buy the sect leader's direct tutelage. Eh? Don't leave yet. Please think it over again. What the dash? I can't. I can't. I'm in a hurry, so. Dot sound transmission. Wu Fong, I suggest that you stay in this sect. Just hand over 10,000 spirit stones to them and officially become the disciple of this sect. After I finish my business, I'll come looking for you. Until then, stay at this sect so that I can feel at ease. A lot of people asked me to concoct pills for them, but I've never agreed. Now that I have become a member of the sect and met my senior brother by chance, woof. Woof. He'll definitely ask me to make pills for me. At that time, I'll be extremely satisfied by his reaction. Oh, right. If I tell senior brother that I am actually an expert that has reached the ninth layer of spirit fusion realm, the peak level, I'm afraid I might shock him to death. Oh. What's up with your reaction? I'm a third rank alchemist for fuck's sake. Why do you sound so uninterested? Shouldn't he be more surprised and praise me nonstop? What's up with his dull response? Oh, by the way, junior brother, do you know which third grade spiritual herb is the most valuable? What? Let me think, phantom bamboo grass, snow spirit flowers, purple thunder fruits and fantasy mushrooms, these are some of the herbs which are rarely found anywhere and it's valuable even to the ninth rank pill alchemist. HM, I got it. System, specify these items, phantom bamboo grass, snow spirit flower and purple thunder fruit. Then, open four jars for each herb from the store. These are 10,000 low-grade spirit stones here. Sect leader, you may check it if you wish. There must be a reason for grandfather to have ordered me to stay here. HM? Weren't you just trying to leave this place? Was that all an act? Is he another fool who spends money like water? Cough. Cough. Did the outside world change while I was cultivating indoors? I don't want to accept disciples anymore. Did spending money like this become a trend these days? Let me say something first. Even if you hand over 10,000 low-grade spirit stones, you won't be able to enjoy any benefits from the sect. We won't provide you with any cultivation resources, techniques, or martial arts. And the most important thing is that I will not look after your cultivation. Are you sure you want to join this sect? I will not back down this time. I will make sure to send away one person at least. Sect leader, don't worry. This disciple doesn't want anything from you. I'm actually an alchemist. My grandfather has already provided me with things I need. I don't want anything at the moment. Congratulations, my lady. You've gained another great disciple in this sect. I'm tired so I'll go and rest. I'll begin your cultivation training tomorrow. The inner and outer disciples both live in the courtyard area. Anyway, 
You two are the only ones in the sect at the moment, so go and take a good rest. Understood. It's hard to understand, Master. She clearly said she won't train us, but now she wants to do it. I was planning on spending money on this junior brother. I never expected him to be rich as well. The confusion continues, then, I won't help increase the number of direct disciples. I, alone, am enough for that position. I am the sect leader's only personal disciple. He. He. he it's a dream. It's all a dream. Now that I think about it, I haven't asked your name yet. Junior brother, what's your name? Greetings, senior brother. My name is Lang Wufeng. So junior brother's name is Wu Fong. He he. Good. 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 Junior brother Wu Feng. I hereby declare that you are officially an inner disciple of this sect from now on. A male's instinct activates. Will I really be okay after following grandpa's orders? The senior brother in front of me looks like he has a screw loose. He seems to be the most unreliable person here. Humming. I have moved into the room over there. Junior Brother Wufeng, what about you? I have finished tidying up the place as well. Senior Brother Yifong, you can come inside and sit down for a bit. H.M. Junior Brother, I am surprised to see that you are an alchemist. That's right. I am actually a third-rank alchemist. The likes of pill alchemists, weapon masters, talisman experts, and array masters are extremely popular professions of high status. As long as you reveal your identity, most people will somewhat admire you. Because even a tiny medicinal pill, a small piece of talisman, or an artifact could determine someone's cultivation and therefore their survival in the future. A lot of people asked me to concoct pills for them, but I've never agreed. Now that I have become a member of the sect and met my senior brother by chance, woof. Woof. He'll definitely ask me to make pills for me. At that time, I'll be extremely satisfied by his reaction. Oh, right. If I tell senior brother that I am actually an expert that has reached the ninth layer of spirit fusion realm, the peak level, I'm afraid I might shock him to death. Oh, what's up with your reaction? I'm a third-rank alchemist for fuck's sake. Why do you sound so uninterested? Shouldn't he be more surprised and praise me nonstop? What's up with his dull response? Oh, by the way, junior brother, do you know which third-grade spiritual herb is the most valuable? What? Let me think, phantom bamboo grass, snow spirit flowers, purple thunder fruits and fantasy mushrooms, these are some of the herbs which are rarely found anywhere and it's valuable even to the ninth rank pill alchemist. HM, I got it. System, specify these items, phantom bamboo grass, snow spirit flower and purple thunder fruit. Then, open four jars for each herb from the store. Ding. The user has used 1,200 big spender points on opening jars of medicinal herbs. Congratulations. You've received two phantom bamboo grass, one snow spirit flower, and three purple thunder fruits. Senior brother Yifong, you are not a pill alchemist. Even though I told you their names, you wouldn't understand. Don't get me wrong, I'm not mocking you. Even me, as an alchemist, have only seen their drawings. I've never seen them in real life. Junior brother, you must be thirsty after working all day. Let me get you a glass of water as your senior brother. Although this senior brother seems a bit strange, he's still a caring person, I guess. Tea later, I'll concoct some pills for my dear senior brother that will help him in his cultivation. He's fast. Phantom Bamboo, Snow Spirit Flower, Purple Thunder Fruit, Junior Brother, what are you? Wasting precious things recklessly. Wasting precious things recklessly. Such precious and rare spiritual herbs were mixed in the water like this. Never imagined I would be able to see such rare herbs that are difficult to find across the entire continent. Senior Brother Yifong, these herbs are actually... 
Eh? I heard that. Even though spiritual herbs mixed with water are not as effective as medicinal pills, it is still good for cultivators like us. It's all my fault. I thought these few spiritual herbs would be good enough for you. It seems Junior Brother didn't like my present because these spiritual herbs were garbage to begin with. Yamit! Stop! Senior Brother Yifong! These are the same rare spiritual herbs that I just mentioned. Let me check if they're real or not. Saved. Ah. Ding. Congratulations, you've successfully spent big again. The user has received 1,500 big spender points as a reward. Lang Wufeng's room. Oh. I got 1,500 big spender points. I got 500 points for each herb that I smashed. I spent 1,200 points on those herbs, so I've made a decent profit. If you don't understand what these herbs are capable of, just ask me next time. For alchemists, these types of spiritual herbs are priceless items. Spiritual herbs like these are so rare that even my grandfather has never seen it in his entire life. I can't believe you destroyed them. Sigh. I never expected these spiritual herbs to be the ones you spoke of a minute ago. Sorry, I had no idea. Come on, get up. They've already been smashed to pieces anyway. You should quickly clean this mess and get some rest. I'll take my leave now. Five minutes later. Few HP minus one. My legs are becoming soft and numb. As expected of spiritual herbs. HP minus one, HP minus one. Skin gradually turning dark. I don't know how senior brother Yifong got these spiritual herbs, but I need to remind him of something. I'm not greedy for those spiritual herbs. Absolutely not. Self-guilt. These three herbs can be used together or separately as a medicine. However, after mixing phantom bamboo grass and purple thunder fruit together, it creates a toxic poison. Though it isn't lethal, it can be troublesome to deal with. What the fuck? What's happening? How the hell did my legs get so dark? I can't even feel them. Not good. Junior Brother Wufung, what's up with my leg? I clearly remember explaining the importance of these precious herbs to him. What should I do? Did I get crippled? Can it be saved? Save me, please. Don't tell me I have to cut off my leg. You actually use these types of herbs to soak your feet, your fucking feet. Ding. Congratulations to the user for successfully spending big again. You've been rewarded with 1,500 big spender points. Ding. Dear user, you can remove the toxins in your legs by using 1,000 points. Oh. Thank goodness. These herbs were not just meant for showing off in front of others. After all, with so many big spender points, I thought about using them to live a luxurious life for once. I wanted to enjoy the medicinal effects of these rare spiritual herbs, but it didn't turn out well. Senior Brother Yifong, I just came here to remind you that, if you mix the phantom bamboo grass and purple thunder fruit together, it'll become highly poisonous. System, use 1,000 big spender points to get rid of the toxins in my legs. How is this possible? It should be extremely difficult to remove this kind of poison from the body. What the fuck? Senior brother, why are you soaking your leg again? Ha! Huh. It feels so good when I soak my legs again. So what if it's highly toxic? I can just use my points to cure it. After all, this is so relaxing. By the way, system, if someone else gets infected by this poison, can I use points to cure them? Ding. You can. Junior Brother Wufum, my tub is big enough for two people. How about we soak our feet together? I guarantee that you will feel good. It'll feel like you're in the seventh heaven. Don't worry about the toxins. I'll take care of that for you. This is definitely highly toxic water. I'm scared to soak in it. Senior brother, I think it's better if I don't. 
How about I report this matter to the sect leader? Although I don't know if these spiritual herbs actually belong to the sect or not, they're still priceless treasures to anyone. Hmm. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not a snitch. System, consume another 1,000 points to get rid of the toxins. Also, consume 900 points to upgrade my cultivation level to the ninth layer of Chi Gathering Realm, peak level. Sec Main Hall. Elder Bai, tell me something. This Yi Fong. Who the hell is he? We don't know. But, as time goes on, his true nature will naturally come out. Isn't it going to be interesting, peeling back layers of his mysterious veil little by little? But the most crucial thing is, he has the power to disturb your state of mind. I feel like that jerk was sent by the heavens to torment me. And then there's that Lang Wufeng. Sai, they're both the same. That's the direction of the residence of the inner disciples. Didn't he just break through to the peak of the spiritual realm? Is he preparing for another breakthrough? Could it be another continuous rise with a burst of breakthroughs this time? Miss, let's wait first. That ye phone kid won't be finished so quickly. Okay. First layer of Chi Gathering Realm. Now at the second layer of Chi Gathering Realm. He's already at the third layer of Chi Gathering Realm. Fourth level of Chi Gathering Realm. Fifth level of Chi Gathering Realm. Six, seven, eight. He's reached the peak of the ninth layer of the Chi Gathering Realm. One more step and he'll reach the Spirit Fusion Realm? It seems like it's over. Five minutes. In less than five minutes. No spiritual roots. Without a master's guidance. He directly broke through from the peak of the ninth layer of the spiritual sea realm to the peak of the ninth level of the chi gathering realm. He broke through an entire realm in one go. Faster than when he went from having no cultivation to the spiritual sea realm at the beginning. His cultivation speed can be considered number one in the Xintian continent. No wonder he was so confident before. It seems he really doesn't need my guidance in cultivation. Do you think that in a few days, he'll surpass me, the sect leader? I praised Yi Fong too much just now. Miss Talent in cultivation was the highest in the sect before. But even the Miss took half a year to go from the spiritual sea realm to the chi gathering realm. Let's comfort Miss a bit. Awkward. No. It's harder to advance as you go into higher realms. Not only do you need some opportunities, but cultivation resources and supportive elixirs. These demands become more pronounced especially when one reaches the foundation establishment realm. If Yi Fong wants to catch up to Miss, he has to diligently cultivate. Let's hope it really does end up like that, or else it would be a huge blow to our Miss. Is this really my unreliable senior marshal brother? He's too terrifying. Going from the spiritual sea realm to the peak of the ninth layer of the chi gathering realm in one breath, while I'm still complacent with my current cultivation layer. Is my marshal brother really human? Interesting. No wonder grandfather asked me to stay in this sect. I will definitely stay here and work hard. Next day. Come here. Wait for me. Name, Yi Fong, age, 18, realm, peak of the ninth level of Qi Gathering realm, physique, mortal body, martial skills, none, divine abilities, none, items, none big spending points, 310 today's squandering acquisition, third grade cleansing profound elixir, nine stripes, nine marks, 10,000 in stock divine abilities, none, items, none, big spending, points, 310, Today's Big Spender Purchase, 3rd Grade Cleansing Profound Pill 9 Stripes 10,000 in Stock. Hmm? 310 points. What a waste. Was I stupefied by the toxic water yesterday? I wasted 2,000 Big Spending Points for nothing. I have too few left. Sob, sob, sob. Wait a moment.
What is this third grade cleansing profound pill exactly? What does nine stripes in the note mean? The nine striped dragon, Sir Jean? I don't understand. I should go find Brother Lang Wufung. Let's quickly use up these pills and bring out some rare spirit herbs. Brother, take a look. Do you think these pills have lost their effectiveness? Don't show me these kinds of things again. Brother Lang Wufung's expression will surely be amusing. Achu. Why did I catch a cold on my very first day here? Junior Brother Wufung, Junior Brother Wufung, Junior Brother Wufung, Junior Brother Wufung? Huh, where is he? Could Junior Brother Wufung have been hit too hard yesterday and run away? Yi Fong, are you looking for Lang Wufung? Elder Bai, have you seen Lang Wufung? Upon learning that Lang Wufeng is a third grade alchemist, the sect master took him to the nearby town early in the morning to buy spiritual herbs. Let's go, I'll help you find them. Then I'll trouble you, Elder Bai. Chirp? Chirp, I didn't expect the town to be so far. It's actually a five hour flight. Should I ask Elder Bai about other uses of these herbs? Elder Bai, have you heard of the bamboo spirit grass, white soul flower, and purple thunder fruit? Did you hear about these from Lang Wufeng? Among these third grade spirit herbs, these three are one of the rarest. For alchemists, they're undoubtedly priceless herbs. I don't know much else. You'd be better off asking Lang Wufeng. So they are truly that precious. No wonder Junior Brother Wufeng said I was wasting valuable resources when I used them for a foot bath. Bright stops. Huh? You use these three rare herbs to soak, your feet? Elder Bai, you should try it too. However, combining bamboo spirit grass and purple thunder fruit produces a strong toxin. Next time I'll get some for you. Get some? Yi Fong, if you happen to get these herbs again in the future, remember to save some for me. After five hours. The town, Yi Fong, why don't you wander around the town for now? I need to take care of something. I'll look for you later. Remember not to cause any trouble. I'll come look for you later. Remember not to cause any trouble. Don't cause trouble. Don't cause trouble. Don't cause trouble. Elder Bai has left the group. Finally, I can find my brothers for some flower wine. He he he. What's this I high pavilion? Qingshan blacksmith shop must be the place for crafting weapons. Wanchun Tower has so many women standing outside, it should be a nice entertainment venue. Young Master, please come in. Tianyu Auction House? System, you say that I'm a big spender, but if the members of the sect aren't around to protect me, what should I do if I encounter danger? I'm afraid I might be doomed. Ding. The system supplies a legion of divine guardians. Should the host encounter a life-threatening scenario, the Divine Guardians will manifest to independently tackle the host's crisis. But they will only deal with enemies threatening the host's safety. Sounds good. I can't wait to ask Junior Brother Wufeng. Tianyu Auction House, there must be an appraiser in the auction house who understands alchemy. Young Master, is there anything I can assist you with? I have a few pills to sell. Can they be auctioned in this esteemed auction house? Young master, our auction house has a sixth grade alchemist dedicated to appraising pills. I'll take you to him. Young master, may I know what grade the pill you want to auction is? Chow Anchan. It's this cleansing profound pill. Just a mere third grade cleansing profound pill. Hmm? Nine stripes? It's actually a nine-striped cleansing profound pill. Uh, is this pill very powerful? Very powerful. Crafting the cleansing profound pill requires a lot of attention to detail. Any small mistake could result in an incomplete pill. Although it's a third-grade cleansing profound pill, cultivators can only consume it in the spirit fusion realm, chi gathering realm, and the spiritual sea realm. But with nine stripes, the pill's effects are maximized. The most I've seen are eight stripes on a first grade cleansing profound pill. What are eight stripes and nine stripes? What do they mean? 
Young Master, a complete pill is an ideal ten-striped pill. Each stripe represents one-tenth of the potency of a complete pill. Two stripes are 20% potency, and so on. This guy is, seriously, he won't shut up, up till this day. I've never heard of anyone being able to craft 10 stripes on even the lowest grade first grade pill. Even if it's a one-striped pill, its effects are much stronger than direct consumption of spirit herbs. Being able to craft stripes are important benchmarks for alchemists. Smack. Then how much will this pill sell for? A third grade pill normally costs around tens of thousands of low grade spirit stones. But this cleansing profound pill not only eliminates impurities within the body, but is also nine striped. The exact price is hard to estimate, we'll probably only know once it's auctioned. What? This measly pill is worth tens of thousands of low grade spirit stones? This guy forgot that just hiring Elder Bai and getting accepted as the direct disciples cost him 600,000 high-grade spirit stones. Measly pill? Twitching. Thank you, sir. When will the auction be held? Young master, today's your lucky day. There's an auction this afternoon. All right, I've got another one here. You can contact the auction house manager and include these two pills in the afternoon's auction. Once you've sold them, I'll come by to pick the spirit stones up. This brat is so damn arrogant. This measly pill is unexpectedly so expensive. I want to see how many big fools bid on these two pills. Muttering under breath. Big you fools? A sixth grade pill refiner and a high level cultivator in the Amethyst Palace realm. This thing's not a bad snack. It tastes pretty good. A woo, a woo. A woo, a woo. Doggy, I just did some quick calculations and found that you and I are fated. From now on, you'll follow me. Big bun. Eat up, eat more. You're so hungry, you'll definitely eat a lot later. This time, I'm going to spend all 10,000 cleansing profound pills. Even if the four of us in the sect eat them together, our cheeks will puff up dot hee hee hee. Next time when I get pills in the loot, I'll give them to little yellow doggy to eat. By the way, if the people in this world realize that they're living worse than a dog one day, will they collapse? Woof. Come, let's go take a bath first. Then you can start working for me. A few minutes later, restaurant. Here we are. Dirty and messy. Young master, you can't bring your dog into the restaurant. How many spirit stones? Give me a number for a top tier guest room. I want to give my dog a bath. As long as I'm here, no amount of money will let it in. Hmm. Young master, if the water isn't hot enough, I can go heat another bucket. Get lost. All right. Bang. Reconfirming that this expense isn't considered extravagant. Spending ten times the price to get a room doesn't count as big spending? What are you looking at? Hurry up and get clean. You have to start working for me after you finish your bath. If not for you, I'd have easily gained another hundred big spending points this time. Woof. This doggy is so dumb. I should try to increase its intelligence if I get the chance. Crunch Crunch A silly doggy is just a silly doggy. It doesn't even care to check if it's poison. Panting heavily. From now on, you'll be my hard-working servant. I'm gonna go out and see if there's anything fun to do. Raise his head. One hour later. Hey! Doggy, hurry up and continue eating. You got lazy after just eating a little over 2,000? Woof! If you don't want to eat, forget it. I'm too lazy to wander around. Let's sleep together. Being a big spender is really exhausting. 
and at this moment, Yi Fong had no idea that the dog by his side, after consuming the dried nine-striped cleansing profound pills, was undergoing a transformation into a beast. Elder Xia, I finally got to make a trip here, but you were gone the entire morning. Don't you just come here every time to ask me to treat you to a meal? Elder Bai, at the branch of the Purple Phoenix City's auction house, I received two special pills third grade cleansing profound pills. Do you know how many stripes they have? Cleansing profound pills? If it can keep you busy for a whole morning, it should have more than seven stripes. Were they refined by those old fellows? Nine stripes. And there are two of them. I don't know who refined them, but a young man brought them to the auction house for sale. I personally examined them. Those two cleansing profound pills can be considered perfect, nearing the ideal state of a 10-strike pill. Huh? Elder Xia, do you know the name of that young man? I don't know. Not only did that young man not leave his name, he didn't even pay the auction house deposit. He handed it over to an appraiser at the auction house and left, only saying that he would come back for the auction proceeds later. Unclear. Based on the information I've gathered, it seems this young man doesn't care at all about these two pills. It's very likely that he's from some hidden sect or sacred place. Clear. Clear. Elder Xia, come with me. I'll take you to meet someone. Who is it? Didn't my young miss establish a sect? The person I'm taking you to meet is her direct disciple. What's there to see in a direct disciple? You don't understand. Same time, at the Tianyu Auction House. Tianyu. Auction House. You two are quite lucky. I didn't expect to come across the never-before-seen nine-striped cleansing profound pills while searching for spirit herbs for you. These two third-grade nine-stripes cleansing profound pills will be tremendously beneficial for you too. Today, no matter the cost, I, as your master, will help you secure them. Thank you, master. What are your thoughts on the way this master treats you? Master, you're really too kind, yay. Feel free to admire me as much as you want, my direct disciple. Hmm, this is the place. The door seems to be locked. Could he be sleeping? A qualified cultivator shouldn't waste precious time on sleep. Yi Fong, get up. Huh, Elder Bai, why are you here? Did you finish your business? Stupid dog, you always keep sleeping. Why haven't you finished eating these pills? Kick. I think I just saw something. Those are nine strike third grade cleansing profound pills. I wanted to keep them as a family heirloom for future generations, but a dog is rejecting them. I, a ninth rank alchemist, who is the secret boss of the Tianyu auction house, am actually inferior to a dog. Elder Xia, this isn't an ordinary stray dog. Haven't you noticed hat the natural spiritual energy of heaven and earth flowing into its body? Although it's extremely rare, at this rate, in less than a year, this little yellow dog might become a demonic beast. Huh? Indeed, there's no demon bloodline in its body. It's undergoing a transformation from an ordinary wild beast into a demonic beast. This dog's body is completely pure. How many nine-stripe third-grade cleansing profound pills did you give this dog? Me? How many? Not that many. Just a bit over 2,000, I guess. Puff, thunk. A bit over 2,000. A bit over 2,000. A bit over 2,000. By Tian Hong, is this the great disciple of your star spirit sect? Feeding such precious nine strike third grade cleansing profound pills to a dog? Don't you care at all? Care? How can I care? This kid is so rich and powerful that I have to work for him. How do you expect me to care? By Tian Hong, aren't you one of the eight elders of the Star Spirit sect? A third layer transcending tribulation realm expert? You might break through to the fourth layer at any time, and yet you say that you're working for a disciple of your own sect? There's no way around it. He gave me too much. 
Elder Bai, I wonder if you could do me a favor. As usual, 10,000 high-grade spirit stones. There's no choice. The dog is starting to get picky. I have to hurry up and finish the remaining 7,000 cleansing profound pills. I'll need some help. Yi Fong, are you, you're not trying to get me to help eat these cleansing profound pills, are you? How many do you have left? Forceful composure, Elder Bai, there are still over 7,000 left. They must be finished before tonight. You're not having dental issues, are you? Humph. I'm not old yet. My teeth are perfectly fine. You agreed so easily? And aren't you wearing dentures? Elder Bai, let's start eating. Crunch, crunch. Doggy, why are you staring? Hurry up and eat the remaining clear profound pills on the ground or I'll stew you. Tastes good, tastes good. They've gone mad. They've all gone mad. Who's the greatest pill eater? I didn't expect nine striped pure profound pills to be so delicious. Although their effects are useless for me, eating them is still enjoyable. Although I've taken five striped ninth grade pure profound pills before. One pill nearly emptied out one-tenth of my savings. Although their effects were somewhat helpful, the taste can't compare to these nine-striped pure profound pills. Even though they're only third grade, if I could have had this opportunity 60 years earlier. Elder Bai, if you don't want to eat them, it's fine, I'll give you a hundred thousand high-grade spirit stones. Kid, you wouldn't understand. If Elder Bai and I could have eaten these pure profound pills back in the day, we might have transcended the heavenly tribulation and ascended to the higher realm by now. We wouldn't have been stuck like this, unable to see a glimmer of hope. Both of us are at the peak of the third layer of the transcending tribulation realm. Although we have long been capable of reaching the fourth layer of the transcending tribulation realm, we have been unable to make a breakthrough because we can't guarantee whether we can withstand the fourth layer of the transcending tribulation realm. If we fail, we'll perish. I understand, Senior. I wonder if you could help Elder Bai in the future. Of course, the Junior will certainly not let your assistance go unrewarded. How about a hundred thousand high-grade spirit stones as compensation, just like today? I'm not from the Star Spirit sect, is that okay too? Yes, yes. All right, this time I'll help Elder Bai. After some time. Crunch, crunch, it is still too slow. When will Master and Junior Brother Wufeng arrive? Yi Fong, those two pure profound pills auctioned at Tian Yu Auction House are yours too, right? My cheeks are sore, better eat slower. Yes. Those two pure profound pills are also mine. These measly pills can be sold for tens of thousands of low-grade spirit. I just wanted to see who the scapegoat will be. Selling one for a million low-grade spirit stones wouldn't be considered expensive. Measly pills? Scapegoat? You put them up at the auction house just to find a scapegoat? I sensed them. They're in the third room on the east side of the second floor. Your senior brother and elder by are in there. Senior brother, he definitely wouldn't expect that Master spent a fortune to get us brothers something good. Senior brother Yi Fong, look here. I wonder what kind of expression he will make. So what if he is rich? These pills aren't something you can easily buy with money. This time, it all depends on my luck. Master bought us pure, profound pills. Why aren't you going in? Crack, crack, her passion. Got destroyed. Her darkest moment, master. The, the scapegoat. In the end, I still messed up. So, the measly pills my disciple casually put up at the auction house are the ones I ended up fighting with numerous bidders in a life and death struggle over. Indeed, young miss. I thought that these auction pills would turn the tide. Who would have thought I was the one who ye phone made a scapegoat? Elder Bai, do you think I'm ridiculous? Young miss, well, after all, it was for their sake. 
Master, senior brother. Can I eat these pure profound pills? Finally, there's someone here to eat with us. Of course, you can eat as much as you want, eat to your heart's content. Senior brother is amazing. Rise with the aid of pills, restore your past cultivation. Don't rush like that. Fall down. Oh no. Ordinary wild beasts are viscerally attracted to the pills. If the dog eats them, I'll be heartbroken. Kick. Eh. Master Luo, it's important to exercise caution when discussing matters related to handling people's finances and performing services for them. However, considering your role as his master, you should ideally have a stronger influence over his actions. Such precious nine-striped profound cleansing pills, he gave over 2,000 of them to that little dog. It's simply squandering a priceless treasure, squandering it. 2,000? After all, dogs eat faster than people. I never thought I'd be living worse than a dog. Wawa. Elder Bai, Elder Xia, Junior Brother, quickly finish eating these profound cleansing pills. Why did I end up with a disciple like him? One hour later. Huff, 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 I can't eat anymore. We still don't have enough people. There are still over 2,000 left. Ding. You can't force me to eat. Refusal. Master, just finish this. There are only a little over 2,000 left. I can spend a large sum of money to buy the remaining profound cleansing pills. The remaining 2,000 plus pills, if sent to my father's sect, can definitely cultivate many talents. Master, it's not that I don't want to sell, but that I can't sell. All of these are squandering items given by the system. If I sell these leftovers, it will definitely deduct my squandering points. I'll pay ten times the price. Oh dear. How can a master talk about money with their disciple? Moreover, this inexplicable looking direct disciple is not someone who lacks money at all. Oh, my respected master, the taste of these pills is actually quite good. Won't you try them? Where did you get that plate from? Two hours later. Finally finished eating. I ate a bit too much. I'm going to lie down for a while. Ding. Congratulations to the host for successfully hiring by Tian Hong for squandering rewards 100 big spender points. Ding. Congratulations to the host for successfully hiring Xia Tianyu for squandering rewards 200 big spender points. Ding. Congratulations for squandering all of today's items rewards 1000 big spender points, 3 9th tier 9 leaf resurrection herbs, and 5 9th tier grass. Big spender points plus 100, big spender points plus 200, big spender points plus 1,000, 3 9th tier 9 leaf resurrection herbs. Ding! The rewarded items being consumed in a squandering manner won't give a large amount of big spender points. The host may use them as he pleases. Huh! Besides big spender points, they're actually also giving other rewards too? Sigh! Elder Bai, as a sect master and a master, do you think what I am doing is interesting? This. There's no need for guidance in cultivation, no need for resources for cultivation, and I even earned some extra money from my own personal disciple. I also suspect that Yi Fong is less like a disciple of the sect and more like the sect's god of wealth. Just that this god of wealth is a bit too extravagant. Elder Xia, I heard you're a ninth tier pill refiner. Have you heard of the ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herb? Here we go again. Nine leaf resurrection herbs? I'm too familiar with this thing. Nine leaf resurrection herb. That's the legendary spirit herb. Elder Xia, speak normally. My eardrums are about to burst. Nine leaf resurrection herb, commonly known as resurrection herb, is a plant whose each leaf has the effect of the resurrection herb. Much less nine-leaf resurrection herb. I've never even seen a one-leaf resurrection herb before. Resurrection herbs are the most crucial herbs for the refinement of the revival life-saving pill. There's none other like it.
If one consumes the revival life-saving pill, within 24 hours, even if the soul is extinguished, it can bring the soul back to life. Whoa, farewell playing dead. To put it mildly, the revival life-saving pill is something any expert in the transcending tribulation realm would desperately want to obtain. With the protection of the pill, even if the body is destroyed due to a failed tribulation, the soul can be preserved. You can find a way to rebuild the body in the future. The realm of the dead, drag him over and kill him. Again and again, the mortal realm, sharpening the knife, jump on sideways, I can't take it anymore. I really want to stab him. Speaking of which, why do you ask? Could it be that this kid has it too? If he didn't have it, he wouldn't be asking. Elder Sia, do you know about the bamboo spiritual herb, white soul flower, and purple thunder fruit? I do. These three types of spirit herbs are extremely rare, but the major sects have some in their possession, more or less. What about them? This kid was soaking his feet in these three spirit herbs yesterday, what the heck? Too hateful. Too hateful. Stay calm and sit down. Yi Fong, you should have the ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herbs, right? Without further explanation, it should be clear that this type of herb is definitely legendary. Please don't soak your feet in it this time. But I have three plants. Taking out one to soak my feet should be fine. Although I'm a wealthy squandered, I'm still wealthy. I must enjoy what I should enjoy. Soaking my feet in a third tier herb feels great, so how could I not try soaking them in a ninth tier herb? He's serious. No. Absolutely not. Yi Fong, do, do you really have three ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herbs? Name your price, no matter the cost, I want those three ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herbs, even if it costs everything. Ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herbs can refine a pill that resurrects the dead. If it's used for soaking feet, it's not just squandering a treasure, it's lunacy. Pull out. Master, this nine leaf resurrection herb is a token of my filial respect to you. T this. As my personal disciple, he has given me a hundred thousand high grade spirit stones. He also gave me four hundred thousand high grade spirit stones as a gift. And today, he is also giving me a priceless nine leaf resurrection herb. What will I continue to receive from him in the future? Master, just accept me. Wait a minute, why do I feel like I'm being adopted by my disciple? No, no, this ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herb can't be accepted. No, this is not right. In the future, when I undergo tribulation, I might also need the revival life-saving pill. I'm definitely going to soak my feet with this second ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herb. No one can stop me. As for this third ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herb, Elder Bai, as long as you help me with some physical labor in the future, it's highly likely to be yours. Huh, I have a share too. Yi Fong, as long as I help you with some hard work, I can get that ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herb, right? Huh? What do you think of me? Elder Xia, what do you mean? That ninth tier nine leaf resurrection herb belongs to me. Don't even think about it. Nothing much. I just have a feeling that I can obtain the nine leaf resurrection herb. You better go back to your place quickly. I'll take care of our sex matters. If senior brother Yi Fong uses the nine leaf resurrection herb for soaking his feet, can I join him and soak together just for a bit? Master Luo. In ancient times. There was Lu Fengxian who paid respect to his father, and now we have Xia Tianyu surrendering. You, who has been drifting through half a lifetime, only regrets not entering the sect. If little Chen Chiyued doesn't mind, TL note, referring to himself as you. As his name is Xia Tianyu, NB, TL note, NB means notes well or pays attention you wants to become an honorary elder in your esteemed sect. Can you accommodate that? Elder Xia, as a ninth tier alchemist, and your formidable cultivation at the third layer of the transcending tribulation realm, your Tianyu auction house covers nearly one fifth of the Xintian continent. And you want to join our humble star spirit sect? Yes. 
Little Chin Chiyue, when you were young, this old man once held you. If you disagree, I'll go talk to your father. Yi Fong can casually take out three legendary herbs and give them away as gifts and soak his feet in them. Don't listen to Elder Xia. This indicates that these things are not important to him at all. He must have plenty of good stuff in his hands. If I don't act fast, I won't have another chance. Sure, but Elder Xia, what about your auction house business? Oh well, I'll leave the auction house business to my unreliable son. Elder Xia, you're ruthless. Elder Bai, I've always wanted to see that expression of being powerless against me on your face. Who gets that nine-leaf resurrection herb will depend on our respective performances. What's our goal? Number one, to seek revenge in the upper realm. Number two, transcending tribulation and ascending. Number three, dedicate oneself to cultivation. Ugh, it's over. I didn't want to expand the sect. Having two new disciples out of nowhere is one thing, but how did we end up with a ninth-tier alchemist as well? By the way, do any of you know about the gold silkworm, gold silkworm star gem? You have gold silkworm star gems? No, no. I was just asking, asking, just asking. They're looking at me like they want to eat me alive. It seems like this gold silkworm star gem is definitely much more amazing than the nine leaf resurrection herb. He he. Yi Fong definitely has gold silkworm star gems that he's hiding from us. Senior brother, where in the world did you summon the god of wealth from? How come you have everything? Tremble, tremble. Huh? Return to the sect immediately. Miss, is something wrong? It's nothing. My father has come. He said there's an important matter to discuss, but I feel like he's just here to inspect my sect. After five hours. Father, I'm back. Chin Chiyue, you've really disappointed your father. Father, why did you decide to drop by all of a sudden? I am disappointed. So disappointed. The other day was your Star Spirit Sex Recruitment Day. Where are the sex disciples? I thought the Star Spirit Sect would be lively and that someone would offer me tea when I arrive. I brought a lot of things to distribute amongst the disciples, but there wasn't a single person here. I waited all alone until it got late, but none of you returned. So I had to send you a message. Five hours ago. D. Cough Cough. Father, these two are the disciples who I've recruited into the Star Spirit Sect. The one on my right is Yi Fong, and the other one is Lang Wufeng. Few luckily, I have these two disciples to serve as scapegoats. Father, please don't be angry. Look, I accepted Yi Fong as my personal disciple. I was an orphan in my past life. So I want to cherish my loving parents this time. Oh, a personal disciple? My precious daughter who has never cared about anything since she was a child, except cultivating all day, took in a personal disciple. What spiritual root does he possess? He has none. His talent? None, no talent. What's his cultivation level? His current cultivation is. This guy is basically useless. Cough. How did he become your personal disciple? Um, he bought the position of personal disciple with 500,000 high-grade spirit stones. That's right, that's how it happened. What? He bought the position of personal disciple? Even if you're a lousy sect master, you shouldn't casually accept a direct disciple. Daughter, father doesn't remember teaching you to be like this. If you don't have money, you can ask me. Father, please let me explain. Yi Fong, you must be tired from standing. Come, sit down and take a rest. Xia Tian Yu, acting like this in front of the sect master, are you out of your mind? The weather is growing colder. We can't let Yi Fong catch a cold. Wrap yourself in a blanket. Is the temperature all right? By Tian Hong, are you still an elder of our Star Peak sect? 
and Xia Tianyu, how did an old guy like you end up in my daughter's sect? A few minutes later, a dog ate more than 2,000 Nanstract profound cleansing pills, and you even received a legendary nine leaf resurrection herb. He isn't a personal disciple, he is the god of wealth. Don't even mention the Star Spirit sect, even the entire Star Peak sect would worship him like an ancestor. Exactly. So, we suspected that Yi Fong might actually be from. No need to say it. I came here this time to check on Chen Shiyue's sect. Since everything is fine here, I can rest assured. I have some family matters to discuss with Chen Shiyue. You all can leave for now. Understood. Courtyard area. Senior brother, I brought the foot soaking water for you. The temperature is just right. Are you going to soak too? Senior brother, I'll soak after you. All right, do you think your senior brother is really that stingy? Go get another basin. Let's share that ninth tier resurrection herb. We'll each get half. Thank you, senior brother. Yi Fong is really something. He's actually soaking his feet in the nine leaf resurrection herb. My heart is bleeding. Today is another beautiful day. Truly, it's worthy of the name Nine Leaf Resurrection Herb. Just soaking my feet in it revitalized my spirit and energy in an extraordinary way. I have to admit that the Nine Leaf Resurrection Herb is truly remarkable. The effects from soaking my feet probably aren't even one thousandth of its potential, yet my body and soul feel somewhat purified. I currently have 2,510 big spender points, so I'll save them for now. Today's big spender items, Abyssal Sword and Tent, Broken Remnants 10,000 in stock. What in the world are these Abyssal Sword and Tent Broken Remnants? Doggy, come here. Woof woof. The system says you just need to touch your forehead with these remnants? Doggy, are you kidding me? Actually, when it comes to using these Abyssal Sword and Tent Broken Remnants, there doesn't seem to be any change. System, what happens if I don't use the big spender items in a squandering way? Can I also use them? Although it sounds a bit absurd, having read various fantasy novels, I can tell that Abyssal Sword and Tent Broken Remnants is definitely a rare and precious item. Ding! A significant amount of big spender points will be deducted. Holy cow! A significant amount? Seems like I can't use this myself, and I can't ask others either. If they hoard it privately, it could lead to trouble. Come, follow me inside. Chen Chiyue, have you considered sending those two kids to the Heavenly Dao Battlefield for training? The Heavenly Dao Battlefield? I indeed can't guide them much. I'm not worried about Ji Fong, but Lang Wufeng, I'm afraid he might have an accident. I'll send a few inner disciples to participate in the Heavenly Dao battlefield with them. But why are you so confident about Ji Fong? Although Yi Fong possesses treasures that even strong cultivators covet, he's ultimately just an ordinary human. In the Heavenly Dao battlefield, weaker cultivators or monsters can easily kill him. Father, Yi Fong might lack spiritual roots, but he's not an ordinary person. With his strength, he can definitely protect himself in the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Impossible. Without spiritual roots, he's just a mortal. Don't try to defend Yi Fong like that. Not only did he reach the peak of the ninth layer of the Qi Gathering Realm without spiritual roots, but the spiritual sea he developed is more than 20 times larger than mine. I also find it hard to believe what Elder Bai said, but the fact is, I have to admit, this is even more impossible. When you developed your spiritual sea back then, you broke Star Peak sex record and even alarmed the Grand Ancestor. How could an ordinary person possibly create a spiritual sea more than 20 times larger than yours? This is simply a fantasy. The Road to Hell, the Soul Crossing Bridge the sword has not been drawn yet. Let the person go first. Is this the place? Elder Bai, Elder Xia, you're here too. Where's Lang Wufeng? He ran away, 
The sword intent here is too terrifying. Wufum couldn't handle it, so it's just the two of us. Elder Bai, Elder Xia, I'll lead the way. Protect me. Is this the place? There are no traces of anyone else. Maybe Yi Fong did something again. Isn't Yi Fong right there? Huh? Go, doggy. Damn, it's that rascal Yi Fong. At first, I didn't notice it. The one emitting such a terrifying broken remnants of abyssal sword intent is actually the dog. A dog can comprehend such incredibly difficult and powerful broken remnants of abyssal sword intent. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. Hey, why are you guys here? Yi Fong, did this dog comprehend sword intent? Where? It's so dumb, how could it comprehend anything? I just happened to have some abyssal sword intent broken remnants so I let him use them. What? Abyssal sword intent broken remnants. Exactly. Master and Elder Xia are looking at me with eyes full of deep hatred. Broken remnants of abyssal sword is an extremely powerful form of sword intent. Even in the heavenly Tao battlefield, obtaining it is no easy task. It depends entirely on luck. Yet you actually use these precious abyssal sword intent broken remnants like that? Even if you're wasteful, you should have some limits. Bonk. Ouch. The heavenly Tao battlefield? What's that? Telling you about it won't hurt. I was planning to send you to the heavenly Tao battlefield for some training. Our Xintian continent is just one of countless lower realms. All lower realm dimensions can access the heavenly Tao battlefield, and depending on your strength, you will enter different areas. Spiritual Sea Realm, Chi Gathering Realm, Spirit Fusion Realm, Foundation Establishment Realm, Soul Formation Realm, Amethyst Palace Realm, Primordial Soul Realm, Void Realm, Transcending Tribulation Realm. No one knows how the heavenly Tao battlefield came to be, but it's filled with abundant cultivation resources, opportunities, legacies, and treasures. Of course, besides the danger of other lower realm beings, you also need to be cautious of formidable local beasts. A single mistake could lead to your demise within the heavenly Tao battlefield. Ding! Random mission activated. The host is requested to proceed to the second layer of the Heavenly Tao battlefield and defeat 100 peak Chi Gathering Realm Beasts. Success will be rewarded with a large amount of Big Spender Points. Failure results in a deduction of a large amount of Big Spender Points. You may reject the mission. Huh? The previous mission where the system only provided Big Spender Points was the one to join the Star Spirit Sect. This time, the amount is unspecified. It only says that it will be a large amount. But how can I kill a hundred beasts of the same realm? I have the spiritual power, but I lack martial techniques. Yi Fong, may I ask, how many abyssal sword intent broken remnants you used on this dog? This dog's broken remnants of abyssal sword intent is already very strong. I speculate it has reached the peak of sword intent and could break through to the sword heart realm at any time. Speaking of which, our Star Peak Sex Grand Ancestor dedicated hundreds of years to cultivation and coupled with his numerous past opportunities, only managed to comprehend up to the Sword Heart Realm, while the Frosty Heaven Sword Heart is powerful. It pales in comparison to the overwhelming strength of the Abyssal Sword Heart. Not many, just around 10,000 pieces of broken remnants of Abyssal Sword intent. I used them without hesitation. 10,000 Abyssal Sword Intent Broken Remnants 10,000 What a waste! Insanely reckless! It's something everyone desires, and you gave it to a dog? Let's leave it at that this time, I'm sorry, I'm brave enough to try again. It's a good thing I didn't seek their assistance, or else there would have been a huge problem. Father, please take him away quickly, or else... I'm afraid I might lose control and slap this disciple, who only knows how to be wasteful, to the death. After the training ends, I'll send him back to you as soon as possible. I'm afraid even I won't be able to hold back. Master, where are we going? The Star Spirit Sect is just a sect I had Chen Chiyue established to cultivate her state of mind. Your true sect is the Star Peak Sect. Let's head to the Star Peak Sect now. 
when the time comes, you can follow the other senior brothers to the Heavenly Dow battlefield. It'll be good to have some company. Huh? Senior brothers? Master, is our Star Peak sect strong? Master, what realm are you in? Does our sect not even have a convenient transportation beast? Master, is our sect too poor? Do you need some support? Master, are my senior brothers and sisters in the Star Peak sect almost starving? Master, do I need to give my senior brothers and sisters spirit stones? Master, master. Enough, shut up already. Our sect is prosperous enough. Excuse me, we want two single rooms. Master, I'll pay. Shut up. Who knows what the item to squander tomorrow will be. It's not easy to earn these big spender points. I slept really comfortably. Status bar, name, Yi Fong, age, 18, realm, Qi gathering realm, ninth layer peak, physique, mortal body, martial techniques, none, divine abilities, none, items, none, big spender points, 3510, today's big spending, items, 1000 high grade spirit stones, huh? This time the items to squander are actually high grade spirit stones. Luckily, it's only a hundred thousand pieces, so it shouldn't be too troublesome to deal with. He, I already know how to spend it all. System, purchase martial technique vials, specifically those with human rank high tier martial techniques. No matter how many, keep opening them until I get one. Similar to the description of the spirit herb vials, the martial technique vials should also have a probability of around 90% to get human rank low tier martial techniques and around 80% to get human rank mid tier martial techniques. Ding! A hundred big spender points have been consumed. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the human rank high tier martial technique fire dragon fist loading. I got it after spending only a hundred points. I'm really lucky. Wait, Fire Dragon Fist? System requires Fire Attribute Spiritual Chi to execute. But I don't have Fire Attribute Spiritual Roots. Where am I going to get the Fire Attribute Spiritual Chi? Wait a moment. Try changing your Spiritual Chi. Wow, it's hard to believe that despite having no spiritual roots, I can convert the pure spiritual power in my body into various attributes of spiritual chi. Might as well try the fire dragon fist. Yi Fong, hurry and get up for breakfast. We need to continue our journey afterward. Coming. Maybe I'll try this fire dragon fist a bit later. Half an hour later. I told you yesterday that we need to hit the road early today, yet you still took your time to leisurely have breakfast, eating slowly is good for physical and mental health. Yi Fong, what are you doing, dropping blessings from the sky to make a windfall? Yi Fong, although I don't know how many spirit stones and good things you have, you can't waste them like this, when you have nothing left one day, even if you wake up to reality, it'll be too late. Understand? Master, do you know what's the most painful thing in life? Everyone has their own life, so the most painful thing for each person is different. For sword fanatics who specialize in the path of the sword, the most painful thing is probably not comprehending the true essence of the sword before they die. For alchemists who specialize in the path of pill refining, the most painful thing is likely not being able to refine a peerless elixir worthy of leaving a legacy as they approach death. For formation masters who specialize in the path of formations, the most painful thing is probably not creating the ultimate formation they envision before they die. Master, I don't know about others, but the most painful thing for me is dying while still having money left. You wasteful brat. I want to see how long you can keep throwing things. This is the Star Peak sect. I'm finally done throwing. My hands are about to go numb. Wow. Our star spirit sect is nothing but a small hill. It can't even be compared at all. Steward Song. This child is my personal disciple. 
In a few days, the other senior disciples will head to the heavenly Tao battlefield. Yi Fong, be well behaved these few days. We'll depart in three days. Steward Song, I'm Yi Fong. I'll be troubling you for a few days. Don't mention it. Clatter. Steward Song, what's going on over there? Oh, today is the day when the outer and inner disciples spar. You can go join in the fun. Ding. A random task has been issued. The host has to become the champion and defeat a hundred opponents of the same realm. Success will result in 500 big spender points. Task failure will result in a 500 point deduction. You may refuse. 500 points? I just so happen to be short on big spender points. I'll go give it a try. Completely didn't pay attention to what Master said. Arena. Oh, who's that person? They're not even wearing our Star Peak sex robe. He actually stepped onto the arena. Is he preparing to challenge someone? Could it be someone from another sect coming to provoke us? I, Yi Fong, Peak of the Ninth Realm of the Qi Gathering Realm Peak, am the personal disciple of the esteemed Luo Jiangshu. Today, I'll be participating in the challenge here, and I ask all the senior brothers and sisters for their guidance. What? He's the Holy Maiden's personal disciple? I've heard about the Holy Maiden establishing her own sect. I wonder how he caught the Holy Maiden's attention. If I could become the esteemed disciple of the Holy Maiden, even if I had to shorten my life by decades, I'd be willing. I'll do it. It's Meng Yang. They say he joined the sect less than three years ago, but his cultivation has already reached the peak of the ninth realm of the Qi Gathering Realm Peak. Indeed, they say the earth rank middle tier cultivation technique he practices is superior to martial techniques in the earth rank low tier. Looks like there's a good show coming. I'm curious about the strength of Senior Luo Qianxiu as Grand Disciple. Seems like you're quite well known in the sect. It's not bad. It took me less than three years to reach the peak of the ninth realm of the Qi Gathering Realm. How long did Brother Yi Feng take? Me? It took me about ten minutes to break through to the peak of the ninth layer's peak of the spiritual sea realm. It took me a little over twenty minutes to go from the ninth layer's peak of the spiritual sea realm to the peak of the ninth realm of the Qi Gathering Realm. It actually took him about five minutes to reach the ninth layer's peak of the Qi Gathering Realm. What nonsense are you spouting? It's ridiculous. This guy must be dreaming. Meng Yang took three years, but he took 30 minutes? 30 minutes? It takes me 30 minutes just to find a restroom when I have a stomach ache. Yi Feng's bragging seems a bit excessive. Arrogant and conceited. With such an attitude, why would the Holy Maiden choose him as the personal disciple? If that's the case, I'm afraid countless prodigies of the Xian Tian continent will be trampled under his feet. You don't believe it when I say it. Quit the nonsense, come on. Damn. Meng Yang used the Misty Water Steps, an Earth Rank Mid Tier Movement Technique. Humph. Fire Dragon Fist. What the heck is this? Not good, I can't dodge it. I have to use the wave splitting sword to defend. Slash. Oh no. Protect the junior disciples. Damn, we can't withstand this terrifying spiritual impact. Look. That fire dragon hasn't disappeared yet. What? Whoa. Ah. Even the wave splitting sword can't block it. We're in trouble now. Fire Dragon Fist. Fire Dragon Fist. Fire Dragon Fist. Haha, <laughs> I've been wanting to make this move. Roar. Where did this monster come from? I surrender. Who's next? I want to fight a hundred of you. Is this what sparring feels like? It's so exhilarating. Run. What on earth? Wait, stop damaging the sex property. Eh? Those who challenge me in the arena shall be struck down by me, Yi Fong. Relying solely on luxury won't let you experience the thrill of battle. 
This is what a passionate fantasy world is all about. All the Chi Gathering Realm Peak Disciples attack together. Other disciples clear the area. Let's teach this kid a lesson. He's gone mad. Yi Fong is about to fight over 200 people. No wonder he was chosen as the Holy Maiden's personal disciple. This guy is so terrifying. He's fighting over 200 opponents of the same level. If he wins this battle, his growth in the future will undoubtedly secure him a position on the latent dragon ranking. Winning this fight will make him famous. But the loss will disgrace the whole sect. All disciples, follow my orders. Release your spiritual power and form a spiritual barrier. Barrier. This is an unexpected way to play, isn't it? Although I have abundant spiritual power, it seems challenging to break through the opponent's spiritual barrier with just a top-tier earth rank martial technique. 4,410 points, system, draw a top-tier earth rank martial technique. Consuming 700 big spender points, congratulations to the host for obtaining the top-tier earth rank martial technique. 9 Radiance Thunder Lotus. Continue drawing, give me another martial technique. Consuming 900 big spender points, congratulations to the host for obtaining the top tier earth rank martial technique. Water Dragon's Chant. Nice one more. Another spiritual martial technique. Ding. Consuming 700 big spender points, congratulations to the host for obtaining the top tier earth rank martial technique. Sandstorm Gale. Good. These should be enough. Nine Radiance Thunder Lotus. Water Dragon's Lament. Thunder Spiritual Power? Does he also have a water spiritual root? What kind of martial technique is this? Where did this monster come from? He actually possesses three types of spiritual roots. Just the residual energy he's emitting is hard for me to withstand. What's going on? Is it getting windy? You better be ready for this move. I can't hold on any longer. My spiritual energy is running low. Yi Feng actually has four spiritual roots. Not done yet? Th there's more? Whoa! Ha ha. We concede. We concede. I thought Miss Luo's personal disciple was too arrogant, so I tried to humble him a bit. I didn't expect him to be so brimming with spiritual power. And to think that he has also comprehended three high-tier earth rank martial techniques. He's terrifying. In the future, he'll definitely be on the latent dragon rankings top 10. I am youthful and unbridled, living life to the fullest. I ask, who else dares? H. He still has energy left. This time he has truly made a name for himself. He's a monstrous talent. Sec Main Hall. Sister, do you know why the sect master called us here? Xia Tian Tian Du Tian Yue Xing Fei Zhao Tian Ming Chen Hao Yu, I don't know. The sect master returned in haste today after leaving a few days ago. It might be related to the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Humph, hum, I've gathered you five here today to inform you of something. You will soon have a new junior disciple, but for now, he's only at the Qi Gathering Realm's peak. You will need to take good care of him. Another junior disciple? Empty bubble finally, I'm not the youngest core disciple anymore. Speaking of our Star Peak sect, it's one of the top sects on the Xian Tian continent. Yes, to become a core disciple, one needs to excel in everything, talent, comprehension, spiritual roots, and more. Sect master, could you tell us what exceptional qualities this junior disciple possesses? Money. Lots of money. He's extremely wealthy. And a spendthrift. A big one. A big spender. Huh? Even those solitary experts' personal wealth can't match a fraction of our sex resources, right? And this is considered exceptional? Our junior disciple must have some truly exceptional qualities, right? Sec master, you are joking with us, right? You don't understand. Once you spend some time with him, you'll naturally get it. 
In a few days, when he finishes his experience in the Heavenly Tao battlefield, you will follow him to the Star Spirit sect founded by the Holy Maiden. By the way, don't blame me for not reminding you. When you have some free time, pay more attention to him. Even the stuff he drops from his fingernail can be useful to you. I'm simply too clever. By following Yi Fong, the sect can not only cultivate five unrivaled experts, but I can also free up more resources for training other disciples. Ahaha, uh -huh, you're not even as good as a dog, huh? If any one of you had obtained the Abyssal Sword intent back then, you'd have skyrocketed. Ahem, some things can only be understood through real experience. Let's go, I'll introduce you to this junior disciple first. Remember what I said. He's your god of wealth. In the future, during your interactions, keep your eyes open. For elemental roots, Brother Yi Feng is terrifying. Three high-tier earth rank martial techniques, Brother Yi Feng's comprehension is extremely terrifying. One against two hundred, Brother Yi Feng is like a divine punishment. I can't help but feel like we missed something. Sec Master, are you sure this junior brother of yours has nothing exceptional except for being wealthy and extravagant? I don't know. I only know he's both wealthy and extravagant. Instead of asking me, you should ask these inner disciples. Is this still our sect master? Without even knowing the situation of this junior brother, he's thinking of giving him the status of a core disciple? A moment later. I remember today was supposed to be the day for inner and outer disciples to spar, right? But this scene, did it turn into a big battle between outer and inner disciples this month? Steward Song, what's happening here? Becoming famous through a single battle. An invincible presence. Sec Master, Yi Feng did it all by himself. He fought against over 200 disciples of the same realm, and he won. What? He fought alone against over 200 disciples of the same realm. And he actually won with a resounding victory? Collective Silence, Steward Song, tell me the details. Two minutes later, the spiritual sea opened within Yi Feng's body is more than 20 times the size of mine. Chen Yue's spiritual sea is 20 times that of an ordinary person, and Yi Feng's is 20 times that of Chen Yue. So, it seems that Yi Feng alone is equivalent to 400 cultivators of the same realm. Now that I think about it, I haven't checked Yi Feng's spiritual sea these past few days. I've really been negligent. Can a person's spiritual power really reach such a terrifying level? Rich? Extravagant? For elemental roots and comprehension of three high-tier earth rank martial techniques, oh, this, sect master, are you teasing us? Is it fun? Steward Song, where is my junior brother? He has already returned to his residence at the Main Peaks Inner Door, Courtyard 111. Main Peaks Inner Door, Courtyard 111. Sec Master, we will go find our junior brother first. Sec Master, just now Chen Hao Yu called Yi Feng his junior brother. Are you planning to make him the sixth core disciple of the sect? Steward Song, please do not inform the three grand elders about Yi Feng's situation. He is my daughter's personal disciple and no one can take him away. Sec Master, even if I don't inform the three grand elders, this news has already spread. It's not just the three grand elders who know, the other four grand elders are also aware. Sigh, this could be trouble, let's see what he decides. In the audience, people walk by, no longer in their old colors on the stage, someone sings a heart-rending farewell song. Looks like some song. Who are you distinguished gentlemen and ladies? What are you up to? Junior brother, I am your senior brother Chen Haoyu. Junior brother, I am your second senior sister Xia Tian Tian. Junior brother, I am your third senior brother Zhao Tian Ming. Junior brother, I am your fourth senior brother Xing Fei. Junior brother, I am your fifth senior sister Du Tian Yue. Aren't I master's personal disciple? I only left for a while and now there are five more senior brothers and sisters? Little junior brother, you've misunderstood, let me explain. After a while, oh. 
so having two identities doesn't affect anything. I am both Master's personal disciple and the sixth core disciple of the Star Peak sect. System, as a junior brother, it's our first meeting. Can I give my senior brothers and sisters some gifts? That's not too much, is it? System, these senior brothers and sisters of mine are all geniuses of the same level as the sex top talents. For our first meeting, how about giving each of them a hundred thousand high-grade spirit stones as a small token of goodwill? That's not too much, is it? The quantity is within the spending range. Nice. Although it was just a sudden idea to propose a certain quantity of items when spending points, it seems to work. See, even if Junior Brother has unparalleled talent, once he knows our identities, he was still subdued. This Junior Brother is really cute. As his second senior sister, I must protect him in the future. I'm finally not the youngest anymore. Now, I have a Junior Brother to bully. Senior Brothers and Sisters, it's our first meeting. Here's a small token of my appreciation. Let me infuse some spiritual power into this ring to check. This is a hundred, a hundred thousand high-grade spirit stones? Mine too. As senior brothers and sisters, we haven't even given junior brother a gift, yet instead we accepted a huge sum of a hundred thousand high-grade spirit stones from him on our first meeting. Rich. Very rich. Extremely rich. Congratulations, host, for successfully spending. You've received 200 spending points and 100 enlightenment pills. What? You can even get special rewards like this. Enlightenment pill, no grade. Any creature that swallows it can immediately enter a state of enlightenment for 20 minutes. Cannot be used to earn big spender points. What the heck, it seems like these enlightenment pills are not for squandering. Junior brother, what's this? This pill is called the Enlightenment Pill. Enlightenment Pills? These pills, when swallowed, can immediately put you in a state of enlightenment. When you eat them, you can immediately enter a state of enlightenment. It'll last for 20 minutes. Hurry up and try it. I don't think our little junior brother would harm us for no reason. Hey! What are you all doing right now, Shu? Yi Fong, how come your senior brothers and sisters are cultivating now? I gave them five enlightenment pills. They are busy cultivating. Don't disrupt their chances. You have such pills? Yi Fong, can you give your master a few? Master, I'll give you five since I still have to go back and feed my dog. What? These enlightenment pills can immediately put you in a state of enlightenment and you want to give them to your dog? I know it's quite a formidable pills and this thing can't earn big spender points, but the habit of spending might give me special rewards again. I absolutely can't watch you feed your dog enlightenment pills. Yi Fong, how many enlightenment pills do you have? I'll buy them all on behalf of the sect. After all, you're also a member of the sect. I hope you can understand. If you put it that way, I can indeed understand. But I refuse. If I don't let my dog eat his fill, it would be more painful than death. Stop talking nonsense. I don't want to eat my fill. All right, all right. The five grand elders want to see you. It might be to accept you as a disciple or something. Anyway, be cautious when the time comes. Back Mountain, Seclusion Cave. Here they are. These are the five grand elders. This is Yi Fong, the new personal disciple I just accepted. He single-handedly fought more than 200 disciples of the same realm. He has four spiritual roots and comprehended three top-tier Earthrank martial techniques. Luo Tianqing. He crushed his peers. Such a genius should be fully nurtured. Jiang Haoyu. Chao Minfong. Cheng Xingfei. Chu Yunchan. Hmm? Getting closer surrounding Grand Elders? Chi Gathering Realm, Ninth Layer Peak. Such a terrifyingly vast spiritual sea. Huh? Yi Fong. Why don't you have any spiritual roots? 
No spiritual roots? How is that possible? Without spiritual roots, how can you perceive the spiritual energy of heaven and earth? And how did you cultivate your spiritual sea? I don't know. Sometimes when I think about it, I feel the surrounding spiritual energy of heaven and earth flowing into my body. Ha ha ha. Even though I don't have spiritual roots, for some reason, the spiritual energy inside me can be converted into various elemental energies. What the heck is this phenomenon? System, considering the strength and status of these five elders, is it okay for me? As a core disciple, to give each of them one million high-grade spirit stones? The quantity is too small, it's not within the range of squandering. Host, your vision is too limited. You're mocking me, aren't you? Ten million high-grade spirit stones? The quantity is within the range of big spending. Such a high amount? These five grand elders are truly extraordinary. Five grand elders, I came in a hurry and didn't prepare much. I hope you won't despise these ten million high-grade spirit stones. What? What? Is he truly a chi gathering realm ninth layer peak disciple? What kind of wealth does he possess? Five elders, haven't you been stuck at a bottleneck for decades? Here are five enlightenment pills. Don't ask anything, just swallow them and you'll enter the state of enlightenment. Enlightenment pills? Master, you deceived me. I told you to sell me the enlightenment pills. Stay back, don't disturb the elders. Twenty minutes later. Just a bit more. Yes, just a bit more. How many enlightenment pills do you and Yi Fong have left? I'm not sure, but Yi Fong should still have quite a few. But he's planning to take them back to feed his dog. Master, please don't bring this up again. What? Feed them to a dog? Yi Fong, our ancestral rules dictate that we shouldn't bully the weak. The enlightenment pills belong to you and you can do whatever you want with them, but you shouldn't feed them to your dog anymore. Nods vigorously. Ahem. I still have 90 enlightenment pills left. It'd indeed be a waste to give them all to the dog. How about I keep 40 of them? Shall we negotiate? Luo Wuming, as the sect master, don't you think you should control your disciples' extravagance? Grand Elder, Yi Fong uses the Nine Leaves Resurrection Herb to soak his feet. He even uses broken remnants of abyssal sword intent on his dog. These things belong to him and he's determined to be extravagant. What can I do about it? Huh? Yi Fong, can we discuss this? Enlightenment pills are so precious, you should just keep them for yourself instead of feeding them to the dog. Discuss? Isn't this a fantasy world? Why are the people in the sect all so nice? In my past life, in the novels I read, if someone has even a single treasure on them, they'll be eyed by the people around them. Speaking of, our master, who doesn't give us much guidance, still spent a lot of money to buy us profound cleansing pills. Plus, that old man Bai is always talking about lying down flat and laughing. This rascal. Within the Star Peak sect, those senior brothers and sisters I defeated all take pride in me. Junior brother, your move was really something. And then there's Master and the five senior brothers and sisters. Being in a sect like this is not bad at all. There's no backstabbing or scheming. In that case, I'll comfortably be an extravagant fellow in the sect. Grand Elder, here are 70 enlightenment pills. I voluntarily offer them to the sect. But I request that the five elders not try to negotiate with me for the rest. I want to be a prodigal fellow with peace of mind. The stronger the sect, the more secure it is. Offering some good things to the sect is not a bad idea. Good. 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 The sect is fortunate to have a disciple like Yi Fong. Wu Ming, do you understand how much Yi Fong has contributed to the sect? As long as Yi Fong doesn't violate our ancestral rules, you have no right to punish him. Do you understand? Wooming understands. Understands. Yes. Umming understands. I understand. Thank you, Grand Elder, for the reminder. Yi Fong is my chosen god of wealth. Even if you hadn't mentioned it, 
I wouldn't mistreat him. Golden Silkworm Star Jam Oops, it accidentally fell. It's just a piece of broken rock. As a big spender and a wealthy person, if I don't have something to make others jealous, I'd be lowering my own value. You little rascal, you indeed have a golden silkworm star gem. Grand Master, did you hear it from our master? Yi Fong, that um, that piece of golden silkworm star gem, could you sell it to me? I'm an alchemist, no, I don't have much of this thing either. I was thinking of using it to build an outhouse in the future. Using a golden silkworm star gem to build an outhouse? Yi Fong, do you know how important this golden silkworm star gem is to an alchemist? I don't know, but when I've collected enough to build an outhouse, the dazzling sight of it will be spectacular. Collect enough? They're extremely rare. They are spiritual ores that can absorb thunder tribulations. Are you planning to hide in the outhouse during tribulations in the future? Collect enough? You mean you can obtain more golden silkworm star gems in the future? Sure, if there's any left after building the outhouse, I'll save some for you. Good. 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 Using this golden silkworm star gem to build an outhouse is a great idea. Elder Wu, have you gone crazy? That's a golden silkworm star gem. And you're encouraging him to be extravagant? He he. Are you guys stupid? When he has enough gold and silkworm star gems, we can hide in the outhouse to withstand the thunder tribulations. How many thunder tribulations can one gold and silkworm star gem absorb? How many gold and silkworm star gems does an outhouse need? We just need to squat in a pit to successfully overcome the tribulation. Holy cow, can we play it this way? With a golden outhouse that can withstand thunder tribulation, who needs life-saving treasures? Why do I suddenly feel a chill down my spine? What are they planning? Ten minutes later. Luo Woming, this time the Heavenly Dao battlefield is fraught with danger. You must gather all the Qi Gathering Realm disciples to ensure Yi Fang's, God of Wealth's, safety. Understood. Grand Elders, I believe I can enter the Heavenly Dao battlefield alone based on my strength. I can take care of myself. Yi Fong, the battlefield is not child's play. It's better to follow the Grand Elder's arrangements. Hmm. Grand Elder. If there are too many people, my training will be meaningless. All right, all right. Be extremely cautious and don't trust anyone easily. Rest well in the sect for these two days. On the third day, you can head to the Heavenly Dao Battlefield Teleportation Tower. While having more people around may seem safer, it could actually be more dangerous if I encounter a threat I can't handle. Speaking of which, I still don't know what the Big Spender System Guardian's team looks like. After meeting with the Grand Elders, Yi Fong returned to his residence on the main peak. Senior brothers and sisters, you haven't left yet? Little junior brother, those enlightenment pills you gave us earlier, do you have any more? With just one pill, I could instantly enter a state of enlightenment. Although it's a bit shameless to ask, I still want to say, can you spare a few more? There aren't many left. I already handed over 70 enlightenment pills to the grand elders. Can you give one more to your senior sister? Just one, meow. No. 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 The remaining 20 enlightenment pills are for my dog. The Grand Elder asked me for some, but I refused. This is my bottom line. Prodigal. So prodigal. Extremely prodigal. Little junior brother, we were too rude. Being able to get one enlightenment pill is already good fortune. Fate is a fickle thing. We can't force it. Seniors, why can't we force it? I handed over 70 to the sect. As core disciples that the sect prioritizes, if you don't get enlightenment pills, who else would get them? Um, I'm going to go ask for an enlightenment pill first. If there's anything you need assistance with in the future, we'll be ready at your request. Could you at least fix my roof first? The days of being a prodigal god of wealth are so monotonous, tasteless, and luxurious. 
Where did you get the red wine from? Hold on. System, didn't I give each of the five grand elders ten million high-grade spirit stones earlier? How come there are no rewards? Because the five grand elders did not genuinely accept and intend to return them to the host, the big spender event is still ongoing and has not ended, damn it. Have they grown old and senile, not making money when they can? Ahem, ye phone, I hope I'm not disturbing your rest. It's the grand elder. Not at all, not at all. Grand elder, feel free to use the high-grade spirit stones, I have plenty. You're not here to return the spirit stones to me, are you? For the time being, our Star Peak sect doesn't need disciples' spirit stones, so you should. Although I don't know the sect's spirit stone reserves, if you add up all the spirit stones in the entire sect, they wouldn't even be close to my pocket change. Great Elder, if the sect needs spirit stones, just ask me, and I'll give as much as you need. Endless Stone, a lifetime assurance. The big spender disciples are worthy. Oh, I wonder if you have any spirit crystals. Spirit crystals? Those are the main source of power for maintaining the sex protective formation, but we've been running short lately. Although I was testing how much wealth Yifong has, if he really takes out some spirit crystals, it would solve our urgent problem. Star Peak Sect is one of the high sects of the Xintian continent, but it's vast, and several enemies have grown into forces of the same level over thousands of years. In recent centuries, the number of spirit crystals acquired by the Star Soul Sect in the Heavenly Dao battlefield has been decreasing. System, the people of the sect are like family to me. Is it too much if I give my family 10 billion high-grade spirit crystals? Host, have some shame, will you? 10 billion? Your sect can't burn through that in hundreds of years. I can do 1 billion at most. System, you see, the people of the sect are my beloved relatives, brothers, and sisters. They need a raise. No way. The system is actually bargaining? It seems the system isn't that rigid. I might chat with it more in the future. All right. Let's make it 100 million high-grade spirit crystals. A hundred million high-grade spirit crystals have been issued. Spirit crystals are unique to the Heavenly Dao battlefield. It appears he may not have any left. That's it, that's it. Don't go overboard, Grand Elder, please wait. Look, here are one hundred million high-grade spirit crystals. One hundred million? Haha, <laughs> I'm getting auditory hallucinations in my old age. Grand Elder, you're not hallucinating. Even if we sell everything Star Peak Sect owns, we can't get this many high-grade spirit crystals. Covering the entire mountains and plains. Endless. Congratulations to the host for a successful squandering spree. 200 big spender points have been gained. Congratulations to the host for a successful squandering spree. 300 big spender points have been gained. One enhanced 9-star sword formation secret manual has been gained. 9-star sword formation. Enhanced formation secret manual? What's that? Yi Yi Fong, are you really willing to turn over these high-grade spirit crystals to the sect? In the face of such immense wealth, it seems no one can resist. Of course, I'm willing. But I suggest the sect keeps the protective formation running continuously. When you run out, let me know. Unacceptable. High-grade spirit crystals are extremely precious. If the sect doesn't encounter a crisis, how could we be so wasteful? Grand Elder, it's nothing, just a small amount. Just a mere hundred million is just a drizzle. I can come up with a hundred million now and in the future, so go ahead and use it. Do you really have that much? Sure, I have plenty. If the sect runs out, just come to me. All right, from today onwards, Star Peak Sex 9 Star Sword Formation will be permanently active. The Sex Protective Formation is the 9 Star Sword Formation? Grand Elder, I have a set of formations here. Take a look. TH this is. Indeed, it's our Sex 9 Star Sword Formation. After improvements, although it consumes 10 times more, its power is also increased by tenfold. 
Grand Elder, don't ask. Asking would be a waste of time. All right, I won't ask. Starting today, you are an honorary elder of Star Peak Sect. Honorary Elder. Honorary Elder? Yes, you shall stand equal to the five of us. Even that kid, Lua Woming, will have to address you as Elder Yi. Grand Elder, stop joking. I'm not interested in the Elder's position. I just want to quietly enjoy my life of luxury without getting involved in a bunch of affairs. I'm still the personal disciple of my master. How will I face my master if I become an elder? With great power comes great responsibility. No, it won't be fair if the sect treats you like that. How about we keep your identity a secret, known only to Wuming and the five of us? It won't affect your normal life. Grand Elder, let's make it clear then. Besides providing resources, I won't be involved in anything else. Deal. Yi Fong, do you want to visit the Demonic Beast Peak where the sect detains Demonic Beasts? Grand Elder? You're here too. Nonsense. Did you just call him Yi Fong? Call him Elder Yi. Huh? From now on, Yi Fong is an honorary elder of Star Peak Sect. His status is equal to ours. When you meet Elder Yi, make sure to show proper respect. Understood, understood. But can I know how Yi Fong became an honorary elder? He has contributed too much to the sect. Even being an honorary elder seems unfair to Yi Fong. Contributed too much? Elder Yi, can you tell me how much you paid for the position of honorary elder? Grand Master, please don't call me elder. It sounds awkward. As for the price, it was just a hundred million high-grade spirit crystals and the nine-star sword formation enhanced manual. A hundred million high-grade spirit crystals? An enhanced nine-star sword formation? It's really a bit unfair to just be an honorary elder. Grand Master, you mentioned something about the Demonic Beast Peak. Shall we go take a look? Behind the Mountain in the Cultivation Cave Boss, have you returned the Spirit Stones to Yi Fong? We really can't afford to lose that person. You haven't returned them? Big Brother, are you confused? How could you not return them? We really don't lack one million high-grade spirit stones. Everyone, not only did I not return them, but I also got some more benefits from Yi Fong. I didn't want them, but what he gave me was just too much. Big Brother, just tell us how many spirit stones there are. It's not spirit stones. It's a hundred million high-grade spirit crystals. A hundred million high-grade spirit crystals? And you're just casually keeping them in your spatial ring? With a hundred million high-grade spirit crystals, the prosperity of the sect will indeed be ensured for thousands of years. Hurry and put it down. Don't damage the spatial ring. No. From today onwards, I will permanently activate the sect's protective formation at all times. Elder brother, have you gone mad? Could some other sect be planning something against the Star Peak sect? You're thinking too small. Just a mere hundred million, it's all right. If we run out, we can always get more. This guy has only been here for a day, but why do I feel like we're beggars? By the way, Yi Fong also gave me an enhanced version of the Nine Star Sword Formation. It consumes ten times more energy, but its power has also increased tenfold. Even if a Transcending Tribulation Realm ninth layer expert comes, they'd be crippled, if not dead. What? Meanwhile, on the other side, the bottom of the Demon Beast Peak. Yi Fong, these sealed caves contain demonic beasts of varying strengths and numbers. As you go higher, the demonic beasts become stronger. Then why seal these demonic beasts? Why not just kill them? Life and Death Trials Disciples who want to leave the sect must challenge the sealed demonic beasts. If they can't even defeat the sealed demonic beasts, they won't survive in the outside world. Here, they still have a chance at survival. They won't get the same opportunity outside. Grand Master, in a couple of days, I plan to go to the Heavenly Dao battlefield. 
Can I try my skills here first? Let's leave these demonic beasts for other senior disciples to gain experience. Considering Yi Feng's strength, even if there were 200 demonic beasts of the same level, he would handle them with ease. No, no way. Grand Master, what about the spirit fusion realm? Can I go in? Can I? What did you say? The sunlight is really nice today. Grand Master isn't paying any attention to me, and I only have 2,810 points left. It looks like I need to make a big move. Big Spender Points 2810. Getting ready to have some fun. The next day. Purple Thunder Mad Lion, Corpse. What level of demonic beast is it? How should I handle it? Senior Brother, how do we deal with the corpses of demonic beasts? A demonic beast's corpse? You can refine the demonic beast's essence blood from the corpse using spiritual power, but the essence blood is only beneficial for physical cultivation. What counts as physical cultivation? Using cultivation methods to temper the body, absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, causing the body to continuously undergo transformation. That's what physical cultivation is. Physical cultivator's combat power is terrifying and demonic beast essence blood is the best auxiliary resource for them. I see. Senior brother, what if we just roast and eat the demonic beast directly? Roast, roast and eat? I'll be dazzled by this guy sooner or later. He more powerful the demonic beast's corpse, the more difficult it is to refine the demonic beast's essence blood from it. If you just roast and eat it, I'm afraid the absorbed power won't even be 1% of the demonic beast's essence blood. It doesn't matter for low-level realm demonic beasts, but for stronger demonic beasts, if you don't refine the demonic beast essence blood and just roast and eat them, that'd really be a bit too extravagant. Do we have physical cultivators in our sect? Let me finish. Grand Elder Wu is a powerful transcending tribulation realm physical cultivator and his identity as a weaponsmith is closely related. It's rumored that when he was 10 years old. Eh? Wait. Don't leave. Junior brother, do you happen to have the corpse of an extremely high-level demonic beast and plan to roast it directly? The training ground. Huh? Is junior brother Yi Fong going to fight again today? Yi Feng is really motivated. Don't look at me. I choose to surrender instead. Senior and junior brothers, let's not have a match today. Help me with this meat. I'm treating everyone today to a barbecue. I just repaired the arena. This, this is. This is a corpse. Thank goodness, it's just a corpse. I thought I was done for. Senior and junior brothers, help me cut it up. I can't handle it alone. Sure, I'll help. I'll help too. Yi Fong, this demonic beast's scales are too tough. My sword broke. I found several weak points, but the sword I had imbued with Qi also broke. Junior brother Yi Fong, looks like we won't get to eat. System, do you have any powerful blades or tools? Can I borrow some? Otherwise, I can't deal with this. I'll temporarily lend the host a hundred daggers. Please, use them. Huh? You're giving me a hundred crappy daggers? Senior and junior brothers, don't use those. Use the daggers I am giving you. Can these really cut it? These daggers are so dark. Brother Yi Fong, these daggers are too powerful. The demonic beast scales are like paper in front of them. Yi Fong, this dagger easily cuts through the beast's flesh and skin. This dagger is terrifying. Well, that's good then. Huh? Who would have thought these crappy daggers would be so effective? If these are on a temporary loan, you must return them afterward or a significant number of big spender points will be deducted. Give them back. Deducting big spender points, this system is too stingy. Looks like I'll have to give them all back later. Feels like a classic ancient style campfire feast. Drooling, drooling, drooling. I heard that barbecue with pancakes is even better. Star Peak Sect, 10 miles to the east. 
Luo Kai. Luo Woming, I've arrived. What's going on? Is Star Peak sect in danger? Are there other forces besides me? Impossible, it should be just me. Perfect. It's been a while since I've tasted the power of the Nine Star Sword formation. Let's see how many strikes of the Nine Star Sword Force I can withstand. The power of the Star Peak Sex Protective Formation has increased so much. Who on earth could have improved the formation to this extent? Luo Kai, have you gone mad? Don't you realize the power of our Sex Protective Formation? I came to find you, and as soon as I entered your Star Peak Sect, I almost got slaughtered by the Nine Star Sword Formation. Quit the nonsense. What's the matter? Luo Woming, this time I hit the jackpot in the Heavenly Dao Battlefield. I got a full 80 Spirit Crystals, and they're all high grade. Is that all? You can leave then. What is with this reaction? Shouldn't you be asking me for a dozen or so? Luo Woming, our sect has activated the protective sect formation. Is there a formidable enemy coming? By the way, who improved the protective sect formation to such a terrifying level? No, we just happen to have an excess of spirit crystals lately, so we're using some of the stock. You should have felt the power of the protective formation, right? Although it consumes ten times more, my sect can afford it. Heh, <laughs> trying to act cool, huh? So tell me, how many spirit crystals does your sect have now? You just upgraded the protective sect formation. You don't have to act all smug about it. This guy seems to have struck it rich recently. Better hide those spirit crystals. Not many, just a hundred million. It should last a few months. You seem to have just returned from the Heavenly Dao battlefield, right? Besides spirit crystals, do you have any other business? Well, it's been a while since we've had a drink together. I thought it'd be nice to catch up over a few drinks. Pretending to be calm. A hundred million. Luo Woming, my old friend, never lies to me about important matters. This must be true. Several minutes later, Star Peak Sect, Intersect Area. Hmm. What's that smell? It's so fragrant. Purple Thunder Mad Lion. What did you say? Training Ground. Oh my god. It really is. This aura. This purple thunder mad lion had definitely survived nine heavenly Dao thunder tribulations and could have ascended to the upper realms at any time. It's a terrifying demon. Wait a minute, what are the disciples of your sect doing? It seems they're eating grilled meat. Grilling the flesh of such a terrifying demon? Luo Woming, has your star peak sect really become this wealthy? Wealthy, my ass. It's definitely that prodigal Yi Feng's doing. What is that? What kind of divine weapon is that? My friend. Your sect is very strange to me. The more powerful the demon, the more precious the demon beast's blood essence is when extracted. If the five grand elders find out, I better notify our five grand elders. Hey, five grand elders, come quick. Yi Fong is being extravagant again. Yi Fong? Voice transmitter. The corpse of a purple thunder mad lion that endured the nine heavenly tribulations. Yi Fong is currently roasting it into meat skewers for the sex disciples. If you don't come soon, there won't be any left. Luo Woming, who is this Yi Fong you're talking about? Why do you need the five grand elders to come over? Can't you handle it directly? You think I don't want to? Yi Feng is the sixth core disciple of our sect. He gave the sect 100 million high quality spirit crystals and an enhanced version of the Nine Stars Sword Formation secret book. Invite. Attract. Wealth. And treasures. Now he's been promoted to an honorary elder. Even I have to call him Elder Yi. How could I handle it? Back Mountain. Uh. Elder Wu, what's going on? Stop him. Big brother, 
How significant do you think a corpse that has withstood the nine heavenly tribulations is to me? Fifth brother, stay calm. Impulse is the devil. Endured the nine heavenly tribulations, do I even need to say? A great demon's corpse of that level is probably more important than an enlightenment pill for physical cultivators. Now, within our sect, there is, indeed, such a great demon's corpse. But it has already been half-eaten by several thousand disciples from both the inner and outer sects. What? Then let's hurry and stop them. It's definitely that ye phone kid's doing again. He wants to distribute it to the thousands of disciples to roast and eat. What should we do? Well, after all, Yi Fong has brought us many good things. We can't just snatch the great demon's corpse. After all, it belongs to Yi Fong. Yeah, even if it's roasted, it'll be tremendously beneficial for thousands of inner and outer sect disciples. Sai, Elder Wu has it tough. How about we go and have some too? Eating something is better than not eating at all. I've never tasted a demon of this level before. A few minutes later, training ground. Go for it. Sec master, keep pushing. Kick his butt. Awesome. Don't give up. Huh. What are they doing again? Ha ha ha. I won. Lord Luo is awesome. Hooray. Incredible. So strong. Grand Elders, Lord Luo is amazing. Yi Fong, you're eating roasted meat, right? Why didn't you invite us old folks to join you? How could that be? Since the Grand Elders are interested, you can obviously join in. Luo Woming, I didn't expect you to be so inconspicuous in the sect. Shut up. One hour later, Yi Fong, I'll be taking the skeleton then. Thank you. Grand Elder Wu. Elder Yi, this is my old friend, Luo Kai. He's a fourth layer transcending tribulation realm physical cultivator. Elder Yi? Call him Elder Yi. Right, Grand Elder ordered Master to address me as Elder Yi, Junior Yi Fong, I greet Senior Luo. Elder Yi, please, there's no need to be so formal. You are my master's friend so, naturally, you are a senior to this junior. Huh? Luo Woman calls you elder, but you call him master? Yi Fong is my daughter's personal disciple, so I am his master. In any case, it's hard to explain. Completed the big spending mission. Rewards, 1,000 big spender points and 200 essence blood of a transcending tribulation realm ninth layer peak purple thunder mad lion demon beast that endured the nine heavenly tribulations. System, what's the concept of enduring nine heavenly tribulations? Why is the prefix so long? In the Xian Tian continent, for cultivators or great demons to ascend to the higher realm after reaching the ninth layer peak of the transcending tribulation realm, they need to withstand the nine heavenly tribulations. The heavenly thunder tribulation are different from ordinary thunder tribulations. Oh, so this is another level of strength classification after the Transcending Tribulation Realm Ninth Layer Peak. Yi Fong, I've had the privilege to enjoy such a delicacy thanks to you. But I still have to say, it's a waste of great demon essence blood. Senior Luo, are you referring to this thing? Hmm? This aura, that's right. This is definitely the essence blood refined from that purple thunder mad lion. I can give you some of this stuff. But the rest is for my little doggy at home. Doggy? Is that your friend's nickname? Luo Kai, the doggy isn't a human, it's just an ordinary stray dog. When one person achieves the Tao, even the chickens and dogs ascend to heaven. But after swallowing more than 2009 striped third grade profound cleansing pills, it's already evolving towards a great demon. Huh? A dog. Just a normal dog. You're joking with me, right? Just joking, right? If there's nothing else, I'll head back. Uh. Luo Kai, come with me. I'll give you an opportunity. Why are you all leaving? You didn't answer my question. What opportunity? What kind of opportunity can your sect give me? 
Luo Woming's place. What's this thing? It's not poison, is it? If our relationship wasn't so good, I wouldn't offer you this. You've never seen this, right? This is an enlightenment pill. Whoa. Is this for real? You'll definitely thank me. 20 minutes later. Elder Luo, this enlightenment pill is also from that kid, Yi Fong. Besides the 70 pills he gave the sect, he has 20 more to feed his doggy. Xia Tian Yu knows about it too. He said that if he helps Yi Fong with chores, he'll get a nine leafed resurrection herb. He doesn't even care about the auction house anymore and has become an elder at my daughter's star spirit sect. And that guy, by Tian Hong, was supposed to supervise my daughter, but now he's completely clinging to my daughter's sect. Huh? Where are you going? You haven't even had a drink yet. Have a drink? My ass. I was just talking to you. Why are you so angry? I'm getting old. I'm all alone, except for you. I have no friends and no family. I should have had a daughter as big as Chien Shui. I'm sorry for hitting a sore spot. So, you didn't even tell me about your daughter founding a sect. I'm going to your daughter's sect to become an elder and settle down. Fuck you, you really have no shame. Come back here quickly. Humph. Who was it that had said they would never ever join a faction? Who was it that had said they didn't like rules and wanted to be free instead? Now you even want a home. Ha. I bet you've set your sights on something Yi Fong has. But I have to admit, if I weren't Yi Feng's master, I'd want to be an elder too. I almost forgot, how can I keep a good thing as the essence of a great demon all to myself? I have to hurry and inform the five grand elders. Yi Feng's courtyard. The most extraordinary peaks and mountains foster our wild spirits. The brilliance of the sea and the full moon pour into the cup's radiance with the most majestic snow-capped mountains. Junior brother, I know you like to spend money, but you can't do it to the point of insanity. Senior brother, you need to be steady. Don't panic about everything. Look, my door broke again. I just went to the scripture pavilion and found information about the Purple Thunder Mad Lion. The Purple Thunder Mad Lion is one of the most powerful beasts of the demon race, and it's extremely formidable. Without exception, most of them can easily break through to the transcending tribulation realm and they grow larger as their strength increases. If it grows to the size of a small mountain, it means it's a great demon that has reached the transcending tribulation realm. Hmm, I know. Can I borrow books from the scripture pavilion? Hee <laughs> hee. Forget it. I can't explain things to a prodigal guy like you. Senior brother, your book, the sect master asked us to follow junior brother to the star spirit sect founded by the Holy Maiden. It looks like I'll have to adapt to junior brother's extravagant and spendthrift ways. You broke my door and left? You said a bunch of strange things. Did you come here just to mess with my door? A few minutes later, now I can finally get a good night's rest. Yi Fong, are you asleep? Life is meaningless. Oh. Grand Elder Wu, there's no need to say anything else. I understand. These ten drops of great demon's essence blood are my way of showing filial piety to you. I really just want to sleep. Oh my, that's really embarrassing. Hee <laughs> hee. Master must have sold me out again. Elder Yi, rest well. If you need anything, you can find me any time. As for this door, forget it. I'll change courtyards. The next day, in the morning. Changing courtyards is really nice. What will I indulge in today? The spoils for the big spender, Tranquil Spirit Incense, 100 in stock. Tranquil Spirit Incense, it is made from the Millennium Dark Deity Mysterious Tree. When ignited, it emits an aroma that brings tranquility to the mind. Cultivating in this state can greatly enhance efficiency. Interesting. I wonder if lighting this Tranquil Spirit Incense will make my sleep more comfortable. Outside the courtyard. 
Based on my observations these past few days, this kid ye foam brings out something good to indulge in every morning. First, in the Star Spirit sect, he used the Abyssal Sword intent broken remnants to raise his dog. Then, on the way back to the sect, early in the morning, he tossed out high-grade spirit stones. Yesterday, it was the body of the Purple Thunder Mad Lion, also in the morning. Fragrant. I suspect this prodigal son only has a good day if he splurges on something good every morning. Makes sense. Huh? What's that smell? Oh damn. It's tranquil spirit incense, but it's definitely not ordinary tranquil spirit incense. 33. Damn it. Do you guys have a problem with the door? It really is tranquil spirit incense. Master, five grand elders, what's going on with you all? Ye Fong, what kind of spiritual wood is this tranquil spirit incense made from? The Millennium Dark Deity Mysterious Tree. Oh. The Millennium Dark Deity Mysterious Tree, not bad, not bad at all. Millennium. Is not bad all you can say? It seems like this so-called Millennium Dark Deity Mysterious Tree isn't that impressive. It's not even as good as the things given before. They're looking down on them this time. Don't light any more of them. Lighting them up one by one is too slow. Since they're all pieces of junk, I should use a brazier. It'll be faster. There are a whole hundred of them, Grand Elder. Yes, a hundred of them. I feel like my heart is bleeding. Indeed, there's no difference between lighting one and lighting a hundred at once. Heart. Pain. Frenzy. Frustration. Worry. Anxiety. You prodigal child. You burned a hundred tranquil spirit incenses and went to sleep. Did you want to infuriate me? I can't take it anymore. Ye Fong, are you resting? We won't disturb you. Outside the courtyard. Ye Fong, you. Really? Haha, ha, it feels so much better to curse. Forget mentioning the Millennium Dark Deity Mysterious Tree and the Heavenly Tao Battlefield, I haven't even seen anything over 5,000 years. Furthermore, I suspect that those tranquil spirit incense sticks were made from the tree's hardwood, so it's not as simple as being just over 10,000 years. Well, after all, it's Yifeng's own thing. Out of sight, out of mind. I definitely won't come back in the future. I really don't know where this kid gets so many treasures that make us all envious. I'm really envious. Let's go. It's a blessing for the sect to have this kid Yifong, but his extravagant and profligate habits, sigh. Five grand elders, if we can't change him, it's better to close our eyes and enjoy the situation. Agreed that makes sense. Good idea. One hour later. Yeah. The incense sticks have finally burned out. Congratulations to the host for consuming today's big spender item. You have been rewarded tranquil spirit incenses made from the Millennium Dark Deity Mysterious Tree, 200 in stock, a thriving spiritual presence. What? System, are you trolling me? Give me another 200. System, you're really something. What am I supposed to do with this junk? Even the Grand Elders don't care for it. Why are you giving it to me? No, I must get rid of this stuff or it'll tarnish my identity as the God of Extravagance. Grand Elders, what are you doing sitting here? Um, those who cultivate are not bound by time or place. Only by following one's heart can we reach the highest level of cultivation. Grand Elder explained it so well. Perfect, let the Grand Elders help me deal with these incense sticks. What's going on? Everyone, why do I feel like I've turned into a beggar? Also, he left 200 of these tranquil spirit incenses without saying a word. What does he mean by that? Wait a minute. Grand Elder, do you remember how his expression changed when you merely mentioned that these tranquil spirit incenses are good? Yes, that's true. Could it be? 
Perhaps because he felt that the evaluation you provided wasn't high enough, Yi Feng responded by cursing and saying, This is just a piece of junk, so he simply threw these incense at us and let us deal with it however we want. Should I go ask him? Yi Feng, should I help you get rid of these tranquil spirit incenses? Grand Elder, I appreciate your help. Please get rid of these junk items. They've really lost their value. Hee <laughs> hee. Guys, run. Back Mountain, Cultivation Cave. Second Elder, take 20 of these for now. This portion is for the third Elder, and this one is for the fourth Elder. And there's the fifth Elder. Offering service. What about me? What about me? Um, what are you looking at? There are no portions for you. Even though we were all begging together, how come there is no portion for me? Give me ten at least. Big brother, should we become beggars? Big brother, from now on, let's stake out in front of Yi Feng's place every morning. No matter what he asks, just say it's ordinary. Tattered and worthless. Though begging sounds strange, if we can get treasures like this every day, I'd rather be a beggar. Begging can indeed make you wealthy. We're this old yet we still love to joke around. We call it begging, but it's just that we're worried that if we tell the truth, Yi Feng will take all the good stuff for his own indulgence. Luo Wuming, tomorrow Yi Feng is going to the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Make sure Yi Feng stays safe. Understood. Also, you should escort him to the Heavenly Dao battlefield teleportation tower alone. One day later, Yi Feng's courtyard. I've slept for a whole day. It feels amazing. Saying farewell to yesterday's me. Let's see what today's big spender items are. Big spender item, 10,000 second rank 9th tier earthbound prison talismans. Earthbound prison talisman can create an earthen prison to confine enemies. Interesting, it's a control type talisman. This time I won't rush to use it up. Maybe it'll come in handy in the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Yi Feng is leaving today. I wonder if we can get more benefits. Rubbing hands. Although I didn't tell Second Elder and the others, not even inviting us to such a good opportunity for begging. Ha ha. But this kind of embarrassing begging, it's better that I endure it alone. Second Elder, that's going too far. Why didn't I think of this, anyway, since we're here to beg, do we need one more bowl? Big Brother, how about this? If we get something today, we'll split it evenly between us. Good Brother, that sounds about right. Wait a minute. That is. Third Elder? Big Brother, Second Elder, don't mind if I join in on the fun. Ha ha. Not a bad bowl. Um. Um, what kind of trick is this? It's shattering my worldview. This is not fun to watch. Big brother, you're here too. Xuanchang. Wake up sister. It's too scary. I suspect fourth elder has gone crazy. He, I didn't expect you guys to come too. Is he still there in his room? Fifth elder must have come too, right? Looking east, looking west. Where is he? Didn't he come early in the morning? Fifth Elder? Life is unbearable. Fifth Elder, we're just begging. There's no need to go all out like this. Meanwhile, Yi Feng sleeps all day. We have to make him get up early today. Is Ming Ming here too? What's going on? Do you need a bowl? I didn't see anything. I saw nothing. Run first. Talk later. Ten minutes later. What the heck? What are the five grand elders doing here? Refining a realm? They came to my place. Could it be they want me to select the most qualified one? Ten drops of a great monster essence blood. Helping select beggars is really tiring. You even have to dip into your own pocket. You won't find a disciple as good as me anywhere else. I should go find master. Ha ha. Ha ha. It worked. It really worked. 
This method is indeed effective. Fifth Elder, we share blessings and face difficulties together. We're all begging together. Don't just take things and run. Um, I got a little too excited. The Sect Main Hall. Master, sorry to keep you waiting. Yi Fong, did you see the Grand Elders when you left? Yes, I saw them. They truly are strong. They are refining their hearts through rigorous cultivation, living a life akin to beggars. Although they didn't say a word, I understood it all. I gave the most miserable fifth grand elder ten drops of great demon essence blood. Bullshit. Refining their hearts? Pretending to be beggars. They are indeed begging. You just have too many treasures on hand. Since they VE succeeded this time, they will be even more shameless next time. Never mind, I can't control this matter either. Let's just see how things develop in the future. After all, it's all just for fun. Master, are the other disciples ready? When are we going to the Heavenly Dao Battlefield Teleportation Tower? Grand Elder has instructed that it will be just the two of us. We are setting off now. This kid has only been here for a few days, but I'm really going to miss him when he leaves. Once he leaves, he won't return to the Star Peak Sect. We have the Sect's protective formation guarding it. Why don't we go to the Star Spirit Sect? You old folks, don't you have any shame? First you beg, now you want to chase after the Star Spirit Sect. Look at the Fifth Elder, he's more practical. Big Brother, I'm leaving too. I'm entrusting the sect to you. No need for words of gratitude. Farewell, Star Peak Sect. All of you will stay in our sect. No one is allowed to go to the Star Spirit Sect. I mean it, otherwise you'll have to face the consequences. Seems like we've really ticked Big Brother off. Master, it feels so peaceful here. There are no signs of demonic beasts or cultivators on the road, completely different from the situation at the Star Spirit Sect. It's possible that nearby cultivators have been hunting them for practice. After all, the demonic beasts in the Heavenly Path battlefield are three times stronger than regular ones of the same rank and species. In the Heavenly Path battlefield, the demonic beasts can kill three ordinary demonic beasts of the same rank and species. It's the same for cultivators. As for not encountering any cultivators all along, it's also a possibility. After all, the Xian Tian continent is very vast. Oh, is that so? Meeting me must be fate then. I wonder if the two of you can make me happy. Not good, she's a great demon. Yi Fong, I'll hold her back. Run away quickly. Don't go. Why the rush? Keep me company for a while. You won't be able to escape this time. As expected. This is the power of someone at the ninth layer of the transcending tribulation realm. Oh, right. How about we make an interesting deal? If you can make my heart race, I might let you leave safely. Humph. Why would I trust a demon's words? Here I come. This is? Yi Fong, have you gone mad? This demon is just playing with us. If you take out such a precious treasure, she'll be even less likely to let us go. Grand Master, it'd be even better if she's deceiving us. If that happens, I'll just kill her myself. A single demon like her is no problem for me. Don't tell me you have a hidden card up your sleeve. What's going on? Isn't this the blood essence of a great demon who has withstood nine heavenly Dao thunder tribulations? Even I have only withstood two heavenly Dao thunder tribulations so far. I only see two weaklings before me. Why does someone at the ninth layer of Qi gathering realm possess the blood essence of a great demon? What's up with this situation? You guys can leave. These two people might be dangerous. I can't gamble my life away like this. Let's leave. Whether or not she's telling the truth, let's try to get out of here first. Space crack open. Leave? Why should we? It's not easy to encounter a demonic beast like her. 
How can we just go before witnessing the great demon's true form? Stop provoking her. You see, I still have 50 drops of the great demon's blood essence. If you kill me, all of these will be yours. Doesn't value his life, it's a sin to commit suicide. I wonder what my bodyguards look like. Come on if you can kill me, even treasures more valuable than the great demon blood essence will be yours to take. That young man is definitely not an ordinary person. I'm sure someone powerful is protecting him from the shadows. As soon as I take action against him, I'll definitely die a tragic death without a funeral. Body transformation. Wow, she turned into a mantis. Grandmaster, do you know what type of a demonic beast that is? She looks so awesome. She's a devouring blood mantis. As long as it has a steady flow of powerful blood essence, it can become stronger. This is the most troublesome and powerful kind of demon. To think I got nervous and transformed into my true form. I have escaped far enough. Anyway, I am a cautious and smart person. Before they could snatch it back, I ran away on time. Great Demon Blood Essence A great demon of that level shouldn't be their opponent at all though. Forget it, it's no use talking about it now since it's not my loss in any way. Set sail with a beautiful boat, be like a pirate everywhere you go while living freely to the fullest. The time to attain the great achievement of suppressing a demon has come. The brave warrior must sing the song the mighty wind blows. What can a thief from the shadows do? The protagonist is saying the mighty wind blows song phrase to encourage himself and try to catch the thief demon who stole his blood essence. In this particular sentence, there are references to two songs. One is the mighty wind blows and the other is song of the yellow grass. Flying at a great speed, I almost caught up to her, but I can't last long at this rate. Yi Fong, give me some more of the spiritual stones. Grand Master, don't give up. High Spirited. What the? How the hell did they catch up to me? Don't run. Let's fight for real. If I lose, punish me in any way. But if you lose, be my battle Pokemon. Who wants to fight with you? I'll give you back your blood essence. So please let me go. Yi Fong, I can't catch up to her now. Let's forget about her. It's too late to back out now. Grand Master, throw me forward, quickly. All right. Yi Fong, please be careful. Go away. Please don't come near me. What what is going on? It's really noisy here. This thunder is really noisy. My lord, please forgive me for arriving late to your rescue. No problem. No problem. You've come at the right time. My lord, I have paved a path for you in space. You may stand on top of it. Are you one of the divine guardians? Are you the only one? I, alone, am enough to solve your current crisis. Countless members are part of the Divine Guardians. Considering the danger you're facing, different squad members will be dispatched every time. My lord, may I have your permission to eliminate the threat in front of me? I was wrong, big boss. I beg of you, please don't kill me. Fine, fine. Guard, you may return. If she tries to kill me, I'll have to trouble you to come back and do what's necessary. That won't be a problem. It's actually an honor to work for you, my lord. Now, I'll give you two choices. Either become my battle Pokemon or die. Sir, no, master. I'll listen to everything you say. HM? What the hell is this? I don't understand a single word it says. It is a heavenly law blood contract. As long as you drop your blood on it, you can control her every action. Oh? A little blood is no problem for me in exchange for a battle Pokemon. So hot. Congratulations to the user for obtaining a blood devouring mantis. You've achieved a great feat. From now on, I'll be your master. 
My name is Yi Fong. Yi Fong, I know you come from the upper realm, but who the hell are you? Um, master, I'm just my master's personal disciple. Chen Chi Wei really took in a good disciple. Sai, master, you really don't mind my identity? In front of the Heavenly Dao Battlefield Teleportation Tower, Master, there are quite a lot of people here. Naturally. Although the Heavenly Dao Battlefield is dangerous, each realm is an independent battlefield space, so its safety is guaranteed. It's because of this that there are countless people searching for opportunities and cultivation resources in the Heavenly Dao Battlefield. Since I can handle 200 fellow disciples, I should be considered top tier. The brothers piled up like a mountain, system, if I encounter danger in the Heavenly Dao battlefield, will the Divine Guards appear? Ding. The Divine Guardians completely ignore the laws of the Heavenly Dad battlefield and can appear at any time, plan approved. Impressive. Now I can relax and have some fun. Xiao Shui, you can escort Master back to the sect, there's no need to wait for me here. Understood Master. I'll go first. I really want to go back and tell the Grand Elders that we've recruited a great demon that has withstood two Heavenly Dao Thunder Tribulations. Star Peak Sect should be able to rise to a new level now, right? A few minutes later. Is this the Heavenly Dao Battlefield? Empty, no one in sight. Junior Brother, is it your first time here? Who's there? That's right, it's my first time in the Heavenly Dao Battlefield. How strong are you? Do you want your buddy to show you around? Li Fei, I'm familiar with the Heavenly Dao battlefield. I'm at the peak of the ninth layer of the Qi Gathering Realm. Buddy, let's form a team. Are you simple or just plain stupid? Why would you answer directly when asked? I wonder if he has some hidden card that has made him this confident. Are you trying to scheme against me? You approached me right away. Speaking of which, I've never killed anyone in this world. I feel like I've lost face in front of other transmigrators. I didn't expect you to be here without an old man to guide you for the first time. How about this? Any resources we obtain will be split 50-50. All right. If you're not weak, I will gladly team up with you. But if you're weaker than me, I'm sorry. Yi Fong, since this is your first time here, use these Ironback Rats to test your strength. Ironback Rats. Their strength ranges from the 5th to 8th layer of the Qi Gathering Realm. There are roughly 300 of them, I guess. Endless chattering, let me see what you're capable of. Alright. Holy cow, why did you take out so many talismans? Why are you using all these 2nd grade ninth rank talismans? What do you mean? Of course, it'd be more convenient to start with these. What the heck? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Let me out. Big Brother, you actually used over 300 expensive control type talismans. Are you hunting demons or just squandering resources? Half an hour later. Brother Li Fei, how strong am I? I secretly tested your earth prisons. I can't break them without using all of my strength. Are you using those earth prison talismans to defend against me or just to show off? Do you really need to be so extravagant? Brother Li Fei, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Go? You don't want the demon cores from these low-level demons? While the demon essence blood from these low-level demons may not be valuable, it's still income. You don't want it? I didn't expect Brother Li Fei to be in such dire straits. Well, then, these demons are yours. Go ahead and pretend. Everyone's here for resources. This is not a small number of demons. Let's see how long you can keep pretending. Hey! You two little guys, if you don't want to die, hand over the ironback rat corpses to me. Which faction are you from? How dare you provoke me? I've finally encountered a bandit. I'll offer you as a sacrifice. You scoundrel. 
He used over 300, yet he still has this many talismans left? Sometime later, I've already shattered 13 earth prisons. There's only one left. No. There are still more. Thank goodness I was cautious and didn't anger you, phone. Bastard. Relying on external forces like this isn't a sign of skill. If you have the guts, release me so we can settle this with our own strength. You're not qualified to fight me. This guy, he's a tough one too. I thought Yi Feng was an extremely kind and simple person. I didn't expect it all to be a facade, harmless to humans and animals, I almost fell for it. Brother Li Fei, you can keep these talismans. If you run into trouble again, feel free to use them. Um, oh, I understand. With so many talismans, it's no wonder Yi Feng doesn't care about the demon corpses. He really doesn't lack money. I almost forgot, there are less than five hours left in the day. But there are still over 9,000 talismans left to squander. Time flies. Ding. Congratulations to the host for depleting today's big spender items. You've been rewarded 1,000 big spender points and 100 enlightenment pills five hours later. Finally, they've all been used up. Brother Yi Feng, the talismans you gave were really handy. Thanks to you, I made a huge profit this time. One night's harvest isn't even worth one twentieth of the talismans spent. Yi Feng must be a core disciple of some sect. I absolutely shouldn't provoke him. Xiao Fei, I won't let you go empty-handed. Take this enlightenment pill and use it, I'll watch over you. Xiao is used between close friends and Chinese, it means little as well. Enlightenment pill? What should I do? Could it be a poison pill? But if I don't take it, will this domineering guy take out some treasure to finish me off? Whatever, let's do it. This is? Are you dumb? This state of enlightenment can only be sustained for 20 minutes. Hurry up and cultivate. Oh, right. If you don't start quickly, time will run out. If it weren't for having too many enlightenment pills, I wouldn't have given you one. After all, I still need to keep 20 for my doggy at home. Woof, woof, woof. Really, don't give them to me. Help. 20 minutes later. When I first entered the enlightened state, what was I spacing out for? I wasted a full two minutes. Brother Yi, I'll remember this favor. If you ever need anything in the future, just let me know. Which realm were you from? Brother Yi, I come from the Heavenly Fire Realm. The Heavenly Fire Realm? This is the first time I've heard of it. I come from the Xian Tian Realm. From the countryside. It seems our Heaven Fire Realm isn't well known. Since we're fellow villagers, these are for you. Li Fei's plan to get close to Yi Fong has been ruined. Indeed, there are no such things as coincidences in this world, right? About ten minutes later. What's that? What's going on? Brother Yi, we've hit the jackpot this time. Spirit crystals, low-grade spirit crystals. Looks like there are about two hundred of them. Since you're so happy, you can have them all. Big Brother Yi, why don't you want anything? Can you tell me what you came to the Heavenly Dao battlefield for? To have fun. To indulge. I have plenty of good stuff. The resources in the Heavenly Dao battlefield don't interest me. How can you say that so casually? Big Brother Yi, if you want to indulge, why not go to the Heavenly Dao City? Heavenly Dao City? What's that? The Heavenly Dao City is the most special place in the Heavenly Dao battlefield. It has countless treasures, resources, and martial arts. If you have money, you can buy almost anything there, a squanderer's paradise. Moreover, it's controlled by the laws of the Heavenly Dao, so there's no room for fighting or looting. But to enter the Heavenly Dao City, you must have a Heavenly Dao token. I happen to have one. However, you can only stay in Heavenly Dao City for one day. How did you get it? I just happened to find it in a ruin. Although I want to go, I've heard that prices in the Heavenly Dao City are ridiculously high. My meager savings would be a waste of a Heavenly Dao token. 
it was better to keep it. Who knows, it might save my life someday. You gave me an enlightenment pill, which is akin to giving me an opportunity. Maybe we won't meet again in the future. I'll give you this heavenly Tao token, Big Brother Yi. Hold on, I don't like taking things for free. Thank you, Big Brother Yi. Thank you, Big Brother Yi. I knew Big Brother Yi wasn't a stingy person. Why does everything have to involve a drop of blood? Brother Yi? Exchanging a useless Heavenly Tao token for 13 Enlightenment pills, what a bloody good deal. Oh you ouch. Holy cow. Is this the Heavenly Tao city? Where did this country bumpkin come from? Is this guy an idiot? Stay away from that person. Here, just like home, it's a comforting zone. Yo yo check it out. Chi Gathering Realm? What are Chi Gathering Realm cultivators doing in the Heavenly Tao City? There is something wrong with this group of people. You. What kind of trashy stuff did you write? You. What kind of nonsense did you sketch this time? Has there ever been a time when you've got it right? Super, super science? They said there'd be no fighting in the Heavenly Tao City, no? They're just brawling, not fighting to the death. One is from the Sun Shu realm and the other is from the Amethyst realm. They always get into fights when they collaborate on a manuscript. Excuse me, sir, who are you? Hey, little bro, need a ride? Five Heavenly Tao points is the starting fare. Big brother, what are the Heavenly Tao points? Damn. You don't even know what the Heavenly Tao points are? You must be new here, right? You're really wasting my time. I just wanted to ask, why are you so irritable? The Heavenly Tao Bank. This should be it. Finally found it. Hello, may I ask what business you'd like to conduct? Do you have Heavenly Tao points here? A newcomer, right? Chien Hu. Yes. In the Heavenly Tao City, one top grade spirit crystal is exchanged for one Heavenly Tao point. One Heavenly Tao point Heavenly Tao points everything in the Heavenly Tao City. Everything requires Heavenly Tao points. Is it that cheap? Name, Qian Hu Realm, Water Spirit Realm Strength, Transcending Tribulation Realm, 7th Layer. You can earn Heavenly Tao points by working here and working time is not counted against your Heavenly Tao tokens time. A Transcending Tribulation Realm Cultivator catering to a Chi Gathering Realm Cultivator, people would probably laugh if they found out. Isn't that just a waste of time here? Aren't you going to cultivate? Unrelated to the job. Is it really that hard to obtain spirit crystals in the Heavenly Tao Battlefield? Wasting time. An employee. Unrelated to the job. I'm sorry, if you're not here to conduct any business, you're not a customer. I won't continue to keep you company. Please leave. Hold on. Is this kid looking for trouble? I activate the magic card, Fog, to help me convert these hundred million top grade spirit crystals to heavenly Tao points. Bro is a Yu-Gi-Oh. Fan XD oh my god. Please wait a moment, sir. I'll process it for you right away. This fantasy world is becoming more and more interesting. Next time, I must find a way to get a couple more Heavenly Tao tokens to bring Master here for a treat. Young Master, here is your Heavenly Tao card. Please keep it safe. The card application process is so fast. But, why do I have to obtain a card this way? If you have any more questions about Heavenly Tao City, please feel free to ask. I will provide you with the best answers. Heavenly Tao One Card Pass? In any case, I must leave a deep impression on this God of Wealth. No need, no need. Since you're so busy, I won't disturb your work. Don't leave, young master. What about my commission, young master? A few minutes later. This place must have been left behind by some powerful transmigrator, right? It's so modern here. Please support your beloved idol. Participation guarantees you merchandise featuring the character of the same name. 
just as I expected, it's just like the real world. Although Tian Tian is good and Yuriko is cute, I will still choose the great Chi Ji. Getting sucked in. Please collect your merchandise. Second layer Heavenly Dao Battlefield. Mineral waste extracted by Li Fell. Damn it. Li Fei, you son of a bitch, you said it was one day, but it has only been half a day. Damn it, I couldn't even pick up the merchandise. I just happened to find it in the ruins. Ruins, right, Li Fei mentioned that he found the Heavenly Dao token by chance in some ruins in the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Looks like I'll have to search for it. The next time I see Li Fei, he's in for it. Has the weather here gotten colder? Star Peak Sect By gang, why has the Star Peak Sect activated the Sect Protection Formation? Who are they guarding against? Why has an old man like you taken the time to visit me? I. Ah. A whole 30 years. I obtained a Heavenly Dao token by accident in the Heavenly Dao battlefield and have been working in the Heavenly Dao city for a whole 30 years. Frugal and thrifty, I finally managed to buy two defensive treasures capable of withstanding the Heavenly Dao Thunder Tribulation. But unexpectedly, after being transported back to a random location in the Heavenly Dao battlefield, I realized that only a second had passed in the world outside. Just a second. Not sure, wasn't paying attention. I wanted to ask Tian Xing about this, but it's too bizarre. How do I bring it up? By gang, if you have something to say, why don't you come in instead of dilly-dallying out there? Are you using top-grade spirit crystals to maintain the sect protection formation? That's right, the sect protection formation uses top-grade spirit crystals. Haven't seen them before, have you? I'll give you a few. Have you gone crazy? We've been alive for so many years, have we ever come across top-grade spirit crystals? Low-grade spirit crystals are enough. Why waste the top-grade ones? Do you know their true value? Huh? Stop poking me, my face hurts. Do you have to be so serious about it? Take a look. These two towers are extremely powerful defensive treasures. Each one can withstand a heavenly Dao Thunder Tribulation. It can withstand up to the seventh tribulation with these. These incredibly powerful treasures cost me over 3 million top grade spirit crystals. By gang, there's no such thing as a treasure that can withstand the heavenly Dao Thunder Tribulation in this world. They're all fake. You don't know SH Asterisk T. In the heavenly Dao battlefield, there's an item called the heavenly Dao token. With it, you can enter the mysterious heavenly Dao city. There, as long as you have enough top-grade spirit crystals, even a strong cultivator about to ascend will have to serve you humbly. So in Heavenly Dao City, these top-grade spirit crystals are like a universal currency? That's right, but you can only earn them by working there. I worked there for a whole 30 years, 30 years. And when I came out, only one second had passed in the outside world. By gang, what are we waiting for? Let's set off now. The remaining 90 million top grade spirit crystals. Didn't you hear what I said? You need a heavenly Dao token. Without it, it's all in vain. Is there such a set rule? What a loss, I still have over 90 million. Damn it, where did you get so many top grade spirit crystals? The heavenly Dao battlefield. Li Fei Li Fei, I just left Brother Yi for a moment. Why do I suddenly miss him? I'm even hearing things. Li Fei. Wait, something doesn't seem right. It really is Big Brother Yi calling me. Li Fei. Big Brother Yi, I'm here. I missed you so much. Great. Just stay where you are and wait for me. Big Brother Yi, it has only been half an hour, but I really missed you to death, missed me to death. All right then. I'll fulfill your wish. Big Brother Yi, what are you doing? I've been looking for you in the Heavenly Dao battlefield for half an hour. You fat ass. You lied to me. The Heavenly Dao token only lasts for half a day. Big Brother Yi, please let me explain. 
I really didn't know that would happen. When I found the ruins, it was full of corpses with only one person barely breathing, holding onto the Heavenly Dao token. So I used some unsavory methods to extract information and took the Heavenly Dao token. Either that person lied to me, or he thought that one Heavenly Dao token could last for a whole day. Alright, I'll believe you this time. By the way, Big Brother Yi, what have you been doing all this while? What kind of place is this Heavenly Dao city? Wait, didn't you just go for half an hour? I'm glad I didn't go and exchanged it for these 13 enlightenment pills instead. Is there technology in the realm you came from? Technology? What's technology? Since you don't know what technology is, I can't explain it. But remember, if you want to go to the Heavenly Dao City, hold on to top grade spirit crystals tightly. They're extremely important. It has to be top grade spirit crystals. It has to be top grade. Top grade spirit crystals? Can I really afford them? Ding. Today's big spender list items have been refreshed, obtained, death sword and tent fragments, 10,000 in stock. 10,000 fragments. What? It's already the second day? More sword and tent fragments. It'd be easy to spend all of them if the dog were here. Hey, Li Fei, are you a sword cultivator? Sword cultivator? I'm not a sword cultivator. Practicing with a sword is exhausting. You don't like being a sword cultivator, huh? Li Fei, stop right there. Sorry, Yi Ge, I remembered I left my dusty teapot outside. Li Fei, don't run. You can't escape. Big Brother Yi, I don't want to be a sword cultivator. 9,433, 9,434, 9,435. Big Brother Yi, I don't want to have almost done. Death Sword Intent. 9,436, 9,437, 9,430. All right. Haha, ha, finally finished. I've accumulated 5,810 big spender points now. Big Brother Yi, giving me so many Death Sword and Tent Fragments, isn't it a waste? I know I'm pretty strong right now, but I'm not cut out for sword cultivation. Gathering Strength Excalibur Caliber, which is similar to the English word caliber, in this context, it's used here to describe how good, strong, and capable the attack is. This is much stronger than I had expected. Oh no, once Master finds out, he'll definitely force me to switch to sword cultivation. My life of pretending to be weak is over. Brother Li Fei, please don't thank me. This is your chance. If you work hard now, you can break through to the sword heart realm at any time. Sword heart realm? The sect master is the most enlightened person in the sect, but it still took him hundreds of years to reach the Sword Heart Realm. If he finds out about my current situation, he'll definitely dissect me. Thanks for the great opportunity, Big Brother Yi. By the way, why didn't you use it on yourself? In his heart, he's suffering, but he can't say it. I'm not a sword cultivator, so what would I do with it? So what if you're not a sword cultivator? I'm not one either. Let's go. You don't need to worry about anything. From now on, we'll dominate the second layer of the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Earth Rank Top Tier Martial Technique 9 Radiance Thunder Lotus? This is an exclusive martial technique of my Thunderclap sect. Big Brother Yi, how did you get it? You actually know about this martial technique? Well, of course, I'm familiar with it. I possess the Thunder and Fire Dual Spiritual Roots. It's just that it has been a whole month yet I'm still struggling to get the hang of it. M. In the Star Peak sect, no one knows this martial technique. They can only tell that it's an Earth Rank Top Tier martial technique, and everyone suspects that I created it myself. It seems that the martial techniques contained in the martial technique jar are not limited to the Xian Tian continent. Let's go. Our next goal is hunting down the Qi Gathering Realm Ninth Peak Beasts together. Big Brother Yi, you haven't told me where you learned it. Second layer of the Heavenly Dao battlefield, where are these two guys from? 
They're so arrogant. I'm so nervous, I want to go home. Aren't these two bastards ridiculously strong? We can't mess with them. After coming to the Heavenly Dow battlefield so many times, this is the first time being so arrogant. It feels great. But still, I should be cautious, even though I have the Death Sword intent, if they gang up on me, it's all over. Big Brother Yi, when will you come to the Heavenly Dow battlefield again? Let's make an appointment, maybe we'll meet again. Sure, but the next time I come, I will be in the third layer of the Heavenly Dow battlefield. Big Brother Yi, do you already have signs of a breakthrough? Are you going to directly advance to the ninth peak of the Spirit Fusion Realm when you return? Signs of a breakthrough? No need. I'll break through when I want to. I'll either not break through, or I'll break through all the way to the ninth peak of the Spirit Fusion Realm in one go. Big Brother is amazing. Let's not talk about that for now. Those five Chi Gathering Realm Ninth Peak Beasts are mine, the rest are yours. Got it. Nine Radiance Thunder Lotus. Go. Oh boy, Big Brother Ye's strength is truly astonishing. No room for a counterattack. Still going? Big Brother Ye, how deep is your spiritual sea? Mystic Arts Cultivators? They are not mystic arts cultivators, they are sword cultivators. But why isn't he using a sword? Ah, uh, you just don't understand. Those beasts aren't worth him drawing his sword. I didn't expect this fatty to be so proud. You can't judge a book by its cover as they say. Damn it. I'm not a fucking sword cultivator. I just have sword intent. You, do you think I want this? Two days later. Congratulations to the host for killing 100 Oi Gathering Realm 9th Layer Peak Beasts in the 2nd Layer of the Heavenly Dao Battlefield and obtaining 5,000 Big Spender Points. Big Spender Points. 10,810 finally crossed 10,000. System, look at this fatty's recent performance. He has worked hard. Big Brother yes a bit slower please, I can't keep up. Would it be too much to give him 10,000 Top Grade Spirit Stones? Ding. The target possesses the ultimate death sword intent, the quantity is reasonable, oh my goodness, it's so tiring. Big Brother Yi, I've been in the Heavenly Dao battlefield for almost two months this time. According to the sex rules, I have to go back. Huh? Your sect even sets deadlines? It's a sect rule. If I don't return within two months, the sect will assume that I've died. Most sects in various realms have similar rules. Only wandering cultivators are an exception. All right, since that's the case, I won't force you to stay. You've worked hard these past few days. Take 10,000 top grade spirit stones. We may meet again in the future. Big Brother Yi. You are my benefactor. We may meet again in the future. Now I'm alone again. Congratulations to the host for successfully squandering. Rewards. 200 Big Spender Points, and 10,000 Death Sword Intent Fragments, x 10,000 Fragments. The chubby guy has already left, why give me these now? I can squander the rewards, but they won't earn me any Big Spender Points. Sigh, I'll just use them myself. In the process of fusion. That Sword Cultivator Fatty has finally left, now there's only this arrogant guy left who has already spent quite a bit of spiritual energy. I've been observing him for several days, and this guy hasn't bothered to replenish his depleted spiritual energy. It doesn't matter to me which realm's genius he is. Many of us are ordinary cultivators with no power, background, or reputation. Right now, there's an opportunity to kill a genius and seize his resources. Do you want to miss it? A nameless white-haired youth. Killing a prodigy to gain fame, that guy has killed so many demon beasts, the essence blood he possesses should be worth quite a bit of money. One phrase to kill or be killed. There's only one chance. Kill. Junior brothers, let's kill him and take his treasures. Then I'll take his martial techniques first. Nobody should compete with me. Kill him. It's really noisy here. There are more people here than during the sex martial competition. 
Finally, they've all fused together. Let me see how powerful the ultimate death sword intent is. Stretching? Yawning? What is he doing? What? He also possesses the death sword intent. Run. Run. Save me. This pressure. Hurry, save me. I, I can't run anymore. Didn't you guys want to kill me? Get moving. If we don't act now, we'll all meet our end here. Go to hell. You thoroughly deceived us. Too late. We can't win. We can't win at all. Why, why did we dare to challenge a deity? This is the real fantasy world survival of the fittest, a cruel cultivation world. I am a squandering prodigy, but I'm not a saint. Remember to stay away from me in your next life. Fire Dragon Fist, huh? Big Brother, are you from the Shintian realm? Who are you? My name is Luo Yao Yao. I'm from the Myriad Blossoms Valley. Myriad Blossoms Valley, Luo Yao Yao, I saw you working hard. Myriad Blossoms Valley? I've never heard of it. No way. Are you really from the Shintian realm? What kind of trashy sect are you from? Why should I tell you? You haven't even told me your name yet even though I have. Are you a wandering cultivator without a sect? How pitiful. What are you looking for in the Heavenly Tao battlefield? Please tell me. Maybe I know something. Big brother, you seem really pitiful. Are you sure you don't need my help? Wow, big brother, you seem so gloomy. Did you use up too much spiritual energy? Are you tired? No way, no way will you collapse from exhaustion as soon as I leave. If you don't leave, I'll really kill you. You won't be able to kill me. My actual cultivation is at the peak of the ninth layer of the primordial soul realm. I used a secret treasure to suppress my cultivation. If a small fry like you tries to make a move on me, you'll die. System is what she said true? Is there such a secret treasure that deceives the heavenly Tao battlefield's laws? What she said is true the treasure that does this is the purple hairpin on her head. It's actually true? She looks younger than my master, yet her cultivation is at the ninth layer of the primordial soul realm? I'm Yifong, I'm from the star soul sect. As I said, can you please stop bothering me? Star Soul Sect? What kind of trashy sect is that? Yi Fong, that name sounds pretty good. Here we go again. Were you scared just now? I was just teasing you. You don't actually believe my cultivation is at the peak of the ninth layer of the primordial soul realm, do you? Then why don't you try taking off that purple hairpin on your head? Huh? The hairpin hasn't fallen off and there's been no leakage of spiritual power. How did he figure it out? Humph, I underestimated you. I haven't heard of this star soul sect you mentioned. It must be a trashy sect. Actually, I hope you join the star peak sect. You must have heard of it, right? Huh? As long as you join the star peak sect, I can make you a core disciple of the sect. Are you interested? Big Brother A four-element spiritual root, a vast spiritual sea, exceptionally high comprehension and the potential to break through to the sword heart realm at any time. He might even make it to the top three on the latent dragon ranking. This person must not be missed. A core disciple of the Star Peak sect? Luo Yao Yao, Luo. What's your connection with Luo Chinchue? Huh? You know my sister? Star Soul Sect. Miss, do you have a cold? Why does it feel like someone is talking about me? The Heavenly Tao Battlefield. What the heck? Luo Chinchue is my master. Does that mean you're my younger martial aunt? Younger martial aunt? Don't make me sound so old. You're my sister's disciple? The Trashy Star Soul Sect is actually the sect my sister established? Ten minutes later. Where do you find someone who is both my sister's personal disciple, a core disciple, and an honorary elder of the Star Peak sect? See, am I supposed to call you my nephew or elder ye? Let's each stick to our own titles. 
I'll call you junior sister while you call me elder. I, I don't want that, you trash. A child's face is really soft. Here, junior sister, let this elder pinch your cheeks. Dares to be angry but can't say anything. What should I give my junior sister as a gift for meeting for the first time? Giving spirit stones is boring and while I could give her some enlightenment pills to snack on, they aren't suitable gifts. Golden silkworm star gem? Nine leaves resurrection herb? Or purple thunder mad lion's essence blood? Junior sister, you're a physique cultivator, right? Please don't be a muscular lowly. That's right, I'm a physique cultivator. You, how do you know everything? Trashy elder, I really hate it when people pinch my cheeks. When I get back, I will definitely have my sister make things right and seek justice. I'll give you one drop of purple thunder mad lion grand demon's essence blood that has endured nine heavenly thunder tribulations for each cheek pinch. Since you don't like people pinching your cheeks, then, you're indeed a physique cultivator, a humanoid monster lowly. Others can't do it, but you're my big brother ye. There's nothing wrong with pinching the cheeks of your cute little junior. This essence blood is for my adorable junior sister. Since you're a physique cultivator, I'm curious to see if you're also skilled at the art of crafting. She's whimsical and unpredictable. If I can't handle her properly, I'll have big problems in the future. Great. Oops. A golden silkworm star gem fell out again. The golden silkworm star gem. Where? Where? Do you recognize it, junior sister? I recognize it. Do you want it? Nodding vigorously. Ha ha, I won't give it to you. You meanie, you're teasing me. Trash. Garbage. A nasty pervert who pinches my face. Insult me some more. I love hearing it. Losing the will to live. This strength is truly worthy of a physique cultivator. Big brother, how did a person of your strength become my sister's direct disciple? And how did you become an honorary elder of the Star Peak sect? Because I have money. I bought the position of a direct disciple for 500,000 high-grade spirit stones. Nouveau riche. Nouveau riche is a famous French term that translates to new rich in English. I obtained the position of honorary elder with 100 million top-grade spirit crystals and the nine-star sword formation secret manual. Are these positions available for purchase? By the way, why are you standing like that? Ridiculous. Have you ever seen top-grade spirit crystals? You just casually mentioned 100 million top-grade spirit crystals. Do you know what that means? I am the master of the Myriad Blossoms Valley. Don't you like using spirit stones and spirit crystals to buy special positions? Myriad Blossoms Valley Master Huai Yu Ming. This is a contract. As long as you can offer 100 million top-grade spirit crystals, I, the Valley Master, will accept you as my master. Granting you another illustrious position, how about that? Elder Yi, my master detests people who brag the most. Please don't mind, she means no harm. Master, why are you pulling out the contract again? Please stop causing trouble. I just can't stand it. So what? Do you believe everything he says? Yao Yao, you need to be vigilant. Don't be fooled by these scoundrels. This is the honorary elder of our Star Peak sect, Master. Please stop talking. Even if he's an honorary elder, I still need to keep a close watch on that boastful mouth. It doesn't matter if he's boasting, Master, please don't act out. Little Junior Sister, it's your Master who's going too far. Don't say I didn't give you face. Sorry. Dear Disciple, these 100 million top-grade spirit crystals, think of them as a greeting gift from your master. Humph, keep pretending. I'll take. A look. Congratulations to the host for successfully showing off. Rewards, 10 golden silkworm star gem, 100 purple thunder mad lion corpse essence blood, 5 sword heart advancement fragments. For successfully showing off? It seems like there are still many hidden functions in the system that I haven't explored. 
No, it's impossible. How could you have so many top grade spirit crystals? Don't think I only have those lowly spirit crystals. This. This is a genuine sword heart advancement fragment. As long as your sword intent reaches its peak and you absorb the power within, you can directly break through to the sword heart realm. Sword heart realm. Sword embryo prototype. I concede, from now on, I, Hua Yumeng, am your disciple. But this only stands for me personally and has nothing to do with the Myriad Blossoms Valley. It's over. Now Master is also involved with Yi Fong. Life is meaningless. Yi Fong has now become my master's master. Does that mean he's also my great grandmaster? Congratulations, host, for getting your first disciple. Based on the disciple's situation, the system rewards you with 100 ghost confusion herbs, 100 withered soul branches, 105 venomous aroma blooms, and 100 ember spirit bamboo elixir. The host must pass down the tradition of extravagance to his disciples. Based on the disciple's extravagance, the system will also provide rewards. Taking in disciples comes with rewards. And encouraging disciples to be extravagant also brings rewards? He, he Master, these are the big spender points we've accumulated. Please accept them. Enter the squandering sect. Indeed, the system still has many hidden functions yet to be explored. Hmm. Something's not right. Why do these rewards all sound like toxic substances? All these blossoms and herbs, what exactly are these rewards? Could it be that the Myriad Blossoms Valley is involved with poison? Do you guys recognize this stuff? Ghost Confusion Herb Yao Yao and I remember reading about this in the untransmitted secret scriptures. I never imagined I would encounter it here. With the Ghost Confusion Herb, our Myriad Poison's body cultivation can advance to the next level. Hua Yumeng, today you've become my first disciple and the future senior sister of the sect. You should familiarize yourself with our sex rules. It's the ghost confusion herb again. Why do you have so many of these legendary poisonous herbs? Throughout the tens of thousands of years of the history of our valley, our third valley master had only a single encounter with treasures like this. Elder Yi, did you visit other sects? Consider it my personal sect rules. However, I don't intend to establish a new sect. In the future, disciples of my squandering sect will be spread across the entirety of the Xintian continent and will even be scattered throughout countless lower realms. Squandering Sect Congratulations, host, on successfully establishing the squandering sect. Rewards, 100,000 big spender points, activation of the sect communication function and activation of the sect teleportation function, damn. 100,000 big spender points. I worked so hard for so long to only accumulate a bit over 10,000. But I get so much for establishing a sect. Sect communication function, host and disciples can communicate using divine consciousness regardless of location. The host can also issue commands to the disciples, bring me some paper. Xintian public toilets, bring me some paper. Heavenly fire realm noodle shop. Sect teleportation function, disciples, no matter where they are, can be directly transported to the host. Each disciple can teleport once a day for an hour, after which they will automatically return to where they were, Xintian public toilets, where the heck is my paper? Heavenly fire realm noodle shop. Wait a minute. If the disciples I recruit are from other realms, doesn't that mean I can also go to other realms? Teleportation anchor the squandering sect spreading throughout the world isn't just a dream. The legendary tale of squandering will echo throughout countless realms. It'll be praised by both adults and children who've experienced it. Squandering sect? What the hell? The squandering sect, saying it out loud would make others lose their front teeth from laughing, no? Quiet, quiet. Hua Yumeng, as the senior sister, you must thoroughly comprehend the sect rules. Let me ask you, after receiving these ghost confusion herbs, how will you deal with them? Huh? Eh? Me? 
we will use a bit for our cultivation, the rest of the ghost confusion herbs, without master's permission, I'll keep them safe, I won't use them privately within the myriad blossoms valley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stupid. Keep them safe? What nonsense are you spouting? We are the squandering sect. How come you don't understand the essence of the sect's name? Ghost confusion herbs, aren't they supposed to be used sparingly? Ghost confusion herbs are naturally scarce so you're reluctant to use them? Isn't ghost confusion an herb? Isn't it supposed to be used by people? Ghost confusion herbs are supposed to be used sparingly? What? The. Actual. Fuck. Wait a sec. Wait, wait. Who am I? I am actually the master of Myriad Blossom Valley and my age is? Age. One shouldn't ask about a girl's age. How can a young guy like him reprimand me like that? Now then, are you afraid of the poison in the ghost confusion herb? Yao Yao and I have solely trained in the thousands poison body arts. Although the poison in the ghost confusion herb is highly toxic, I'm not afraid of it. It's just that Yao Yao is still young and cannot consume too much of it at once. Wrong. Before going to sleep, shouldn't you soak your feet in water mixed with a few of those herbs? When your body and mind is too exhausted, shouldn't you take a relaxing bath using these herbs? Cultivation is dull and dry so your mood becomes crappy. Can't we waste a few herbs to release our stress? Sigh. Anyway, it seems you're still not qualified to become the great senior sister yet. I need to spend more time teaching you. Master, if we do as per your instructions, then 100 ghost confusion herbs will not be enough to squander for several days. If you're finished squandering those herbs, then start squandering something else. You see, garbage like this is of no use to me. What a flex. Garbage. Master, I have read about these poisonous spirit herbs and poisonous spiritual liquids in a certain book I had. The book mentions their existence in the battlefield of natural order. The number of times they've appeared and their quantity is greater than the ghost confusion herb. However, none of these herbs are in stock at the Myriad Blossom Valley. These are gifts given to you by your master. Just think about how you're going to waste it, that's all. Although I only have this much right now, I'll give you more of the good stuff next time for you to squander. As for the 100 million high-grade spirit crystals that I gave you, you can spend them as you like after you return. The salary of all the two disciples has been increased by 10 times. If you lack any resources, just buy it without any worries. No need to bargain for the price. We, the squandering sect, can't afford to lose face like this. Your job as a squandering sect member is to just waste money, do you understand? Ah, uh, how come I got an extremely slow-witted disciple like her? If you can't even waste money like me, you will remain as just a master of a myriad blossoms valley, activate the sex sound transmission function. Activate the sex sound transmission function. What's our sex true objective? This is? Even the people from the upper realm don't have the ability to do what master did. If such a person is our supporter, we don't need to restrain ourselves. Squandering. Let's go all out on spending things. No matter how, let's waste resources like it's our last day on earth. Oh, bingo. You finally understood your assignment. Although I don't know how she suddenly understood it, but now she'll be able to waste resources like water. Master, rest assured. As your disciple, I will never forget the true objective of our sect. I'll show the world how to squander. A woman who feels luxurious when squandering like there is no tomorrow. When did a stingy and unshakable woman become so talkative all of a sudden? Master and Master Nephew have both gone insane. What should I do now? Good. 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 You've been well taught. I can finally see my path in life. In the future, the disciples of my squandering sect will seek excellence in one particular task rather than doing several things half assuredly. Lefe, oh, Lefe. If we are destined to meet each other in the future, please be my disciple. If not, then never mind. What do you want, 
You pervert. I'll never call you my master. Junior sister, here are 100 million high-grade spirit stones. As long as you spend them all, I'll give you 10 drops of great demon essence blood. There's money to spend and games to play. Don't be a fool, okay? A great demon's essence blood? Yow yow, just accept it. Humph. Ha ha, don't think you've won. Junior sister is quite easy to handle. Master, yow yow, and I will be leaving first. Our secret treasure can only suppress our cultivation for ten days at a time and there's only one day left. The word used here can be nephew, sister's disciple, or senior brother. Humph, nephew. Wait for me at the Star Peak sect. This junior sister will come to find you soon. In that case, I'll leave too. There's nothing good for me here. See you, junior sister. I'm getting more and more confused about my identity now. The little girl calls me big brother one moment, elder the next, and nephew after them. What will master call me in the future? Bye-bye. See ya. I already have a hundred thousand big spender points. It is time to enhance my strength to the spirit fusion realm. Xian Tian Continent finally. I get to see the sun, but where in the world is the Xian Tian Continent? 3,000 kilometers away, where am I? Maybe I should find a random town to confirm my location and then hurry back to the Star Spirit Sect. Inside the Star Spirit Sect main hall here comes another one. Uncle Luo? How did you get here? Chin Chiwe, whenever you lacked something when you were little, uncle would get it for you. Have I been good to you? Huh? Uncle Luo, of course you've been good to me, but why are you? Your uncle is getting old and lonely. I don't want to wander anymore. Could you make me an elder here? Who was the one preaching to me and my father about enjoying a free and unrestrained life? If all you want is to find a home, why did you come to the sect master? She just founded this sect so there are only a few people here. There are more elders than disciples. Uncle Luo, you are a transcending tribulation realm fourth layer expert. I'm afraid you'll be uncomfortable here. It's all right, your uncle is not troubled. Thick-skinned. Thick-skinned describes someone who is shameless. This is the aura of a great demon. Lady Saintliness, we're here. We are changing Holy Maiden to saintliness. Why did you come here? And who is that terrifying great demon? Lady Saintliness, we've come under the orders of the sect master. From now on, we'll be staying at your star spirit sect. Greetings, Saintliness. Huh? You want to stay at my star spirit sect too? No. You are the future of the star peak sect. Staying here with me will only endanger you. What will the Star Peak Sect do if its core disciples are in trouble? You should hurry back to the Star Peak Sect. Lady Saintus, this isn't something we can decide. The Sect Master said that we need to follow our junior brother wherever he goes. Junior brother? Who's the junior brother? Of course, it's Yi Fong. Lady Saintliness, you may not know, but in our sect, Junior Brother single-handedly fought over 200 disciples of the same realm and gained fame with one battle. The five Grand Elders have designated him as the sixth core disciple of the sect. Lady Saintliness, please rest assured. With me here, no one should dare to provoke us. Who are you? Lady Saintliness, she's a bloodthirsty praying mantis. She has already withstood two heavenly tribulations and reached the peak of the transcending tribulation realm. The sect master said she was captured by Junior Brother on his way here. With her around, the sect's safety is guaranteed. Captured, on the way? Uncle Luo, is your visit this time related to my spendthrift disciple? Um, well. Yi Fong. What have you been up to these days? The mastermind behind the Tianyu auction house is here. Referring to Elder Bai. The wandering cultivator Luo Kai is here. The five prodigies of our sect are here, and they've brought along a transcending tribulation realm monster. What else is coming next? Lady Saintliness, a moment, please. 
What's the matter? Lady Saintliness, please don't blame our junior disciple. Although he is your direct disciple, he has also been honored as an elder by the five grand elders. Even your father has to call him Elder Yi. What? Since when does the Star Peak sect have an honorary elder position? How did that guy Yi Fong obtain it? The sect master said that our junior, no, Elder Yi bought it with money, but the exact amount is unknown. Moreover, the sect master said it must be kept secret. Must keep it secret. To think he squandered to such an extent. The Divine Consciousness Channel. You little brat, you still remember having a big sister like me. Big sister, you said before that I should call my master's master grand master. What would you call them? Yao Yao, it's been three months since you've contacted me and this is what you had to ask me? Since he is your grand master, naturally, he is my grand master too. I apologize, sister. Your senior disciple is now my grand master. I'm giving you an early heads up in case big brother hasn't come back yet. DD don't be be lame HM. My master, Hua Yuming, has already become the embodiment of squandering. By the way, Big Brother even created a squandering sect himself. My master is his direct disciple. In a while, my master and I will go visit our grand master. Sister, remember to prepare delicious food for me in advance. He he he. The esteemed Valley Master of the Myriad Blossoms Valley actually worships a junior at the Chi Gathering Realm as her Grand Master. He, 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 he. Good. What a good disciple. Uncle Luo, if you want to stay in my humble star spirit sect, you can stay. But I won't be providing any resources here. Thank, thank you. Lady Saintliness, we don't need anything. We just don't want to die. Elder Xia. Please arrange things for them. His name is Xia Tianyu if you don't remember him. As you wish, Tianyu understands. Star Spirit Sect after everyone dispersed. Miss, what the hell is going on here? The sect is chaotic. Let's wait for Yifong to come back and explain. Although I don't know what happened to Yifong, I'll help ease the atmosphere, miss. Yifong, remember my Nine Leaves Resurrection Herb when you return. In an unknown town. Strange, why is cold wind blowing in the middle of the day? I heard that this place is more than 300 kilometers away from the Star Peak sect. If only I could fly on my sword. It will take over 20 days just to reach the Star Peak sect, not to mention the Star Spirit sect. I need to figure something out. Fortune telling. Fortune telling, that old scammer is doing it again. Fortune telling. Fortune telling. I am an elder from the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion, proficient in the profound arts of the heavens. Elder Zhou Tong of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion, the world's greatest fortune teller, are there still old charlatans like this in this fantasy world? Just treat this old man to a meal, one person only. It's a one time offer. Senior, help me with a quick fortune reading. Young man, I can see that you're destined. But I have my own rules. I eat first before I read fortune. No problem, you choose the restaurant. Dong Fu in. <laughs> Young man, you're really generous, I really appreciate you. Ha ha, senior, stop talking while eating. Half an hour later, I'm full now, young man. Come, give me a drop of your blood and I'll read your fortune. Hey, he's exactly like the scammers I remember. This whole act deserves full marks. Of course, blood extraction is the next step. The system has detected special forces examining the host's fate trajectory. The antivirus scanning function will activate automatically, huh? Antivirus scan successful, damn, this isn't a fraud. He actually has real skills. He even forced the system's automatic antivirus scanning function to activate. Yo, you. Senior, I'm really sorry. Due to some special circumstances, your soul has suffered heavy damages. What was that tyrannical power? It almost wiped my soul. 
I just wanted to use the heavenly profound arcs to check this person's fortune and misfortune for the next month. Senior, I'm really sorry, but due to some special circumstances, your soul suffered heavy damage. Don't come any closer, let me catch my breath first. I happen to have a spirit herb here that can help you recover your damaged soul quickly. Nine Leaves Resurrection Herb Thanks to this old charlatan, I've discovered another hidden function of the system. I'll use this herb as compensation. Young man, that's not necessary. Its medicinal properties would be wasted on me. It'd be better to sell it to a ninth tier alchemist. And if you don't have the ability to protect yourself, holding onto it will only bring you trouble. This old charlatan not only has skills, but also a good heart. Senior, I know about the Nine Leaves Resurrection Herb. Feel free to use it. Otherwise, I'll use it to soak my feet. Soak your feet in the Nine Leaves Resurrection Herb? Are you kidding me? No, he must want me to accept it peacefully. Congratulations, host, for discovering two hidden system functions. Reward, 10,000 big spender points. Reward, 109 leaves and resurrection herbs, 100 heavenly profound mystical enlightenment pills. 100 herbs, 100 pills. Two kinds? The system has been quite generous with the big spender points recently. I wonder what other rewards the other hidden functions will provide. Heavenly Profound Mystical Enlightenment Pills, just the name alone, sounds extraordinary. It seems these Enlightenment Pills are not compatible with the ones I had before. One hour later. Indeed, the Nine Leaves Resurrection Herb is amazing. It's restored about 80 to 90% of my injuries. If those old guys knew I ate a legendary grade herb raw, they'd probably kill me. Could the effects of one Nine Leaves Resurrection Herb be insufficient? Senior, if your damaged soul hasn't completely healed, keep consuming it. If you can't finish it, we'll use it for foot soaking. Huh? Foot soaking? How can you be so prodigal as to use such a precious item for foot soaking? A few minutes later. Hiss. It feels so good. In one's lifetime, it's only natural to enjoy. If you want to enjoy, then enjoy it to the fullest. Young friend, you really live life to the fullest. One's life should indeed be like this, indeed. Eating raw nine leaves resurrection herb and using it for foot soaking, what a sin. My smelly feet don't deserve it. Elder Zhou, are you really an elder of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion? Why would a dignified elder of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion be starving on the streets? I am indeed one of the elders of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. I came to Fong Yi City this time on a secret mission. If you know, you know. A secret mission? System, can you find out what this guy's mission is? To activate the Heavenly Secrets Insight function, the host's participation is necessary in an insight event. Zhou Tong once used the Heavenly Profound Arts to peek into the host's destiny. The host has met the conditions, Heavenly Secrets Insight function activated, so there's also a Heavenly Secrets Insight function. I never thought that having Elder Zhou read my fortune would unlock two hidden functions and fulfill the unlocking condition. Elder Zhou, no need to say thanks. Please accept these five Heavenly Profound Mystical Enlightenment pills. You gave me the Nine Leaves Resurrection Herb for healing and even invited me for foot soaking. Shouldn't I be the one thanking you? I can't exactly say you unlocked the hidden functions for me, can I? Hold on. What did you just say these pills are called? Oh, these are the heavenly profound mystical enlightenment pills, but they have significant restrictions. Too bad, they can only enlighten you about the heavenly profound arts. Too bad? Do you know how profound the heavenly profound arts are? Do you understand how difficult it is to comprehend? Out of a billion people, it's hard to find even one suitable to cultivate it. Elder Zhou, would you like to try one? Uh, if you say you don't want them, they must be fake. System, use the Heavenly Secrets Insight function again to check Elder Zhou's mission in Fong Yi City. Ding. 
Zhou Tong's mission is to find the future saintess of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion under the orders of the Pavilion Master. I didn't expect Elder Zhou's secret mission to be so intense. Should I help this time? Ding. Issuing a random mission, recruit the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion Saintess as a squandering sect disciple. The mission involves a large number of big spender points. You can refuse, stealing someone's potential disciple. System, are you willing to play this wild? Elder Zhou, I'm sorry. Elder Zhou, who was completely immersed in his enlightenment, had no idea how serious the situation was. System, find out the name and location of the Heavenly Secret Pavilion Saintess. 20 minutes later. Eager anticipation. Eager anticipation. Young friend, how many of these enlightenment pills do you have? Name your price. I'll buy them all on behalf of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. I do have some, but I can't sell them to you. Why? Because I need to save them for Yiling Xiue. What? How did you know? I have a proposal. Yi Ling Xiue could become a disciple of both factions. You will be responsible for her education and I'll provide her the resources. Impossible. She is the saintess of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. She cannot join any other faction. No, I must hurry and find the saintess. I cannot let him find her first. Very well, he fell into the trap. Poor Elder Zhou. The Heavenly Secrets Pavilion couldn't predict the timing, so she hasn't arrived in Fong Yi City yet. He wasted several days searching in vain. Two hours later. I really wish someone could give me a back massage. If only Li Fei were here, Big Brother Yi. Speaking of which, I wonder what my second disciple will be like. Yi Ling Xue. Young and beautiful, full of charm. She must be my future disciple. Li Fei, it seems you and I are not destined. My future disciples will all be lovely female disciples. You are destined to be my little brother. Hey! Beautiful miss, please wait a moment. Huh? What's up? Let me introduce myself. I'm Yi Fong, the sect master of the squandering sect. Today... Our paths have crossed, so I wish to take you in as my disciple. Are you willing? Well, this is awkward. What's wrong? Did I leave a deep impression on you? Well, I'm quite impressed. I never expected someone to give their sect such a childish name. But Master Yi, it seems you only have the cultivation level of the Qi Gathering Realm, right? Although strength isn't a strict requirement for founding a sect, but may I ask, why do you think you can take me as your disciple? Do you know that my cultivation has already reached the eighth layer of the Foundation Establishment Realm? The eighth layer of the Foundation Establishment Realm? Well, your strength is indeed a bit low. Low? After all, your senior sister has reached the ninth layer peak of the Transcending Tribulation Realm. There's quite a gap. But don't feel too inferior. Our sect doesn't prioritize strength. You can progress gradually. You look down on me just because my cultivation is lower? You talk about a senior sister at the Transcending Tribulation Realm Ninth Layer Peak trying to make me feel inferior? Are you taking me for a fool? You're really handsome, but chatting with you for so long? I must be out of my mind. Squandering sect. As your master, I have plenty of resources. I can cover all your cultivation expenses from now on. Expenses, cultivation progress. Time to join. Guaranteed techniques. Squandering pamphlet. Why are you ignoring me? Is this your way of playing hard to get with me? Playing hard to get? Do you think I'm playing hard to get with you? You big dummy, what's there to make me play hard to get? If it weren't for your handsome face, I would have squashed you long ago. All right, you said you have resources, so here's your chance. Provide me with 100 million top grade spirit stones, and I, Yi Ling Xue, will accept you as my master. If you can't provide them, I'll turn you into a doll to play with. Please, start showing off. Earning recognition on the third try. Here comes another ignorant girl. No, no. 
Don't fall for it. Is it because I'm too poor? Why is everyone demanding higher prices than me? Young one, your ambitions are too small. It's obvious that you're far inferior to your senior sister. Here, take it. Consider it a welcoming gift from your master. Did this guy just peek at my chest? Small? How can my ambitions be small? What should I do? Should I really join this squandering sect? It would be embarrassing if my master is weaker than me. Should I just take the spirit stones and run? No, that would create inner demons. How could I deal with the tribulation that contains mental attacks in the transcending tribulation realm later? Wait a minute. Will I really have a senior sister at the transcending tribulation realm ninth layer peak? Even the big shots will be lowering their status, so why should I take it seriously? Master Yi, you said there's a significant gap between me and my senior sister. How much did my senior sister ask for in terms of spirit stones back then? First of all, it's about development. No, it was the same, 100 million. Well, isn't that the same? It's not a big deal, right? But what your senior sister wanted wasn't top grade spirit stones, it was 100 million top grade spirit crystals. What? 100 million top grade spirit crystals? To be honest, I feel like your senior sister asking for just 100 million top grade spirit crystals is quite modest. Master Yi, words alone aren't enough. Give me a share of it too, just to see. She does seem much more clever than her senior sister. Here you go. Is this the radiance of 100 million top grade spirit crystals? What's that girl doing? Proposing? The youth these days, they're quite something, I must say. Disciple Yi Ling Xue pays respects to Master. Master, I've finished seeing it. Hmm. Younger ones can be teachable too. Congratulations to the host for completing the random task. Reward, 30,000 big spender points, big spender points. Congratulations to the host for acquiring the second disciple. Rewards, 10,000 heavenly profound mystical enlightenment pills, one karma Dao mark. Heavenly mystery enlightenment pills. Karma Dao mark. Karma Dao mark, after fusion, it can resist some of the fate affected by prying into the heavenly secrets on oneself to a certain extent. Checking one's fate is no big deal, it's not like I've lost years of my life. Yi Feng's grave. I just got a nosebleed, it's nothing, enjoying life just fine. Currently active. Holy cow, this is really something. Master? What's Master so gleeful about? People other than Yi Feng can't see the system. Yi Ling Xue, although you've joined our squandering sect, our sect has no hierarchy. Just remember this, and your status will be acknowledged. Staring at my miss, seeking death. I'm just looking for someone, nothing more. People from the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion are looking for you. It's your destiny to be their Saintus. I won't stop you, because you indeed have the talent in that area. This Karma Dao mark can resist the fate affected by prying into the Heavenly Secrets to a certain extent. Be careful when you pry into the heavenly secrets in the future. Oh, okay, actually, the chest isn't a necessary spot for the mark. I have 10,000 heavenly profound mystical enlightenment pills. Eat them if you encounter a bottleneck in your cultivation. If you run out, I'll find a way to get more for you. Why is Master so good to me? Saintus of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. Heavenly Profound Arts. Heavenly Profound Mystical Enlightenment Pills Karma Dao Mark The continent, could it be Master is manipulating the entire situation in the Xientian continent? Master, rest assured, your disciple will definitely control the Heaven Secrets Pavilion and make it a subordinate force of our squandering sect. Control the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion, a subordinate force? What's going on in Yi Ling Xue's mind? Yi Ling Xue, I'm not, Master, did Senior Sister also occupy the high position in some powerful force? Interruption count, one. Yes, but, Master, where are the people from the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion? 
Tell me their location, and I'll create a chance encounter to infiltrate their ranks. I'll become their saintess and recruit them. Interruption count, two. Ling Xue, this is actually a missin, a him. Master, disciple understands. Please trust your disciple, master. Can you stop adding drama to yourself? Do you really understand anything? Uh, I'm here to recruit disciples, not to hire actors for spy thrillers. I truly owe you an Oscar. Market Street. Ah. Uh, oh my. See that messy old man over there? He's an elder of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. Oh, he's the top diviner in the world? Master, I'll go have my fortune read by him, making him figure out who I am. Ling Xue, wait, master, I'm going. I won't disappoint you. By the way, what did you want to say just now? Um, nothing. Good luck. Never mind, let her have her fun. Let the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion deal with the headaches. The wind whistling through, the cold breeze of the E River biting, the hero sets forth, vowing not to return until the mission is accomplished. This expression captures a profound and somber mood, showcasing someone's unwavering determination and sacrifice, transcending the constraints of time and space. Probably referring to the diviner here. Hi, you are. Did that old diviner get fooled by Yi Ling Xiwei? Why is he running so fast? Ha ha ha. Wait, did I forget something? Damn it, I forgot to activate the sect communication and teleportation functions for Yiling Xiue. I'll have to make up for it later. Several hundred meters from the city gate. Humph. You little brat still wants to compete with our Heavenly Secrets Pavilion for the Saintess position. But it was me who found her first. Ha ha. You old diviner, you've lived so many years, yet you let my master toy with you. Your fortune-telling skills aren't even accurate. Good night. Bye. Deep in the forest. It's really dark today. Let's continue our journey tomorrow. Huh. There's a cave here. Not bad. Let's set up a bed here. After a while, what bad luck. We spent the whole day bustling around for nothing. We didn't even encounter a single demon beast. Young master, let's go back to the manor. Pang Lao, are you teaching me how to do things? Young master of Mirror Moon Manor, Zhang Hang, J.H. Guardian Pang Lao. I wouldn't dare. Lacking talent, poor spiritual roots, arrogant and hedonistic, only interested in eating, drinking, and having fun, with no intention of cultivating. If it weren't for the Lord's command, do you think I'd willingly become your guardian? Oh, there's a cave over there. Let's rest there for today. If I don't kill a few demon beasts and bring back their corpses, those bastards will think I'm useless. Humph. A mere spiritual sea realm cultivator, can you compete with demon beasts? You think you can bring back demon beast corpses? Will anyone even believe you? Don't deceive yourself. You're a ridiculous piece of shit. What can you do without your father? Pang Lao, come take a look. Huh. Young master, did you find something? I've learned something from this. That guy in there really knows how to enjoy life. Why didn't I think of using spirit stones as a bed? You useless fool, instead of learning properly, you're trying to imitate someone else's extravagant lifestyle. I know what to do now. Pang Lao, kill him. Tonight, I'm sleeping on that top grade spirit stone bed. Young master, this person's identity is probably not simple. He might have powerful guardians. Just to be safe, let's, I said kill him. I don't want to repeat myself a third time. Roger. It would be perfect if there was a girl here too. That was close. I almost let those bastards disturb my lord's rest. What's this? Female parent insect. A female parent insect that can mark targets through death. That's interesting. This is just the right opportunity to cause trouble for my lord. This way, I might get a chance to sneak out. Early the next morning. 
I'll have to ask the system for a blanket in the future. This spirit stone bed is too rough. Name, Yi Fong. Age, 18. Realm, Qi Gathering Realm Ninth Layer Peak. Physique, Mortal Body. Martial Arts, Human Level Superior. Expand for details. Mental State, Death Sword Heart Realm. Divine Power, None Items, 120 Enlightenment Pills. Expand for details. Big Spender Points, 141010. Today's Big Spender Items, 6th Grade ninth Rank. Heavenly Thunder Talisman, 10,000 in stock. A 6th Grade ninth Rank Thunder Talisman is equivalent to the full power of an Amethyst Palace Realm ninth Layer Peak. I have over 140,000 Big Spender Points. It's time to increase my strength. Spend 9, No. Spend 99,000 Big Spender Points to break through to the Foundation Establishment Realm ninth Layer Peak. It's done. Foundation Establishment Realm Ninth Layer Peak. The feeling of breaking through two major realms in a row. Now I've finally reached the peak of the Foundation Establishment Realm's Ninth Layer. I'm really awesome. It's a pity that my earth-shaking breakthrough, which could have shaken the world, happened without. A single soul as a witness, it. Holy cow. How did I end up with two corpses in front of me after a nap? My earth-shaking breakthrough was only witnessed by these two corpses. This is really messed up. Those two corpses were obviously killed instantly. Was it the system Divine Guards doing? What's up with this bug? Forget it, let's pack up and get going. Master, I entrust everything to you. Will you marry me? I agree. My daughter, you must be happy. Moss, honey, let's make a whole soccer team together. Sure, everything depends on you. I don't agree. Luo Chinch U.S. Residence. Honey, what's wrong? Zero Big Sister, why are you shouting? It's nothing, it was just a dream. Let me get a good night's sleep. Wait a second. Star Spirit Sect. Lady Saintus, it's quite late. Is there something you need? Lady Saintus, what was that explosion just now? It's nothing, just my inner demons. Um, for the next couple of days, I'll sleep here with you. Make some space for me. Oh, sure. I wish I had a carriage. I'm so exhausted. Deep within a certain forest. Are those merchants? They have a carriage. Hello, please wait a moment. Who are you? Why are you blocking our path? Meng Tang Yu. Brother, I want to join the caravan, and I. Do you think I'd let someone of unknown origin join our caravan? Let's continue. If I had known this would happen, I would have formed a caravan myself. Why didn't I think of it earlier? What does that idiot want to do? In the next town, I must form a caravan, get a carriage, and hire some people to serve me. Humph. Hey. Do you want to join our caravan? What? Is there something you need? Our young master said that he'll give you a chance. If you can beat him, you can join our caravan. Oh, what a great opportunity. I'm Huang Xiaofei. I am at the peak of the ninth layer of the soul formation realm. Young master of the Chen Hai Trading Guild Huang Xiaofei. This young kid doesn't appear suited to be the young master of a trading guild. No matter how you look at it, I am Yi Fong. I am at the ninth peak of the Foundation Establishment Realm. Buddy, don't accuse me of bullying you later, okay? I'll give you three moves. Any and all means are allowed. I am treating you so nicely, see? You're even more of a show-off than I am. Don't blame me if it gets rough. Young master, be careful. This man is dangerous. Whoa. It's just a friendly match. Regardless of whether you win or lose, young master will let you join the caravan. Aren't you going too far with these talismans? Huh? What are you talking about? 
Young master, please don't interrupt. These talismans are just something I brought out to play with. They don't harm anyone. Activate the Heavenly Secrets Insight function. Let's see if Huang Xiaofei will truly allow me to join the caravan, regardless of the outcome. What he said is true. Looks like I was too narrow-minded this time. These eight high-grade thunder talismans are probably your trump cards, right? High-grade thunder talismans? What do you mean you say you brought these out to play with? Who would believe that? Since you don't believe me, then I'll set off some fireworks for you as compensation. This is merely my performance art. Quite the art, isn't it? Holy cow, are you playing with these talismans for real? What are all these gourds? Friendly reminder, please try to avoid lighting fireworks to curb environmental pollution. What just happened? All right, I'll trust you this once. Pardon my tone. Come, come, I would like to ask you all to help me out. Butler Meng, what are these hundreds of gourds? These are called talismans, not gourds. This one is worth a hundred million low-grade spirit stones. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me complete my performance art piece. Let's have a heavenly thunder feast. Throw all the heavenly thunder talismans you have in your hands. Is this dude out of his mind? Damn it, I was planning to slack off and sell some fish. Let the heavenly thunder come down even more fiercely. With this many people, I can make the most of it and give them some rewards later. I'm a genius at squandering recklessly. The aura of a hero, this person casually took out a vast number of high-grade ninth-tier talismans. I'm afraid the young master's status can't compare to this man's. Brother, maybe you should take these back. Big brother, are you serious? Then I'll really throw them away. Of course, I'm serious. Hurry up and throw them. Everyone, listen up. Throw the talismans. My head is buzzing. This pit is really deep. I've never seen anything like this before. I can't believe I spent 80 to 90 million on such talismans before. It's so unreal. When I go back this time, I can brag about creating this heavenly thunder for a lifetime. This thunder is an achievement for me. Butler Meng, from now on, if my father dares to call me a spendthrift, you must testify that I'm not wasteful enough. Congratulations, host, for spending all your daily big spender items. Rewards, 1,000 big spender points and the skill, divine ability to Buddha of good and evil. It actually rewarded me with a divine ability. I could obtain this divine ability this time thanks to these people. System, give each of them a hundred million top. Ten thousand top grade spirit stones, ten thousand. No more than that, I haven't even finished yet. Thanks, everyone, for helping me get rid of those useless talismans. I hope you don't mind these top grade spirit stones. Ten thousand, there really are ten thousand top grade spirit stones. This is insane. I must be dreaming, right? So many top grade spirit stones. Even if I work my entire life at the guild, I won't earn this much. 10,000 top grade spirit stones for each person. There are 108 people here, so that's 1080000. You always call me a spendthrift, but what kind of a spendthrift am I? When I go back, I must tell my father about this and let him know about my grievances over the past 10 years. What's wrong with you? You want to learn from him even though he's a spendthrift, don't you? I'm sick of this. Are those two flirting with each other? Holy cow, this can't be real. Ouch, ouch. Butler Meng, what's wrong? Butler Meng, I'm very grateful for the guild's care, but after receiving these 10,000 top grade spirit stones, I've decided not to embark on this perilous journey. Butler Meng, you know my situation. With these 10,000 top grade spirit stones, I want to spend some valuable bonding time with my son. What's going on? I have more than enough resources for cultivation too, me too. You damn gurgle. A few minutes later, the current state of the caravan. Three people and one horse can't bear it. 
They kindly offered me a ride, but I ended up disbanding their caravan. If I had known, I would have never given away those 10,000 top grade spirit stones. Congratulations to the host for successfully squandering rewards, 200 big spender points, and one blood rejuvenation pill recipe. Don't congratulate me. I've caused a disaster. Ginseng is a valuable medicinal herb used to improve health and vitality in traditional medicine. But Lemang, I'm really sorry. I didn't expect these people to be so greedy and ungrateful. Originally, I planned to give each of them a hundred million top grade spirit stones. Luckily, I only gave them 10,000 top grade spirit stones. A hundred million. There would be no reason for our guild to exist if you truly gave them a hundred million. If we could simply depend on sudden fortune, why would we have bothered putting in the effort? Big bro, look, you've almost driven Butler Ming crazy. Butler Ming, how are you feeling? Do you require any rare treasures to aid in your healing? Why do I feel like there is not a single useful one among them? Nine Leaves Resurrection Herbs Golden Silkworm Star Gems Purple Thunder Mad Lion Corpse Essence Blood Enlightenment Pills Sword Heart Advancement Fragments Heavenly Profound Mystical Enlightenment Pills I thought these things only existed in ancient texts. That's true. Is he genuinely offering to help with healing, or is he deliberately showing off his wealth? Um, I don't have enough items on hand. None of these would be truly effective in a critical moment. Butler Ming, you should be aware of your own injuries. What medicine do you need? I'll take full responsibility. Activate store, are you going to show off again? I had a heart attack due to a disturbance in my blood and chi stagnation. I need a recipe for an 8th tier blood ginseng pill to cure it. And it must have 5 or more veins. Blood ginseng pill? I think the recipe I just obtained was for a blood ginseng pill, no? System, specify 10 8th grade blood ginseng pills with at least 5 veins each. I don't care about the cost, you must provide them. A total of 80 pill jars were opened, 8,000 big spender points were consumed, obtained 10 blood ginseng pills of the 8th grade with 9 veins. Huh? It only cost 8,000. System, where did those wrongly drawn pills go? I don't know. Butler Ming, aren't you making things difficult for him? That guy was just being a show-off. I understand. I won't carry on with this any longer. Stupid system, did you also swallow my earth rank martial arts last time? Host, stop tearing me up. There is someone looking for you. Young sir, it's alright if you don't have it. I was just joking. After all, the blood ginseng pills have long been lost. Butler Ming, I found the blood ginseng pill. You really have a blood ginseng pill? And it is a nine-veined one? Butler Mang, don't just stand there. Hurry up and take the blood ginseng pill. I can't even afford to eat this pill even if I were to sell myself. Young sir, actually, my injuries aren't severe. I'll recover in no time. Don't waste such a precious pill on me. Precious? This broken pill is precious? Broken pill? That's a legendary nine vein pill. Maybe it is to him. By the way, what does big brother you want to do with it? Come here, my little pony, this is for you to eat. Staying here was a good idea. No. -oh. Ding. The squandering method meets the standard. Congratulations to the host for successfully squandering rewards 3,000 big spender points. Although I spent a lot of big spender points, I also earn a lot. So, by this calculation, I can easily earn 19,000 points. Come here, have a few more. Oh my god, so delicious. No more squandering. Butler Mang, have a look at this nine vein blood ginseng pill. Don't do it. I'll eat it. Whoa, it tastes pretty good. Butler Mang, in the end, you've become the type of person you used to despise the most. The squandering method meets the standard. 
Congratulations to the host for successfully squandering rewards, 3,000 big spender points, and 1,009 vein blood ginseng pills. These pills will not help in acquiring squandering rewards. It seems Butler Ming's injuries aren't severe. Eating a 9 vein blood ginseng pill in this state would indeed be squandering. Top notch acting skills. A thousand pills? How should I make use of them? Young Master Huang, are you also tempted by these nine vein blood ginseng pills? Eh? Do I get some too? Eat up. I have plenty of these broken pills. Eat as many as you want. Can he really have as many as he wants? He he he. Thanks, Brother Yi. A few minutes later. The prodigal life isn't bad at all. Yeah, this is truly delicious. Brother Yi, from now on, you're my beloved big brother. If you ever need anything, just say the word and I'll do my best to help. Sure, sure, I accept you as my little brother. Xiao Fei, after we return this time, I will explain things to your father, huh? Does this man Hua really have that kind of development? Gazing into each other's eyes. You really haven't lived extravagantly enough. You've lived too modestly for over a decade. The guild leader's vision is too narrow. Referring to the young master's father. Butler Meng, so it's not a confession, huh? By the way, what makes this blood ginseng pill so precious? What's so special about it? It's not like it's a ninth grade item. The precious thing is the recipe. Recipe? Young Master Yi, this blood ginseng pill has an exceptional healing effect. It's amongst the best in the world of pills. Neither its refinement nor finding its herbs are particularly difficult, but the recipe has been lost. The current blood ginseng pills are in short supply, so they are extremely precious. The lost recipe for the blood ginseng pill? I have that. Ball-shaped paper prescription. What? I can't understand it. You can only understand it once you've refined it. But I, Ming Tang Yu, trust young Master Yi. The prescription is upside down. Big Brother, is this recipe truly genuine? Of course, it's genuine. I can even give it over to your guild, that's great. Thank you, Big Brother. But, from now on, I'll take 10% of the profits from the sales of the blood ginseng pills, and it must be delivered to my sect. No problem. I agree on behalf of my father. Going straight to heaven. I'm really blessed to have you as a direct disciple. Oh master, the star spirit sect has only just begun, but your disciple is working hard to strengthen the sect for you. It's truly a laborious and costly effort, both in terms of time and resources. By the way, how much are your goods worth? I'll buy them all and throw them away. But Lemang, you and Xiaofei should come with me to my sect. It'll be a good opportunity to get to know the way. Lifting the lid. We'll follow young Master Yi's lead. Young Master Yi, please. It's quite sturdy finally, no more traveling on foot. I must learn swordsmanship in the future. I wonder what kind of sect my big brother belongs to. In a certain town. Finally, a bed. Even with Butler Ming, it'll take three days to reach the Star Spirit sect. Three days. Meanwhile, in another guest room. I understand, I understand. Young Master, what did the guild leader say? Butler Ming, father said, life is meaningless. I'm doomed. Chen Hai Trading Guild Headquarters. Sigh, if I had known this would happen, I would have kept Xiao Fei at home. Chen Hai Trading Guild Guild Master Huang Dehai. Elder Meng, please go and bring them back. This is madness. They've lost their subordinates and cargo because of someone named Yi? But, my biggest concern now is their safety. Rest assured, Guild Master. They will be fine. Grey-robed elder Ming Haifeng. I'll go find them right away. Next day, dot, today's big spender items are 10,000 pieces of Battle Saint's body. Battle Saint's body, an extremely powerful combat physique. It thrives on serious injuries, gaining strength as the wounds deepen. 
The more one fights, the more their courage grows, enabling them to confront challenges against all odds. Holy cow! This thing is seriously strong. System, can't I use it for myself just this once? This will result in a loss of big spender points. Please don't do something foolish. Reminder to the host, while the Battle Saint's body is strong, it's still not up to your level. Don't bother with this garbage physique. Gar garbage physique? If I can't use it on myself, how am I supposed to show it off? Brother Yi, hurry up and come. I've prepared your breakfast for you. Brother Yi, hurry up and come. I've prepared your breakfast for you. This warm service reminds me of Li Fei, Li Fei. Xiao Fei, what do you think of cultivators who rush to the front lines in battle? Huh? I admire them very much. Although I am a bit of a playboy and I don't pay much attention to cultivation, Young Master has extremely poor comprehension and mediocre spiritual roots. It's not that he isn't trying, it's just that he's inherently lacking. System, does the Battle Saint's body have any requirements regarding comprehension or spiritual roots? No, as long as you keep fighting and experiencing life and death battles, your strength will improve. You can also comprehend suitable super powerful martial arts. The Battle Saint's body is extremely mysterious. What the hell do you mean by garbage physique when its description is this good? Xiao Fei, would you be willing to become a frontline fighter? Huh? The only thing he is good at is running away quickly. Brother Yi, while I enjoy playing and joking around, I don't play games with my life. I'm not bragging. I might not be good at fighting, but I'm unparalleled at running away. Is that so? Really, it's true. Brother Yi is staring at me. Why do I feel a little flustered? Let me tell you two stories first. In the past, there was a handsome guy who had 10,000 pieces of death sword and tent fragments, but he didn't want them, so he found a fat guy who hated sword cultivators and gave him the ultimate death sword and tent. Who refers to himself as a handsome guy? For the second story, the Battle Saint's body is an extremely powerful combat physique, details omitted. And it just happens to be in the hands of the same handsome guy. He wants to give this Battle Saint's body to someone who can't fight and is a top-notch escape artist. You can just say my name already. Waiting for the chance to escape, Brother Yi, your stories are truly exciting. But I was just joking earlier. I really admire those people. How could I be afraid of death and run away? If it weren't for my innate flaws, I'd be itching for a good life and death battle. Butler Mang, what do you think? Very afraid of death. Can't bear it. Wants to pretend to be weak. What a hopeless guy. What are you complaining about? Butler Mang, I leave this decision to you. You only get one chance. If you want Xiao Fei to be successful, tie him up and bring him here. Thank you for this opportunity, young Master Yi. Butler Mang. No. I don't want to. If my father gets to know that I have this kind of a powerful physique, he will definitely force me to go to war. To be continued. Someone's trying to kill me. Help. Let go of me. I don't want this. Brother Meng. Stop yelling. Ouch. Hold him down for a second. Young Master Yi, thank you for this. I don't want to go to the front lines. I give up. It's all right, it'll be over in a second, haha. -ha. Young Master Yi told me that it won't hurt at all. Come on, you're the bravest here. Don't worry. 10,000 pieces, didn't you say it'd be over in a second? Dr. Yi, is this normal? The procedure went smoothly. Let's observe him for a while. What's that? Why is the sky turning red? Could it be an impending disaster? With my iron horse and long sword, I will strike fear into the hearts of bandits. With my blood, I will dye the world white and set it right. The world is washed in blood. Darkness is only the beginning of the chaos. The battle saint's body is terrifying. 
If Young Master doesn't show any improvement, he's not worthy of having the Battle Saint body. Congratulations to the host for squandering all of today's items. Rewards, 1,000 Big Spender Points and 3 9th Tier Inyang Illusionary Formation Flags. System, you call this a garbage physique? Fuck you. 9th Tier Inyang Illusionary Formation Flags. Releasing spiritual energy is required to activate it. The user can lay down an Inyang Illusionary Formation that can trap people at the peak of the 9th layer of the Transcending Tribulation Realm. The duration is 10 hours. It's a one-time use item. This item does not trigger big spender rewards. Oh? This reward isn't bad. It's perfect for my three-day journey to Star Spirit Sect. This thing will let me sleep well at night. You're quite the host. This is very befitting of a big spender like you. Big Brother Yi, is it over? I don't feel anything. Did you really waste such a physique on a weak person like me? Don't worry, young master. After we send young master Yi back to his sect, I'll ask the guild master to let me personally instruct you. From now on, every battle between us will be a battle of life and death. Whether you fight seriously or not, I won't hold back. If you die, I'll accompany you. Xiaofei, you're on your own now. It's getting late. Let's find a place to rest for the night. Sure. Thanks a lot, Butler Meng. I wonder what Butler Meng said to Xiaofei to make him so withdrawn. Let's rest here for tonight. Butler Meng, your experience in camping out is truly impressive. You must have spent many years traveling with caravans. Oh, not at all. Butler Meng. Please guide me from now on. You finally made up your mind this time. What's going on? Weren't you strongly resisting it before? How did you change your mind after just one day? Forget it. Since Huang Xiaofei is willing, he must have his reasons. Let's see what this damn flag can do. You guys go ahead and fight. I'll leave a hundred blood ginseng pills here. With the formation flag here, no one will disturb us. Understood, young Master Yi. Butler Meng, you seem distracted. Not good. Young Master, do you think I can't fight without a sword? Ouch. My son and the young Master, so that's where they are. WTF. Butler Meng, you've underestimated me. You can't restrain me with such little strength. You're still too young. Damn it. Hey. Stop fighting. Those two brats have really gone crazy, just like the guild master said. I have to stop them. Butler Meng, I won't hold back anymore. Come on, young master. Give your all in this attack. Ora, ora, ora. Come on, come on, come on. What on earth is this formation and flag doing here? Damn it. I don't understand formations, and it's a high-level flag. I'm screwed. Hmm? That guy should be the young master that the guild master mentioned. He's really not simple if he can use such a high-level formation flag. Are they finally done fighting? Holy crap, they're using swords now? Stop it now. Have you all gone mad? Damn it, this barrier is too strong. Five minutes later, I it's over, finally. Wait, what are they planning to do? Xiaofei, is that really the Xiaofei I've known since he was a child? And are those blood ginseng pills? That sword move just now was so cool, hee hee, after another five minutes. Let's fight again, Butler Meng. I can already feel a trace of the battle saint body. Let's continue. They're insane. Seriously, you guys are out of your minds. Don't use such precious pills for healing. This is pure squandering. I'm here. Why haven't they stopped fighting yet? They must have been fighting all night long. Who's that? Humph. Thank goodness I used a formation flag last night. Otherwise, those two would have been in trouble. 
The first flag is about to expire, so I'll use this second flag to trap them for 10 more hours. If they need more, I'll give them another flag. He can see me? So he's the one who set up the formation. That's why my son and the kid can't see me. Well, that's good. I want to see how capable you really are. All right, stop fighting. Let's get back on the road. Okay. Idiot. Ugh. This is so infuriating. Meanwhile, on the other side, it's really dangerous. These two big idiots probably don't know that I've been protecting them since last night. Indeed, being part of a trading guild makes you an easy target. Today's big spender item, 10,000 blood ginseng pills, 10,000 damn it. Blood ginseng pills again. And 10,000 of them. Who would be able to consume all of these? Wait a minute. Why do they have to be consumed? Can't I just throw them away? System, these nine-veined eighth-tier blood ginseng pills are scarce, right? If I throw them on the road, they'd go to waste, and if some little monsters eat them or if someone finds them, they might not recognize their value. Doesn't that count as squandering? Ding. It fits prodigal behavior. Nice. We haven't s had breakfast yet, have we? Big Brother Yi, this is our fault. We hadn't considered the possibility of camping in the wild before. Why apologize? I was just reminding you. For free. A super duper sea view, crystal clear and bright. You guys don't have breakfast, but I do. Um, what are you stunned for? Hurry up and eat. Not eating would mean disrespecting me, you know. This is too much to eat, forget it, let's not belittle Brother Ye's kindness. One hour later. Young Master Ye, we really can't eat anymore. When you feel full, take a break and stretch your legs a bit. I still have over 9,000 left. Butler Meng, you continue on your way. Xiao Fei, help me throw these blood ginseng pills out one by one. Brother Yi, isn't this a bad idea? If someone picks them up, it might affect the guild's exclusive sale of blood ginseng pills. Besides, these are nine-veined ones. Xiao Fei, despite being the trading guild's young master, you really lack business acumen. Although these are all nine-veined, there are only over 9,000 left. Using one means one less. With the number of people that exist on the Xintian continent, these pills won't be enough. Don't think I'm looking down on your guild. I gave you the recipe earlier, remember? Can't the alchemists in your trading guild produce nine-veined blood ginseng pills with it? Even if they can produce nine-veined ones, how many people could afford them? Most will still buy five, six, or seven-veined blood ginseng pills, right? I think I'm starting to get it. Limited quantity. High quality. Hard to replicate. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Moreover, the more blood ginseng pills we throw out, the fewer there will be. The scarcer they become, the greater the publicity. The scarcer the blood ginseng pills, the more people will want them. The more people want them, the more blood ginseng pills can be produced. This is really a good understanding of using scarcity marketing. Go bigger. As they say, the fewer blood ginseng pills there are, the more there will be. And the guild will make more money. The scarcer something is, the more expensive it will be. Young Master Yi is a genius. You're absolutely right, Big Brother Yi. I've learned a lot from you. The next night in the wilderness. You two can keep fighting. All right. Sigh, there were no additional rewards besides the big spender points this time. Come on. Come on. You two. I'm really worried about you. I'll keep watch for you tonight. Host, you can rest assured and go to sleep. If you encounter danger, the Divine Guard will come to protect you. Finally, I'll get a chance to go out and relax. System, I'm not useless. I don't need a guard for everything. If I keep relying on him, I'll feel utterly worthless. I could have used those jars to endlessly accumulate big spender points, but I refused. 
I don't want to become a heartless point-gathering machine. In my previous life, I worked overtime for a year, and when I finally gave myself a day off as a reward, I stayed up all night playing games. As a result, after I went to sleep, I ended up in the Shintian continent. Earning big spender points is just like getting a salary. In this life, I want to enjoy life while earning big spender points. Blood Spirit Jade, a jade pendant that can sense someone's location. Hmm? This is a nine vein blood ginseng pill. First pill. Spendthrift. What a fucking spendthrift. These are all priceless treasures. 500th pill that this is driving me crazy. He threw away more than 500 pills. That spendthrift should die. 2000th pill. Forget it, the blood ginseng pills are not a big deal in this universe. Life is meaningless. I don't want to pick them up anymore. Early the next morning. What's going on? Did I fall asleep? Is it morning already? Ugh, don't struggle, Butler Meng. I was careless. Luckily, that old man didn't come. I can't let him interfere with Xiao Fei and Butler Meng's cultivation. Young master, you are still too young to beat me. Finally here, I am finally he. See you later. You old bastard, you still have the guts to keep chasing us. You little brat. No matter where you run to, this old man will find you and kill you in this lifetime. Big Brother Yi, look. After two nights of battles, I've already integrated 1% of the Martial Battle Saint's body. Once it's fully integrated, I'll be able to unleash its true power. As expected of the Battle Saint's body. Let's continue on our way. We're not going to rest tonight. If everything goes smoothly, we can reach the Star Spirit sect by tomorrow morning. Doesn't Brother Yi value quality sleep? Young Master Yi must have a reason for making such a decision. Ten minutes later. Today's big spender item, Heaven Tier Superior Technique Demon Subduing Record. Eh. It's my first time seeing a Heaven Tier Superior Technique. This should be the highest tier technique in the Xientian continent, right? Demon subduing record. How should I squander this? Should I throw it away directly? But that's not innovative. Just tear it up? That's not creative enough. Got it. Xiao Fei, you haven't gone to the bathroom for several days, right? Huh? Young Master Yi. As cultivators, we can purify the impurities generated from eating using spiritual energy. There's no need for us to go to the bathroom like ordinary people, yes, Big Brother Yi. Although my strength is average, I still have this ability. What a bizarre character setting. No, you don't have that ability. Damn it. Big Brother Yi, are you trying to do something perverted? What should I do? Should I refuse? No, Big Brother Yi is so good to me, shouldn't I be able to bear this little bit of grievance? After intense psychological struggle, Big Brother Yi, my stomach hurts. As expected, he must be planning something. Go, then. Remember to use this to wipe. Oh, is that all? In the wilderness. I haven't gone to the bathroom like an ordinary person in so many years. This book looks so mysterious even though I can't understand it. Wait, is this? This aura, the enlightenment state. The silly little guy from my family has actually entered the enlightenment state. This is no less than a legendary opportunity. Young Master Yi, you, what exactly is the book you just gave the young master? My foolish young master has actually entered the enlightenment realm which is no less than a legendary opportunity? Young Master Yi, what exactly was the book you gave the young master just now? It's just a heaven tier superior technique. I wanted Xiao Fei to use it as toilet paper. Young Master Yi, I won't forget this great favor. We will surely engrave this kindness in our hearts. Butler Meng, I don't understand what you're talking about. Big spender points. Damn it. Thank you, Big Brother Yi. I'm done going to the toilet. 
Today's big spender item has failed to be squandered. 50,000 big spender points have been deducted. There were originally over 60,000 left, but now 50,000 have been deducted. I've wasted these days for nothing. Why is brother ye so angry? What did I do wrong? Could it be? I'm an idiot. Big brother ye, I was wrong. Wrong about what? You said before that with the Battle Saints body, there's no need for any techniques or martial skills. One can only improve through battles. I lacked willpower and actually immersed myself in the intricacies of the cultivation technique, forgetting the essence. I haven't even fully mastered it yet. Big Brother Yi, you tested me and I failed you. So that's how it is. It's ridiculous that I was dissatisfied with you, Brother Yi, thinking that you ruined the young master's opportunity. I was short-sighted. Young Master Yi, please punish me. Young Master Yi, please punish me. What the hell? What test? I was just squandering. What does it even have to do with you, Butler Stewart? Why do you two insist on adding drama to this situation? Speaking of adding drama, Master, I've infiltrated the enemy's ranks. To be honest, the Karma Dao mark is so random. I gotta be honest with you, the heavenly profound mystical art is really garbage. How similar to the second disciple. Young Master, Young Master Yi seems to be really angry. I realize that too. It seems I've disappointed Big Brother Yi too much this time. A bunch of drama queens, huh? Think what you want, I'm not playing anymore. Let's go, hurry up. I'm not angry anymore. Keep moving. Brother Yi, I will never let you down again. One day... I will become a sharp blade in your hand and clear away all the enemies in front of you. Get lost. I just want to be lazy. Don't disturb my peaceful days. Big Brother Yi, whether you need it or not, I will cultivate desperately. Stop blabbering. At the evening. Ha ha ha, I'm out again. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you no matter what it takes. Meanwhile at night. What a powerful aura. It's getting closer and closer. The Star Spirit sect must have many powerful people. Finally, I can see what kind of great sect the Star Spirit sect is. This is where Big Brother Yi came from. The next morning. What happened to that great sect we were talking about? I have no idea. At that time, the sword was only 0.00001 millimeters away from my throat, but after a quarter of an incense stick's time, Master, I'm back, Yi Fong, you still remember how to come back, huh? Damn it, I forgot my lines. Whatever, system, save me quickly. I'm in danger here. Extremely serious abrasion. If not clear, please use a high-powered magnifying glass to observe carefully. Stay calm, host. Find a way to win her heart. The Divine Guard won't intervene this time. I want to go out. Lady Sanctus, please have mercy. Master, why are they here too? Ha, huh, why are they here you say? Don't you have any idea what you've done here at the sect? Yi Fong, you're really your master's good disciple. In just one trip out, you brought back the sect's five core disciples, an elder, and even conveniently kidnapped a guardian beast for the sect. Wait, who are they? No way. Don't tell me they want to join the sect as well. No. 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 Phew, that's lucky. Since there are outsiders here, I'll spare your life. Sect Master Luo seems upset. Now's my chance. Hey, little Yi, are you hurt? Do you need this healing medicine? Humph, you only come out now to act all nice and helpful. What were you up to? How dare you squat me? You're the one who's squatting here. Xia Tianyu? Why would the esteemed owner of the Tianyu auction house be here at this small sect? How would I know? Allow me to introduce them to you. These two are from the Chen Hai Trading Guild. 
Young Master Huang Xiaofei, and Grand Butler Ming Tongyu. They came back with your disciple this time, mainly to discuss business matters with you, Master. Huh? Gentlemen, my Star Spirit sect has been established for less than a month. As you can see, we don't have many disciples, and the sect's financial resources are limited, making it difficult to buy cultivation resources for the disciples. I believe it would be best to cancel this potential collaboration. Limited financial resources? Poverty limits our perception. Sect Master Luo, I think you have misunderstood. We are not here for that purpose. Worn out blood ginseng pill recipe. A few minutes later. The long lost 8th grade blood ginseng pill formula exclusively available for purchase. If the sect can participate, the profits from this, no. What does this have to do with me? I did not establish the sect for money. Master, as your direct disciple and the senior brother of the sect, when I witnessed junior brother Wufung slumped in a chair, crying over his lack of financial resources, that scene was forever etched in my memory. At that moment, I vowed to myself that if I could find a trading guild to collaborate with, I would seize that opportunity without hesitation. Now that the trading guild is right in front of me, I must consider whether this will be my only chance in life. Restoring the glory of the Star Spirit Sect is our undeniable duty. Hurry up and praise me. I knew that those two people wouldn't end up being anything good. I knew that anything to do with this wicked disciple Yi Fong will never be a good thing. This is such a disruption to my cultivation plan. When will I be able to transcend the tribulation and ascend to the upper realm to seek revenge? Reminder to the host, the great cloaked elder will arrive at the star spirit sect in three minutes. One use of today's insight function has been deducted. Hey, luckily I set up the insight function in advance. He really came after all. Xiao Shui, a great cloaked man is coming to the star spirit sect. Go and intercept him. Don't kill him yet. Beat him up hard for me. Beat him until he doesn't recognize his own kin. As you command, Master. What's going on? Is she showing off? Flirting with my senior sisters? Star Spirit Sex Southeastern Forest almost there. Finally, you finally stopped to rest. I don't believe you still have more of those high-grade formation flags. If I don't kill you, I, Ming Haifeng, won't be worthy. Three days, hey, I've been trapped for a whole three days. Who's there? This killing intent, I don't want to kill you, please step aside. You mere transcending tribulation realm fourth layer. Who gave you the courage to chase my master all the way here? Master? What kind of monster are you? I've withstood two heavenly Tao tribulations. If I can't deal with someone like you, my master will be angry. But don't worry. My master isn't planning to kill you yet. After I teach you a good lesson, I'll take you to meet my master. Whether you live or die will be the whim of my master. This little sister hasn't beaten anyone in days so her hands are itching. Please take care of my feelings, uncle, and sacrifice a little. It's not that uncle doesn't want to take care of you, but uncle's physical condition can't bear this. Master said that I can beat you, to the point where you don't even recognize your own mother. Ouch ouch. Star Spirit Sect Guest Room Father, what are you talking about? We haven't seen Elder Meng at all. What? Elder Meng has been chasing us for three days? Wait a minute. You said Elder Meng just sent a distress signal to you and now he's about to be beaten to death? Star Spirit Sect Main Hall Butler Meng, you can rest assured this time with this collaboration. Ha ha. Big Brother Yi, have you seen an old man in gray robes in the last few days? Huh? You've noticed? You guys need to learn how to conceal your tracks in the future. If it weren't for me this time, that old man would have killed you long ago. He's been chasing you for three days. No need to thank me. Big Brother Yi, it's a misunderstanding. Hurry up and call back the person you sent out. That old man is Butler Ming's father. He's not an enemy. What? You are a thug. S.A. Save me. 
Master, I brought the person you asked me to bring back. Did I do the right thing this time? Arg. Wa wa. Father. Father, are you okay? Flowers, trees, sky, gentle breeze, clouds, sun, my wife. Father, what nonsense are you talking about? Ugh. Wa. I never expected to lose you so soon, even before my hair turned gray. Oh, father. I seem to have done something wrong. Several hours later, guest room and that's what happened, Elder Ming. Oh, I never thought that he was actually protecting the two of you. Elder Ming, I'm really sorry. Back then, I woke up and saw you glaring at Xiaofei and Ming Tan Yu angrily, cursing and swearing. Indeed, this was my fault to begin with. Elder Ming, it's been a long time. I hope you're doing well. Boss Xia, you're actually here. Oh, what Boss Xia, I don't care about the auction house anymore. Now I'm just an elder of the Star Spirit sect, weary after a lifetime, seeking a place to retire. What? Since your guild wants to cooperate with us, I'll be the intermediary. This is the master of the Star Spirit sect, Luo Chinchue. And she is also the beloved daughter of the head of the Star Peak sect, Luo Woming. These five are the five core disciples of the Star Peak sect. You should be very clear about what they represent. Why did we turn into stick figures? Hi, Elder Meng. By Tian Hong, an elder of the Star Peak sect. Luo Kai, a friend of the head of the Star Peak sect and an elder of the Star Spirit sect. Xiao Shui, the sex guardian beast and Yi Feng's battle pet. I'm so sorry for hurting you so badly. These are all heavyweight figures. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Excuse me for my lack of manners at this time, everyone in the guest room greeted each other. However, they seemed to have forgotten that the Star Spirit sect still had an important member left unintroduced. I am the second disciple of the sect here. Can't anyone introduce me? I never thought that such a small sect would be so terrifying. The forces behind it are not just as simple as the Star Peak sect. So many strong people here, I dare not speak. What? There's actually an exceptionally talented sword cultivator in the Star Spirit sect? Butler Meng, is this person a powerful being or Yi Feng's junior brother? It's hard to say. A dog? Doggy. Why does this dog get all the good stuff? If only I weren't human. Doggy. Look at all the good stuff I brought for you. He is gonna feed his dog again. Sword Heart Realm. Sword Embryo Prototype. I knew it. I knew it. There can't be anything ordinary in Yi Feng's hands. Even with an incredible physique like the Battle Saint's body that he had casually tossed to me. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. It was his possession in the first place, so I'll just give up. But, if the Grand Elders saw this, they might actually go crazy. I thought this brat would be at his limit when he offered the corpse of the Great Demon, but I never expected him to have such treasures. Basic stuff. These are all basic stuff in our little junior brother's eyes. Sit down, sit down. No need to be surprised. Sec Master Luo, it's getting late. I should take the young master and my son back. Oh? Why don't you stay for a night in my star spirit sect? We can't. I have orders from the guild master. I'll pay you a visit another day. At the foot of the mountain. Tell me, what kind of deal did you make with the star spirit sect in private on behalf of the trading guild? Haven't you seen through it all, father? Although he does have a lot of nine-vein blood ginseng pills, I still don't believe in this recipe. Top secret. And your trust in him is not just about the recipe, is it? Do it. I trust Big Brother Yi because of this. This is. If Big Brother Yi can give up such an extraordinary physique, what does a mere recipe count for? Indeed, the young master has only integrated a portion of the essence, yet his comprehension has undergone a remarkable transformation. He can even grasp a heaven-tier superior technique instantly. 
a heaven tier superior technique? Where might such a treasure be found? In the restroom, I used it for wiping. Squandering aura. Ha ha. What? How could there be such squandering? Let's hurry up. If the recipe is really genuine, we must make another visit with the guild master. A one-tenth profit is not enough. They have given us face so we cannot act foolishly. We should at least provide them with a profit of 20 to 30 percent. Star Spirit Sect Luo Chen U.S. Study Room. Master, is there anything else? My direct disciple, I have truly underestimated you. In just a few days away from the sect, how many identities have you acquired? Core Disciple. Honorary Elder. Founder of a new sect with the Valley Master of the Myriad Blossoms Valley as your disciple. Tell me, what should I call you now? Disciple? Elder? Or Grand Master? Master, as your disciple, I assure you that I am yours in life and I am yours in death. I will always be yours, Master. Let's pause here to appreciate the atmosphere. Experience what it means to have unwavering support. Although Master appears cold, it is merely a sharp tongue masking a soft heart. As long as I assist Master in strengthening the sect, I will be able to move Master's heart. Although the process of accepting disciples is somewhat troublesome, Yi Fong is my sole direct disciple in two lifetimes. Master, the Myriad Blossoms Valley's master became my disciple because she lost a bet. My sect is merely for amusement. I had no intention of becoming an honorary elder, but I was unable to deny the arrangements of the five grand elders. Okay, stop kneeling. The Grand Elders contacted me earlier and reminded me not to squander the top-grade spirit crystals in your possession. They will be of great use in the future. Are you aware of the mysterious location within the Heavenly Dao battlefield? Master, do you mean the Heavenly Dao city? Huh? I have been there, but unfortunately the Heavenly Dao token only let me stay for half a day. I wasn't aware of the time I wasted. I wanted to tease him a bit. Since he has been there and I have not, it would be too embarrassing. Master, the Heavenly Dao City is an extraordinary place. Allow me to describe it to you. Junior brother. Oh. Senior brothers, senior sister, do you all live in this courtyard too? Junior brother. Welcome back. Junior brother, I can't believe that you've broken through to the peak of the Foundation Establishment Realm Ninth Layer. It seems you must have gained great opportunities in the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Ah, uh, fourth senior brother, you are blocking me from the spotlight. I feel like my presence is too low. If this continues, senior brother might forget about me. Senior brother, how many minutes did it take for you to break through? Did you go from the Chi Gathering Realm directly to the peak of the Foundation Establishment Realm Ninth Layer in one go? How come you're stealing my screen time too? Rest assured, Master. When I return to the Heavenly Dao battlefield, I will definitely acquire several Heavenly Dao tokens for you. Then I will take you to Heavenly Dao City for enjoyment, and all the Transcending Tribulation Realm powerhouses will be compelled to serve you tea and pour you water. Yi Feng's sincerity is likely genuine. It feels fortunate to have such a considerate prodigal disciple. It's changed. It's changed. The way Master looks at me has changed. Ahem, this is rather embarrassing. All right, you may now depart. I will immediately inform the Grand Elders of the situation regarding the Heavenly Dao City. Understood. Finally, I've made strides in strengthening my bond with Master. Let's take things step by step. Long time no see, Yi Fong. We meet again. Junior Brother Yi Fong, what do you mean by that? Could it be that what Lang Wufeng just said is true? Huh? Is Junior Brother really that vigorous? OMG. Elder Luo Kai? Elder Luo, long time no see. So, is there something wrong? He, well, you know I heard Elder Bai say that his waist hurts recently and Elder Xia also coughs a lot. And as a physique cultivator, in the future, if you have any trouble, just come to me. Elder Bai and Elder Xia are getting old. Let's not bother them. 
Um, don't expose your buttocks in public places. In case you get them tired, it won't be good. Luokai, you old man, I knew that you had something up your sleeve when I saw you coming here. Seeing your sneaky look, it's clear you're up to no good. How long have you guys been here? You say my waist hurts? When I was holding up the guild with one hand, you were still drinking milk. First time I lied. My first time. Elders, there's no physical labor today. It depends on the situation. If there is any physical labor, I will definitely trouble the three of you. How about that? All right, let's listen to Yi Fong. We're leaving. Huh? Why are you guys taking me with you? You just rest well. Yi Fong, save me. After a while, Star Spirit sect Yi Feng's dorm. I am finally back. Junior brother. Oh. Senior brothers, senior sister, do you all live in this courtyard too? Junior brother. Welcome back. Junior brother, I can't believe that you've broken through to the peak of the Foundation Establishment Realm Ninth Layer. It seems you must have gained great opportunities in the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Ah, uh, fourth senior brother, you are blocking me from the spotlight. I feel like my presence is too low. If this continues, senior brother might forget about me. Senior brother, how many minutes did it take for you to break through? Did you go from the Chi Gathering Realm directly to the peak of the Foundation Establishment Realm Ninth Layer in one go? How come you're stealing my screen time too? Junior Brother Wufeng, have you gone mad from refining pills? Even if Junior Brother Yifeng is strong, he can't cross two major realms all the way. Not to mention major realms, breaking through two minor realms can be considered difficult. Stabilizing one's realm is a completely different matter. Du Tianyuef finally got the spotlight. Building the Foundation Establishment Realm requires the creation of a Spirit Lotus, and if the Lotus Platform is not stable, the cultivation level will not be stable. You haven't built the Foundation yet, so it doesn't matter if you don't know. Junior Brother Wufung still understands me. You don't know how unbearable it was when I broke through. No one witnessed that earth-shaking scene back then. If only those two passers-by hadn't died. Of course, I'm the one who understands Senior Brother Yi the most. Junior Brother Yi Fong, what do you mean by that? Could it be that what Lang Wufeng just said is true? Huh? Is Junior Brother really that vigorous? Hey, Little Junior Brother, how did you do that? Teach us, Little Junior Brother. Junior Brother Yi Fong, you have eaten two or three thousand nine-striped profound cleansing pills so your physique has been purified long ago. Why haven't you tried to break through the Foundation Establishment Realm yet? Fortunately, the Profound Cleansing Pills are effective in the Spirit Fusion Realm, so I was able to attain a pure physique. This opportunity was given to me by Senior Brother Yi Fong. That's right, hurry up and look at me, look at me. Senior Brother, I originally wanted to break through the Foundation Establishment Realm, but Master told me to wait for you to come back. After all, building a spirit lotus is essential for cultivators. I see. But I don't have any valuable resources that can help you right now, so you'll have to wait a while. Why didn't we meet Yifong when we were establishing our foundation? Oh my gosh, a pure physique. By the way, we are all at the Amethyst Palace Realm Ninth Layer, and we haven't refined the lotus or transformed our spirits to break through to the Primordial Soul Realm. Yeah, the primordial soul realm, we still have one chance left. Then I have made up my mind, I will suppress my level. A random task has been issued. Please lead your brothers to participate in the secret realm competition hosted by the Heavenly Sun Sect and secure second place. You must not get first place. The success or failure of this task will determine whether you will be rewarded or deducted a significant amount of big spender points. You can refuse, secret realm competition? And we have to get second place? Although I don't know what this competition is about, securing second place implies that I must prevent my brothers from achieving first place. I'd be in trouble if the other side forfeits or something and pushes us to first place. Senior brother, this is a secret realm competition hosted by the Heavenly Sun Sect. Do you know about it? Huh? 
Little Junior Brother, how do you know about that? Did someone mention it? I don't remember. A few days ago, someone from the Heavenly Sun sect sent an invitation for us to participate in the Secret Realm competition, but the Saintess refused right away. Is that so? Then I will go ask Master. A few minutes later, Luo Chinch Yue's room. Master, I heard from the seniors that someone from the Heavenly Sun sect sent an invitation to our sect? Well, yes, that's right. The Heavenly Sun sect is the only top-notch sect in the vicinity, and it has extended invitations to dozens of nearby sects to participate in the Secret Realm competition. However, any sect that accepts the invitation must contribute a specific amount of resources to the small Secret Realm. Although each sect has a limit on the number of participants, whoever can acquire the most resources within the secret realm will reap the most benefits. It appears fair, but the Heavenly Sun sect controls that small secret realm, and they are familiar with everything within it. The remaining sects are bound to suffer losses if they go. Master, I really want to participate in this secret realm competition. No, our sect is poor and can't afford those cultivation resources. Hold on. The God of Wealth has arrived. The God of Wealth has arrived. Do good deeds and reap good rewards. God of Wealth, God of Wealth, the righteous path to earning money. I almost forgot that my direct disciple is a crazy prodigal. Master, do you not have enough cultivation resources? Don't worry. Your disciple has them. Sure enough, he said he has them. Master, I'll take 50 enlightenment pills. 59 Leaves Resurrection Herbs Golden Silkworm Star Gem, 3 pieces And a 100 drops of Great Demon's Essence Blood He's squandering again, even if all the resources from the other sex are combined, they probably won't even be worth a drop of Great Demon's Essence Blood. Master, is this enough? When those disciples see all my stuff, I'm afraid they'll all go crazy. H enough. More than enough. You will hand over these things to the sect. The cultivation resources needed for this competition will be prepared by me. You like to squander, don't you? I'll be confiscating all your good things. Let's see how you squander them. Master, your disciple cannot hand them over to the sect. Why? What's going on? I told you to hand them over to the sect, but you put them all away. What does that mean? Because Master will definitely worship this junk like their treasures. Junk? Your disciple will never allow these things to take up space in the sex treasure vault. They must be squandered completely. You, you, if Master wants to use the Nine Leaves Resurrection Herbs to soak her feet, your disciple will absolutely offer them up. He really guessed it right, so annoying. It'd be better to squander them on my own people than to let those outsiders get it. Fine. Since you want to participate in that sect competition, you can. But the things you just mentioned, you must hand them over to the sect. Say how you want to squander them and I'll do as you say. Hmm, you'll listen to me? Master has always been frugal. If she tries squandering, she'll get addicted. Once you do it for the first time, how far would the second time be? At that time, I will use my identity as a prodigal to curry Master's favor. Favorability. Unlock new bonds. Host, aren't you going to use these resources? How does the secret competition matter when my precious master is in question? Makes sense. Okay, master, I'm confiscating all of these. How should these 50 enlightenment pills be used? Master, each of you can take two pills and the rest will be given to the doggy. What about these nine leaves resurrection herbs? Same old rules, they'll be used for soaking feet. Each of you can take two herbs, and the rest will be used to give the doggy a bath. Master, should we just throw all of these into the secret realm? It seems that I've overestimated my master's psychological endurance. No need. I think your allocation method is very good. So, tell me, what are you planning to do with these three golden silkworm star gems? I'd like to use them to forge some cutting tools. Cutting tools? I didn't expect you to have some ambition. Perhaps we should start by forging a dagger or something. 
Right, let's make some knives and hoes for the sex kitchen and plant a spirit herb garden. And what about these hundred drops of great demon's essence blood? We can use these to donate as sect rewards. They can be given to those who make great progress in their cultivation or make significant contributions. What do you think, Master? Fine, let's do it as you've said. Master is trying to be extravagant for the first time. Her psychological endurance is poor, so I better not push her too hard. Elder Bai, notify everyone to come to the sex main hall. Voice transmitter. You've known those two for a few days now. Tell me, how much have you squandered this time? I didn't squander much. I just made them eat blood ginseng pills till they threw up. Anything else? Now that we have the recipe, blood ginseng pills are not that valuable. It's not a big deal. I gave Huang Xiaofei a heaven tier superior cultivation technique to use as toilet paper. Calm down. High grade heaven tier superior cultivation techniques are good, but they're really no different from garbage in the upper realms. Blood pressure rises. Oh, right. I also gave Huang Xiaofei a battle sink body. He looked pretty extravagant, so I gave it to him. Blood pressure. What did you say? Battle sink body. That's impossible. Absolutely impossible. How could there still be a battle sink body in this world? Isn't that what that battle maniacs had? I once saw a battle maniac with a battle sink body challenging my master. Even when his arms and legs were broken, he wouldn't fall. As the battle continued, his broken arms and legs healed quickly and he exploded with even more terrifying power. Even though my master was one realm higher than him, my master lost miserably. Yi Fong, how powerful is the battle sink body you're talking about? It should just be a coincidence that it has the same name. It should be. There's nothing special about it. It's just that you don't need to cultivate any cultivation techniques or martial arts. You just get stronger the more you fight. The more severe your injuries are after a long battle, the stronger your explosive power will be. In short, you just get stronger the more you fight. That's it. The battle sink body is far from what you imagine. Even though you gave it away, you should still try to get on good terms with that Huang Xiaofei. His future achievements are immeasurable. Get on good terms with him? I'd rather stay as far away as possible from that kid. That kid said that he would work hard to cultivate, build the first trading guild, and become a sharp blade in my hand. Master, don't you think he's crazy? Mentally exhausted. Sec Master, everyone is here. The sex main hall. Something significant must have happened. What's going on? Sec Master, you suddenly summoned all of us. Is something wrong? Sec Master's expression seems a bit off. It's nothing. It's just that ye phone. Master, I suddenly need to use the toilet, so I'll leave the rest to you. Such embarrassing matters must be handled by Master personally to truly appreciate the charm of squandering. So, you're going to make me do all the embarrassing stuff, aren't you? If it weren't for you being my direct disciple, Considering all your aspects, I would have brought you back and given you a good lesson. Now that everyone is here, let me officially announce that the reason I've gathered you all here today is just one thing. And that is squandering. Huh. You're going to squander too, Sec Master? Sec Master is awesome. It's really no wonder that the dog raised by that prodigal has learned the spirit of squandering. No. If Yi Fong can be so prodigal on a dog, why should I be stingy here? In the end, it's all paid for by Yi Fong. Do you see these cultivation resources? They are all contributions by Yi Fong. The background music should be let it go. All of these were confiscated from Yi Fong by the sect master. Oh, oh. Yi Fong asked me to distribute them to you. Each person will receive two of 50 enlightenment pills and two of 59 leaves resurrection herbs. Lady Saintus, there are still 28 left. How should we manage them? Th what management? The remaining enlightenment pills are all for the little yellow doggy. Ack. Humans here are inferior to dogs. 
Yi Fong also gave me a hundred drops of great demon essence blood, which will not be used for squandering. It will be used to encourage the brothers and sisters to advance their strength and to reward the elders for their great contributions. Any objections? There is absolutely no objection, niece. Sec Master's words are correct. GRE Great Demon Essence Blood. If there are no objections, let's adjourn. Elder Bai, distribute these things for me. Yes, sir. This meeting was too exciting. We can consider what to give for the year-end bonuses. Golden Silkworm Star Gem. How do you even forge tools with such a thing? I have never dealt with it before. Oh, right. I can ask her for that kind of thing. Purple Phoenix City. Independent Cultivator Chu Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao. Oh, what brings our sect Master Luo to our humble abode? I've come to seek your assistance in crafting some items for the sect. Come closer, let your big sister pinch your cheeks. Xiao Xiao, don't dirty my clothes. Don't worry, they won't get dirty. Chin Chiyue, when will you change that icy personality of yours? Apart from my father and me, your bestie no one likes you when you act like this. No, my direct disciple can tolerate it. Direct Disciple? Trigger Skill, Gossiping Heart. Male? Female? How old? Occupation? How's the income? Owns a house? Savings? Are his her parents alive? Height, 180 centimeters? Body measurements? Looks? 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 Important things must be repeated three times. A trigger skill is a type of ability or skill that is automatically activated when certain conditions change you at. Isn't that Yi Fong you brought last time just an ordinary sect disciple? So, you've been hiding another direct disciple from me. Well, well, looks like you've mastered the art of concealing a gem in a golden case you never mentioned that. Even to me. All right, all right, let's not discuss my direct disciple any further. He's simply a prodigal. Do you have some time to help me forge some kitchen knives and hose for a spirit herb garden? Aren't we going to talk more about that disciple? No, just when I got excited. Menial tasks like kitchen knives and hose are simple. We can make them in a few days. My grandfather is preparing to forge an extraordinary weapon. I'm afraid we won't have time for the next three days. We have time. Independent cultivator Chu Hongshan. I just have to forge some ordinary things, right? I can postpone making weapons. Hello, Grandpa Chu. Are the five elders still in good health now? Grandpa Chu, the five grand elders are still in quite good health. Xiao Xiao, assist Chen Chiu at first. After all, these items won't take long to create. Okay. Grandpa Chu, although these are just ordinary iron tools, I have a small request. But what is it? Speak up. I need Xiao Xiao to help me incorporate some spirit ores I have. This is. Did you get these from those five old geezers? Aren't these golden silkworm star gems? Luo Jiangshu. You want to mix these three pieces of golden silkworm star gems into iron tools? You want to use the knives made of melted golden silkworm star gems in the sex kitchen to slaughter chickens and ducks? You want to use hose made of melted golden silkworm star gems to cultivate the spirit herb garden? Exactly. It's so strange. I have clearly not done anything, but it's so enjoyable watching people being clueless. Could this be the joy of being prodigal? This is so infuriating. Meanwhile, in another part of the Purple Phoenix City, I didn't expect Purple Phoenix City to have such delicious skewers. I know a lot of other places too. I'll take Master there next time. What's happening? Rest assured, Master. I won't let this smoke and dust disturb your enjoyment. The impact came from over there, Xiao Shui. Let's go take a look. Understood, Master.
Wait, is that? This is bad. Master is in danger. Don't stop me. I'm going to kill those five old bastards of the Star Peak sect. What do you phone meant by danger? Grandpa. Grandpa. What are you doing? Stop. Eh? What does this have to do with the five grand elders? These are gold and silkworm star gems. There are only a few pieces even in the heavenly Dao battlefield. How many people have fought and spilled blood for it? You actually dare to want to mix such a spiritual or into knives and hoes. Is this what they call careful guidance? I've lived for so long, but I've never seen such wastefulness. I'm going to go and ask for an explanation. Grandpa Chu, this matter has nothing to do with the five grand elders. The golden silkworm star gems belong to the honorary elder. Honorary elder? Bullshit. Who is he? Where is he? He, um. Who dares to hurt my master? Um, you are. Master, don't be afraid. Your disciple is here for you. What are you doing here? I am the direct disciple of Star Spirit Sect, Yi Fong. Master, you made me worry. It's good that I was wandering around here. What will I do if you get in trouble? Yi Fong is really acting bravely to protect me. Yi Fong, actually, the situation is not. Xiao Shui, take Master out of the blacksmith shop. I don't want Master to see blood. Got it. Eh? Eh? You old bastard, how dare you snatch my master's things and try to harm her? Who the hell gave you the courage? Who are you calling an old bastard? Oh, this kid is not bad. Grandpa Chu, he cursed yet you're praising him. If you also get a good disciple who doesn't care about threats and wholeheartedly protects you, I will definitely be happy. Master, I've isolated the sect master in a barrier. Good. I admit that your demon beast is strong. But if I'm stronger than it, how will you deal with me? Oh, do you dare to make a bet with me? Bet on what? I bet that even if you go all out, you can't hurt me. How about that? Ha ha, another big talker. Ha ha ha. Little guy, you're really interesting. Then I will have to use my full strength. Ha ha ha. This time it's finally my turn. Tears it open. Get lost. Grandpa. My lord, shall I slaughter the entire city? Big Spender guard the one-armed man. Are you here to protect me or are you here to unleash bloodshed upon this city? Are you planning to harm my lord? Rest assured, I won't kill you right away. I will strip the flesh from your body piece by piece. I will meticulously craft your skeletons and leave only your heads behind. I'll then make you slowly consume the blood and flesh of your loved ones. No, please. We're not enemies. I'm your master's close friend. He's my grandfather. We have no intention of harming your master. If you don't believe me, you can go ask your master. Hmm. Xiao Shui, go outside and ask master if it's true. Remember not to let Master come here to avoid frightening her. Yes, Master. A few minutes later, the sick Master calls him Grandpa Chu. There must be a misunderstanding. Here are the voice stones with the conversation's recording. You have done well. My lord, regardless of whether or not it's a misunderstanding, he dared to attack you so he deserves to die. What do you mean? My lord, you are still too kind, as long as you silence them. You dare to teach me how to do things? System, what should I do with the big spender guards who are not honest? Show no mercy. My lord, I was wrong. I will not dare repeat such an offense. I'll give you a chance to live. Come with me. Inside the smithy. Let's talk about how the Big Spender Guard Squad is doing. My lord, there are currently 10 official members in the Big Spender Guard Squad, including me. 
To become a member of the Guard, you need to go through layers of selection, and the content of the assessment is diverse. Not only that, after becoming a member, you will continue to be assessed every once in a while. If you fail the assessment, you will be expelled from the Guard. The sole mission of the Big Spender Guard Squad is my Lord's protection, even at the cost of their lives. We will never betray our Lord. I'll give you one chance to reflect on your actions. If you dare to disobey me again, I'll let you die on the spot. Get lost. Thanks for sparing my life, my lord. System, what kind of existence is the Big Spender Guard Squad? The system is temporarily unable to explain the situation if the Big Spender Guard Squad to the host. It seems that the Guard Squad members are not all honest characters like the Golden Armored Strong Man. There are also bloodthirsty ones. Interesting. I wonder how the other members of the Guard are. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the misunderstanding. As long as you forget everything that just happened, these five pieces of Golden Silkworm Star Gems are yours. Who are you exactly? Why are you approaching Chinchue? What are your intentions? If you don't make it clear, I will definitely tell. I understand. Good. Xiao Shui, bring Master over. Grandpa, what are you doing? He won't hurt Chen Chue. Let's not interfere in this matter. Let's hurry up and forge those knives and hoes. All right, Grandpa. I know what to do. Ha ha. Don't think it's over just like that. I'll go to Chen Chue's sec to keep an eye on you later. I don't believe I can't see through you. I will never let you harm a single hair on Chen Chue. What were you guys doing? Master, it was just a little misunderstanding. It's all because Xiao Shui said that she sensed you were in danger. Mio? Well, if there's nothing else, I'll leave first. Chen Chue, your disciple is quite interesting. Grandpa Chu. Oh right, you said you got the silkworm gems from the honorary elder. Since when does the Star Peak sect have an honorary elder? Um, um, my direct disciple is the honorary elder of Star Peak sect. The golden silkworm star gems were also given to me by him. Huh? Impossible. Those five geezers can't be so ridiculous. Is there anything special about Jifong? Chen Chiyue, shouldn't you also call him Elder Yi? How did he manage to do that? Because he has money, he contributed 100 million top grade spirit crystals so the Star Peak sect lets him do whatever he wants. So that's it. 100 million top grade spirit crystal spirit stones is indeed a lot, deafened ears grandpa, it's not 100 million top grade spirit stones, it's 100 million top grade spirit crystals, spirit crystals. Don't make me face the cruel truth, okay? Hold on. Chen Chiyue, Grandpa Chu treats you like his own granddaughter, so why not let me and Xiao Xiao? Again? There are more elders than disciples. Did I establish a retirement home? This little girl is actually hesitating. Did I not express it clearly? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Star Spirit Sect is going to turn into a nursing home. Chen Chiyue, your sect was not founded too long ago, so there shouldn't be enough strong people to hold the fort, right? With a hundred years of accumulated connections as a ninth-tier blacksmith, your Grandpa Chu can still be of some use. Oh no, I can feel my heart racing. A top-tier ninth-grade blacksmith with a hundred years of accumulated connections. Grandpa Chu, if the sect needs a refiner in the future, I will have to trouble you. The sect won't be quiet anymore anyway, so I should just make a mess of it. So is that a yes? Why does it feel like I've been sold? Tufeng City. Who are those people? Their aura is so strong. Aren't they afraid of provoking everyone? You Chi Gathering Realm third layer piece of trash. You don't know anything, don't you see the mirror moon on their cloaks? They are the top-notch experts of the mirror moon manor. Who the hell caused trouble? All the powerhouses have been dispatched. 
I heard that the manor master Zhang Shufong broke through the first heavenly tribulation. His strength far surpasses that of an ordinary tribulation realm powerhouse. Sigh, I really don't know which unlucky bastard provoked him. Full speed ahead. Mirror Moon Manor's master, Zhang Hang's father Zhang Shufong. Whoever dared to kill the son of Zhang Shufong, no matter who he is, will be killed. For the young master's revenge, kill. 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 Purple Phoenix City. Xiao Shui, it's so boring here. Is there anything fun to do in this shitty town besides eating? Hmm, something fun. Master likes to spend money, so he's not interested in places where he can't spend money lavishly. I feel uncomfortable if I don't squander for a minute, places to squander. Master, when I was buying spiritual herbs with your junior brother last time, I found a trading area to the north of the city. Let's go and take a look. There might be some good things. Trading area. Oh? There's a place like that? It doesn't matter what or where it is, the important thing is that I can squander there. Lead the way, Xiao Shui. Near the northern gate of Purple Phoenix City, the Market Street. Come and take a look. We have new goods from the Heavenly Dao Battlefield. Only 13 third tier Heavenly Dao Battlefield spirit herbs are left. You'll miss out if you let it pass by. Unnamed techniques and martial arts from the Heavenly Dao Battlefield, 1,000 spirit stones each. The quality is up to your intuition. Come here, little brother and sister. Let me help you to relax. Spiritual pills and miraculous medicines that cure all diseases. Come and get a handy weapon. So enthusiastic. Looks decent, but it's too heavy. Come here, come here, come here. Master, there might be something good over there. A heavenly Dao token has been discovered. Random quest, buy the old token that contains the heavenly Dao token within it. Success reward, 100 points. Failure penalty, 100 points. You can refuse. Heavenly Dao token? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Stall owner, how much does this token cost? Stall owner Li Xiaoming. Finally, a big sucker is here. He's interested in this broken token? Young master, you have good eyes indeed. This is the best thing in my stall dot token. I almost died in the Heavenly Dao battlefield for this token back then. Where did all this nonsense come from? Old man. Hurry up and tell me the price. How much? Young master is straightforward. It is a one price offer, 3 million low grade spirit stones. Market price, 50 with free shipping. Isn't the asking price too high? After all this fuss, it's only worth 3 million low grade spirit stones? Cheap, too cheap. Why are you silent, bro? If you think it's expensive, we can negotiate, young master, although the price is a bit high, but this, huh? Three million. There are more than three million inside, I'll take the token. You're buying it? Who the hell buys something without negotiating the price? Could there be a secret hidden in that token? Young master, the transaction is complete, the token is now yours. But can you give me a clue, how much is this thing worth? How much have I lost? This thing is useful to me. Not to mention 3 million low-grade spirit stones, even if it were priced at 3 million top-grade spirit stones. I would still buy it directly. 3 million. Top-grade? 3 million. 3 million top-grade spirit stones. It can't be. I can't let them go like this. Killing Intent Master, this is killing intent. It seems we are being targeted by that guy. Really? Does he dare to make a move? Let's go find a tavern and book a top-notch room. We'll wait for him to come and rob us. Although the opponent is weak, why is the master so happy to be targeted? One hour later, Li Xiaoming, are you sure that guy really has 3 million top-grade spirit stones? He definitely has 3 million top grade spirit stones, boss who? I feel like there might be even more. And that broken token is not simple either. 
This time, we must take that token back and sell it for a high price. Independent cultivator boss who? You better not be lying to me. If I don't get anything good on this trip, don't blame me for being impolite. Master, we can't do this. It's too much. Too much? It seems you don't understand, huh? Giving 2,000 low-grade spirit crystals to robbers is equivalent to earning 200,000 top-grade spirit stones. But giving money in bulk like this is too humiliating. He wishes. He dares to take my money and still wants to leave alive? Keep an eye on him. Once he's finished robbing, take action and get rid of him. Remember, wait until he takes all the low-grade spirit crystals before acting. This is something worth commemorating. Give the opponent hope, then destroy everything he has. What kind of manipulative scumbag behavior is this? F.B.I. Open up. Room inspection. We are here to enforce justice. Please sit down, gentlemen. I know what you're here for. You're willing to rob me, so that means you think highly of me. I hope you don't mind these 2,000 low-grade spirit crystals. 2,000 low-grade spirit crystals? I'm so fucked. 2,000 low-grade spirit crystals? Are you trying to beg for food with these? Bullshit. We want more than that. We want 3 million. 3 million top-grade spirit stones, haha. -ha. You think I'm giving you too little? No kidding. You didn't even hesitate while buying something worth 3 million top-grade spirit stones, and this is it? Just this? System, you see? I told you this amount of money is not enough. Now even the robbers are looking down on me, the prodigal son. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Hand over three million and we might spare your life. You guys, shut up for a second. Crash. How dare you think of robbing my master? System, what's going on? I haven't encountered any danger yet. Why is the Divine Guard here? The host, a big spender, is being robbed for the first time. This is a significant event, but these targets are not deemed worthy for your growth and journey. So, it's my fault for being robbed by someone not up to the task. Master, these spirit crystals, let's go back to the sect. Okay, okay, my bad. Due to a system calculation error, the host will be compensated with 100,000 big spender points. Rewards, 9th grade 9th tier 1000 feather sword formation flag X100. Reward, 9 celestial inferno dragon cauldron X1, 1000 feather sword formation. After activating, the formation gathers spiritual energy and transforms it into flying swords that can attack all living beings within the formation. 9 Celestial Inferno Dragon Cauldron. The cauldron contains 9 dragon souls, refines myriad spirit herbs, and incinerates the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, creating the supreme divine elixir. So many rewards? I guess you deserve some credit after all, system. Star Spirit Sect. What do you mean by tired? This has always been our standard training intensity. Are these Elder Bai and Elder Xia's voices? Think about it, isn't it your own problem? Have you practiced well? Aren't you not working hard enough? Hey, why is it so lively at the training ground? Wu Tianjiao, have you guys not eaten lately? Fight with all your might. Imagine your opponent is your sworn enemy. Hurry up and fight, don't stop. Lang Wufeng. Swing your sword 10,000 times. Knights and Wu Tianjiao, have you guys not eaten lately? Fight with all your might. Imagine your opponent is your sworn enemy. Hurry up and fight, don't stop. Lang Wufeng. Swing your sword 10,000 times. Damn it. What the heck is going on? 183847. Senior brother? Senior brother. You finally came back. Come and save me. The three elders have gone mad. Junior brother. Little junior brother, it seems like you are going to help us. Little junior brother. 
Little Junior Brother, don't leave us. We are going to die like this. Don't leave so fast, stay with us. Don't leave us, Junior Brother. Senior Brother, it's not that we don't want to treat people like human beings, it's just that we're forced to do this. Little Junior Brother, we've been waiting for you for a long time. Little Junior Brother, I have a martial arts secret book to give to you. Little Junior Brother, do you need help from Senior Sister to let off some steam? Little Junior Brother, do you need help with labor? Let, let go of me. Senior Brother, tonight, I'll give you a leg massage. Yi Fong, you're back. Eh? Arrange Yi Feng's project. I don't want to train. No. He he he. Yi Fong, it's cold today. Here, have some tea. You've been out for a long time. Your legs must be tired. So, they weren't trying to force me to train? Huh? So you guys weren't planning on letting Yi Fong join the training? Kid, you're still too inexperienced. You still want to compete with us for this god of wealth? Go back to playing in the dirt. What the heck? Are you fucking kidding me? I was sitting just fine. Why did you pick me up? What the hell do you mean by sitting? If Junior Brother won't be given special treatment, fairness and justice has to be enforced by Elder Luo Kai. Wav, Elder Luo Kai is truly inspiring. I thought I was picked up by the sect. Elder Luo is indeed a great role model. Mighty Kong Palm. Come, Yi Fong, sitting on a dirt pile is cheap. I made you a chair with just one palm. Those two old guys are just too lazy to bother. You are only good at deceiving kids. It is obvious that you secretly clapped dozens of palms to make that chair. What are you showing off for? Just one palm, you say? Oh, I see. Thanks, Elder Luo. Elder Luo, you've fallen so low. Five-fold disdain. What are you standing there for? Hurry up and get back to your training. Back to training? System, can the power of the 100,000 feather sword formation flag be used now? Planning something. Yes, the duration is 10 hours. However, others besides the host must pledge allegiance through blood to control the power of the formation flag. Nice. What the hell is going on? Three esteemed elders, after watching the sparring between my junior brothers, I feel it's not very effective. How about using this ninth grade ninth tier killing formation flag to hone their skills? This thing can also control the power of the killing formation. Little junior brother, we've tolerated your extravagance, but be reasonable. Can't you act like a human being? Using a killing formation from the transcending tribulation realm to hone us, do you want me to meet a tragic end? You're amazing, acting all high and mighty. Not only did you not help, but now you are causing trouble. Don't do it, seniors. Junior brother might really lose his life. Yi Fong, isn't this a bit too harsh? I'm just training them, not trying to kill them. It's too small. Elder Luo, you've become too narrow-minded. Senior brothers and sisters, you're the future of our sect. As long as we can help you become stronger, even a little bit of hardship is worth it. It hurts me too to see you suffer like this. I've put in so much effort for the sake of the sect. A bit of hardship, aren't you ashamed to say that? Well, it's just one formation flag. If we have to endure hardship, so be it. This is like gambling with our lives. Luckily, it's just one formation flag. Little Junior Brother has taken care of things well. Sorry, but one formation flag can only last for 10 hours. I'm afraid it might not be enough. Sect Master, Lady Saintus, we really can't endure him in this sect anymore. Senior Brother, you jinx. Hurry up and save us. Save you? What the heck? Because we're going to. Senior brother, from now on, the responsibility of supervising others will be yours. How about that? Whispering, do we still need saving? Hello? He hello. As a senior brother, it's my duty to guide my junior brothers and sisters in these matters. 
Meanwhile, Star Spirit Sect. What's going on? Should I go and bring you back or not? Wu Ming, what did the disciples you sent say? Nothing much, they just want to come back. What? Why didn't you say something so important sooner? Wu Ming, just notifying me about such a big matter is enough. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Bai Gang is here at our sect and hasn't seen Yi Fong yet. This time the core disciples are busy, so I will take him to meet Yi Fong. No objections, right? There are outsiders here, don't tarnish the sect's reputation. Whispering. No wonder Bai Gang came for a visit, and now you are not letting him go back home. It's like waiting for an excuse to go see Yi Fong. Despicable. Shameless. You old dog. Shameless. Several hours later. Elder Luo, slow down a bit. I feel like I'm going to vomit. Eh. Sorry, sorry, I was flying too fast. You're in a hurry to go to Star Spirit Sect, I get it. But can you explain to me why you're wearing a beggar's outfit when you're going out? Beggar's clothes? You know nothing. This is the attire of victory. What kind of shitty victorious attire looks like this? Hey, how's that calming incense I gave you? The calming incense? It's amazing. I can't get enough of it. I have no choice but to ask you for more. You know, I actually got it from Yi Fong thanks to this attire. Isn't it awesome? Chu Yun Chan's shitty lines from the 50th episode. Bullshit. You weren't even wearing that back then. Elder Luo, give me a set of victory attire like you have. Hey, hey, back off. This is one of a kind. Don't rip it. Don't run. My pants. Star Spirit Sect. I'm running out of strength. Help. I'm gonna die here, meow. Senior brother, you're undermining our friendship. Come on, am I not suffering along with you all? You scheming traitor. You're killing me. Senior brother, you're so kind to me. Junior brother Wu Fong, you're thinking too much. I called you here to ask for something. You still have to go back there. Ah, uh, I still have to go back. Come one, senior brother. If you called for me specifically, it has to be about alchemy. Congratulations, you got it right. Exactly, it's about alchemy. C senior brother, I, Wufeng, go back to train in the killing formation. I'm a ninth tier alchemist. If you have something to ask about, just ask me. Then I'll trouble senior Xia. Elder's Courtyard. An alchemy cauldron? Yi Fong, what kind of cauldron is this? Um, it is the Nine Celestial Inferno Dragon Cauldron. It can refine a myriad of spirit herbs, burn the essence of heaven and earth, and create supreme divine pills. Refine a myriad of spirit herbs? Burn the essence of heaven and earth? Are you showing off? Yi Fong, this cauldron is only a fourth grade heaven and earth profound yellow item. It is not powerful enough to refine a myriad of spirit herbs, and if we try, it might explode. To refine a myriad of spirit herbs, we need a heaven grade cauldron. There are no more than five such cauldrons on the entire Xian Tian continent. I had to go through a lot of trouble to get a lesser earth tier cauldron. Ha ha ha. This old man knows his stuff well, you cocky brat. You like showing off quite a bit, don't you? Forget about burning the essence of heaven and earth. Alchemy scriptures say that to absorb the essence of heaven and earth, you need a cauldron spirit. I've, however, never heard of a cauldron spirit at the heaven grade. Ahem, what is a divine pill? A ten-striped one is considered divine, even if it's just a first grade. Moreover, after forming a divine pill, a pill calamity occurs, which is just a legend in the fantasy world. Hearing you talk, it sounds like this useless thing is beyond even the heaven grade cauldrons. Senior Xia, take a good look. This, what is this? Is that a sea of fire incinerating the sky? This is impossible. A dragon soul. A spiritual cauldron. 
How can it be in the mortal world? Come back. Damn, this cauldron is awesome, but it consumes spiritual power of like crazy. My spiritual power is almost drained. It's gonna make barbecues a breeze. Um, as expected, I knew it wouldn't be anything good when you brought out the cauldron. You are gonna recklessly waste the cauldron spirit just like this, right? Ye phone. I knew it was you again. Master? Is this the cauldron that just let loose the cauldron spirit? Yeah, wanna give it a shot, master. No response? It already has a master. Have you already become the cauldron's owner by spilling some blood? MHM, by the way, master, this thing's like a spiritual power vacuum. It sucked up all my spiritual power just now. You really got the cauldron spirit's nod of approval? In this short time for which Yifong was controlling it, those nine freaky dragon spirits could have wiped out a sect like the star spirit sect ten times over. It's like a walking weapon of mass destruction. Even if powerhouses who've survived the nine heavenly tribulations show up, Yi Fong can wipe the floor with them. I come with the breeze. Elder Xia, is there something wrong? You gotta rein him in. Yi Feng's thinking of using the cauldron spirit for a barbecue. That dragon cauldron spirit's demonic flames can burn space, and he's just thinking about roasting meat. Sigh, what a prodigal disciple. It can roast a whole beast. Yi Fong, do you know how powerful this cauldron is? With it, you can dominate the entire Xi'an Tian continent. Absolutely not, master. A man's gotta eat. I wonder if a whole lion would fit. And I'm not interested in ruling. I just want to munch on some barbecue. Yi Fong, this cauldron's top tier. It can refine any pill and wipe out any foe in the mortal realm. There will be no limit if you harness it effectively. Ha ha. I'll only use it to clobber demonic beasts because their meat is a delicacy. What's on the menu tonight? Want to try out this new grill? Sec Master, you can't do it, Sec Master. He's your direct disciple. Elder Xia, hurry up and let me go. I will chop this traitor down. Master, Elder Xia, if there's nothing else, I'll leave. Yi Fong. Get your butt back here. You evil fiend. Yi Fong, I dare you to eat barbecue tonight. If you dare to, don't bother coming back. Oh dear, being a disciple is a rough gig, huh? I wonder if Li Fei has made it back to his sect by now. The Heaven Fire Realm. Xian Yin Sect Sect Main Hall. Master, Disciple knows he made a mistake. Humph. Sneaking off to the Heavenly Dao battlefield, don't you respect me as your master? And this isn't the first time. If I hadn't caught you this time, how much longer would you have hidden it from me? Xian Yin Sect Master Sun Tian Yu. Master, Disciple knows he made a mistake. Don't come closer. Starting from today, you can't leave the sect until you break through to the Foundation Establishment Realm. Ouch, ouch, ouch. My brain's about to come out. Ha ha. Which fellow swordsman came to visit our Xian Yin, Xian Yin sect's Grand Elder Wang Changshan? Hmm? Li Fei? Grand Elder, why are you here? What swordsman? No one's visited our sect. You know nothing. Let the kid explain. Huh? Li Fei, spill it. What's going on? Don't you hate sword cultivators the most? Speak up. Master, Grand Elder, let me explain. I ran into this crazy prodigal in the second layer of the Heavenly Dao battlefield. He had death sword intent fragments, but he didn't want them. Once he found out that I hate swords, he used all the fragments on me. I don't want to, big brother ye, please let me go. During a quick bathroom break, I suddenly obtained the death sword intent. Don't blame me. He forced it on me. I really didn't want it. All my effort, talent, and an abundance of opportunities in trying to comprehend the celestial flame sword intent for the past 60 years have been in vain. He achieved it in minutes. 
Li Fei, what's going through your mind now? Tell the Grand Elder. Grand Elder, I've made up my mind. From now on, I'll steer clear of anything sword related. Stop striving. Ha ha. I should forget about sword intent altogether over time. Huh? You want to forget it? I am done for. Li Fei's getting the education he deserves, master. Save me, master. I don't want to train swords with Grand Elder. Ha ha. Hey, my useless disciple is finally going to rise. Star Spirit Sect. Achu. Who the heck is talking about me? My seven fairies. Ding. Today's big spender item, Heaven Grade Cauldron X10, eh? How come this jump became a big spender item? I remember Elder Xiaof saying there are fewer than five Heaven Grade Cauldrons on the Xian Tian continent. Not more than five. I'll need to check that out more closely. Yi Fong. Master, what's going on? My door, little friend, there are a lot of question marks now. Did you just casually toss that cauldron into the yard? I thought something big had happened, master, it's just a beat-up alchemy cauldron. Do I need to treat it like some treasure? Is there something wrong with treating a cauldron of this level as a treasure? All right, all right. Master, let's forget about that lousy cauldron outside for now. If, and I mean if, I had ten heaven-grade cauldrons, how do you think I should squander them? If, there are no ifs. Seriously, do you think I just met you yesterday? Every time you ask about something, do you ever not end up going overboard? What mischief are you up to? Humph. Master, where are you going? Master, please drop some wisdom on your clueless disciple. If I'm dense, enlighten me, master. Ah, I've had enough. From now on, what is out of sight is out of mind. I'm done dealing with this. Master. After some time, outside the Star Spirit Sect Courtyard. Sect Master, are you going out to buy some spirit herbs? Yep. But we just bought a batch of spirit herbs the day before yesterday. With only me and Wufeng here, we shouldn't be short on those. Then how about grabbing some spiritual minerals? I'm clueless about those, you should ask Elder Chu. Then how about buying some daily use elixirs? Sec Master, did Yi Fong provoke you again? Hold it. Ha ha, I almost forgot it's dawn. Yi Fang's about to start squandering again. Yi Fong, here I come. Such a troublemaker. A bit later, stop. Yi Fong, how can someone your age handle this kind of physical labor? Leave it to this old man. He he. This, this is a bit too much. Elder Xia, why aren't you using spiritual power? Would it still be considered physical labor if I use spiritual power? It is about time for me to give this body to work out. By the way, what's with the hole digging? How about you come out first, Elder Xia? Okay. This is the heaven grade cauldron, right? Yi Fong, what do you intend to do with this cauldron? Um, this pit is actually a latrine pit. Ha ha. The cauldron, of course, is ha ha. ha. Yi Fong. Today, I'm going all out against you. Elder Xia, come on, take it easy. After all, he's still my direct disciple. Let go of me, Sec Master. If I don't teach this prodigal a lesson, he's insulting my profession. Sec Master. Hold on. Um, is this some kind of plot twist replay? Elder Xia, wait a moment. I'll get Wufeng here right away. As expected, Yi Fong doesn't even spare his fellow disciples. Is he planning to wipe out the only two alchemists in the sect? Sec Master, look at what you've turned him into. Oh? Elder Xia, when I wanted to teach him a lesson yesterday, who do you think was blocking my way? So you were squatting here watching me? He he, fate is truly fascinating. Elder Xia, wait for Lang Wufeng. I'm leaving. You are driving me nuts. No wonder you and Yi Fong became master and disciple. 
Here comes Lang Wufeng. That silly kid Lang Wufeng is here too. He looks like he's about to cry. Elder Xia, are you also here to help senior brother Yi Fong build a thatched cottage? Ah, uh, right, right. I've already dug the pit. Be mentally prepared. Elder Xia, were you going to mention the heaven grade cauldron? You already knew? Wait, doesn't it make you uncomfortable hearing about it? I knew. Senior brother Yi Fong just gave me one. Ha ha. He told me to throw it in the yard and use it as a water tank. Like dragons beget dragons and phoenixes beget phoenixes, a rat's son will dig holes. Following Yi Fong, you've gone bad too. Elder Xia, you used the wrong phrase. It should be he who walks with wolves. Get the fuck out of my sight. Don't come out and bother me. Although Elder Xia told Lang Wufeng to get lost, it's Elder Xia who's leaving. The sect has only two alchemists. Even though the junior disciple has one, this old man has none. If I had known earlier, I would have gone back to the auction house today. Background music, a spray of plum blossoms. Elder Xia's courtyard. Elder Xia, is this a heaven grade cauldron? Did you toss it onto the yard like this? A heaven grade cauldron, mine? This is actually for me? Elder Xia, stop kissing it. You're about to drown the cauldron in your saliva. Ah, uh, I wasn't kissing it, absolutely not. Elder Xia, can I borrow the heaven grade cauldron for some research? I've always wanted to personally forge a heaven grade cauldron, but the ones I've seen before have always been pre owned Since we are in the same sect, we are family. Elder Chu, feel free to take it away for research. Otherwise, I'll be using it as a water tank in the courtyard. Thanks, Elder Xia. Research about it with Xiao Xiao. I will. This. What's the point of researching it now? Seven heaven grade cauldrons? Are they like common cabbages now? Elder Chu suddenly appears. Kaya. Yi Fong, what are you doing here? Elder Chu. As a refiner, how would you use these heaven grade cauldrons for it to be considered prodigal? Prodigal? You're worried about that? How would I know? I'm just a weapon refiner. I am only skilled in crafting weapons and shields. Weapons and shields? Oh. No wonder you're Elder Chu. Thank you, Elder Chu. Here, choose one. Choose what? I'm a refiner. What would I need a cauldron for? Am I supposed to carry the cauldron into battle? You got it right again. Yi Fong, I didn't mean to say that. Elder Chu, look at this heaven grade cauldron. It's heavy and hard, so it can be used for both offense and defense. Isn't this a top tier weapon with both offensive and defensive capabilities? No one would treat a heaven grade cauldron like that. It's a treasure. He he. Elder Chu, how long would it take you to smash this treasure with all your might? I can't smash it at all. It would take forever. At least, not with my current abilities. That's perfect, then. It would be a waste not to use such a sturdy and durable cauldron as a weapon. Go back, cauldron. Elder Chu, that cauldron is yours. I'm off to Elder Bai's place. You just gave me the cauldron like that? So suddenly? Bye. Using it as a personal shield, I can't believe it, you prodigal kid. I'll give one to Elder Xia too. In the sex main hall. Yi Fong, aren't these the cauldrons you wanted to bury in the pit? He he. Master, these are heaven grade cauldrons, they are indestructible. You can each have one so no one can hurt you. Where did you get so many? And why are you asking us to use cauldrons as shields? Whoa. Master, this thing is too handy. With my brute force, I can definitely take down one person with one cauldron. No wonder she's strong. She's a real demon. This thing is practically a weapon tailor-made for her. The destructive power of this heaven-grade cauldron shouldn't be low, right? Master, take a look. Is it suitable? Hmm, I won't ask about the rest for now. 
what are you going to do with this for the dog? Master, look at how much the dog likes this doghouse. Besides, this dog will be able to carry this cauldron to fight for us when it gets stronger. It seems so. Great, I'll keep the last one for myself, but I'll let Elder Xia and Junior Brother Lang use the cauldron as shields. This way, my big spender points shouldn't be deducted. Hee hee. Kill. 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 What's going on? All the people of the Star Spirit sect, listen up. Immediately hand over the person who killed my son. Otherwise, today, my Mirror Moon Manor will wipe out your entire sect. Mirror Moon Manor's master Zhang Shufeng. Mirror Moon Manor? Wiping out the entire Star Spirit sect? That's quite the audacity. You dare to cause trouble at our sect? All right, everyone, follow me outside to welcome our enemy. Master, the cauldron. You forgot the cauldron. Let's not talk about that stupid cauldron again. Master, it's just a tiny sect. Why don't we just storm in and kill everyone? Yeah, Master, let's just wipe out everyone in this pathetic sect. I won't spare anyone in this sect. But first, I'll make them spill who killed my son, then I will let them die in fear. Master, check this out. Ha ha ha, are these guys in this shitty sect all crazy? They're all dragging around a giant cauldron. Ha ha. I think they should rename themselves as Big Cauldron Sect instead of Star Spirit Sect. I can't take it anymore. I'm laughing so hard I don't have the strength to fight anymore. I shouldn't have agreed to fight with a cauldron. It's too embarrassing. Enough. Shut up, everyone. This person is too strong. Zhang Shufeng, no matter what you came here for today, anyone messing with my star spirit sect is in for a one-way ticket to oblivion. Today, even if Xu Chenfeng comes, he won't be able to save you. Who are you? I'm Elder Chu Hongshan. Xu Chenfeng still owes me three favors. Today, no matter who comes, they will not be able to do anything. I said it. Chu Hongshan. It's actually Chu Hongshan. How did he end up here? Wasn't he supposed to steer clear of any factions? Elder Chu, give me a chance to explain. Spill it. Um, my son was killed by someone, and I traced him here using the parent insect. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Zhang Shufeng, who are you trying to fool? Even if you're making up an excuse, you should at least come up with a decent excuse, no? You really think I don't know? Your useless son had a guardian. And we only have two disciples, one at the peak of spirit fusion realm, and the other at the peak of foundation establishment realm. Do they even stand a chance? I understand, but don't think I don't know what kind of people Mirror Moon Manor are. Did any of you guys kill a young man? Nope. Collective head shaking. You guys. You're lying. Let's get him. They are all at the Transcending Tribulation Realm. Hurry up and run. Ha ha ha. Smashing people with a cauldron feels so fucking good. Don't think you're great just because you're a body cultivator, young man. I can kill a few of them in one breath like this. Can a cauldron used for alchemy be so powerful? If I ever swing a cauldron like this. Damn it, today? I'll teach you all a lesson better not or I'll end up labeled as a violent she ate by others. Master, are these people really here seeking revenge for their son's murder? It's just a laughable excuse. This shouldn't concern me anymore. Ah. Help. I was wrong due to the excessive violence. We have made special adjustments. Damn, this is like grinding meat. Host. Please use the Heavenly Secrets Insight function to check if this mess is tied to the Divine Guard Cave incident, which is related to you. Um, Cave, Guard, check. Check your sister. What the hell? You are practically screaming that one of my people did it. It's over, Yi Fong. Don't watch anymore. Master, his son seems to have been killed by me. Huh? You really killed his son? They're not here to provoke us for no reason. 
They're genuinely seeking revenge for their son's murder? How did you kill him? I was sleeping. When I woke up, he, one of my people, had taken care of them. Sec master, we've taken care of everything. This Miramone manor is no good. We've done some good by getting rid of them. Humph. Just in case, in a couple of days, I'll go to the Miramone manor and clean things up. Master, what's wrong? Nothing, I just want to die. Killing a son, erasing a whole sect, and now the elders are dead set on wiping them out entirely, it's over, the sect's reputation is ruined. After this battle, the Star Spirit sect gained fame. Those in the cultivation world who learned the details couldn't help but be amazed by the evilness of the Star Spirit sect. The sect master Luo Qianchu was even hailed as the number one female demon leader on the Xian Tian continent system. How could you portray my sect as villains? After this battle, the Star Spirit sect managed to wipe out a big threat to the cultivation world. Everyone singing praises, system, have you been binging a storytelling shows or something? Just shut up already. Sigh, I feel like I'm not achieving anything, so I'm feeling stifled. Hey, master, when's that big showdown at the Secret Realm kicking off? Did you sign us up for it? Huh? You and your fellow disciples can go there a day early with the cultivation resources. Oh, by the way, pick one of the elders to lead the squad. I won't be going with you. What's master busy with? What's the big deal? System, use that insight thing and figure out what's keeping master so busy. Host, the info's kinda hefty. Wanna blow all three chances for today? Three chances? Let's do it. So, your master is the saintess of the infinite sacred land in the upper realm. During one of her journeys, she got ambushed and killed by the Cosmos Sword Sect, the Penglai Immortal Island, and the Sky Marshal Sect. Fortunately, she guarded her soul with the sex treasure and reincarnated. Masters practices every day to ascend to the upper realm as soon as possible. To seek revenge. The host's master is quite reserved, you know, what? No. Ha ha, gotcha. Just kidding. The host's master, whether in the upper realms or this current lifetime, has never had a romantic partner. Damn you, system. You really scared the heck out of me there. I just wanted to know what Master's busy with. Can't you just say it's because she wants to cultivate? You call that hefty? But Master's backstory is seriously twisted. The Cosmos Sword Sect, the Penglai Immortal Island, and the Sky Marshal Sect, I got them all jotted down. Sooner or later, I'll lead the Star Spirit Sect to pass the Thunder Tribulation and climb the Heavenly Ladder. I will ascend to the Upper Realm and take down anyone who messed with my waifu master. Congratulations to the host for securing a romantic partner. As per the host's thoughts, you have been rewarded with a special reward worth 100 million marrow cleansing pills. Marrow cleansing pills, no grade. Can totally clean out impurities, giving you a genuinely impurity-free spiritual body. Any grade of profound cleansing pill is inferior to the cleansing marrow pill. Drawbacks. A single pill is a bit weak. It requires a bunch to work and tastes kinda meh. System, your rewards are late to the party. I already made my romantic partner choice. Why give it now? Next time, I'll give it earlier. Huh, what next time? I only chose Master as my romantic partner. I heard that Doggy has an impurity-free spiritual body, so he absorbs the spiritual energy of heaven and earth quite well. Now it seems that Doggy doesn't really have an impurity-free spiritual body. Lang Wufeng, Illusionary Version Senior brother, I'm your junior, but my presence is even less than a dog's. The cleansing marrow pill is a special treat the system tossed and based on my thoughts. Man, the fight just now was really exhilarating. I want to use these to help out Master. I'm not squandering these. It's important to clean up after a fight. What are you doing? My clothes. Just borrowing them to wrap up the pills. Those geezer's outfits are so ugly, why don't you rip theirs up? The elder's clothes are too ugly and stinky. 
I haven't even let a single drop of blood touch my clothes during such an intense fight. My clothes. What? Water heaven cold cicada, silk white robe, price, 2 million top grade spirit stones. For elders, I have something sweet for you. Already? There's a reward already? It can't be, there is more? What more? For respected elders, please take your time and enjoy these. These things don't even taste good. Elder Xia, can you even finish it all? If I can't finish it, don't I still have that Luo Kai and small yellow dog? System, today's big spender purchase has already been completed, so where's my reward? Ding. The host is still in possession of an unused cauldron. I almost forgot, I just have to waste a cauldron. What is Yi Fong doing? It seems that he isn't very happy. I don't know, but I'll have to rely on Elder Bai and you guys to finish these pills. It's all this stupid cauldron's fault, so hurry up and hand over the reward for making the big spender purchase already. This kid really isn't fucking easy to deal with. Is he angry now? He must have gotten angry because we aren't eating. Just what is he implying with that cauldron? You're trying to teach me how to do things? Recalling the past. Angry? Yi Fong, that guy, with just one arm. There's absolutely no way we can afford to anger Yi Fong. Ding. Congratulations to the host for making today's Big Spender purchase, rewarded with 1,000 Big Spender points, Mysterious Purple Clothes X1. That kid is snickering suspiciously. We need to Mysterious Purple Clothes? I just know that it'll be good just from its name. Maybe I can gift it to Master so that we can further our relationship. Mysterious Purple Clothes, female clothes made from the mysterious purple crystal, warm in the winter and cool in the summer, with impenetrable super strong defense. Very nice. Mysterious Purple Clothes? What nonsense. This is clearly censored. Once I give this to Master, all the elders together won't be able to hold me back. No, no, no. Issuing random mission, bring the under, mysterious purple clothes as a gift to your master Luo Chinchue. Once complete, you will be rewarded with 500,000 big spender points. Failing the mission will have no penalty, and you can decline 500,000 big spender points? System, I think you're messing with me on purpose. Hee hee, in order for the host to achieve a shameless life, the system is simply helping out those in need. Should I even do this mission? But she's only my master for now, not my wife. Master, wife, master, wife, master, wife, wife, wife. Yi Fong, what are you doing there by yourself? Wife, how come you've returned? Wife, wife, Yi Fong, just who exactly did you call your wife? Master, it was just a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Uh oh. I'm screwed. When I first saw this kid Yi Fong, I knew he had a bright future ahead of him. He's really bold. Just when did this happen? Wait a minute, what's in Yi Fang's hands? What? Yi Fong actually dared to call the sect leader his wife? Huh? Physical cultivation, physical cultivation. It was only after my body lost all its strength that realized that I want to practice physical cultivation. I should really slip away. I'm getting old so a little action is enough to tire me out. I also can't take it anymore. Ouch, my waist is so sore. Yi Fong, you said that it was a misunderstanding. So then why don't you explain to me what exactly you're holding in your hands? This, this, wife, this thing is, you're still calling me your wife. Master, this is a, censored, made from mysterious purple crystals. It's soft and comfortable, warm in the winter and cool in the summer. It also has extremely strong defense. The mysterious purple crystal is an extremely rare spiritual ore. Even when the infinite sacred land only has one piece, which was a matter of uproar. Wait a minute, the immortal spiritual chi contained in this, it's actually the real thing? Th the infinite sacred land is one of the strongest in Dongzhou, but when compared to the entire world, they wouldn't be able to place in the top ranks. 
he actually made it into female clothing? Could he be some sort of transcendent power's holy son's reincarnation? But the mysterious purple crystal is just too valuable, aye aye. I won't accept this gift. But despite it being a misunderstanding, in the future, you mustn't call me your wife. I understand. Master actually apologized and believed it was a misunderstanding. This mysterious purple crystal must be extremely precious. Then what if I continue going on the attack? Wife, in the future, we will each be doing our own thing. Call me whatever you want, but I'll be calling you my wife. Eh? This won't do. Those are two completely different things. If you dare to call me wife one more time, don't blame me for stripping away your status as my direct disciple. Luo Chinchue, I'll use my identity as an honorary elder to order you to not strip Yifong of his status as your direct disciple. You're threatening me? Is that identity not enough? Then using my identity as the ancestor, I order, whatever, just do as you wish. Either way, there's no way to clarify this situation. That's enough. As expected, only those who are thick-skinned can successfully obtain a wife. What's the point of being Wang Duiyu in another world? Using a mysterious purple crystal, I can call her my wife. Maybe next time I'll be able to get a kiss and then after that, maybe I'll be able to enter the bridal room. Wait a second. Fuck. Where did the marrow cleansing pills and the elders go? A short moment later, Disciple Courtyard. Junior Brother Wufeng, hurry up and go to the sect hall. I have something good to give you guys. You all should hurry up and practice in the killing array. Huh? Everyone's here. WTF. Junior Brother Lang, what are you doing? Senior Brother. It's me who was too close-minded. What do you mean? I was too close-minded back then when you spent a hundred thousand high-grade spirit stones just so that you could become the sect leader's direct disciple. I merely thought that you were a foolish man with a lot of money. But it's only now that I come to realize I was the truly foolish one. A hundred thousand high-grade spirit stones to buy a goddess as a wife, you're really worthy of being our junior brother. It seems that you've successfully obtained the star spirit sect's renowned ice goddess. Fuck, just which elder started this rumor? I never would have thought that the classic plot of the tyrant disciple who fell in love with the ice-cold master would actually appear in reality. Fifth junior sister, why don't you let me borrow that book of yours? Me too, I also want to see. Junior brother, we'll be heading to the sect hall first. Junior brother, take care. It seems the elders really talk too much. Just watch me stuff all the marrow cleansing pills and you blabbermouths later. Yi Fong, just what exactly did you do to my sister Chen Xiue? Sect Hall. Grandpa, hurry up and let go of me. If you want something from me, just talk to me straight. You should quickly give me your blessings first though. Even if I, Chu Xiao Xiao, were to starve to death or be instantly struck by lightning, I wouldn't want anything from you. Gulp, this woman is much more irritable compared to Master. It seems you're still maintaining your dignified appearance, wife. You should just let all your anger out. Once you ascend and encounter a dangerous situation, I'll put on a performance of a heavenly soldier descending from the sky, bringing the whole sect to save you and letting you wholeheartedly devote yourself to me. Xiao Shui, let me borrow your clothes. I literally just bought new clothes. Master, you're going too far. Can't you do it to another demon? I only have a few pieces of clothes left. These are all marrow cleansing pills. Its efficacy is far greater than that of the profound cleansing pill. If you consume it in large amounts, it'll make your soul free of impurities. You dumb dog, go obediently lie down over there. You'll be eating last. Finally, the series of the dog getting treated better than humans is over. It's really too amazing. Sister Chen Chiyue, we mustn't eat. We absolutely can't. But this makes your constitution free of any impurities. If I want to become stronger, there's no way for me to reject the things he takes out. All right then, let me really see if these pills are truly as powerful as you claim. 
Ye fong, just you wait. Hey. Hick. It tastes so bad that she immediately dropped dead. As long as you continue on your journey on the Tao which continuously extends, the fruits of your labor will materialize. Don't let your journey e and d shall shall. Shall shall, wake up. Shall shall. Is this thing really that bad? Doggy, eat this. Who faints from eating a pill? Her acting skills are too weak, aren't they? Doggy, it's time to prove yourself. Sigh. I can't take it anymore. Doggy, you gotta keep eating. Inflexible. Come on. You stupid dog, you wanna play dead too, huh? Be a good boy and sit still. Don't run. You won't get away today. You got what you deserve, doggy. Our junior brother spoils this dog too much. It should have been disciplined ages ago. I actually feel really good watching this dog getting beaten up. Half an hour later, eat. You stupid dog, you don't know how lucky you are. If it wasn't for me wanting to train you, you wouldn't have any of this. System, everyone has a different physique. How many cleansing marrow pills do they need to become a pure spirit body without any impurities? Regardless of individual factors, each person needs 100,000 cleansing marrow pills, equality for all living beings. 100,000 for each person. 100,000 pills? Isn't that enough to eat until death? Yi Fong, Xiao Xiao, and I have already had 300 pills. There are indeed changes in our bodies, although not significant. How many do we need to complete the transformation? Probably, um, maybe, it should be, 100,000 pills. 100,000 pills? Yeah, no matter who, no matter the strength, everyone needs to eat 100,000 pills. I can't take it anymore. Just kill me already. Junior sister, forget it, I can't hold on either. We can't take it either. Although I've never eaten shit, I'm sure this thing tastes worse. I feel totally wrecked. Isn't it better to live without this pure spirit body? Eating 100,000 of these cleansing marrow pills is a ticket to ascend to the upper realm. This is too good of a deal to pass up. After ascending to the upper realm, the power of the pure spirit body will be fully revealed. No, I don't want to do it. Don't make me eat it. After I ate it, I felt like my whole soul was contaminated with filth. You want me to eat 100,000 of such disgusting pills? Ugh, just kill me. Can't young people nowadays learn from their elders? A second later. Is this shit? I've never eaten shit, so why does it feel like it tastes like shit? Can shit really be this disgusting? Initiating a mysterious brainstorm. System, this is what you call tasting a little man? It's basically like eating shit. It's really tough for them to endure eating two or three hundred pills. Maybe it'd be better to keep these cleansing marrow pills for squandering. The pure spirit body shows minimal effects in the lower realm, but is highly rewarding when ascending to the upper realm. Host, please decide carefully. Looks like we can't avoid eating this shit. Yi Fong, you can't eat it either, right? I think we should forget about this. I really can't endure one hundred thousand. You're not eating it? Yeah, I really don't want to eat it. Agreed. Heh, fine. But I must say it beforehand. Elder Chu, if you eat one less, I'll call out that one-armed lunatic. I can't tell you what he'll do to you. I can only guarantee your survival. Yi Fong, give me the remaining cleansing marrow pills. As an elder, one has to set an example. I can't let your kindness go to waste. One-armed lunatic? Who's that? Huh? Xiao Xiao, why are you guys going all out like this? Hold on, from what I know about Xiao Xiao, if she doesn't want to do something, no one can persuade her to do otherwise. Who the heck is this person Yi Fong just mentioned? What the heck is going on? Don't just eat. Talk to me. What one-armed lunatic? Can you guys speak up? I'm getting anxious here. Seeing Xiao Xiao and Elder Chu getting scared like this, who the heck is this person? Don't even think about it. 
If we don't eat, we'll be out of luck. After a while, Yi Fong, I just remembered something. I really can't eat anymore. Let's take a break and find a different topic. We killed Zhang Shu Fong. If Shu Chen Fong finds out, he might cause trouble for our sect. Doesn't he owe you three favors? Favors hold sway only when there is no conflict. If he found out that we killed his people, Shirch and Fong would definitely be hostile. Task assigned. Host, lead 10,000 reserve guards to wipe out Shirch and Fong's Dark Devil cult. Depending on the success of the mission, you will be rewarded or deducted 30,000 big spender points. You can refuse, huh? Big spender system reserve guards? There are thousands in the squad. There are only 10 members in the squad. Hmm, system, the Golden Armor Guardian said that there are thousands in the squad, so why did the one-armed lunatic say there are only 10? Because the Golden Armor Guardian are just one of the reserves. The Golden Armor symbolizes their status. When they take off the Golden Armor is when they become Official Guardians, Reserve Guardians. Official Guardians. Damn. Didn't think the one-armed dude would be that strong. Ugh, it can't be. Doesn't this mean you chose to send a reserve guard the first time I encountered danger? Well, you can't say that. It was a random draw. Anyway, in this week's Shintian continent, even the reserves are enough. System, you really don't give a damn about my life. You still continue to do random draws, don't you? Forget it. I already have over 610,000 big spender points. Another 30,000 will help me do a breakthrough. But how powerful is the Dark Devil cult for us to need 10,000 reserves to wipe them out? It's just about letting the reserves get some fresh air. After training for so long, they need a break. Hey, what a good system. You want them to get some fresh air. Hmm, but I have to attend the Secret Realm competition in seven days. Is there enough time? Relax. Seven days are more than enough. Afterward, have the guards tear through space and send you directly to the Secret Realm Sex Grand Competition. Oh? That's a good idea. Once I get inside, I'll wreck all the things in the Secret Realm, leaving just a bit for others. That way, no one else will be able to take first place. Wife, I was thinking. Try saying that one more time. The last time my skin cracked, it hurt a lot. I'll pass. Master, I need to go out with Elder Chu for something. Go. Master, I haven't even said what I'm gonna do. Aren't you worried about your disciple? Hey, when a Grand Master is out on business, why should a junior like me be concerned? It's just a flying spiritual gadget. It is powered by spirit stones. It can keep flying as long as you have enough stones. Loads of cultivators have these. After all, it doesn't drain your own spiritual energy. Great, I'm not short on spirit stones. I'll cover the expenses on the way. If I have one of these, why would I bother learning the flying sword technique? This is for leisure trips. My third grade flying spiritual gadget has a speed similar to that of a peak fusion realm. You can enjoy the scenery slowly. That slow? Can this thing really get us to the Dark Devil Cult in seven days? The Dark Devil Cult? Yi Fong, are you going there to track down Shu Chen Fong? Don't worry about what I'm up to. Just tell me, can we reach the Dark Devil Cult in seven days? There's no chance if I don't take the reins myself. Evening. Kia. Oh yeah, that's what I call fast. Elder Chu, let's find a town to rest for a bit. I never thought that even as a transcending tribulation realm cultivator, I'd have to serve as a human rocket. Or human. Propellant slash thrust enhancer. Time to get to work. Two hours later, at the entrance of a guest room. Elder Chu, don't forget to grab a bite when you get out. I, I know. I thought I'd escape the cleansing marrow pills on the journey. By the way, the cleansing marrow pills should also be sent to my senior disciple and her junior sister. Otherwise, wouldn't I, as their master, be too irresponsible? Activate the sect teleportation, target, Hua Yumeng. Ah, 
Um, senior disciple, how about you turn around so I can give you a quick back rub? You pervert, go to hell. Aye. At that moment, time stopped, holy cow. Look at this angle, what a view. I am a proud member of the big spender divine guards. Get lost. Alrighty. I knew you'd show up and mess up my lucky moment. Humph. Eh. To be continued. Ten minutes later. Master, could you please inform your disciple before coming next time? It was an accident. Master, is there something you need from me? Oh, right. I have 200,000 cleansing marrow pills in this spatial ring. You and Yao Yao each get 100,000. If you consume them all, you'll obtain a pure spirit body. Just beware, the cleansing marrow pills smell terrible. You must endure it. Don't miss a single pill. A pure body is extremely useful in the upper realm, remember that. Upper realm? Master, rest assured. Your disciple will definitely take all 100,000 cleansing marrow pills. All good then. I'll head back first. Don't interact with the Dark Devil cult for a while. They are about to meet their end. Master wants to wipe out the Dark Devil cult? Got it, Master. Yao Yao, order someone to drag the people from the Dark Devil cult who came to buy supplies back here and behead them. Come to my room later. Ten minutes later, inner chamber. Oh my. Master, I'm here. Yao Yao, come and give these cleansing marrow pills a try. Cleansing marrow pills? I wonder what flavor they are. Yao Yao, are you okay, dead? Ugh. Fuck. Master, when did Yao Yao offend you? Scold me if you want, but please don't do this to me. Good thing I tested them on Yao Yao. If the Myriad Blossoms Valley sees me in such a state, my image will be completely ruined. Master, what happened to you? Did someone threaten you? If so, just blink to let your disciple know. Yao Yao, these pills were sent by our master. Don't ask anything, just eat them. There are 200,000 here, each of us get 100,000. We have to eat them all. 100,000? Seriously, are you two trying to torture me to death with these? Come on, this is for your own good. You gotta eat every single one of them. Wait, master. Let me ask my big sister first. Big sister? Yuea, Yuea. Yao Yao, what do you want, Yuea? Hello? Master, let's just eat. My sister is beyond saving already. Next morning. Today's a good day. What are we squandering today? Today's big spender item, Refining Essence Fragments X10,000. Refining Essence Fragments, upon use, it significantly boosts refining abilities, giving someone the ability to craft spiritual tools infused with lower level spirit entities. What? Crafting spirit entities? That's something you can't do in the lower realm. But how do I squander this? Yi Fong, what are you worried about? According to Elder Bai, you spend big every day. I wonder what you are up to today. Elder Chu, as a refiner, are you pursuing the highest realm of the art of refining? Sai. I used to, but now I have this heaven grade cauldron, so my pursuit of the art of refining is pretty much over. So, Elder Chu, are you giving up? I don't know why but I feel a bit uneasy. Elder Chu, this is for you. A refining essence fragment. Yi Fong, I've already lost faith. This will be wasted on me. It'd be better to leave it for someone destined for it. Waste? Exactly. You're the destined one I had in mind. If you hadn't abandoned pursuing the way of refining, I wouldn't have given this to you. So, you're squandering it on me? After using 10,000 refining essence fragments, you can craft a spirit entity. Elder Chu, you will be responsible for the sex kitchen utensil production from now on. Are you really going to make me use my skills for such trivial tasks? I'd rather not be the number one refiner in the Xian Tian continent if that's the case. Oh? 
Should I cut off my left hand and go practice swordsmanship then? Um, I feel like having spirit entities in our kitchen utensils would be interesting. That's the spirit. One hour later. Elder Chu, why are you so silent? If you have any issues, just say it. Yi Fong, I can now craft spirit entities, but invoking them will bring about a spiritual calamity. I can't withstand it. Spiritual calamity? Don't worry, I'll handle the spiritual calamity when it comes. That one-armed lunatic is quite powerful. Even the clouds of the calamity won't appear if he comes out. No. If someone tries to resist the spiritual calamity of a spirit entity, it will trigger a true thunder tribulation. When a thunder tribulation descends, we'll be at a dead end. Don't worry, no matter what kind of calamity it may be, as long as that guy comes out, even the heavenly Tao won't dare to make a sound. Although Yi Fong is a big spender, he has never made big promises. Having a guardian capable of confronting the heavenly Tao, what exactly is Yi Feng's identity? Elder Chu, hold on. Yi Fong, what's wrong? Who are those three people fighting over there? Those three are wearing the Dark Devil Cult's robes. They're probably inner disciples. They are no match for the Grey Ice Wolves. Elder Chu, how strong are they? Including the demonic beasts, they are all at the ninth level of the Foundation Establishment realm. Perfect. I can test the power of the Divine Ability, the Buddha of Good and Evil, that I acquired earlier. Is our spendthrift finally going to make a move? People keep saying Yi Fong is formidable. Today, I'll finally get to see what he's really made of. What a jinx. I just stepped out and encountered five demonic beasts. Everyone, reveal your trump cards or we'll all die. Dark Devil Cult Inner Disciple Xia Hai. Xia Hai, you took all the stuff we got in the Heavenly Dao battlefield and still dare ask about our trump cards? Dark Devil Cult Inner Disciple Xia Kong. Dark Devil Cult Inner Disciple Xia Shan. I warn you, if you try to harm us, even if it means death, we'll make you pay. These two bastards dare to insult me. Watch how I deal with you when I get back to the cult. Hurry up and retreat, my friends. Leave these five demonic beasts to me. Great. Someone is finally willing to help us. Good and evil arise. Yin and Yang transformation. Cause and effect reversal. Life and death exchange. Divine ability to Buddha of good and evil. Mutual annihilation. What a terrifying supreme divine ability. This is too much. Let's get out of here. This kid is too damn scary. Who said you could leave? I understand. I understand. We're scum. We deserve to die. I, who originally aspired to be good, can only seek redemption through death. Yi Fong, you, put away your divine ability. This Buddha of good and evil is too scary. Elder Chu, were you also affected? Yi Fong, you still don't get how your divine ability works. Yeah, I'm new to this. It's my first time using it. Having lived for so long, I've seen some divine abilities. But this Buddha of good and evil ignores the laws of the heavenly Tao, that's a first for me. My guess is when good begets evil, they lose themselves and attack each other. When evil begets good, it's the same deal. They lose it and self-destruct. So that's how it is. Looks like I need to test it some more to completely understand it. Heavenly Tao tokens have been detected. Heavenly Tao tokens? Could these people have come from the Heavenly Tao battlefield? Unexpected bonus. With these two Heavenly Tao tokens, I can finally bring my wife along. Ha ha. Yi Fong, what is this token? This is the Heavenly Tao token. The Heavenly Tao token? Do we not need anything else? Nah, for me, those are just trash. Looks like I need to redefine what trash is. Yi Fong, besides that terrifying Buddha of good and evil divine ability, do you have any other tricks up your sleeve? Does the death sword intent of the sword heart realm count? 
You're a swordsman too? I'm not a swordsman. I'm just a transporter of sword intent. So, your sword intent is trained too? Yep, I trained it. But even if I were a real swordsman, so what? I think having trained a sword's doggy is my most impressive achievement. The doggy I raised mastered the sword heart realm. He's the number one sword's doggy in the Xian Tian continent. Elder Chu, hurry up and stabilize the flying spiritual gadget. The seats are about to flip. Damn it, even a dog can break through to the sword heart realm. I haven't been able to break through even with 10,000 fragments. Is my comprehension worse than a dog's? Yo, Yi Fong. Shi Chen Fong is contacting me via the sound transmitting jade pendant. Tell him to clean his neck and be ready in six days. I'm gonna wipe out the Dark Devil Cult from the Xian Tian continent. Dark Devil Cult Main Hall. Chu Hongshan, a mere nobody, has the guts to challenge me? Dark Devil Cult Masters Shi Chen Fong. Convey my orders, gather the disciples. I want to see what tricks Chu Hongshan has to dare to say that he'll wipe out my Dark Devil Cult. The Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. Heavenly Secrets Pavilion's 12th Elder Grand Elder Sun Lee Grand Elder. I've deduced the Heavenly Secrets. In six days, the Dark Devil Cult will completely disappear from the Xian Tian continent. It's destined. What? What about our Heavenly Secrets Pavilion's secret treasure? We must get it back. Former Dark Devil Cult Master Zhou Chong Shan borrowed our secret treasure at a great cost for three years. There's still time before we can take it back. Grabbing it early might make Zhou Chong Shan hostile toward us. Are these the elders of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion? I've been at the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion for a while now, but I feel like the Grand Elders don't value me enough. Humph, protest. All of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion's treasures are at your disposal. All the elders favor you. You're practically the queen of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion, but you're still feeling undervalued? We need to get the secret treasure back within six days or the loss will be enormous. Let me use the Heavenly Insight Mirror again to see who's fit for the job. Heavenly Insight Mirror? It's one of the top three secret treasures of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. I heard that peering into the Heavenly Secrets once deducts several years of life. Grand Elders got it rough. Grand Elder, why not let me play? I mean, use the Heavenly Insight Mirror. Nonsense. You're the future of Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. What will happen if you use the Heavenly Insight Mirror and something goes wrong? But I have the Karma Dao Mark. The Karma Dao Mark? You actually have a Karma Dao Mark? Hurry up and let me check how much karmic power your Karma Dao Mark can withstand. You old pervert, get a grip on yourself. P.S. This matter was later handed over to a female elder to handle. Grand Elder, is my Karma Dao Mark too ordinary? Checking the Karma Dao Mark ordinary? How could it be ordinary? Do you know how much lifespan and time I have to sacrifice to use the Heavenly Insight Mirror once? With this Karma Dao Mark, you can use the Heavenly Insight Mirror ten times a day without repercussions. Along with no backlashes, it won't even cost you a day of your lifespan. So, my Karma Dao Mark is that powerful? Everyone, starting today, you must treat the Saintess like your queen. She's the greatest treasure of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. Hats off to Master Yi Fong. Just remember, handle it with care, okay? I'll go play with it then. This is for peering, not playing. Don't you dare drop it. Half an hour later. The record strip is out. The Heavenly Insight Mirror suggests that the Saintess be the one to go to the Dark Devil Cult. Joe Tom, you must protect the Saintess. Grand Elder, how about sending a few more elders? The safety of the Saintess is crucial. No need. Joe Tom, you guys can go ahead. Can I handle it alone? Grand Elder, why is this record strip so long this time? I made a mistake. The Grand Elder's longest record. What? Did something happen to the Saintess? Something? She peered a total of 66 times. 
Do you know what she did with the heavenly insight mirror all these times? What did she do? I don't know. Sixty-five times. She used the mirror to peer into our gossip sixty-five times. Except for the first time when she was serious, she used it on us every time. Even the secrets in our underwear were exposed. What did she peer into? She peered into your extramarital affairs 177 times. She even found out that your son isn't biologically yours, it's his. She looked up your nickname, Guru Dan. The most miserable one is Jotong. He hit the brothel a whopping 1095 times in three years, got tricked and scammed 93 times, and managed to father four illegitimate children. That's the power of the Karma Dao Mark. It's like using a cannon to deal with a mosquito. Truly extravagant. The Grand Elder is practically conducting a public execution. Thank goodness Zhou Tong isn't here. Elder Zhou, I even peered into the genetic origins of your Mediterranean hairstyle. It stems from your great-great-great-grandfather. Why isn't there a crack in the sky for me to crawl into? Enough. Enough. Saintus, the power of the Karma Dao Mark isn't meant for this. You, you're just squandering. Squandering, ah. Hold on a sec, Saintus, do you know someone named Yi Fong? Well, he, he, Ling Shui doesn't know him. Good thing she doesn't. Meanwhile, on the other side. Congratulations to the host's second disciple, Yi Ling Shui, for successfully squandering. Rewards, Big Spender Points X800, Golden Silkworm Star Gem X200. What? Looks like the second disciple is making quite a name for herself. What has Yiling Xue been squandering on lately? Yiling Xue used the Karma Dao Mark to pry into people's private lives. The system deemed it to be prodigal behavior. I'm the best. And of course, it had to be Yiling Xue. I definitely picked her correctly. Elder Chu, here's a couple hundred golden silkworm star gems. Yi Fong, is this for me? For you? Elder Chu, you're overthinking. When you get back to the sect, use these gems to build a latrine pit. If there's any left, build a thatched cottage. Latrine pit? Thatched cottage? Yi Fong, do you even know how precious these golden silkworm star gems are? You only talk about shit and excrement every day. I'll give you credit for creativity if you say something else. You should just give these gems to me. That's what I really want to say. All the ancestors of the Star Peak sect are backing me up. Elder Chu, why are you angry? What? No way. They can't be that crazy about you. I need to ask. Hey? You old man, Yi Fong is squandering the golden silkworm star gems. Aren't you going to do something about it? Okay, I underestimated. Maybe building a thatched cottage isn't that bad after all. Not objecting? What did the ancestors say to you? It's getting late. Let's find a mountain cave or something to rest. Chen Hai Trading Guild Headquarters Backyard. Butler Meng, here comes a strong attack. Bring it on. I've been ready for ages. It has been confirmed. The prescription is genuine. The young master has become diligent and frugal, so please refrain from scolding him in the future. Elder Meng, you call him diligent and frugal? Seriously, do you not know how big of a spender he is since he was a child? Guild master, you haven't seen a real prodigal person yet. Do you know what people are not as good as dogs means? As for this prescription, it's necessary that we supply to the star spirit sect and make sure to make concessions for them. I really want to see this prodigal person you talk about. Next morning. Heavenly tribulation? Could there be some cultivators nearby? Elder Chu, you're up. What's that? A talisman? Holy crap. Heavenly tribulation. How could someone turn that into a talisman? Am I dreaming? I'm heading back to bed. This is too scary. Don't sleep, Elder Chu. Today, we're going sideways. Sideways? 
What the hell does going sideways mean? It's like being carried in a coffin. I ended up getting involved in something suspicious, Yi Fong, these calamity clouds won't accidentally strike us, right? Elder Chu, don't worry. I've got these clouds under control. They won't misfire, I promise. Is this your definition of not misfiring? Heavenly Secrets Pavilion Grand Elder Who, who the heck is this divine entity? To control the Heavenly Tao. Three days later Dark Devil Cult Guest Room Saintus, it's been three days. If we don't grab the treasure and leave today, it'll be too late. Oh, don't worry. The Heaven Profound Art gave me a heads up. The crisis is looming over the Dark Devil Cult. The time has come. Is that so? All right, maybe I was a bit too hasty. Elder Jotong, tell the Dark Devil Cult that I'm craving morning pearl dew paired with the red tea leaves from the ancestor of wild beasts. TSK, are you turning this into an ad now? Yi Fong, the deepest part of this mountain range is the Dark Devil Cult's territory. Great. Elder Chu, pay attention. It's time for my debut transformation. BGM, shining with radiant brilliance. The sword that outshines the heavenly star pool. Soaring through the skies with the emperor's rule, across the world, it swirls and whirls. At this moment, I am the invincible player. You brat, you have another powerful ability? Perfect. What was supposed to be a latrine pit has turned into a golden armor. Sob, sob, sob. Elder Chu, today, I'll show you. You will realize that even the heavenly Tao is nothing special. Where are you, golden armored guards? Dark Devil Cult Heavenly Tribulation Calamity Clouds The clouds that can erase anything. What's that golden glow? How did it summon such terrifying heavenly tribulation calamity clouds? Somewhere in the Dark Devil Cult. What's this aura? Master, are you done with your seclusion? The former leader of the Dark Devil Cult, Zhou Chongshan. This, this is. You damn troublemaker, who did you mess with? I have no idea, Master. There is no running now. None of you are getting out alive today. Get ready to meet your end. Let's all die together, ha ha ha. My lord, we are ready to head to the Dark Devil Cult now. You are great. You have to strive to become an official guardian member as soon as possible. I won't let you down, my lord. Elder Chu, snap out of it and lead the way. If you have any grudges against the Dark Devil Cult, seize this opportunity. Really? Today, you point and they kill. Enjoy the most glorious moment of your life, Elder Chu. Then I'll enjoy my revenge today. Here he comes. Let me see who can suppress the heavenly Tao. Dying at the hands of such a person, I, Zhou Chongshan, shall die without regret. Shi Chen Fong, I've come. Him. And him. And that baldy over there. Get him. Ha ha ha. Never thought that one day I'd be commanding the big shots. Ha ha ha. Chu Hongshan? Chu, you scoundrel. You've gone too far. Kill. My lord, how should we kill? However you want. You're really asking me this now? My lord, look at these big and fierce clouds. Why not use the heavenly tribulation thunder from the clouds to wipe out the dark devil cult? Good idea. You always look so upright. Turns out you've got some tricks up your sleeve. To come up with such a sneaky move, I really see potential in you. It is my duty. Reminder to the host, your second disciple is visiting the Dark Devil Cult. Arrange accordingly to avoid accidental injuries. Oh? Yi Ling Xue is here too? Send a few people to find and protect Yi Ling Xue. The rest of you, go for it. These scoundrels shall die under the full might of the Heavenly Tao. These villains deserve their deaths. This is bad. What the heck is happening outside? 
It's driving me nuts. Haha, ha, this tea is really tasty. The saint is still has the mood to drink tea. She's quite something. No, I must go out and see. Elder Zhou, weren't you going out? No, I am not going out. Actually, staying here is not a bad idea. By the way, why did the Heaven's Insight Mirror want me to come to the Dark Devil Cult? It told me to hide in the house while someone delivers the treasure to me. What's happening out there? Thinking about how the Dark Devil sect has stood tall for a thousand years, I never thought it would crumble in my hands. All right, that's enough. You too, go kill that old guy. Reminder to the host, Yi Ling Xue wants a treasure that's on Zhou Chongshan. Hold on, this old bastard dared to snatch my disciple's stuff. You too, give him a good beating without killing him. Who's your disciple? When did I steal anything? My disciple was struck by lightning, and now you're slandering and torturing me? Bro, don't kick him to the afterlife. No worries. I have a tight grip on my strength. You old geezer, can you sing happy sheep? Not in the face, it hurts. Give me a quick death, I beg you. Asking for favors after getting beaten? Beat him hard for me. This old guy has some backbone, for real. Yo, old man, it seems you begging for mercy was just an act, huh? You there, go loosen his bones too. Yes, my lord. Count me in. You MOFing damn scoundrel. You are pretty cheeky, my teammate. I'll join too. Ora, ora, ora. Several hours later. You really live up to the position of the former leader of the Dark Devil cult. I underestimated you. You keep asking for stuff. What do you want me to hand over? You never asked. Who is your disciple? I don't know what this thing is. But my disciple is Yi Ling Xiue, the saintess from the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion. Yi Ling Xiue? Your disciple showed up three days ago, didn't say a word, and just started freeloading. I really had no clue. This is the only thing I have related to the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion right now. Yi Fong, you got it wrong. I know about this treasure. He borrowed it. Elder Chu, can't you see I'm messing with him? I didn't even give him a chance to speak before. You guys finally came out to get some fresh air so let's make your playtime longer, shall we? My lord, we vow to guard you with our lives. Ha ha. What's so funny? I never thought, never thought that I, the devil who is feared by all, would end up as someone's puppet. Oh, and? Get ready to bite the dust, kid. I've had enough. This is bad, he's getting ready to. If my lord wants you dead, you die. If he does not, you better behave. Who am I? Where am I? Why doesn't this world match my common sense? Yo, handsome guy, do you have a name? My lord, I have no name. Only when I become an official guardian will I be qualified to. T Rules are boring, people aren't. From now on, you're ye ye but I'll call you stylish. You're the first one I'm naming, so don't let me down. Yi Yi won't let you down, my lord. All right, you two, go take care of him. It's about time for you to head back. Yi Yi, stick around. We're going to deliver this treasure to my disciple. Dark Devil Cult Guest Room Strange, why is it so quiet outside? Could the Dark Devil cult have really been? Elder Zhou, behind you? Ultimate skilled memory erasure palm. Elder Zhou, who are you? Who the heck are you? Ling Xue, are you ready to become my disciple? Master, this treasure is what you came for, right? I helped you get it. Master, you're amazing. The Saintess of Heavenly Secrets Pavilion is Yi Feng's disciple and Yi Feng is Luo Qianqiuo's direct disciple. Yi Feng calls Qianqiuo wife and the Saintess of Heavenly Secrets Pavilion calls Yi Feng. I feel like I know way too much, Master, you're awesome. 
Better go back and write my will quickly so Xiao Xiao doesn't investigate further. If she doesn't get it. Ugh, this outfit is such a pain. Master, did you come all the way here just wipe out the Dark Devil cult? You must have other motives, right? Hmm? Well, sort of. After all, it's a task assigned by the system. Those Dark Devil cult guys really have a death wish. How dare they mess with my master's big plans? By the way, master, your disciple will soon take control of the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion with the Karma Dao mark you gave me. The Heavenly Secrets Pavilion will soon be mine. Oh ho ho, ah shit, here we go with the daydreaming again. Elder Chu, what are you up to now? Young Master Yi, I know too much. But you don't have to worry, I'll keep my mouth shut. If I talk, just let that person chop me into pieces. It looks like everyone's lost in their own little world, huh? I hope you remember your words. Otherwise, you will have to face the consequences. Thank goodness I acted fast. He didn't notice the will, or it would have been really dangerous. Ling Xue, how are you planning to explain things to Zhou Tong later? Master, don't worry, your disciple will figure out how to explain things to him later. Good. I mustn't forget to activate the sect communication and teleportation function this time. Activating the sect communication function. Activating the sect teleportation function. Let's go, Elder Chu. Congratulations to the host for completing the task. Reward, 300,000 big spender points and bloodthirsty flag of 10,000 souls. Bloodthirsty flag of 10,000 souls, a special demonic spirit artifact which has countless evil spirits sealed inside. It can produce soul attacks and the owner can feed it with their own blood to make it stronger. The stronger the blood, the faster the growth of the evil spirits. It's a growth type special spirit artifact. Damn. This reward is insane. It feels like it's meant for a big demon or something. If I take it to the upper realm, it might even advance to the level of a demonic immortal artifact. But I have to keep feeding it my blood. Host, have some self-respect. Seriously? When did you start coveting such garbage? I don't have anything good, so isn't it natural for me to covet junk? Although you lived a bit frugally in the beginning, you still have me. I can totally replace those rewards. Life will get better for you, and I'll remind you of what suits you. I don't know why, but what you said reminds me of someone. My fists are itching. Stop messing around. Given the host's current emotional fluctuations, reward, Divine Eye of Destruction X1. Divine Eye of Destruction, closes to let all things live, opens to let all things perish. The host can use it once a day. A tingling sensation. Finally, system, you gave me something useful. Let's test it. What's going on? Did you go blind? Elder Chu, did you see it? See what? All right, everyone, let's spot the differences. The view Chu Hongshan remembered Chu Hongshan's current view once upon a time. There was a mountain. On the mountain, there were a... A mountain? Holy shit! Where's the mountain? Where is it? Elder Chu, let's not talk about the missing mountain for now. It's been a tough journey. Take this bloodthirsty flag of 10,000 souls. This is a growth-type spirit artifact. In the future, when you go to the upper realm, it might even advance to the level of an immortal artifact. Bloodthirsty flag of 10,000 souls? Won't I become a demonic cultivator? Elder Chu, you've hit the jackpot. Each of these evil spirits here was once a big demon who slaughtered billions of living beings. You just need to feed them your blood every day for them to keep growing stronger. Are these evil spirits like demons? Well, as long as they're not messing with kind souls, I'm relieved. It's almost evening. Elder Chu, I've got something to do. You can head back to the sect first. Eh? All right. The Heavenly Sun Sect Main Hall. Is everything set? Heavenly Sun Sect Masters Chen Jingfeng. Sect Master, everything is set. By tonight, 
We'll gather all the cultivation resources and send them to the Demon Sealing Cave. After planning for a hundred years. Finally, the day has come when the Demon Ancestor breaks the seal. On the day of the breakthrough, other sects will either submit or face destruction. No one can stop our Heavenly Sun sect now. Ha ha ha. Few hours later. My lord, we're already inside the secret realm. I'll take my leave first. All right. What? This is obviously a cave. They must have sent me here because there's something wrong with it. Today's big spender item, Soul Spirit Balls 200 -0? The big spender items for today are here already. Soul Spirit Balls contains extremely pure soul power, a special item created by cultivators specializing in soul cultivation. Cultivators specializing in soul cultivation? Psychic attacks? Reminder to the host, soul cultivators cultivating their own souls can unleash terrifying psychic attacks with mysterious and extremely powerful methods. Here we go again with the nonsense. Soul spirit balls are also extremely important for refiners, pill alchemists, talismans experts, array formation masters, and the likes. Is the whole point of this leading me into that cave to kickstart some kind of plot? So, should I go deeper into the cave? Yes, and by the way, a reminder to the host, the system has detected abnormal forces preparing to invade the host's soul. The antivirus function will activate automatically. Someone snooping around again? Guess I need to check out this antivirus function. 198, 199. 200. I've been stuck here in this seal for 200 years. Well, being able to refine 200 soul spirit balls isn't bad though. Mysterious old man counting balls, Shao Chen. Hey old man, what are you counting? Who are you? How did you get in? He he. I'm a guy who just walked in here. But there's a formation around here that was set up by the Golden Will Great Emperor himself. How did he get in? Wait a minute. Does that mean the formation is broken? The formation is broken. Did the formation finally break down? The formation is finally broken. Ah. Is that the force that's been keeping this old man stuck here? Why? How much longer do I have to stay in this shitty place? How much longer? System, use the Heavenly Secrets Insight function. Check who this old man is. Xiao Chen, also known as the Demon Ancestor, is a transcending tribulation realm ninth layer peak soul cultivator who has endured nine heavenly tribulations. 200 years ago, he offended the personal disciple of the upper realm's golden will great emperor Ding Yi. He was sealed by the Golden Will Emperor's avatar in the Demon Sealing Cave, preventing him from ascending to the Upper Realm until death. A formidable soul cultivator, appearances sure can be deceiving. Weird and wacky ideas are starting to kick in. By the way, does squandering soul spirit balls in front of him count as squandering? Senior, have you heard about soul spirit balls before? Heh, this old man not only knows about them, but also has quite a few. So, Senior, do you have these kinds of soul spirit balls? How come there is such a large one on the Shintian continent? Here it comes. Damn it. What are you doing? Don't drop it. Are you fucking crazy? Soul spirit balls can easily break. Do you even know how precious soul spirit balls are? No matter how precious they are, if they can't be used, what's the point? I've also offended Ding Yi by coming in. Instead of letting the soul spirit balls rot with me, I might as well use them to have some fun. What? You, you too. No wonder you breeze through the formation. Ding Yi is utterly useless. Two hundred years and he still hasn't ascended. If I manage to break free, I swear I'll find a way to kill him. Is that so? By the way, what do you mean by having some fun with these soul spirit balls? Well, that's, just sit tight and watch, sir. This is. Of course, it is basketball. Please start imagining the BGM here, chicken, you're so beautiful. Finally, I can use this meme. I don't get it, 
but his moves seem to be full of a sense of power. 99 colon 100, I win. Darn it, I was so close. I was just one basket away. You have successfully squandered today. Reward, Big Spender Points X1000, Soul Spirit Balls X1000. Using these won't earn you any more Big Spender Points. Done already? I didn't have enough fun. Let's keep going. I'm done. But I'm not sure if you've got more Spirit Balls, Senior. I do, I do. The Soul Spirit Balls of mine are a bit small. Do you have any suggestions on how we can have fun with this size? These small balls are perfect for ping pong. Getting addicted to losing, huh? Don't blame me then. Several hours later. Awesome. This is the happiest this old man has been in the last 200 years. Hey senior, did you come up with that spinning ball move on the spot? It's too strong. Yeah. But this secret realm has been open for a hundred years and closed for another hundred. We're going to get bored again. Do you know about a sect called the Heavenly Sun Sect? Heavenly Sun Sect, I've heard a bit about it. That sect is quite rotten. They even tried to harm me before. I casually gave them some benefits and falsely claimed to be a demon ancestor, saying that I'd protect them if they break the seal. So they happily started collecting resources for me. Anyway, the secret realm will close at some point. They can stress about it later. So, the Heavenly Sun sect is a victim? He fooled them for a hundred years. The title of Demon Ancestor is also made up. He really knows how to play. Such talented people should be recruited into the sect. Senior, is there really no way to crack the formation? That's the formation core, but let's not think about it. I've tried to break it countless times without any success. The Golden Will Emperor dared to stick the Formation Core up there because he was confident about no one being able to break it. An Emperor's Artifact from the Upper Realm, I wonder if the Divine Eye of Destruction can destroy it. It's gone. How did that thing suddenly disappear? Could it be? After 200 years, could it be that I'm finally free today? Old Senior, why don't you go out and take a look? Ah, young man, all of this was your doing, right? Thank you. WTF. Dude, who are you? What's wrong? The way you're staring at me is making me uneasy. Looks like I went all out while using the divine eye. Something's up with them. Looks like I'm seeing things. Better go back and get some sleep. Upper Realm Golden Will Palace Who would have thought someone from the tiny lower realm would break my soul-devouring great formation? Golden Will Emperor Interesting, very interesting. Xientian Continent, Soul Fade Valley A disciple of the Golden Will Palace, Ding Yi. Xiao Chen managed to escape with those skills of his? That was unexpected. But without the Golden Soul Sacred Spirit Tree and proper guidance, he can't compete with me. Secret Realm, the Forest So you found the Golden Soul Spirit Tree first, and since he couldn't steal it from you, he called for help? I regret it so much. I've used up all my Soul Spirit Balls. Two hundred of them. Hell yeah, this storyline is perfect. This is the kind of tale a fantasy world needs. Elder Xiao, I have a newly established small sect with less than ten disciples. The sect master is only at the primordial soul realm. I wonder if you can give me some face. Oh well. I don't know where to go anyway. After all, I'm a formidable transcending tribulation realm peak cultivator who has endured nine heavenly tribulations. Being an elder in your sect is more than enough for me. Elder Xiao, now that we're out of trouble, you won't be going after Ding Yi, right? Besides, you can ascend to the upper realm any time, can't you? Going after Ding Yi? Ascend? No, 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 if I get caught by the Golden Will Emperor, it will be worse than death. I'd rather live in misery. You really are quite pathetic. System, Xiao Chen's powerful. 
To make him an elder in the Star Spirit sect, is offering him a welcome gift of a million low-grade spirit crystals too much? Quantity is within the squandering range. Since Elder Xiao is going to join my sect, as the direct disciple of the sect master, I naturally have to offer some gifts. Here, take these one million low-grade spirit crystals. I hope you won't find them too shabby. Th this is, has the Xintian continent's economy crashed in these 200 years? You weren't doubting my wealth from the start, right? Yi Fong, I've thought about it. I'm a lazy person. I am used to a life of freedom. Joining a sect, this guy is too mysterious. I'm afraid he's from the upper realm. What if he has conflicts with the Golden Wheel Emperor? If Senior doesn't agree, then I'll have to pass these 100 soul spirit balls to someone else. Once used up, I'll get more. Why wouldn't I agree? About joining the sect, I can't wait. I want to embrace my new family. Pfft. As expected, no one can resist such a grand gift. Congratulations, the host has behaved in a prodigal manner. Reward, Big Spender Points X300, Soul Cleansing Water X100. Soul Cleansing Water can purify impurities in the soul. When purified to the extreme, there's a chance for the soul might undergo a positive transformation. Eh? Doesn't this soul cleansing water seem like it was made for Xiao Chen? Elder Xiao, what if I have something that can purify the soul? How would your soul react if it were purified to the extreme? A treasure that can purify the soul, I've heard of it. If I use it, I'll definitely ascend on the spot. Not even the goddamned heaven's king himself would be able to stop me. Guess I can't waste it on him. I still have other people at the sect waiting for their share. Host, have you gone soft? Shut up. This is my flying spiritual tool. Come aboard. I'm coming, Elder Shao. Why are you tossing spirit stones? I'm just helping the secret realm sect pick their grand competition's champion. Whoever picks up this spirit stone becomes the champ. Oh, right. All the resources in the secret realm are in my hands. He, the Heavenly Sun sect might be in trouble against the other sections the Heavenly Sun sect has some explaining to do. Is there seriously only one mid-grade spirit stone in the whole secret realm? Is this the reward for the first place? What the fuck is this? Dawn, outside the secret realm it's almost dawn. Xintian Continent. I'm back. An ambush? Who are you? How dare you kidnap my master? A little demon, huh? Today, I will let you witness this old man's power. So noisy. Oh crap. Stop. 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 We're all on the same side. Huh? This is my battle pet and the sex guardian demon. This gentleman is our new elder, Xiao Chen. So, your elder Xiao. My bad, my bad. What's that cauldron in your hand? This is a heaven-grade cauldron. Every elder has one. It helps during fights. Heaven-grade cauldrons are this cheap now? If I knew about this earlier, I would have sold mine. Elder Xiao, it seems you don't know much about Master, but you'll know soon enough. Elder Xiao, just a reminder, the prices in Xintian Continent haven't collapsed yet. I'm just an exception. Elder Xiao can't handle all that mental damage. Imagine him meeting the number one sword doggy on Xintian Continent. Who knows how he'll react? Xiao Shui, you came to the Heavenly Sun sect with the seniors, right? Have them go through the motions in the secret realm for a bit. There's nothing going on inside. Elder Xiao and I will go back first. After you're done, return to the sect as soon as possible. Yes, master. Understood. Few hours later. This is the sword intent of the sword heart realm. Yi Fong, do we have such a monstrous sword cultivator in our sect? Elder Xiao, want to check it out? Why is the doggy not sleeping at this hour? And what's with all the sword intent? It's practicing martial arts? What happened to the world in the 200 years when I was sealed? Yi Fong, you're finally back. Elder Bai, 
Did you finish feeding the dog 100,000 cleansing marrow pills? I'm done, but it almost killed me. Hmm, who's this gentleman? Where did this beggar come from? Probably another person who came to curry favor with Yifong, huh? Three, at the transcending tribulation realm. Two, at the primordial soul realm. This is just what I can currently sense, the current lineup of this sect. Is this the standard setup for a small sect nowadays? How on earth did the transcending tribulation mirror end up being cheaper than a chill monk from a lone monastery? Elder Xiao, where are you going? I think I'll take off. I don't want the soul spirit balls anymore. Ha ha ha, I am back. Is that a demonic spirit artifact? Is that aura coming from old man Chu? Why is there a demonic spirit artifact here? My wife master is here. Master, this is Senior Xiao Chen. He wants to become an elder in our sect. He's a powerhouse soul cultivator who can ascend at any time. I dare not. I dare not. What? A soul cultivator who can ascend at any time. He is even stronger than the Grand Ancestor, damn it. I'm getting overshadowed again. Looks like I'm quite special. Should I stay in this sect for a few days and give it a try? Hey system, pop open some jars for me. Give me golden soul sacred spirit trees and keep it going until there are a hundred. Consumed 83,000 big spender points, obtained 109,000 year old golden soul sacred spirit trees. As long as we're not going over budget, it's all a success. Elder Xia, take Elder Xiao around the sect. Elder Chu and Elder Luo, come with me. Why are you bossing the elders around? In the end, once we're a couple, we're all the same, aren't we? Forget it, the sect's already messed up thanks to Yifong. What can a sect master like me do? A few minutes later, Elder's residential area. Elder Luo, tear down this courtyard. Yi Fong, it's not hard to tear down a courtyard, but why do you want to wreck a perfectly good place? Of course, to build a new one for Elder Xiao. The wood's ready. I'll have to trouble you guys. Liking what's new and hating what's old, what a scum move. By the way, does Yi Fong have a hobby of collecting old men? Muttering quietly, um, didn't we both come here voluntarily? Old Chu, remember last time when Yi Fong gave that thing to someone else? It got the other one all mad. Why is this kid so clueless though? System, I gotta have these two elders help me. Do I need to throw in some compensation for their efforts? Maybe something like Great Demon's Blood. A token of appreciation and compensation for their efforts? No problem at all. Good. Thank you, elders. When the construction is done, feel free to choose a type of great demon's blood. Ten drops each. Move it, Elder Chu. I'm about to kick things into high gear. One bag of rice has to withstand several kilos. One bag of rice has to withstand several kilos. One bag of rice has so many grains. One bag of rice has many grains to wash. Who will give me a bag of rice? What the heck are you saying? And where did all the punctuation go? You're really being the pain in this. Star Spirit Sect. He raised everything to the ground. Yi Fong, we're done. Damn, that was awesome. Yi Fong, what's up with this golden spiritual wood? Are you building a pure wooden courtyard for Elder Xiao? Yes, these are called Golden Soul Sacred Spirit Trees. All of them are 9,000 years old. We must use them all to give Elder Xiao a surprise. I will leave the rest to you, gentlemen. I'll go rest for a bit. Got it. Leave it to us. We'll have it done by evening for sure. Elder Chu, aren't there too many trees for just one courtyard? Yi Feng said we have to use them all. I bet it's Yi Feng's way of testing us. Getting great demon blood isn't a piece of cake after all. Star Spirit Sect Courtyard Star Peak Sect? You're saying that the Sect Master is the daughter of the Star Peak Sect Sect Master? Yeah, didn't Yi Feng tell you? I initially thought we were just a small sect, but it turns out we're just a branch of a top-tier sect. Where was that mentioned? Elder Xiao, I have a newly established small sect with less than 10 disciples. 
The sick master is only at the primordial soul realm. I wonder if you can give me some face, which branch sect can even compete with our setup? Elder Xia, I see you've been taking pills all the time. It looks uncomfortable. Why are you still eating them? Elder Xiao, have you ever heard of an impurity-free spirit body? Impurity-free spirit body? I've heard of it. It seems to be a physique highly valued by cultivators, but I'm a soul cultivator, so I haven't paid much attention to it. It doesn't matter. You'll soon have to start eating these pills that taste worse than poop. Heavenly Cauldron Latrine Pit Whose courtyard is this? How come cultivators use thatched cottages? Hold on a minute. This latrine pit is actually a heavenly cauldron? Could this be Yi Feng's courtyard? Yeah, it's Yi Feng's. Here's a bit of gossip for you. Yi Feng is even planning to use golden silkworm star gems to build a thatched cottage. After the thatched cottage is built, anyone can successfully transcend the tribulation by taking a dump. Using a heavenly cauldron as a latrine pit is one thing, but using golden silkworm star gems to build a thatched cottage? There should be a limit to being prodigal. When I transcended from transcending tribulation first layer to the peak of transcending tribulation ninth layer, I endured 18 thunder tribulations. That's my most worthy boast. What you're doing is too opportunistic. Strength gained through shortcuts is fleeting. You won't be able to control it. Elder Xiao, have a pill to calm down. What kind of pill is this? It's not the poop one you mentioned, is it? This is the enlightenment pill. You can exchange it for sect points. I can't resist eating them. Try one, and you'll know. Tastes pretty good. This is really the realm of enlightenment. This enlightenment pill is amazing. It is. The enlightenment pill is also Yi Feng's. He used it to awaken the dog's spiritual intelligence. He's so extravagant. Don't you guys know how to rein him in? Rein him in? Elder Xiao, why did you come here? You know better than that, don't you? Didn't Yi Feng give you anything? I, I. Elder Xiao, no need to be embarrassed. Yi Feng won't play favorites. The Elder's residential area is over there. Go take a look. Elder's residential area. What kind of tree is that? It looks quite precious. I don't know, just use them as you please. Wait, isn't that the Golden Soul Sacred Spirit Tree? Stop. Cut it out. All of you. Aura Aura. These are extremely rare Golden Soul Sacred Spirit Trees. Treating them like this will bring divine retribution upon you. This is meant for your courtyard. Divine retribution suits you better, I guess. What? This is meant for me? Give me the axe. I love doing carpentry. Didn't you say we'd face divine retribution? Well, after getting zapped by lightning so many times, I'm used to it. A few hours later. Is this the special treatment big shots get when they're about to ascend in the sect? I feel like we're living in a slum. I get it. Get what? I know why Elder Shao gets special treatment and we don't. Why? Because we've slacked off in our cultivation. Elder Chu, your strength surpasses mine, Elder Bai's, and Elder Xiao's, but your treatment isn't high enough. Is it because you're not good enough yet? Is Yi Feng dropping hints? Definitely. Though I haven't known Yi Feng for long, my intuition tells me he's a big spender. Yi Feng's Room all golden soul sacred spirit trees have been used. No prodigal behavior. No rewards. No prodigal behavior? No rewards? How the heck is that possible? System, what the hell is going on here? Xiao Qin accepted the courtyard and participated in the construction process. Therefore, this behavior is not considered prodigal. Can't believe he really thinks this way. Oh right, when Elder Xiao went crazy, he even smashed his own soul spirit balls for fun. Damn it, this time I've made a mistake. Elder Xiao didn't follow the script at all. Midnight. Star Spirit Sect. 
Are you sure we should go in like this? Don't disturb them. Let's save it for another day. Enemies? The aura here should be Yi Feng's crew, and the aura there should be Elder by Tian Hong's group. So, it's those two old folk, Luo Tianqing and Bai Gang. W.H. Watt. The heck is this? This courtyard is insanely fancy. Fancy? That's what catches your eye. Look at this. These are the Golden Soul Sacred Spirit Trees. They are treasures for any soul cultivator. In Heavenly Dao City, I worked for 30 years, earned over 3 million top grade spirit crystals, and I still couldn't afford such fences. Is it really that valuable? Hey old man, tell me honestly, does the saintess need a chef? I specialize in cooking, and I want a stage to showcase my culinary skills. Huh? You want to stay here now? I've been bugging you for ages to cook for me, but you turn me down saying I'm not worthy of enjoying the delicacies you cook. Fuck you. You want to join the saintess's sect as a chef now? Ouch, 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 I'll make up for it next time. Esteemed sirs, I've got plenty of rooms in my villa. If you're okay with it, feel free to stay for now. Someone's there? We didn't even catch his aura. Just as messy as me, could this person have been sealed for hundreds of years too? All the stronger ones have come. Good thing we arrived just in time. A few more days, and this place might get overcrowded. I thought those five old folks went nuts. But for such a big shot to come here to beg, just how profitable is this begging business? You two old geezers, sneaking into your own sect like this, that was kinda amusing. Chu Hongshan? You're here too? Allow me to introduce you. This gentleman here is Elder Xiao Chen, who just joined our sect today. He's an esteemed soul cultivator expert who can ascend at any time. Ascend at any time? What the heck is Luo Chinchua up to? We let her establish a sect, and in less than two months, her sect has grown to almost surpass the Star Peak sect. If it keeps growing like this, she might rule the entire Xintian continent like an empress. I'm staying. Even if the King of Heaven shows up, he can't kick me out of this sect. Old Bai, you're ruthless. I'm claiming the position of the sect's top chef. Chu Hongshan, how the hell did you end up here? The sect lacking a smith to forge pots and pans. Old Chu, what about your path of refining? Weren't you planning to refine top-tier equipment and become the number one refiner on the Xintian continent? I don't care for that. Since I met Yi Fong, I've realized. Everything is void. Just earnestly forging everyday items is also along the path of refining. My old ignorant self was too obsessed with spirit tools and furnaces. He, he Quit acting. Spill it. What benefits did Yi Fong give you? M. 10,000 pieces of refinement fragments. Now, I can refine things infused with low grade spirit entities. Low grade spirit entities? You got some sweet benefits, didn't you? Old Chu, if I join the sect, remember to take care of me. Take care of you? You're aiming to be an elder too? No. I just want to be a chef in this sect. Then I will get free meals every day in the future, right? Why is this sect becoming more and more high profile? Let's hope the upper realm doesn't notice me. Early the next day, sect main hall. Grand ancestor, did you and your friend arrive yesterday? Why didn't you inform me earlier? I could have prepared to welcome you. Chinchua, what do you have to say about me stepping down as Grand Ancestor and becoming a regular elder in the Star Spirit Sect? No. Grand Ancestor, you are the pillar of the Star Peak Sect. If you come here, would the other ancestors agree? Well, that. Grand Ancestor must have come for Yifong. If I agree, won't the other Grand Ancestors also come here? Won't Father come here too? The entire Star Peak Sect. How is that any different from making me the sect master of the Star Peak sect? Grand Ancestor, you said you came with a friend. Where is your friend? Meanwhile, on the other side. Elder Bai, what kind of dish is this? It's crazy good. 
This dish is made from the meat of a powerful demon ape and several spiritual herbs. The timing, amount of herbs, and cooking time are crucial. Not only is this dish delicious, but it also enhances strength. Sadly, the enhancement is time limited. An old frog pretending to be the sex chef. It was so nice of my master to invite you here. Today's big spender item, Seven Elements Dragon Song Knife Set. Seven Elements Dragon Song Knives, specialized cooking knives, includes the Thunder Dragon Knife, Fire Dragon Knife, Ice Dragon Knife, Dark Dragon Knife, Light Dragon Knife, Wood Dragon Knife, and Poison Dragon Knife. Each knife has a dragon-type spirit, providing maximum protection for ingredients. The sect just got a new culinary cultivator, and you're making me squander cooking utensils. Won't that drive him away? I still want to eat, you know. Senior brother, it's time to eat. Got it. I can give this set of knives to junior brother Wu Fong. Elder Bai, do you want to take an apprentice? Take an apprentice? Is he also on the culinary path? No. He's on the alchemic path. He's a third-tier alchemist. Alchemy is barely adequate. At least he understands spiritual herbs, so theoretically, it should work. By the way, why do you want me to take in an apprentice? Senior brother, we've returned from the Heavenly Sun sect. Perfect timing, junior brother. Senior brother, is there something you need from me? Junior brother, you've been in charge of my three meals for a long time. Thank you for your hard work. Let me introduce you to Elder Bai, the sex new chef. Sex chef? I'm free. Finally, as a pill refining alchemist, I can finally focus on my true passion. Ha 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 ha. Junior brother Wu Fong, I feel like you're not suited for alchemy. Since Elder Bai is here, you should be his apprentice and switch to the culinary path. What? I am an alchemist, but you want me to become a chef? As a culinary cultivator, the most important thing is to have your own set of knives. Junior brother, take these knives. This power. Soul of the Thunder Dragon. Soul of the Dark Dragon. Soul of the Ice Dragon. What did that extravagant Yifong do now? Another Dragon Soul Weapon Spirit. What do you mean by another Dragon Soul Weapon Spirit? Elder Courtyard. L Elders, something's not right. TH that's the Heavenly Dao Tribulation Cloud. I knew this sect was unreliable. It's only the second day, and the Heavenly Dao Thunder Tribulation is already on our doorstep. We're doomed, doomed. Squandering complete, rewards, big spender points x1000, cooking Dao insights fragments x100, it looks like the dragon spirits have acknowledged Wu Fong as their master. Th this, the knives actually have spirits? Senior brother, you're really kind. But what do we do about this heavenly Dao tribulation cloud? A heavenly Dao tribulation cloud is nothing. Even getting struck down by lightning today would be totally worth it to get my hands on this set of knives. Bye, who has lost his mind? Just a measly heavenly Dao tribulation cloud. We're done for our star spirit sect. It's him. Come on, give me another strike. I, I don't dare. Then get lost. I gotta get out of here. All done here. How could there be such a terrifying existence in the lower realm? Let alone the lower realm, even in the upper realm, our everlasting shrine can't afford to provoke him. Master, I didn't scare you, did I? Yi Fong, what's up with the dragon soul weapon spirit that triggered the heavenly Dao tribulation cloud? Sec Master, it's from the seven knives that big senior brother gave me to use in the kitchen. He thought I wasn't suited for alchemy, so I became Master Bai's apprentice and decided to become a culinary cultivator. You're not suitable for alchemy? If that's what you think, I respect your choice. But let me remind you, do you have the talent for culinary cultivation? Sec Master, Senior Brother said that talent doesn't matter. As long as I have enough cooking Dao insight fragments, I can be invincible. 
Before coming, I gave Junior Brother Wu Fong a hundred cooking Dao inside fragments, so now he can make fourth grade dishes. Junior Brother, make sure to cook something that can strip our clothes. Being able to instantly make someone without culinary talent cook fourth grade dishes, if we maintain a good relationship, HTS I've made my decision. From today, I must take care of Yi Fong. Even the heavens won't stop me from cooking for Yi Fong. Huh? Senior by gang? When did you join our sect? Huh? Elder by, weren't you invited by the sect master? Damn, I'm busted. This, master, I'm truly innocent this time. I thought he was invited by you. All right. Everyone, leave for now. I just got here, Yi Fong, you stay. Do I have to leave too? Let's go, move. Shortly after, Sect Hall. Yi Fong, I know you have many secrets. You've brought out many things that the Xintian continent should not have. I'll ask you two questions. Do you have any connections with that one-armed swordsman? Yeah. Do you have any hidden motives behind getting close to me? Yes. What purpose? Is that the third question? Hurry up and tell me. Because I like you. Because I want to marry you and grow old together with you. Get out. You are clearly plotting to bathe and sleep with the master that's not love, that's lust. You pervert, sweet talk should sound nice to everyone. Master, why not let Elder Bai cook some dishes for us while we chat? Elder Bai's cooking skills are superb, fine. Master, don't you want to know who I am? Sometimes curiosity can kill people. Can you really resist your curiosity? Master, do you know about the Everlasting Shrine Land? The Everlasting Shrine Land. How does he know about the Everlasting Shrine Land? Does he know that I am the reincarnation of the Saintess of the Everlasting Shrine Land? How much does he really know? Forget it, Master. As long as you believe that I won't harm you, I have two Heavenly Dao tokens. How about we go to the Heavenly Dao City and relax a bit? Fine. Yi Feng says he likes me and has no hostility towards me. I absolutely can't freak out. I can't act rashly. Yi Feng, do you think these Heavenly Dao tokens work here? Don't we have to go to the Heavenly Dao battlefield first? I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. It worked, Master. Where did Master go? Hey buddy, want a ride? It's five Heavenly Dao points for a ride. Why is it you again? Such bad luck, going out twice and, big bro, this time I know what Heavenly Dao points are. Here's my card. Holy cow, that's a lot. Just drive randomly, big bro deduct however much you like. I need to find someone. Find someone? Young Master, the Heavenly Dao tokens can only be used in the Heavenly Dao City for half a day. Even if I step on the gas until it smokes, I can't go far. The Heavenly Dao City is that massive? Guess I'll have to rely on the system's Heavenly Secrets Insight function. Meanwhile, on the other side. Isn't this the Golden Soul Sacred Spirit Tree that Yi Feng used to build Elder Xiao Chen's courtyard? Golden Soul Sacred Spirit Tree Branch Price, 50,000. A 9,000-year-old Golden Soul Sacred Spirit Tree, a single branch of the tree costs 50,000 Heavenly Dao points, which is 50,000 top-grade spirit crystals. A piece of Golden Silkworm Star Gem is actually priced at 100,000 Heavenly Dao points. Sword Heart Advancement Fragments, one piece is worth 5 million Heavenly Dao points. Heaven Grade Cauldron, priced at 20 million Heavenly Dao points. No wonder there are so few Heaven Grade Cauldrons in the Xintian continent. Four hours later being broke is truly torturous. Master, no wonder so many strong cultivators stay here to work. I really want to buy something too. Master, Yi Feng, last time you said you topped up some money at Heavenly Dao City. How many Heavenly Dao points do you have? Not much, just 100 million, give or take. 100 million? 
Master, we don't have much time. Let's hurry up and clear the stock. Especially the golden silkworm star gems, my toilet can now achieve perfection. Heavenly Dow City CBD. Central Business District. Pack it up. I want all the spiritual herbs in your store. Al all of it? Miss, are you sure? This, rich, aura seems somewhat familiar. If you want to take all of it, I have to get approval from the manager with the Heavenly Dow card. Li Fei? Big Brother Yi. You guys know each other? Li Fei, you actually still have Heavenly Dow tokens? Big Brother Yi, don't speak anymore. Talking more will only make me cry. When I returned to the sect, the Grand Ancestor discovered the Death Sword intent on me. Fast forward X1. He chose a heavy giant sword for me and asked me to bind it with my blood. Fast forward X2. Little did I know, there was a heavenly Tao token hidden in the giant sword. To not end up going back and getting stuck practicing swordsmanship, I decided to work here. Skip. So that's how it is, brother ye, what's this? Sword Heart Advancement Fragments. I know you don't like cultivating the sword, so I'm helping you break through to the sword heart realm. No. Don't worry, in the future, if I get something good for sword realm breakthroughs, I'll definitely save you a share. Too, too cruel. Humph, you're still being stubborn. Big Brother Yi, it's fine. I've decided to stay here and not go back. Hello, I am the manager of this store, may I ask, you're the manager. How many Heavenly Dao points do you need to fire my buddy here? Young Master, although I have the authority to fire him, Li Fei works diligently. Firing him without cause, ten times compensation for you. I've noticed Li Fei's potential. He shouldn't be stuck here. Big Brother Yi, I won't stay more. Can I voluntarily resign and go back to cultivation? Damn it. My money. A moment later. Brother Yi, who's this with you? She is the sect master of Star Spirit Sect. She's also my master. Whoa, Spirit Oars. You guys chat, I'm going shopping. Reminder to the host, items bought in Heavenly Dao City must be consumed extravagantly. Even if gifted, the recipient must use it extravagantly, or there will be punishment. System, what if I sell the items purchased in the Heavenly Dao City? Can I get big spender points? You won't get big spender points, but the host can still enjoy the pleasure of consumption. Li Fei, do you know any fun places in Heavenly Dao City? A foot massage parlor where big shots come to massage their feet. A grand hotel where all the hosts are strong cultivators. And there's the little red house which has a group of beautiful women who can, he he he. Yi Fong, everything here is so expensive. 100 million heavenly Dao points, but I'm almost broke after buying 999 golden silkworm star gems. Master, you're done spending? Leave the rest to your disciple. Yi Feng's definitely scheming on how to be extravagant again. Li Fei, these golden silkworm star gems are for you. Use them well. How should I use them, big brother Yi? Build a small toilet. Eh? What? This prodigal disciple. Are you planning to cover the lower realm in toilets? Big Brother Yi, maybe you should take these back. If I use them to build a toilet, the sect will kill me. No, you must build the toilet like a palace. C.O.R. I'll kill you right now. I'll go top up some money, later, I'll take you to enjoy yourselves. Lady Sect Master, aren't you going to discipline this disciple? Discipline? He bought the personal disciple status from me. How can I discipline him? Right. No wonder your master and disciple. One buys. One sells. He's throwing money around like confetti, and you're all about money. Can you two be a bit more normal for God's sake? Half an hour later. Ouch. 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 It's so itchy. It's so strong. I can't keep going. Master, does it feel comfortable? Too, too itchy. Ouch, ah. Uh. Man, getting a massage from a transcendent expert with such skill is something else. 
Even my master and grand ancestor don't get such treatment. Guess this is the joy of having money, huh? I've been diligently cultivating for over 20 years, so I've never felt as relaxed as I do now. Li Fei, where did my e-phone go? Eh? It seems brother you went to try his luck at the claw machine. I spent a hundred million heavenly Dow points. How come I still haven't caught anything? Almost there. Just a bit more. It's about to happen. Brother Yi, time's running out. Ah. My money. Li Fei, you motherfucker. Where did he go? He was teleported away ahead of time. Just when I was about to scold him, that little rascal ran away. He got lucky this time. Is this the claw machine? If you are interested, master, why not give it a shot? Forget it, time is probably running out. Maybe next time. Master, how about we hold hands during teleportation to avoid getting separated again? Yi Fong, where will we be teleported to? No idea. I finally got to hold master's hand. Little bro grabbed two more drinks. Inside the spring gazing tower. I want to give you some love can. Don't go, big bro let's have some fun. Where is this place? Why isn't master here with me? Young master, wanna play? I will give you a discount. Little bro, come play with your big sister here. I can't. I can't. Come on, big bro you have no money and still dare talk about love? Go back and fool around with your broken pipe. What an arrogant woman. You, young friend, we meet again. Buddy, looks like we're on the same page. How about you lend me some spirit stones? Who said we're on the same page? I ended up here by accident. How did I end up in Purple Phoenix City again? Sigh. Little bro. Come here often. Ling Shui, hear me out, okay? Heh, all men are the same. So, you swooshed from the Heavenly Dao battlefield with a whoosh, and your clothes got ripped off. Whoa. So that's what happened. The Heavenly Dao battlefield's no joke. Yeah, yeah. Wow, take me along next time. Senior, what brings you here? Young friend, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. All right then. This kid is really strange. Last time, I tried to peek at the secrets of the heavens and got a backlash and he somehow knew that I was looking for the Sanctus. This time, I must have let him know that I'm going to borrow the Heaven Grade Cauldron from the Star Spirit Sect. Young friend, isn't this too much? Why are you following me? Who's following you? Do you own the road or something? I was just about to ask why you're always walking in front of me. You. Yi Ling Xue, let's go. Elder Zhou, maybe we shouldn't use the flying artifact. I feel a bit air sick. Air sick? We've been flying for three days and I haven't seen you get air sick, but now you're suddenly air sick? Elder Zhou, I don't know where you're headed, but are you passing by the Star Spirit Sect? I see your flying artifact is quite large. If you happen to pass by the sect, mind taking me along? Star Spirit Sect Young friend, are you a disciple of the Star Spirit Sect? That's right, I am the personal disciple of the Star Spirit Sect Sect Master. Elder Zhou, I wasn't expecting him to be from the Star Spirit Sect. It might be easy to complete the mission with him. Hooray! I can go and see my master's sect. Weren't you feeling a bit airsick just now, Saintus? As long as I get to borrow the Heaven Grade Cauldron, I can overcome airsickness. You didn't say that before. So, you guys wanted to borrow the Heaven Grade Cauldron, huh? There are plenty of those at the sect. It won't be a problem to give one to Yi Ling Xue. Well, I'll just hitch a ride for now and see how it goes. Elder Zhou, rest assured, we're practically old acquaintances. I'll take care of the cauldron matter. Yi Fong, my young friend, I really owe you a huge favor. If you need anything in the future, just ask. I won't say no. Several hours later. I'm finally back. Is this really the sect where Master is hiding his true identity? 
These auras. Transcending tribulation realm, transcending tribulation realm, transcending tribulation realm. How come so many transcending tribulation experts are hiding in such a small sect? Whoa. Grand Ancestor. Yi Fong, you're finally back. Yi Fong, I was chased and beaten by Chu Hongshan and by gang wielding heaven grade cauldrons. It's really frustrating. I heard you have another cauldron, lend it to me. I want to bash those two bastards. There are only four heaven grade cauldrons in the entire Xientian continent, and three of them are in this tiny sect? Seriously, they're using heaven grade cauldrons for bashing people? Aren't you guys going too far? Wait a moment. Grand Ancestor, where did Senior by Gang get the heaven grade cauldron from? By Gang dismantled your toilet. He said he'd put it back once he beats me up. Using a heaven grade cauldron as a toilet. Indeed, Master is totally one of a kind. Grand Ancestor, haven't you borrowed a big cauldron yet? We're preparing for a big brawl. We're just waiting on you now. Two more heaven grade cauldrons. How come there are five heaven grade cauldrons? Could it be that all my previous calculations were wrong? Master, you're back. Yet my toilet, Master, is it inconvenient for you not to have a cauldron? Grand Ancestor, why don't you use Lang Wufeng's cauldron for now? He's just using it as a water tank, anyway. There's, there's more? Does your sect mass produce heaven grade cauldrons or something? Yi Fong, WH, what's going on here? What's going on? The elders having nothing to do, so they're just having fun. Grand Ancestor, go deal with them. Win, and I'll give you this heaven grade cauldron. Really? Absolutely. Just watch me crush them, Yi Fong. Go to hell, Chu Hongshan. Everyone in this sect is a spendthrift. Doesn't the Master of Star Spirit sect oversee any of this? Elder Zhou, are you okay? Scene of the Star Spirit sect's grand brawl. Ugh. Come on, Elder Xiao, you're too weak. You crumbled like a cookie so easily. How come Elder Xiao has a cauldron too? Could it be Lang Wufang's? However, at this moment, without even a moment of mourning for Xiao Chen's defeat, she rushed immediately to the battlefield. Star Spirit Sex Master, Luo Chenchue. And another cauldron. Yi Fong, is this girl from your sect too? Elder Zhou, that's our Star Spirit Sex Master. Incredible. She is truly a marvel. This girl's got some real skills. Despite being a Soul Formation Realm Ninth Layer Peak Cultivator, she managed to rope in a bunch of strong individuals for the sect. I wonder what methods she used to convince them. Elder Zhou, why don't you join in too? Are there more of those Heaven Grade Cauldrons in your sect? The dog is one which you can temporarily borrow. Even a dog? I suddenly feel like my favors aren't worth much. The Secret Realm Sect competition has ended prematurely. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission. Rewards, 100,000 big spender points and 10 barrels of soul cleansing water. Huh? I haven't even used the previous 100 drops of soul cleansing water and now you're giving me barrels? Now I have 940,000 big spender points, enough for me to break through to the soul formation realm. Yi Fong, I'm keen to give it a try. Sure thing, Elder Zhou. I'll break through and give you a heaven grade cauldron. Don't worry, my breakthrough will be fast. Breakthrough? It's best to find a quiet place with no one around for your breakthrough. The spiritual energy fluctuations here are too chaotic. Accidents can happen. This prodigal is breaking through again? What breakthrough? Soul formation realm, first layer. Soul formation realm, second layer. Soul formation realm, third layer. Soul formation realm, fourth layer. Fifth layer. Soul formation realm, ninth layer. Elder Zhou, let's grab that cauldron. Ah, uh, okay. Master's truly something. No wonder Master's thought my cultivation was low from the start. 
Surpassing us disciples is a cakewalk for him. Task announcement. Within one month, find enough heavenly Tao tokens to lead all members of the sect to the heavenly city for foot massages. Successful completion of the mission will be rewarded with a large number of big spender points. There is no punishment for mission failure, huh? System, don't you have any heavenly Tao tokens? Sure, I do. However, the host needs to trigger prodigal behavior quests to get a chance to obtain them. I thought even you couldn't get heavenly Tao tokens. How could that be? Don't underestimate me. Recently, I've been busy dealing with the big spender items, so I haven't triggered any prodigal behavior quests myself. Hmm. Ten minutes later. Yiling Xue, is anyone bullying you at the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion? No, the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion has been good to me, especially Elder Zhou, who takes care of my daily affairs. System, Elder Zhou has cared so much for my second disciple. Would it be too much to give him a heaven grade cauldron? Based on the information the system has gathered, the system suggests the host to give too, hmm? System, why are you even more spendthrift than me this time? Ling Xue, since Elder Zhou has been kind to you, I won't be stingy. I'll give him two heaven grade cauldrons later. Feel free to use them. Master, if you really want to give them to the Heavenly Secrets Pavilion, one is enough. Ha ha ha. He he. Look at how happy Elder Zhou is now. I feel like he's been missing a handy spiritual tool. Eh? A handy spiritual tool? After the Grand Brawl. Awesome. I've never felt so passionate. I finally won. Elder Zhou, you don't need to borrow the Heaven Grade Cauldron anymore. Here, two Heaven Grade Cauldrons for you. Don't ask why. Just take it as my goodwill. What? Yi Fong, one heaven grade cauldron for our heavenly secrets pavilion is sufficient. Elder Zhou, Yi Fong said one of the cauldrons is for you to use as a handy spiritual tool. There's no need to hand it over to the heavenly secrets pavilion. He's really showering me with generosity. Yi Fong, if you ever need my help, just ask. Elder Zhou has fallen so easily. Master sure knows how to make things work. Congratulations to the host for triggering a prodigal behavior task. Reward, 100,000 big spender points. Why does it feel like the reward conditions for big spender points have been loosened? Every time I break through, the points given for prodigal behaviors increase. A few minutes later, Yi Fong, my young friend, I originally planned to bother your sect for a few days, but now that we have the heaven grade cauldrons, we'll head back to let them know about the mission's success. Be careful on your way, Elder Zhou. Elders, aren't you being too reserved? I haven't seen you use your full strength. They are guests, after all. We can't beat them to near-death states. You didn't hold back when you were hitting me. How about we have another fight later? Good idea. Agreed. Sure thing. I'll go prepare a few dishes. System. Considering they've hurt themselves so much to protect the sect and refine their combat experience, the elders who beat each other up like pigs. Wouldn't it be fair to give them tens of thousands of high-quality healing pills each? Host, are you sure they weren't just playing around, they were clearly refining their combat experience? Meeting the criteria for prodigal behavior. Host has received 30,000 ninth grade 9 patterned blazing blood vitality pills. Reminder to the host, these 30,000 pills are locked for those with swollen noses and bruised faces. Must be spent within one day. 30,000 pills, you dare to give them all this. Everyone, look at this. It seems to be a 9 pattern blazing blood vitality pill. This is a great pill for physique cultivators. This used to be one of my hidden treasures, but now, for me, it's just a snack. Oh dear. Besides Yi Fong, I'm the richest here. I just love seeing you all in such a pitiful state. Elder Bai, why are you tugging at my clothes? Don't ruin my cool image. So, Elder Xia, you enjoy our pitiful state, huh? Looks like Elder Xia doesn't need my help. H he he, shit, I forgot that the God of Wealth and the Sect Master are both here. 
system, Xia Tian Yu has already recovered by taking pills. How should this be counted? Target must be battered and bruised. Host, please proceed with prodigal actions based on this. Wait, Yi Fong, I don't really need, no. Elder Xia, you totally need this. Elder Xia, Master said you need some medicinal pills. That's what you get for showing off. Now you're in for a real treat. What are you guys up to? Wait. Damn it, not the face, not the face. A few minutes later. Why, why, why is this happening? I was already fine. Because you have to get better with my medicinal pills. Ha ha ha, Elder Xia, you totally deserve it. Elder Bai, you're in this too. We have to eat these pills too? Yi Fong, these pills don't taste bad. Why don't you keep them for the dog? Yeah, aren't you always spoiling that dog? Doggy, it's all on you now. Master, I feel like you guys haven't fully healed. How could I give these pills to the dog? There are a total of 30,000 pills here. For the sake of your health, please finish them all before dawn. 30,000 pills? Finish them all? Guys, I'm doing this for your own good. That day, humanity remembered the fear of being dominated by pills. Having traumatic flashbacks, aren't we? Why did he pull out 30,000 pills at once? The sex first iron rule, no more brawls from now on. Whoever dares to start one will be expelled from the sect. By the way, what has junior brother Wufung been doing all day? I'll go check. In the kitchen. Junior brother, you just switched to being a chef. How's it going for you? Senior brother. I'm finding cooking way more fun than alchemy. Back in the day, I needed a push to practice, but now I can cook whatever I want. Is it because you're naturally talented at this? Yeah. Master only showed me a bit, but I got the hang of it right away. It has nothing to do with the cooking Dao Insights fragments. It's pure talent. Senior brother, I used to think you were just about wasting resources, but now I realize that you've been hiding your depth. Master even said you have a sharp eye for recognizing my talent to be a chef. I'm just being a big spender. You're flattering me too much. Junior brother Wufeng, I finished washing the vegetables. Huh? How did you two end up together? Actually, she's just one thing, gluttonous. Gluttonous? Ha ha ha. Who knew she loved food so much? Keep up the good work, junior brother. Why did Yi Feng show up in the kitchen? Yi Feng's protector is terrifying. He is a guy even the tribulation clouds can't mess with. If he gets moody and calls that one-armed man again, we're toast. Chu Xiao Xiao, I almost forgot about you. Looks like you're the only one with nothing much to do in our sect. I, I am the only inner steward in charge here. I am overseeing the training of the five prodigies. So, my senior brothers and sisters sweat it out while training every day while you do nothing, huh? Let's give you an extra task. You'll be in charge of making tea. Let's start with a bucket of soul-cleansing waters for her to practice, anyone in the sect, whether it be the elders or the disciples, anyone who fancies a cup of tea will come to you for it. Female cook plus tea brewer. Huh? Brother Yi, your giant bucket wrecked my roof. You expect me to brew tea with this? What kind of water is this? I didn't expect the bucket to be this big. This water is for everyone except Elder Xiao. Got it. I'm afraid he'll fly away. What kind of weird reason is that? Besides making tea, what am I supposed to do with all this water? Whatever. Do whatever you want with it. Meanwhile, elsewhere. We're almost at the Star Spirit sect. Keep it down when we get there. I'll check things out first. Understood. I am still wondering who this Yi Fong is, and if offering 50% of the profit from blood ginseng pills would be enough. Huh? This aura is different from what you described. Why are there so many powerhouses here? I don't know what's going on either. 
Did more powerhouses join the Star Spirit sect? Sect Master Luo. It's Huang Xiaofei and his group. Elder Xiao, conceal your aura. They are guests of our Star Spirit sect. You know them? Sect Master Luo, this is Huang Dehai, the guild master of our Chenhai Trading Guild. This time. Sect Master Luo, we just happened to pass by. I'll bring the generous gift next time. We'll be leaving now. Sec Master, what's their deal? I have no idea. Guild Master, what's going on? Weren't we here to negotiate for the blood ginseng pills? Negotiate? Negotiate my ass. Did you not notice what they were eating just now? Nine pattern ninth grade blazing blood vitality pills. One of those pills surpasses dozens of blood ginseng pills. And they're popping thousands of them like they're just jelly beans. When dealing with a sect with such resources, even 10 years of profits won't interest them. We need to think carefully about what counts as a real gesture of sincerity. It's terrifying. Possessing so many nine pattern pills, not a single person in the entire Xintian continent can match that. Who is this Yifong and how does he possess such wealth and power? Man, all those pills left me parched. T. T, T, I really want some tea, huh? Such a strong aroma of tea. Xiao Xiao, pour me a bowl of that fragrant tea. My mouth feels like a desert. Elder Xiao, I'm really sorry, but you can't drink this tea. Why? Is it not ready yet? Yi Foam said everyone in the sect can drink it, except for you. He's afraid you'll fly away. Afraid I'll fly away? Soul cleansing water. It's really soul-cleansing water. No wonder Yi Feng said I can't drink it. Xiao Xiao, it's not your fault. This kind of water is extremely rare, you mustn't. Rare? Elder Xiao, you call this water rare? Elder Xiao, are you okay? It's nothing, just continue brewing the tea. I need some time alone, is Elder Xiao really okay? As the sun set in the west, Xiao Chen began to ponder the meaning of life. Regret is hitting me hard. Why did I even join this sect? Having my beliefs shaken daily is tough. Xiao Chen, so you were hiding here. This voice, Ding Yi? Xiao Chen, I'm surprised you escaped from the soul-devouring formation. I didn't see that coming. What surprises me even more is seeing the guy who used to be praised by women as the number one handsome man among soul cultivators now looking all scruffy like an old beggar. What a twist of fate. Xiao Chen, you better run. I'm giving you a chance. A chance? I'm giving you some time to run away. After I slaughter the sect that harbored you, I'll come looking for you. If I don't find you, consider yourself lucky. Ding Yi, that's way over the line. Hey, hey, hey. You dare come at me with your most powerful soul martial arts? Do you really think I'm still the same as I was 200 years ago? Let's see how long you can keep your soul power going. Xiao Chen has left the sect. To protect the sect, he is fighting with Ding Yi, but he is no match for him. What? Ding Yi's been kicking it in Xintian continent for 200 years without ascending? Star Spirit Sect Xiao Shui, come with me. Let's leave the sect and go save Elder Xiao. A person close to ascending like Elder Xiao is in danger? Don't worry, I won't kill you that easily. You were sealed by Master for 200 years, right? Bet you've got some neat tricks up your sleeve. Show me what you've got. Make it fun. Competing with soul spirit orbs? You think those little soul orbs are impressive? You talk big, but can you create? Impossible. This is absolutely impossible. With your soul power, it's impossible to refine soul orbs to such a terrifying extent. I don't believe it. Nothing is impossible. 200 years back, I could take you down on my own. Even after 200 years, I can still beat you with some external power. Today I'm going to prove one thing to you. You're using soul spirit orbs because you need them, 
but for me, it's all about squandering. Ridiculous. What a joke. Is this what a soul cultivator showdown looks like? What a mind-blowingly epic, a bit longer, and I'll fall asleep. Master, can't you feel their soul power? Yi Feng's perspective. Xiao Shui's perspective. Enough. Besides these soul orbs, don't you have any other techniques? I've been playing along, but it's time to wrap this up. Die. Not good. Humph, you can't even withstand a single blow. Elder Xiao, are you alright? Yi Feng. Cool Shui. When did you get the nickname Cool Shui? Um, I like to act cool, so they gave me this nickname. You're so into acting cool, were you a guy in your past life? Maybe in an alternate universe, she's actually a guy. Just kidding. Xiao Chen, don't think you're safe just because some reinforcements have arrived. Do you know why you're not dead yet? It's because my master intentionally spared your life. He wants to know how you broke the soul-devouring formation, so I'll give you one minute to think about it. Tell me, and I'll turn them into undeads and zombies. If you don't, I've got plenty of ways to make you talk. Oh, that broken formation? I destroyed its core and saved him. Got a problem with that? You? A mere soul formation trash? You destroyed it? Then I'd really like to know how you did it. Your trash golden wheel is hurting my eyes, you know. Do you want me to destroy it like I did the formation core? Destroy my golden wheel? Go on, show me how you'll do it. Divine Eye of Destruction. W.H. What's happening? Sigh, the youth don't know how fragile the golden wheel is. Old geezers without cultivation would weep in vain. Not good, this guy's way too strange. I need to inform my master to take me back and reforge my golden wheel. Yi Fong, stop him quickly, he's trying to flee again. Elder Xiao, aren't you just scared of going up to the upper realm because of that as whole emperor or something? Here's your chance, find some peace. Stay as an elder in the sect, and later I'll take you to the upper realm to squander as you want. Yi Fong, you. System, let that one-armed lunatic out later. I want to see just how tough this as whole emperor's projection really is. I've got a better idea. We can drag the opponent's true body through the projection, so you can deal with him however you like. We can do that. Is it a formal guardian? Master. Ding Yi, where's your golden wheel? Master. Your disciple is incompetent. I have disappointed you. I got beaten up 200 years ago, and now my golden wheel was destroyed. Who dares to destroy my disciple's golden wheel? System, how strong is this as whole emperor in the upper realm compared to the everlasting shrine land? The golden wheel emperor can single-handedly take down the entire everlasting shrine land, damn. I knew the divine guardians were tough, but this is a whole new level. The upper realm isn't the final stop. Only the top-level fighters in the most elite realms pose some challenge to the formal big spender Divine Guardians. Every time you spend extravagantly, there's a chance to receive hidden rewards. These rewards are distributed by the system to the reserve guards, so my extravagant expenditure is also helping to train the Guardians? Master, this guy's the one who destroyed my golden wheel, but I've got no clue how he did it. And he's also the one who saved Xiao Chen. Whether it's true or not, a mere ant like you must be squashed. An ant? Who is the real ant? Yi Yi, at your service, my lord. Why is it you again? Apart from the one-armed lunatic, I haven't seen anyone else from the formal guard squad. The big bro who only appeared once in chapter 131. What about me? I'm a member of the formal guards, you know. What are you doing just standing there? Do you have something to report? Don't you guardians have anyone new? Just you two, back and forth. The same old thing. Can't you be a bit more creative? Don't you have any newbies to switch with? How about even trying a bit of a feminine touch? 
or maybe something furry. You son of a bitch. What kind of existence have you provoked? Master, I, I don't know. I was just following your orders, bullshit. When did I tell you to bother Xiao Chen? Yes, yes, you're right, my lord, good, he's not coming after us. Master, where are you going? Don't call me your master. From this moment on, our master-disciple relationship ends. You're on your own. Master? Hurry up and bring me the Golden Wheel Emperor's true body over here. Are you blind? He's running away at your command. Don't come after me. Don't come after me. Please don't come after me. My lord wishes to see you. Upper Realm. Golden Wheel Palace. Golden Wheel Emperor, True Body. Lower Realm. Xientian Continent. Come out. My lord, what should we do with Ding Yi? Kill him. My lord, should this one be executed as well? Be big shot. I'm willing to compensate. I'll make it up to you. Elder Xiao. He sealed you for 200 years and prevented you from ascending. Do you want to kill him or enslave him for 200 years? Don't leave any lingering regrets. It's up to me? Young Master Yi, you rescued me from the soul-devouring formation and helped me overcome my inner demons. In this life, I can't repay you enough. From now on, this old man's life is all yours. Exchanging the life of an upper realm emperor for the loyalty of an ascended from the lower realm, nobody but the master could pull off something so preposterous. Lower realm weakling. Upper realm big shot. When I think about it, I'm so lucky to be alive and following the master. Young master Yi, don't let him off easy. I want to enslave him forever. And if ever I happen to die, I want him to be buried with me. Yi, get the contract sorted. Speaking of which, the contract won't become void when we go to the upper realm, will it? There will be a slight impact, but it's not significant. Unless the Golden Will Emperor's power exceeds mine, he won't be able to break the contract with Xiao Chen. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave. Go ahead. Hey Elder Xiao, how much power can he use now? Young Master Yi, even with his power sealed, he's still way stronger than me, like a hundred times more. Let's go back to the sect. We're in need of a handyman, so let's keep his identity secret from the others. Understood. Star Spirit Sex Gate. Why would Elder Xiao leave the sect without any reason? Why did Yifon leave with Xiao Shui? I've got a bad feeling about this. Master, we're back. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. How did you leave with three and come back with four? I knew something was off. Master, why are you standing here? Don't worry about that. Oh, first, tell me who he is. Him? Oh, Master, you should really praise me for this. Praise you? Why would I praise you? Look, our sect has disciples, stewards, and elders, but don't you feel we're missing a handyman? If the elders are that free, why would we need a handyman? We've already got more than enough people in the sect. We don't need to add more. And even if he is a handyman, he needs to be at least in the transcending tribulation realm. The minimum requirement for a handyman is now the transcending tribulation realm? Master, you're being too narrow-minded. As the sex one and only handyman, this golden will sir here is a powerhouse ready to ascend. He's more than qualified. Aren't you afraid of putting too much pressure on the other elders? This kid is so scared of this girl, it's the perfect chance for me to step in. This girl is going to ask about my identity, I've got to perform well. How much did he bribe you to come here? Bribe me, to come here? I was kidnapped, okay? Kidnapped from the upper realm. No, I have to make a good impression, or Xiao Chen will never let me off the hook. Sec Master, I wasn't bribed to come here. 
Actually, I wanted to join the sect as a handyman because... Enough, no need to explain. Everyone's the same in this sect. If you want to be a handyman, so be it. Man, I'm so sleepy. Elder Shao, let the Golden Will stand guard tonight. I'll arrange something for him tomorrow. I'm going back to rest. Understood, young Master Yi. Bet you never thought you'd be enslaved by me one day, did you, Golden Wheel Emperor? All that is in the past. Whatever you want, I'll do it. Don't worry, I won't make things too difficult for you. After all, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have met young Master Yi. This is also a great opportunity that you've given me. Work hard, do a good job, and who knows, maybe after enslaving you for a few hundred years, I might set you free. Thank you, Elder Shao. Thank you. A few minutes later, Star Spirit Sect Elder's Courtyard don't just stand there. Come on over. What the hell is this? Who is arrogant enough to build a house with 9,000-year-old golden soul sacred spirit trees? My disciple, you son of a bitch, what were you even stealing back then? Is this a deliberate attempt to mess with me? Heaven Fire Realm Xian Yin Sect Master, I'm back. Is the Grand Ancestor here too? You got the nerve to show your face here? Something's off with this brat. He ran away two hours ago, then he came back not only unafraid but also arrogant. Is he asking for another beating? I'll make sure he regrets that arrogance later. Grand Ancestor, no matter what this brat has done, just for his arrogance alone, I need to give him a good beating to teach him a lesson. I have broken through to the sword heart realm with my death sword intent. Grand Ancestor, hurry up and praise. How dare you try to lay a finger on him in front of me? He is the genius sword cultivator of our sect. How can you hit him recklessly? I, I. Li Fei, where did you get so many gold and silkworm star stones? Master, Grand Ancestor, how about building a toilet with these golden silkworm star stones? What? Master, Grand Ancestor, I've broken through to the sword heart realm, you know. Even if you break through to the sword as realm, nothing will save you this time. Just don't hit me in the face, please. I'd like to see tomorrow. Next morning. Another 500 Tranquil Spirit Incenses? Why is it always this trash stuff? Grand Ancestor? Elder Bai? Ho ho, I'm coming. System, does giving these 500 Tranquil Spirit Incenses to Grand Ancestor, who's living like a beggar, count as a prodigal behavior? Yes, it counts. Ding. The system determines that, at this moment, Luo Tianqing truly has the mentality of a beggar. Giving the tranquil spirit incenses to a beggar is prodigal behavior. I hit the jackpot. I'm rich, baby. I messed up. I'm two steps too late. Being a beggar? Is it that terrible? Yes, very terrible. Damn it, I have to take advantage of the fact that other people in the sect haven't noticed yet and go beg Elder Shao for a wave of equipment first. Who are you? I'm Jean Lewin. I joined the sect yesterday and I'm serving as a handyman here. Handyman? Makes sense. A sect without even one handyman would be quite embarrassing. So, what's your power level? My current strength is at a level where I can ascend at any moment. An ascended big shot, that's it. Some ascension big shots become elders, while others can only become handymen. Yi Feng seems not to care about strength, so I guess I'm safe. First things first, I need to get some beggar clothes from Elder Xiao. This is so frustrating. Am I being looked down upon here? This sect is too bizarre. No one here is normal. Even though I'm of such high status, I can't even brag about it. Golden Will doing menial tasks. Sec Main Hall. This is the Everlasting Mystical Spirit Formation and the Everlasting Mysterious Purification Art. 
The everlasting mysterious purification art is a cultivation method in the everlasting shrine land, only accessible to the top saintess and successors. Could she be the reincarnation of the saintess? That's huge news. Master, I want to take Junior Brother Wolfing out for training. I need to sneak away quietly. Wherever this kid goes, trouble's sure to follow. Senior Brother, my grandpa called me to Heavenly Pill City. Why are you more excited than me? Well, since I convinced you to switch to the culinary path, I owe your grandpa an explanation. You're going on a training journey again? Well, I only have one condition. The same number of people who leave must return. Don't bring anyone else back. Got it. I'll just bring Xiao Shui with me. What a headache. Senior brother, you've been so good to me. You're taking me to Heavenly Pill City. You even borrowed Elder Zhao's flying artifact. It's nothing much, only what I should do. Mission, go to Heavenly Pill City and participate in the Grand Pill Alchemist competition. Participation alone is considered success. Rewards, 1 million big spender points, no penalty for failure. The main reason is that the mission reward is too high just for participating. Otherwise, I'd rather sleep. A few hours later, Master, we're almost there. This ninth grade spiritual artifact is super quick. Heavenly Pill City, here we come. Is that the Heavenly Pill Pavilion at the center of Heavenly Pill City? I guess so. I've never been to Heavenly Pill City before. Junior brother, go find your grandfather first. I have something to do. I'll find you later. Xiao Shui, come with me to the Heavenly Pill Pavilion. Inside the Heavenly Pill Pavilion. What? To register for the Pill Alchemist competition, I need to pass a preliminary assessment. Don't worry, young friend. I'll conduct your preliminary assessment. Assessors Chang Hai. I can't even do alchemy. How am I supposed to pass? Don't be nervous, just relax and do your thing. Performing at your normal level is enough. All right. Please start your performance. Side mission released. If the host uses the system provided spiritual herbs for the preliminary assessment, a reward of 500,000 big spender points will be given. Such an easy reward? Since you encouraged me to do this, I'd be letting everyone down if I didn't whip up a few pills. Assessor, please wait a moment. I want to use my own cauldron. Xiao Shui, go get my cauldron. Master, here's the cauldron you asked for. He has a cauldron that survived two heaven grade tribulations. This kid must be a disciple of some powerful alchemist. Just hang in there for a bit longer. You have to endure it. A heaven grade cauldron? She's talking to the cauldron? What the hell did this demon do? How come there are so many scratches on the cauldron? Master, do we really have to use it? If you use it to refine pills, it won't feel clean anymore. Xiao Shui, I know you like swinging this cauldron around, but it's all I've got right now. I have to use it. Master, don't you still have the Nine Celestial Inferno Dragon Cauldron? That one's for BBQS, not alchemy and pill refining. You should head out now. Don't disturb my assessment. Ah, my little cauldron. What kind of odd master-servant duo is this? Is this how you treat a heaven-grade cauldron? Anyway, let's watch him do alchemy. The assessment begins. First, take one third of the naked flame grass. Let's dump it all in. Why'd you toss in all that? It's okay. This is just the first step, the second step. Wow, these flames are green. Stop. Don't add more. Congratulations to the host for completing the side mission. Reward, 500,000 big spender points. Reminder, this mission can be repeated indefinitely until Chang Hai announces the assessment result. Can I really farm points like this? Lord Chang, I was a bit nervous just now. I failed this time, so let me try again. This time, make sure to get it right and, whatever you do, don't blow up the cauldron again. Both your cauldron and the spiritual herbs are rare treasures. Thank you, Lord Chang. Egg. 
Lord Chang. Please give me a little more of your time. Stop it. If you keep this up, the cauldron will be gone. You've passed the preliminary assessment. But Lord Chang, I'm sure I can do it. Let me try one more time. No need. I have already recognized your superb alchemy skills. Let's talk about the alchemy competition tomorrow. I only earned a million big spender points. That's not much. My poor little cauldron, you've been through a lot. What? In a guest room at a tavern. Grandfather, this is my heaven-grade cauldron. A real heaven-grade cauldron. But Wufeng, why is there water in it? Maybe I didn't empty it properly. I was using it as a water tank. Oh. What? Wufeng's grandfather is Lang Jiolong. Wufeng, you've really changed. How long were you at that sect to have become so full of yourself? Using a heaven-grade cauldron as a water tank? Who gave you the guts to do that? Grandpa, I've switched paths. I'm now pursuing the culinary path. This heaven-grade cauldron is actually a gift my senior brother gave me and I picked out for you. For me? Oh, Wufeng, you might be a bit too arrogant these days, but I see you still respect your old man. That really makes me happy. I was once fortunate enough to see a heaven grade cauldron, but it disappeared along with that old geezer Shao Chen. It's been over 200 years. I cried so much back then. Shao Chen? Grandpa, are you talking about the soul cultivator? Hmm? How do you know about him? Elder Shao Chen is now an elder at the Star Spirit Sect, where I am. What kind of magic does the small sect opened by Luo Woming's daughter possess to lure Shao Chen there? Grandpa, you're not thinking of joining the sect too, are you? Right now, even a second ascended only got the position of a handyman. Humph, even the strong have their dignity. Elder Lang, something big happened. Someone has appeared at the Heavenly Pill Pavilion. Wu Fong, is that really you? You've grown up so much. A few minutes later. Nonsense. Ridiculous. How could there be someone so extravagant? And how could Xientian Continent have over ten heaven-grade cauldrons? Elder Lang, I'm telling the truth. Grandpa, believe me, I'm not lying. Wow, what a crowd. Lord Chang, it's good to see you again. Yi Fong? You're Wu Feng's senior brother, right? Senior brother. To think Cheng Hai was actually one of us. Hey system, Cheng Hai has been so good to me, I've got to give him a heaven grade cauldron now, or I can't sleep well. Giving a heaven grade cauldron as a bribe counts as a prodigal behavior, Lord Cheng, since you guaranteed my entry into the alchemy competition as a token of my gratitude, I'm giving you this brand new heaven grade cauldron. Oh my. Young Master Yi. I really don't deserve this, it's too much. You've completely disgraced the Heavenly Pill Pavilion. Congratulations to the host for triggering a big spender quest. Reward, 100,000 big spender points. Another 100,000 points, not bad. Lord Chang, if you had let me try a few more times, I could have given you a spirit-infused cauldron. Young Master Yi, you're a funny guy. A spirit-infused item? That's not something that exists in the lower realm. A spirit-infused item? Bullshit. He's just trying to trick us. Muttering quietly. Grandpa, everything my senior brother said is true. Let me show you. A dragon spirit? Wu Fong, what on earth is going on? A few hours later, I've been so busy, I almost forgot about today's big spender item. Guest room. Today's big spender item... 10,000 Herbs Nectar X1, Small Barrel, the 10,000 Herbs Nectar has been expertly crafted using a blend of 10,000 spiritual herbs and aged for 10,000 years. Even a single sip can make anyone instantly addicted to alcohol, rendering all other wines tasteless in comparison. Damn. What a strong after effect. This wine really can't be drunk casually. It could kill someone. No. There's still a way to squander it, Xiao Shui, come over here. Is this what your everyday life is like? These Nine Leaves Resurrection Herbs are really comfortable. 
Yeah, no wonder all the big shots choose to come to our sect. Wu Fong, Master sent me to bring you and Elder Lang some foot soaking water. This is foot soaking water? Why does it smell a bit like wine? Oh man, it smells amazing. I really want to drink it. Remember, this wine is only for soaking feet. You absolutely cannot taste it, otherwise, all other wines will be rendered tasteless to you. Can't drink? It smells so good, I really want to taste. Wu Fong, you absolutely cannot drink this. Didn't you hear Yi Feng's instructions? I figured it out. This is the 10,000 herbs nectar. Once you drink it, you can't enjoy any other wine ever again. Is it really that terrifying? Yes, it is. Damn. I'd love to be an elder at the Star Spirit Sect too. Grandpa, stop it. There are more elders than disciples already. Even the handyman position is in demand. Whether you can become one depends on my senior brother's whims. I understand now. What do you understand, Grandpa? No matter which grade of the alchemy competition Yi Fong participates in tomorrow, he's taking first place, because I said so. Grandpa, that's cheating. Cheating. The next morning. Taking a wine bath yesterday felt super comfortable. I can't believe that system rewarded me with 10,000 barrels of the 10,000 herbs nectar. I'll try one when I have time. Right, let's check out today's big spender item. Today's big spender item, Divine Pill Refining Card X1, Divine Pill Refining Card, upon activation, you will have the ability to refine a Divine Pill within 24 hours, the grade and type of the Divine Pill is random. System, if I use the refining card to make a divine pill and then crush it into mush in front of everyone, does that count as a prodigal behavior? It counts as a prodigal behavior. If the host does this, the system will grant an additional 1 million big spender points. Sweet. Let's shake things up for those pill refiners. For an extra million points, let's inconvenience those pill refining alchemists a bit. Senior brother, it's time to participate in the alchemy competition. My grandfather has reserved a spot for you in all divisions of the competition. Let's do it. Fifteen minutes later. Heavenly Pill City Central Plaza. This place is packed. System, use the Divine Pill Refining Card. A ninth grade pill has been randomly selected for you. Pill type, Tribulation Breaking Pill. It has the potential to become a 10 pattern pill, a tribulation breaking pill. Tribulation breaking pill, this pill allows the user to bypass a heavenly tribulation upon ingestion. It's suitable for cultivators who have already endured one heavenly tribulation. Moreover, if a cultivator who has overcome eight heavenly tribulations consumes it, they gain the ability to ascend directly to the upper realm. A pill that can counter the heavenly tribulations? If I let everyone in the sect take a few, wouldn't ascension become a joke? System, can this 10 pattern tribulation breaking pill be obtained from a pill jar? It's possible, but the probability of specifically obtaining a 10 pattern pill is very low. The low probability doesn't matter, as long as it's possible, that's enough. This divine pill refining card is truly terrifying. The pill formula, techniques, and fire control details are imprinted in my mind. It feels like I've refined it countless times before. Ninth grade rest area. Only three people are in the ninth grade. There are less than a hundred in the sixth grade and less than 30 in the seventh grade and just over 10 in the eighth grade. Who's that kid? Not wearing an alchemy robe is one thing, but why is he here in the ninth grade area? Showing up to such a significant event without even putting on an alchemy robe, such arrogance. No, that's not right. How so? This person is probably an old monster who has maintained a youthful appearance despite having lived for who knows how long. Didn't you see Elder Lang constantly looking over here? Elder Lang too. I see, this old monster really does look young. Why does it feel like my image has been smeared? Who am I? Arrogance? Underestimating myself? Where am I? Old monster? Favoritism? What am I supposed to do? 
The competition starts now. The assessment time is three sticks of incense. Ninth grade alchemists, enter. It has finally started. The sooner it ends, the sooner I can go back to sleep. Life-bound heart fire. And it's an extremely terrifying life-bound heart fire. The big moment is coming. It's showtime. Herb A, one part. Herb B, two parts. What's he doing? I thought the atmosphere would ignite. Whether it ignites or not, his herbs certainly are burning up, and none of the herbs have been repeated. Never mind the fact that he has such a terrifying life-bound heart fire out of the herbs he's using, I've never even seen some before. What pill is he actually refining? Can this even be called pill refining? Looks more like he's using the herbs as firewood to me. I thought I could learn something from him, but turns out I was mistaken. I is that a tribulation pill? A tribulation pill. This is a tribulation pill. Once a divine pill is formed, a tribulation descends. Countless pill alchemists throughout hundreds of thousands of years have tried and failed to make a divine pill. Today, I am fortunate to witness the emergence of a divine pill. This is an honor. Open. A tin pattern pill? What's happening? Where's the heavenly lightning? My heart's racing. Did the divine pill form or not? The divine pill has emerged, yet the tribulation clouds hesitate to unleash their lightning. Why? Strange. Why is the tribulation cloud just hanging there? Shouldn't lightning have struck by now? Master, maybe you should step away from the divine pill. Step away from the divine pill? Your subordinates are too strong. I dare not strike. I dare not. Isn't the cloud being too cautious? A real man never looks back. It's done. The divine pill has formed. I am fortunate to have witnessed the emergence of a divine pill. Even in death, there will be no regrets. Yi Fong is not just a spendthrift. He is a god in the hearts of all pill alchemists. I think, maybe, I guess, I know what senior brother is about to do. Pill God. Pill God. Pill God. Hmm, I like this sound. Pill God. Pill God. Pill God. Pill God. What's going on? Why did the Pill God throw the divine pill on the ground? I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel uneasy. Wait. He's suddenly lifting his foot. What is he about to do? Don't. Congratulations to the host for completing. You have received a total of 200-1000 big spender points as a reward. I'm so mad right now, this old monster destroyed the divine pill and has the nerve to laugh about it. Where's my 40 meter long sword? Don't stop me, I'm going after him. Destroying a divine pill is like destroying my life's belief. Kill him. Kill him. Why aren't there more people upset about this? We need more outrage. More divine pills need to be destroyed. More people? Isn't 10,000 people enough? Quiet. Silence. Ladies and gentlemen, do any of you understand the concept of destroying before rebuilding? Being too obsessed with pursuing divine pills in life will only make the divine pill a shackle to you all. The moment the divine pill shattered, I realized it. Humans can refine divine pills, and they can also destroy them. What we pursue is the supreme path of pill-refining alchemy, not just satisfaction from a single divine pill. Oh, I get it now. Master, you've opened my eyes. Young Master Yi, we will remember your favor today in our hearts. Elder Lang is really good at talking nonsense. He turned my extravagant actions into a meaningful lesson. Should I explain, young Master Yi, we'll never forget the favor you have done us today. Elder Lang, you. Elder Lang, are you ascending? Once I had the realization, I just knew that I wouldn't be able to hold on any longer. Chang Hai, tell those old geezers that I'll be ascending first. 
We'll meet in the upper realm if fate allows. Understood. Grandpa, you, you are ascending to the upper realm? Why are you crying? It's not like I'm dying. After witnessing a divine pill, my obsessions dissipated. And it's time for me to ascend to the upper realm. Your senior brother is extraordinary. Follow him closely. With him around, I'll be at ease. Ascend the heavenly ladder. Farewell, Elder Lang. What a day. Not only were we able to witness the emergence of a divine pill today, we also got to witness a powerhouse ascend the heavenly ladder. Elder Lang, keep this spatial ring safe. Don't use the contents inside recklessly. They might save your life at a crucial moment. The 10,000 Herbs Nectar. Thank you, young Master Yi. Does this mud still have medicinal effects? The mud's mine. Back off, everyone. Just one lick. I'll just lick it once. Damn it, are these people crazy? Wait a sec, there should still be quite a bit on young Master Ye's shoe sole, right? I knew I should have kept my mouth shut, ah. Uh, stay away from me. Yi Feng's room few, I finally got away from those crazy alchemists. Hua Yuming, Master, are you there? I'm here, what's up? Hua Yuming, I've achieved the impurity-free spiritual body, but the ancestors keep asking about its origin. I don't know how to explain it. What should I do? Ding. Mission released. Please visit Myriad Blossoms Valley for some prodigal spending to improve the living environment of your eldest disciple. There's a chance of being rewarded with Heavenly Dao tokens. I got a new mission just by talking to my eldest disciple. Looks like I have to take a trip to Myriad Blossoms Valley. You won't be able to explain it. I'll go to Myriad Blossoms Valley and clear it up with your ancestors. Hua Yuming, then I'll be waiting for you in Myriad Blossoms Valley. Oh, and Master, please, no sudden teleportation this time, still traumatized from being fully exposed after Yi Feng's sudden teleportation. I can't teleport this time because I have two people with me. The next morning. Wu Feng, Xiao Shui, we're not going back to the sect today. Let's go to Myriad Blossoms Valley, all right, senior brother, but first, try the breakfast I made. Speaking of today's big spender item, it's the life-bound Heartfire Azure Nether Flame. Could this be the Heartfire that came with me refining the Divine Pill yesterday? Azure Nether Flame, its power increases with the user's strength. At its peak, it can perfectly refine any grade of spiritual herb. Ah, uh, yum, ah, uh, come to think of it, She's been serving the sect for so long, but apart from the heaven grade cauldron, I haven't really given her much. Master, can you stop looking at me like that? I'm getting nervous. Doggy is working hard towards becoming the number one sword dog on the continent. Since you're a great demon, I think it's time for you to power up. Master, are you going to give me some powerful demon blood essence or a badass weapon? No. I've prepared a powerful life-bound heartfire for you. From now on, you'll learn pill refining alchemy from Elder Xia and strive to be the number one alchemy mantis. Ah, has the time finally come for Master to take action against me? So this is fate, huh? Master, just give me the heartfire. I'll do it myself. As expected of a great demon following senior brother. She knows that resistance is futile so she has calmly accepted it. Transferring the life-bound heartfire. Xiao Shui, what are you doing? My poor cauldron. If I knew I'd pursue pill refining alchemy, I would have treated it better. Look at these scratches, wah. Come here, Xiao Shui, I'll give you my nine celestial inferno dragon cauldron. You can keep the other cauldron as a weapon. Yay! Talk about a quick swap. Hey Xiao Shui, I have another life-bound heartfire. Purple Thunder Mysterious Flame, so I might as well give this to you. Master, one heart fire is enough for a pill alchemist. Having more is useless. I know it's useless, that's why I'm giving it to you, but it feels wrong. It'll make me feel guilty. Since you've already merged one, what's there to feel guilty about? Shove it in. Ah. I'm starting to think that the 200 years that my grandpa spent cultivating his heart fire was a bit of a waste. Master, I can't take it anymore. Hang in there, Xiao Shui. 
You're almost there. Good thing Grandpa has already ascended. Myriad Blossoms Valley wake up, seeing your brother. We're almost at Myriad Blossoms Valley. We're here already? Myriad Blossoms Valley looks really nice. It's like paradise on earth. Paradise on earth? Master, this place is not as peaceful as it seems. Did I miss something? Senior brother, don't be deceived by appearances. A transcending powerhouse was once poisoned to death here. Is the Myriad Blossoms Valley really that powerful? I might have underestimated them then. Master, my eldest disciple, sorry to keep you waiting. When did senior brother start taking disciples? I'm just as surprised. This lady is even stronger than me. My eldest disciple, doesn't the Myriad Blossoms Valley have a protective formation? Myriad Blossoms Valley has been around for tens of thousands of years. Naturally, we have formations. Even if a transcending powerhouse were to attack, Myriad Blossoms Valley can handle it. Oh? What if a group of transcending powerhouses attack? A group? Master, that seems a bit far-fetched. Myriad Blossoms Valley hasn't made enemies recently. A group of transcending powerhouses. System, since Myriad Blossoms Valley can't withstand a group of transcending powerhouses, should we upgrade their formation? Host is correct, rewarding 100,000 big spender points, rewarding Myriad Blossoms Poison Spirit Formation Super Enhanced Version Formation Manual X1, rewarding Heavenly Dow Token X1, nice. I'll arrange something similar for Heavenly Secrets Pavilion next time. My eldest disciple, this manual, Myriad Blossoms Poison Spirit Formation Super Enhanced Version Formation Manual. Hold on. Speaking of which, what did you do with the stuff I gave you before? Master, I, I. Master, I just couldn't bear to. Those items were too precious, I really couldn't bring myself to squander them. This student's got some real issues, she is not as chill as the second one, huh? Looks like I need to teach the eldest disciple how to live a little. System, I don't want to give away the manual now. Does this count as failed prodigal behavior? If it's considered a failure, do I have to give back the reward? What's given out won't be taken back. The system can't lose face like that. As long as the host proposes improvements for Myriad Blossoms Valley, the system will reward, and the reward is entirely up to the host to dispose of. Who are you looking down on, huh? Looks like the system's got my back on this one. All right, let's meet those three grand ancestors. Right this way, master. Myriad Blossoms Grand Hall. So you are Hua Yuman's master, huh? That's right. This kid seems so weak. How did he become Yuman's master? Speak, are you here to abduct our Yuman? Myriad Blossoms Valley's grand ancestor, Zhu Binglan, if you don't speak up, we may have to use poison. Myriad Blossoms Valley's second ancestor, Chen Weimong Myriad Blossoms Valley's third ancestor, Gu Jie. What are you talking about? I'm here to hold you accountable. Do you know what you've done wrong? Are these three little ones really the grand ancestors of the eldest disciple? They're too adorable. Wrong? What have we done wrong? Eldest disciple, take out 100 ghost confusion herbs. What? Yumming, you actually have ghost confusion herbs. Master, here, three esteemed ancestors, do you realize what you have done wrong now? No matter why you came here, we absolutely did nothing wrong. Yi Fong, even if you are Hua Yuman's master, you have no right to question us. Wu Feng, chop these 100 stalks of ghost confusion herbs into pieces. Roger, senior brother. What's the meaning behind this? Are you really trying to threaten us with this display of power? You're so arrogant and wasteful, shame on you. Stare. Eldest disciple, bring me 100 stalks of withered soul branches for Wufeng to chop. Understood, master. What's the point of being so wastefully extravagant? Go ahead and squander your stuff if you want, we don't care. Could it be that these things were initially gifts meant for yumming? In other words, these could be considered assets given to Myriad Blossoms Valley. 
Junior Brother Wufung, go ahead and chop up 100 stalks of 5 Venomous Aroma Bloom too. We were wrong. 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 We admit our mistake. Stop chopping, we realize our mistake now. And pour out those 100 drops of Ember Spirit Bamboo Elixir too. A few minutes later. What a waste. I want to go and die. These were all meant for Hua Yuming to squander, whether it's for soaking feet, taking baths, or feeding poisonous insects, it doesn't matter. However, she finds it difficult to be wasteful. As her ancestors, you failed to supervise my eldest disciple's extravagance, and that's where you went wrong. Our myriad blossoms valley has always been thrifty, extravagance is not in our nature, they can still be used if we wash them a little. Three esteemed ancestors, if my unworthy eldest disciple knew how to be extravagant, would these precious items have been destroyed? If she knew how to squander, even if she were to use the poison spirit herbs as tea, wouldn't you also enjoy it? I understand, but it's really hard for us to accept. Feeling a bit uneasy, huh? This is the super enhanced version of the Myriad Blossoms Poison Spirit Formation. It's strong enough to withstand an attack from a group of transcended powerhouses. You may not believe it, but it's true. I will really chop. Stop. I believe, I believe it's real. Keep chopping. No, please. I said I believe. No ingredient can withstand my kitchen knife. The manual is gone. Ah, uh, my heart's in pieces. Can't say you look all that heartbroken, though. Why is Myriad Blossoms Valley running low on all poisonous plants? And you're supposed to be training my disciple with what you've got here? Given that so much stuff from the Heavenly Battlefield's history book is gone. System, my eldest disciple has been having a tough time, even lacking poisonous plants for cultivating her poisonous body. Arranged, rewarding 100,000 big spender points, rewarding 100 portions of the myriad poison spirit herbs needed for the poisonous body, and rewarding 2 heavenly Tao token. 100 great poisonous gift pack, 2 heavenly Tao tokens, not bad. Having trouble with the poisonous body because you're short on materials? Junior Brother Wufung, chop these 50 portions of myriad poison spirit herbs for me. You're blaming me for the lack of materials? Stop chopping. What do you want from us? We'll fix it, I promise. Let me see what else you're lacking first. You there. Take some notes. Day, what day is it today? The dwellings in Myriad Blossoms Valley are all built with ordinary poisonous plants. Dismantle them. You can't dismantle that. All those common poison weeds in Myriad Blossoms Valley need to go. Pull them out. No, not our carefully grown plants. Two hours later. Our home is gone. What? He 1800000 big spender points and nine heavenly Tao tokens. Not bad. Not bad. There are 18 people in the sect. We're nine heavenly Tao tokens short of a day trip for the heavenly Tao city. I've compensated for all the things so you must cure my eldest disciple of her hesitation and squandering. Got it. Please don't come again. Junior brother, cool shui, let's go. Senior brother, are we heading straight back to the sect now? If you don't remember, people at the sect call her cool biz, she acts all cool and powerful. Yes, that's it for today. Let's head back to the sect without any diversions. Right, I haven't checked today's big spender item yet. Today's big spender item, Ruthless Sword Dao Painting X1, Ruthless Sword Dao Painting, as the name suggests, this painting contains extremely powerful Ruthless Sword Intent, the Ruthless Sword Intent of the Sword Realm. A painting, huh? What am I supposed to do with it? Toss it? Burn it? Rip it up, a oh well, it's lunchtime. Let's hit a city, grab a bite, and figure it out as I sleep. In town, at noon man, I'm so full. Nine-turn crystal shrimp that has retained its original flavors and juices is really tasty. But why TF is the side dish in test and sashimi? Intestine sashimi is an unusual dish that is prepared by thinly slicing raw animal intestines in a similar manner to traditional Japanese sashimi. 
The focus is on freshness and quality, which requires thorough cleaning to ensure safety. While this delicacy can be a reflection of culinary daring, it also carries health risks due to the possibility of bacterial infections. Huh? What are you looking at? A cold youngster. By lay, so what if I was looking at you? Do you have a problem with that? Hey! You're really pushing my buttons. Are you asking for trouble? Little bro, I've been watching you for a while. You're cultivating the death sword intent, right? I just happen to have a painting imbued with the death sword intent. Are you interested? I can sell it to you at the lowest price. So you're a salesman. Perfect. Here comes another chance to squander. Little bro, are you interested or not? Just say the word. If you're not interested, I'll look for someone else. Of course, I'm interested. But I want to check the goods first. Then let's have a good talk at the end. Elsewhere, on the outskirts of town, that scoundrel. He stole my painting again. If you dare to sell it at a low price this time, I definitely won't let you off easy. Inside the inn's private room, this painting really nails the vibe of the death sword intent, hitting all the way to the sword heart realm. It's so good, I'll buy it. Name your price. Just throw me enough cash for a meal and it's yours. Eh? A meal? For such an awesome painting? You're selling it for just one meal's price? W-H-O.D-O-U.Think.U.R Looking down. On? Buddy, I don't get what you mean. I'm not looking down on you. I, Yi Fong, the guy who has nothing but money? Name your price and I'll pay tenfold. You seem too keen to spend. Are you sick? If you're sick, I don't have a cure. Actually, I've changed my mind about selling the painting. Get back. Hey. Sir, I'll give you this painting but I honestly don't know its worth. Because I stole it from my master. I've been trying to get kicked out of my sect because I don't want to study painting, but the old man is too tolerant. Even though I sold a dozen of his paintings, he won't kick me out. Wait a minute. Don't I have a painting with the heartless sword intent? That's way more valuable than this sword heart realm painting. Let's trade paintings then. I don't want to feel like I'm taking advantage without giving back. Big bro, why is your painting so ugly? This brat really doesn't know the value. No wonder he said he didn't want to follow the path of painting. Bailey, you little bastard, where is my painting? Master? Rascal? Buddy, you've got quite the name there. Bailey phonetically matches the characters, which means a scum of a community, a degenerate, a rascal. You fucking prodigal bastard. How dare you waste the painting I made after seven days and nights of observing sword cultivators. Master, please, no more scolding. This time I traded the painting for another one, not wine. I'm the true prodigal bastard here. How could he steal my title? Since you've already attained the sword heart realm of death sword intent, this painting won't be of any use to you anymore. My foolish disciple doesn't understand its value, so how about we trade the painting back? I can offer you something extra as compensation. Senior, I'm sorry, our deal has already been sealed. Oops, this paper was so delicate it tore without any effort. Looks like we can't trade them back now. Ah, one of my five most beloved paintings. You tore it up. You're just like my rascal student, a prodigal bastard. Your talent for squandering truly surpasses even my rascal student. Were you born to squander or something? You're right. I love hearing that. Master, don't get agitated. Why don't you see if the painting we got from this brother was worth it? All right, all right. The Principle of the Sword The Heartless Sword Dao What the hell are you doing? I am tearing it up. What's so great about this shitty painting? Ding. Congratulations on completing today's Big Spender task. Reward, 1,000 Big Spender points and 10,000 painting insight fragments. Master damn, he's even more of a prodigal than me. 
This is unacceptable. Rascal, no, I mean, by lay, do you know how people usually refer to me? How? Everyone who knows me calls me the supreme prodigal, and no one's ever dared to outspend me on my face, but you just did. I think we can keep playing this game. A prodigal? Brother Yifong, you are no match for me. I have a master who lets me squander as I please, do you? I can toss around priceless paintings like they're nothing. Can you? Why are you getting all worked up over the prodigal title? Compared to your broken painting, my master can draw better than you with his mouth. Who the hell would paint with their mouth? You dare to ruin my painting and slander my reputation. Believe it or not, when we get back, I'll use my brush to silence that mouth of yours. Since you didn't bother learning about painting, you've got no clue about the worth of the piece you just ripped up, do you? What makes you think you can compete in squandering with someone else? So what? No matter how precious that painting was, he didn't dare to tear it, but I did. In terms of squandering, I, by lay, am still superior. Interesting. You've successfully aroused my competitive spirit. A painting insight fragment. Xiao Shui, hold him down for me. Today, I'm going to let him know what it means to be a true prodigal. Big bro, I was wrong. It's just a silly title. Please don't do this. I never even liked painting. Don't torture me like this. A silly title? To me, being a prodigal is a sacred and untouchable honor. Save me, master. I don't want to learn about painting. Need a hand to pin him down? Thanks. No. A few minutes later, see, this is how you squander. What you did was child's play. It doesn't matter anymore. Now that you've surpassed my understanding of painting, I have nothing left to teach you. From now on, you are expelled from our sect. Our master-disciple bond is also. Just to be clear, I don't want this fool. How did you see that coming? Master, what's wrong? Master, I think we can take this dummy back to our sect. Why? Master, I feel like this dummy has great potential as a prodigal spender. This fool does show some potential for squandering, but sect master has forbidden me from bringing more people back. Master, just let him do a portrait for the sect master to make her agree. After all, what woman wouldn't want to immortalize her youth and beauty? Young Master Yi, I can't handle this disciple anymore. It seems you're the only one who can keep him under control. All right, I'll take him. You agreed just like that? Disciple, I never thought our bond would end like this. Farewell. Come back here, you damn old man. Finally, finally. I finally got rid of that asshole disciple. Time to chase ladies without distractions. Here I come, ladies. I knew it. He runs off to the brothel the moment he gets free time. Brother Yi, you see how pitiful I am. Since we are kindred spirits. When we reach your sect, could you spare me from studying painting? Maybe, it depends on my mood. But, likely. Senior brother, when do we set off? Thank you, big brother Yi. Eh? Why is another guy hanging around senior brother now? The next day, at noon. Let's go. Is this the place? Damn it, was I tricked into coming here? Yesterday, Brother Wolfen was talking about handing out Celestial Cauldron and a demon chef with two kinds of heartfire who cooks with dragons. The sect sounded incredibly cool, so why does it seem so shabby now? Was I deceived? Wolf dog. 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 A flying dog. Not bad, the little yellow doggy has made rapid progress. He has even mastered sword flight. Yeah, with the little yellow doggy's abyssal sword intent at the sword heart realm, he's starting to resemble the continent's number one sword dog. This dog is a member of this sect. Take this, sword dog. WTF. This dog has a dual sword form too? Brother Yi, does your sect specialize in raising demons or something? Not really, currently the sect only has two demons. 
One is the blood devouring mantis, and the other is the sword dog. Thank goodness, it's just two. Young Master Yi, you're back. Jean Lewin, you're just in time. From today, you'll be teaming up with Bai Lei. I'm heading back to the main hall. Jean Lewin, Golden Wheel. Bro, are you also an ascended powerhouse? As ascended? No, no, no. Is this handyman possibly an ascended powerhouse? No way. Why would an ascended master come here just to do chores? This is really strange. I must find a way to escape. This kid looks like he's plotting an escape. Young master, you must have asked me to work with him so I can keep an eye on him, right? Time for a little scare. Oh yeah, this is the 8th Transcending Tribulation Realm Demon we've seen in the past two days. We're gonna eat well tonight. WTF. I was just passing by. You took down that demon in one hit? Well, I could ascend any time, but young master you won't let me leave, so here I am. And now young master you wants you to stay too. Get it? Seems like escaping isn't an option. The sex main hall you're really showing what it means to be the master's direct disciple. You've beefed up our sex power on your own. And here you've come with another person. What's your explanation this time? Master, you've got it all wrong this time. The person I've brought back is a painter. Painters can integrate various sword intents and blade techniques into their paintings. If you were to have a portrait painted by him, even if you ascend to the upper realm, your beauty would still be worshipped in the lower realms. I would be admired by future generations. Not bad. I was mistaken to have blamed you. Let's move past this. Why did you take Wufeng and Xiao Shui along? Master, we went to the Heavenly Pill City and, a few minutes later, you crushed a divine pill into mud? It's a miracle you all made it back. Xiao Shui's body cultivation was going well. Why force her to practice pill refining alchemy? And why did you bully the three elders of the Myriad Blossoms Valley? So many good things were just squandered by you. Don't you feel sorry? Um, these floor tiles are so worn out. I have an idea. Let's use these tiles as a metaphor. Yi Feng. What are you doing? The so-called good things the master mentioned are just like these ordinary tiles. If they break, would you feel sorry? Yes. Master, you're exaggerating. Do you really feel sorry for these broken tiles? I just finished setting up a formation today and hid it under those tiles. You've destroyed the formation's core before I could even strengthen it. Talk about bad timing. It's all ruined. Everything's ruined. Master, back when I was in the upper realm, I felt like you were quite imposing. However, I do feel very aggrieved now that it's my turn to be a master. Everlasting Shrine Land Achu. Everlasting Shrine Land Saint Master Hu Li Strange, who's talking about me today. Never mind, let's continue using my divine sense to search for my disciples' whereabouts. In the sex main hall system, I've completely destroyed Master's formation core. Can we fix this mess with something even cooler? The sex main hall formation is a low-end version of the everlasting mystical spirit formation. Sec Master couldn't find a suitable formation core in Xientian continent. You will be provided with an everlasting gathering spirit stone as a substitute. Great. Master, about the formation core, I promise to replace it with something better. Something better? Oh right, maybe it won't be too difficult for you. Master, is this big enough? This formation core is way too big and conspicuous. Actually, something the size of a fist would have been. The size of a fist? Got it. Yi Fong, don't smash it. 80. 80. 80. And here you are smashing it anyway. This 80 meme comes from the Spring Festival Gala skit decoration, in which the decoration brother likes to shout 80 when he swings a sledgehammer in his hand, which means price. Later, because it was too magical, it became a meme mostly about using a hammer. Hammers are used when attacking opponents. The Doghead Q in League of Legends is often dubbed 8080 by the anchors because it hurts so much when he hits people. Master, it's all set. 
If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave now. If I knew this would happen, I would have just used the whole Everlasting Gathering Spirit Stone as the core. Congratulations, you have displayed prodigal behavior, reward, 100,000 big spender points, and a heavenly Dao token. Looks like I've really stunned Master this time. Right, what's today's big spender item? Three-leaf fig, a sweet and delicious spirit fruit. It cannot be cultivated in the Xientian continent. It can exclusively be acquired from the heavenly battlefield. It's ranked among the top 10 ultimate spirit fruits there. 100,000 three-leaf figs? These things don't look like figs at all. They're more like tomatoes. 1-0-0-0-0-0 figs, I suppose snacking on a few here and there won't really make a dent in the pile. But it's not like they can eat it all. These are way bulkier than any medicinal pill. Bingo! Fruit fight? Yeah, I thought the sect could use a little lightning up. So, I came up with a fun activity. No eating yet. The competition rules are very simple. Just grab a spirit fruit and hit someone with it. In the end, the two people with the most and least hits will be punished. The punishment is to eat 5,000 cleansing marrow pills. Eating cleansing marrow pills as a penalty, that's brutal. Yi Fong, as the sect master, I don't think it's appropriate for me to participate in such entertainment. With me around, people won't be able to let loose. I'll go back to cultivating. Master, I have a three meter tall gathering spirit stone. Well, when you put it like that, I suppose it's my duty to show them how it's done. All right then, let's all get started. Aren't you joining in? I'd love to, but we need someone to keep things fair and square, right? Why don't you use the Heavenly Secrets Insight function now? I don't have to join, right? Acting cute won't work. The first ever Star Spirit Sect Fruit Fight Competition begins. Everyone, go easy. I won't throw too hard, Elder Luo. Finally, it's my turn to shine. I'm going to take down all of you who hog the limelight every day. Who cares about that? At the entrance of the Star Spirit Sect. Your Highness, let's rest here today. Royal Advisor of the Red Sun Kingdom, Zhang Dongfeng. Crown Prince of the Red Sun Kingdom, Zhao Ting. Just call me Young Master, Advisor Zhang. Since our kingdom controls countless sects, if they know I am the Crown Prince of the Red Sun Kingdom, they'll be scared stiff. You're right, Young Master. After all, we're just staying for a night. Let's not make too much of a fuss. Master, they're not aiming at you. They're trying to spare you to secure a penalty slot for you. You need to get hit. Cool sweat. Knock off the fancy fire tricks with your heart fire and join the fun. Junior brother Wufeng, put the knife down. This isn't Fruit Ninja, buddy. Advisor Zhang, how about we camp outside instead? Three-leaf figs. They're throwing fucking three-leaf figs. Three-leaf figs, even I, in my lifetime, have only eaten three. Stop. Everybody, stop right now. Zhang, you piece of shit. You who don't even flinch in front of an 8th Heavenly Thunder Tribulation expert are scared? Do you see that robust man in servant robes? That's an ascension powerhouse. Just one glance from him can almost obliterate my divine soul. And that old man is also an ascension powerhouse. It wouldn't be surprising if he's a soul cultivator who can take someone out without leaving any signs. Who are you too, esteemed sirs? Young friend, who we are isn't important right now. Do you know what kind of spiritual fruit they are throwing? Sure, it's the three leaf figs, one of the top ten supreme spiritual fruits from the heavenly Dao battlefield. So what? You know? Young friend, who is your sect master? Name your price for these three leaf figs, I'll buy them all. Buy? Why would I do that? Who the heck are you guys? We're from the Red Sun Kingdom. He's the Crown Prince, and I'm the Royal Advisor. Trust me, we can afford it. Royal Advisor and Crown Prince, so what? 
I'm not short on money. I want to squander. No way, I can't stand by and watch such wastefulness. Is your sec master around? The three-leaf fig is one of the top ten supreme fruits from the heavenly Dow battlefield. They are scarcely found once in a century. Stop squandering them like this. Whoa! Seeing your brother is really awesome. To think he'd be willing to let us have fun with such spiritual fruits. Tadakai. Tadakai. Aaron Yeager mode on. Crazy. Everyone in this sect is fucking crazy. Are you all savages? Have none of you been to the Heavenly Dow battlefield before? Where's the crown prince? There. Your Highness, what the heck are you doing? Well, it's better to eat them than let them rot in the wild, right? You are such a weakling. You still dare to be the future king of the Red Sun Kingdom? Advisor Zhang, you sure you don't want to taste? They're actually pretty good. What's the fucking point of eating them now? A few minutes later, ah. It's delicious. Just like the legends say. Your Highness, today we've really hit the jackpot. Advisor? Crown Prince? Seriously? Are these two beggars here to play a joke or something? Several hours later, these two really can eat a lot. They ate even more than Elder Bai and the gang on their pill binge. Congratulations to the host for completing today's Big Spender task. Reward, 1,000 Big Spender points, 10,000 three-leaf figs. 10,000 three-leaf figs? Tasty, I won't squander these. All right, enough munching. These leftovers are all yours. Just tidy up this mess, will ya? Really? Great, we'll take these fruits back. They will surely these. Smashed or not, they are still three-leaf figs. Jean Lewin, how was the fruit fight? The little yellow doggie got off with the least hits, and the most was the sect master. I see. Yi Fong. It's all your fault if you hadn't told me to get hit on purpose, would I? How could I bear to let you eat those stinky pills again? A hundred fresh three-leaf figs. Let's eat a hundred fresh three-leaf figs instead of the hundred pills. Doggy, come here. Here are your hundred three-leaf figs. What about the punishment? Woof. How did the cleansing marrow pills turn into three-leaf figs? Advisor Zhang, why do I get the feeling that, even as a crown prince, I rank below a dog here? Be grateful, your highness. Having these rotten fruits is enough. Though, Advisor Zhang, given these three-leaf figs don't boost cultivation, should we still bother picking them up? Considering their rarity and taste, these fruits could be worth a fortune or favors from some powerful powerhouses. Keep picking. Half an hour later. These two badges seem genuine. Are you really the royal advisor and crown prince of the Red Sun Kingdom? Yes. I've only recently become the sect master, but I've heard that the sects within the Red Sun Kingdom must pay protection fees annually and send people during wartime. Is your visit today in order to collect money or people? So, your visit is for collecting protection fees? Seems like a good chance for squandering, Yi Fong, my young friend, our kingdom doesn't have such a tradition. Aside from times when we defend against external enemies, we never collect money. Can't you just take some money? We've got plenty. No, 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 who's trying to offload cash here? Since that's the case, why are you two here? To find the pill god. A pill god has appeared within our kingdom. We need the pill god to refine a divine pill. This concerns the safety of the kingdom. The pill god you seek, is it the one who squashed the divine pill into mud? Good luck finding that pill god, then. Your location is freaking accurate, but I had the systems held back then. How can I refine such a pill now? Senior brother, what was that divine pill you refined in the heavenly pill city called again? Holy shit. When did you come out? Getting closer, no. Junior brother, why'd you blow my cover? Hey. What? He is the pill god. Where else would you find a second pill god? This time I helped senior brother show off. 
He must be very grateful to me. Brother, I'll take my leave first. It seems we've come to the right place. Thank goodness, we found him. There's still hope for our Purple Arrow War God. Yi Fong, compared to other kingdoms, the Red Sun Kingdom treats its sex fairly well. It's only reasonable for us to offer our help. Sure, sure, such a minor task hardly requires my intervention. Xiao Shui, come here. System, produce seven ten pattern nine grade divine tribulation pills for me. A total of 234,000 big spender points were spent. Congratulations to the host for acquiring seven divine tribulation pills. What? I got only seven pills from opening 2,340 divine jars? Wasn't it supposed to be a guaranteed roll every hundred pulls? Were you taught math by a PE? No, PE teachers are quite hardworking. Were you taught math by an English teacher? No use blaming, it's my fault. Do you need me, young master? Yi Fong, you're not planning to have her refine the divine pills, are you? She's got this. Dude, are you a divine alchemy master? Dude? My chest is right here. Are you fucking blind? And I'm a great demon, a physique cultivator. Xiao Shui, consume these seven pills. Just make sure you control your spiritual energy when you pop the last one, so you don't end up ascending by mistake. Understood. Xiao Shui, suppress the spiritual energy inside. She became an ascended demon, just like that? Yi Fong, what did you make Xiao Shui eat? That pill is called the Tribulation Pill. Consuming one can bypass one Heavenly Thunder Tribulation, and with seven, Xiao Shui is now an Ascended Demon. There's a pill like that? No wonder you're the Pill God. I suddenly don't feel like cultivating anymore. I feel like all my efforts facing life and death to withstand eight Heavenly Thunder Tribulations were worthless. Yi Fong, about these pills, don't worry, I've got enough for everyone. Even Little Yellow Dog's portion is covered. Is this the power of an Ascendant? Xiao Shui now possesses enough power to ascend. Elder Courtyard treasures capable of transcending heavenly tribulations are in Young Master Ye's possession. How many more wonders does he have? The Sex Main Hall. Why is a great demon getting VIP treatment? I don't get it. Advisor Zhang, don't stress yourself too much. Xiao Shui might not be able to refine the pill alone. Just to be safe, Yi Fong, you should accompany her. If the sect master says so. Guess I'm in. Plus, a trip to the Imperial City sounds like a plan. Elder Bai, you're coming with us. Half an hour later. Elder Courtyard Xiao Shui, do you really have the power to ascend now? Yup, I skipped right over those tribulations. That's wild. Didn't expect that, did you? This time Yi Fong chose me. Seems like you're the favorite. The two talk like concubines in a harem. A few minutes later, Pill God, we're ready to leave now. I never thought it could turn into a house. Your flying artifact is really top-notch. Sec Master, we'll be back soon. And he's off again. Let's hope he doesn't bring back more folks this time. We're already packed like sardines here. Elder Bai, do you know why I brought you out? Because you're too weak. You need to hurry up and cultivate so I can help you ascend. Yes, 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 thank you, young Master Yi, for giving me this chance. Eh? Advisor Zhang? Crown Prince? What are you two doing? Young Master Yi, we're just seeking some peace and quiet. I shouldn't have asked young Master Yi about his experiences over the past two months. Be careful, Crown Prince. What's happening outside? Reminder to the host, a foreign national war god has appeared ahead. His target is Crown Prince Zhao Ting, damn it, as the Crown Prince, Zhao Ting's departure from the Imperial City is supposed to be confidential. How does he know? A classic assassination plot, huh? That's interesting. Lei Wu Kingdom's war god He Hai. Kakik. Zhang Dongfang, hand over the crown prince, and I might leave you a whole corpse. Young Master Yi, this guy is from the Lei Wu Kingdom. 
Finally, the long-awaited Kakik. Hey Zhang Dongfang, did you lose your voice or something? Hurry up and hand over the crown prince. Xiao Shui, go. Get rid of that guy from Lei Whatever Kingdom. Consider it done. Zhang Dongfang, you finally. Wait a sec, you're not the bloodthirsty mantis by any chance, are you? Oh? You recognize my old self? Is this your portrait? Yes, I was quite naive back then. Look at you, all innocent with that busted cauldron. Did someone kidnap you and make you their personal cook or something? Drop dead, will you? I swear I'm gonna take you down. Just you, by yourself? I'm about to ascend here. I am telling you to shut the F asterisk CK up. Hey, why'd you have to mess with Xiao Shui? No one can beat a physique cultivator in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Stop right there. My ancestor's a big shot in the Sky Marshal sect. Keep it up, and you'll regret it. Oh yeah? As if you're the only one with connections. Call your ancestor, I dare you. Sky Marshal sect? Isn't that one of the sects against our sect master? Sky Marshal sect, huh? Xiao Shui, show no mercy. All right, no holding back then. Congratulations on eliminating He Hai. Initiating the revenge quest for the Upper Realm. You've earned a 15-day trial pass to the Upper Realm. System, why did you give me such a reward out of the blue? Are you telling me to go to the Upper Realm? Hold on a sec. Why is my voice transmitter Jade lighting up? Junior Brother Wu Fong, it's been so long. What made you contact me all of a sudden? Big Brother, something terrible has happened. Star Spirit Sect A portal? Could this be another one of Yi Feng's tricks? Yi Feng, why have you returned so soon? My disciple, I've come to take you back. Master? System, is this your idea of protecting our sect? Star Spirit Sect has always been safe. I just got a bit careless. I didn't expect Luo Chinchu to be taken back to the Everlasting Shrine Land. Moreover, the Everlasting Shrine Land is... Nonsense, how am I supposed to face my waifu after this? Elder Bai, Xiao Shui, let's return to Star Spirit Sect. But, Pill God, what about our Purple Arrow War God? Everything you need is in this spatial ring. I need your flying artifact for now. Guess we'll have to walk back. Full speed ahead, back to Star Spirit Sect. Did everyone at the sect take a day off or something? Inside the Star Spirit Sect seriously? You all couldn't keep Sect Master safe? Um, we were cultivating. Especially you guys, you were on the brink of ascension. Didn't you sense anything at all? We were playing Mahjong. Mahjong is a traditional Chinese tile-based game that has gained popularity worldwide. What do we do now, young Master Yi? I'll take you to the Upper Realm to get the Sect Master back. If there's time, you can also have some fun there. The Upper Realm? How are we supposed to get there? Isn't it simple? Upper Realm Trial Pass. The Ascension Ladder? It's actually the Ascension Ladder. You even have one of those. All right, everyone, let's go together. Go? But brother, if those lacking the power to ascend step on it, there will be severe consequences. Wu Feng is right. I've heard about this too. What are you scared of? I've got your backs. Even if the sky falls, I'll handle it. All right, if you say so. For Qin Yue, I must go up too. Master, look, what's that? Hmm? Golden tribulation clouds with red thunder dragons? Just mere tribulation clouds, let me. My lord. Leave the tribulation clouds to me. Hmm? I've been waiting forever for this moment. Finally. 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 It's my time to shine. This voice, this silhouette, doesn't she look a bit like Emperor Bao? Great, no one is competing with me. I must make sure my lord gives me a name this time. Here I go. 
Ultimate Guardian Step, coming through. I'm not missing out on this spotlight. It's the final push. Damn it, can't you two dogs hits play fair? You're pulling out all the stops for a mere wild dragon tribulation. You better stay back with those tiny legs of yours. We are seizing the chance to be named. If anyone's getting named, it's us. I've surpassed you. Damn it. Taking down those tribulation clouds like it's nothing, they must be reaching close to God level by now, right? No wonder our little junior sister made it look easy. They really went all out for their debut. We're about to reach the upper realm. Everyone, charge. We're almost there. Let's do it. Here we are, this is, the upper realm. Where exactly are we in the upper realm, Jean Lewin? This is the Cosmos Sword Sect. Yi Fong, if you're heading to the Everlasting Shrine Land, just go east. Cosmos Sword Sect, huh? I didn't expect to encounter enemies right off the bat. Since that's the case, let's start by tormenting them. My lord, how do you plan to torment them? My lord, do you need our help? You're still here. I thought you left after breaking through the tribulation clouds. We dare not leave without permission. Ah, uh, right, we dare not leave without our lord's command. Their aura, how come they're even stronger than that golden armored guy? How many protectors does Yifong have? Sweeping the air. Jean Lewin, I've got some tasks for you. What are your orders, young Master Yi? I remember you're an emperor, so you must have your own territory in the upper realm, right? Young Master Yi, how could I dare? Mine is just a small sect. Enough of that. I'm giving you the green light to head back, but make sure you spread the word about your sect far and wide across the upper realm. What are you up to, young Master Yi? Um... My aim is to herald the return of our sect master. I want the entire upper realm to know that the star spirit shrine land belongs to my sect master. Young Master Yi, you really know how to play. Jean Lewin understands. Consider it done. Perfect timing, you three. Take Elder Bai and the crew to give Cosmos Sword Sect, Penguin Immortal Island, and Sky Marshal Sect a taste of their own medicine. Time to make a splash in the upper realm. And while you're at it, clean out their resources. Why don't we just wipe them out? Do you know what the most painful thing is in the world? No idea. It's to be alive and broke. Ha ha ha. I thought there was one more line. What's the point of money if you're dead? Cosmos Sword Sect, who are you? Why are you trespassing into the Cosmos Sword Sect? We are. Here to loot. You can't even ascend, yet here you are, boldly flirting with death. Time to die. How dare you? Cosmos Sword Sect Master and Ominous Melody echoes through the land. Penguin Immortal Island Penguin Immortal Island Sect Master. Sky Marshal Sect How much did I win? Your shot hit thrice Sky Marshal Sect Master's coffin. When someone discards a winning tile, it's called a shot. Above means all three people won from your tile. Looks like they're having fun. System, are you there? Yes, host, what do you need? Let's make it pour. I want heavy rain. Everlasting shrine land. A little to the left. Yes, right there. Master, you didn't bring me back just to brush your fur, did you? The lower realm is so vast, it was quite the effort to find and bring you back. What's wrong with getting my fur brushed in return? But that damned Cosmos Sword Sick dared to lay hands on my disciple. Do they really think Everlasting Shrine Land is easy to provoke? Master, I'm all for settling scores, but please allow me to recover my strength before we act. Disciple, you can cultivate peacefully in the upper realm. Here in Everlasting Shrine Land, no one can harm you again. Now that I'm in the upper realm, Telling my master about the ambush has eased most of my worries. I wonder how everyone back at Star Spirit Sect is doing. The path of cultivation, from unlocking the spiritual sea to overcoming tribulations and ascending, takes decades, if not centuries. Some may not survive the journey. But with Yifong around, ascension is just a matter of time. 
I just don't know when they will make it up here to the upper realm. Father, sister, ye fall, perhaps by the time they ascend, I won't even recognize them anymore. Strange, why am I crying over this? I used to complain about how they were holding back my cultivation. What's this noise? What's happening outside? It's raining. It's raining immortal crystals. The heavens are distributing wealth. There will be no more shortage of immortal crystals. Quick, someone lend me a bin to catch these crystals. What? What's going on? Since when does it rain immortal crystals in the upper realm? Wait, why does this feel somewhat familiar? Disciple, what's going on? Don't tell me you've gotten engaged to someone in the upper realm? Engaged? Master, what are you talking about? I've never been engaged, be it in the upper realm or the lower realm. Then what's this? Star Spirit Sex Direct Disciple Yi Fong has come to propose marriage to everlasting shrine land saintliness, Luo Yushue. Why Yi Fong? How dare your Star Spirit Sect think it can just pop up and propose to my disciple? I've never even heard of you. Master, do you remember me mentioning establishing the Star Spirit Sect down in the lower realm? Yi Fong, its direct disciple, is the one proposing. Oh, ha ha ha, how could such a coincidence exist? We're in the upper realm shrine land. If this is actually true, I'll eat the shrine land's token right here and now. Master, I've come for you. Master, are you still going to eat the token? So, you're my grandmaster, mother-in-law? Excuse me, my throat's a bit dry. I'll go drink some tea and be right back. How did you come to the upper realm? And what's this about the Star Spirit Shrine Land? A trip to the Upper Realm isn't that big of a deal. There were no Shrine Lands to welcome you, so I just decided to make one. Yi Fong, have you lost it? Announcing a proposal out of the blue I haven't said yes. Plus, do you have any idea of the backlash this will cause? Honey, I know all about it. Isn't it just the Cosmos Sword Sect, Penguin Immortal Island, and Sky Marshal Sect? We called it Waifu back then. So you knew everything? Honey, look. Sect Master, we've looted the Sky Marshal Sect for you. Lady Saintliness, we've emptied all of Penguin Immortal Island's resources. We took care of our part too, Sect Master. You guys did all that for me? Here's my proposal. Honey, will you marry me? This is. These are the detonation buttons for those three sections. Just press them, and they'll explode right where they stand. Thank you, Yi Fong. I really love this proposal. I don't agree. When the Lord proposes, you have no choice but to agree. MHM. Let those damned Cosmos Sword Sect, Penguin Immortal Island, and Sky Marshal Sect be destroyed. Yi Fong, I, can I join you on your path of squandering? Honey, I'd love it. Meanwhile, in a mysterious space, making it rain immortal crystals across the upper realm and turning day into night almost killed me. If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have been lazily drawing ecky stuff. System Divine Lord Zixing The End